I was reborn as a young arctic wolf. I also activated a devouring evolution system. As long as I eat flesh and blood, I can grow indefinitely and become the wolf king at the top of the arctic food chain. But I'm still a weak pup now. I have to survive under the protection of my wolf parents. The mother is a level 4 female arctic wolf. The father is a level 6 female arctic wolf. Her attributes are among the best in the pack. That's why he's the leader of the pack. I was about to climb outside the cave to take a look. I was pulled back into the arms of my mother. Then I realized there was another little female arctic wolf in my arms. She looked like her sister. She was eating a pacifier in front of her. I also leaned over and ate like my wolf sister. Suddenly, the system's voice rang in my ear. Eat the breast milk of the arctic wolf. Evolution points will be increased by zero. One. This made me even more excited. These were three ice crystal lotus flowers that shimmered with faint fluorescence. Beautifully gorgeous. It was as if they weren't like products of the earth. Standing at the bottom of the pitch black crack. Bringing out an untainted purity and holiness. What made Su Lin's breath shorten was that his sharp senses had already sensed the huge. Almost terrifyingly pure energy from these three ice crystal lotus flowers. It was the energy emanating from these ice crystal lotuses that caused all of the polar ice worms in this ice mountain to mutate. This lotus flower looks like a snow lotus. But the snow lotus can only survive at a temperature of 20 to 30 degrees below zero at most. But at the bottom of the iceberg crack, it's already 70 or 80 degrees below zero. This temperature is extremely cold. Even steel will become much more fragile here. At this time, Su Lin's mind moved. And he really pulled out the attribute panel of these lotus plants. Only the attribute panel of these few lotus flowers had pitifully little information. Species, Ice Mountain Lotus, Exotic Flower. Level, 15. Life Status, Surviving. Su Lin cautiously watched for a moment, but in the end, he still headed towards these few exotic flowers amidst great temptation. He could foresee that if he devoured these ice mountain snow lotus plants, he would definitely be able to obtain a huge amount of evolutionary value, and even his life level would undergo a new metamorphosis. He had devoured dozens of species, and now the genetic power in his body had reached a peak. Su Lin only needed an opportunity to usher in a new metamorphosis. However, just as Su Lin was approaching one of the Ice Mountain Snow Lotus plants, one of the Ice Mountain Snow Lotus's lotus petals suddenly withered, then shot towards Su Lin at an extremely fast speed. Fortunately, he hadn't let his guard down from the beginning. Relying on his speed of 200, he dodged the sudden blow. The petals were so powerful that they burst close to the ice wall, splashing up countless pieces of broken ice. Then immediately after, the rest of the Ice Mountain Snow Lotus also had petals that shot towards them. The ice crystal-like beautiful petals were spinning carrying a heart-stopping beauty and power. Boom! Su Lin dodged another petal. But in the end, he couldn't dodge the last petal. He could only light up his wolf claw and collided hard with this petal. With a power value of up to 160, he was unable to completely resist the force of this petal. It directly sent Su Lin flying dozens of meters backwards, hitting the ice wall and shaking down a lot of ice and snow above him. This tremendous recoil caused his internal organs to bleed slightly, and there was a hint of fishy sweetness in his mouth a conscious foreign flower. This caused Su Lin's eyes to be filled with gravity. It looked like it wasn't just the animals that had changed. Even the plants, and even the rest of the living creatures, had undergone earth-shattering changes. We can't delay any longer. We must fight quickly. A hint of ruthlessness flashed through Su Lin's eyes, and immediately following that, the only remaining eye that reflected green light turned a scarlet color of blood. The limbs also became thicker, and the wolf claws were vaguely half an inch longer. Ow! Oh. Su Lin let out a long whistle and the loud and rough wolf howl spread throughout the bottom of the crevice. The aura on his body also rose in a flash. His limbs fiercely exerted themselves, stepping out a four or five inch pit of ice in the iceberg, bouncing off the ground. The speed violently reached a speed of one, a speed of 50 meters. This speed was too fast, almost in the same amount of time as the wolf's howl. It reached a few iceberg lotuses. The sharp wolf claws directly cut off the lotus flowers of the iceberg lotuses from their rhizomes. However, even though the power value was as high as 320, it still only caused the iceberg lotus to shake violently for a bit, and didn't cut off the root stem of the lotus like an ice sculpture. This caused the color of ruthlessness in Su Lin's eyes to increase again. If you can't hack it off, then just eat it. I'd like to see if devouring evolution can digest you. He revealed his sharp fangs, which had an eerie cold light under the hunting talent edition. ka -ching. He bit down hard on the lotus flower of the ice mountain lotus. But the lotus flower was so hard that it even began to spin in Su Lin's wolf mouth, scratching his mouth full of wolf teeth with a cackling sound. But Su Lin still didn't let go of his mouth. Instead, his whole body exerted all at once, and the ghastly scarlet color in his eyes flashed violently. The rest of the lotus petals shot by the ice mountain lotus, 
Su Lin didn't care about them either. He just let the petals shoot through several huge blood holes in his wolf body. Blood was flowing freely from these blood holes. Today, after two battles in a row, Su Lin was heavily injured. However, he didn't have the slightest bit of fear or withdrawal, and the color of madness in his eyes was even more intense. He once again clenched his wolf's teeth to death and used all the strength in his body. Finally, after a few moments of stalemate, with a violent flash of white light, the, this ice mountain lotus violently shattered under Su Lin's wolf teeth, and countless lotus flower fragments all surged into Su Lin's mouth. Now Su Lin's wolf's mouth was already covered in blood from the spinning of the ice mountain lotus, and even his wolf's teeth had shattered into pieces. But he wasn't the slightest bit discouraged, and his eyes were full of surprise and excitement. Finally, I've bitten it. As the lotus fragment was greedily swallowed by Su Lin in its entirety, he only felt an unprecedentedly strong energy melting away in his body. This energy rushed straight to his limbs and bones, making him only feel as if he was going to explode from the abundant energy. But soon, under the efficacy of devouring evolution, all of this rolling abundant energy was converted into evolutionary values. Ding, congratulations to the host for consuming the Ice Mountain Lotus, gaining 6000 evolutionary value, 6000 evolution value, this evolution value caused Su Lin to freeze in place, this was the most evolution value ever obtained, it was equivalent to, nearly, the sum of 10 level 10 or higher Fei essence parts, the 6000 evolution value was also enough for Su Lin to advance to level 10, and just as Su Lin was about to advance to level 10, that arcane evolutionary energy descended, he only felt that this time, that arcane evolutionary energy was more than any other time before. The energy enveloped every corner of his body. And this time, the subtle evolutionary energy was mixed with a destructive force that was like thunder and fire. This destructive force caused Su Lin to only feel pain, which was several times more painful than when he strengthened his heart. Ow! Su Lin couldn't help but howl furiously. But soon, under the intense pain, he could no longer make a sound. As for the two ice mountain lotus plants in the periphery that were still preparing to attack Su Lin, they were also directly shattered by this destructive force. Afterwards, the huge and pure ice mountain lotus energy also surged into Su Lin's wolf body. This abundant influx of energy caused his sanity, which was in pain, to clear for a moment. Vaguely, he heard the evolutionary value message beep, once again. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the ice mountain lotus of the foreign flower and obtaining an evolutionary value of 5,500. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the ice mountain lotus of heteroflower gaining an evolution value of 5,000. And after digesting the abundant energy, the destructive power once again began to swim through the limbs and bones. The meridians, genes, bones, and cells on Su Lin's wolf body were completely shattered, the pain of which was self-evident. But what immediately followed was the subtle evolutionary energy, nourishing everything that had been shattered, slowly reshaping it into a new life. In the continuous destruction and rebirth, the power contained in Su Lin's wolf body was also growing at an unprecedented rate. Under this kind of pain, his consciousness was also tortured to the point of wanting to live and die. It was between life and death that Su Lin vaguely seemed to hear a whisper in this heaven and earth. Life evolution. New species new power. But again, this seemed to be Su Lin's hallucination, because it was just too painful. The destructive lightning fire raged wildly through his body, causing even Su Lin to tremble in pain. The meridians on his entire wolf body were like meatworms, shrugging and shaking. The wolf's eyes, which had been heavily damaged had also been remodeled, and the light emanating from the eyes was no longer light blue and green. Instead, they emitted a golden brown color. Very nice to look at. However, due to the pain, it made Su Lin's eyes look extremely hideous and horrible. This pain tormented Su Lin for a long, long time, finally stopping slowly only after the entire wolf body had been remodeled. And at this time, Su Lin also freed himself from the pain. He plopped down on the icy ground and panted heavily for a long time before his pair of wolf eyes gradually regained their clear color. Right now, both of his eyes were emitting a faint golden brown glow. This glow caused Su Lin, even at the bottom of the pitch black crevice, to see extremely clearly, far surpassing the wolf race's night eye vision. In addition to that, Su Lin also felt that every part of his body had undergone a skyrocketing change. His limbs were stronger, his fangs and claws were incomparably sharp and there was an additional layer of film on the inside of his ears. Inside his ears, there was an additional layer of film that could be controlled by himself. After letting go of the hearing will instantly increase several times, even at the bottom of the crack can hear the sound of 10 kilometers away. The already sensitive sense of smell has also been greatly improved, already not inferior to the bear race. The agility and coordination of his body had even increased dramatically, just came to the bottom of the crack. Su Lin can still feel the piercing cold, but now, he could no longer feel anything, 
which proved that even the cold tolerance had increased. Eh, the effect of this evolution is so strong? Su Lin was shocked. He felt that this evolution had almost absorbed a portion of the strong genes of the various species he had devoured before. The sense of smell of the bear race, the flexibility of the lynx, the vision of the snow lords, the cold resistance of the polar ice worms, and so on. Su Lin felt that aside from these parts that he could feel, there were probably quite a few more. Only now did he completely feel the terror of devouring evolution. It was simply taking the strong genes of all species and fusing them into one, swallowing all things to achieve the, the strongest. At the same time, Su Lin's attribute panel after promotion also appeared before his eyes. Name, Su Lin. Species, Arctic Wolf. Gene level, I. Level, 11. Upgrading requires 20. 000 evolution points. Blood, 1800. Endurance, 200. Strength, 180. Defense, 240. Speed, 270. Evolution value, 3200. Extra attribute value, 30. Talent, hunting, grade C, healing, grade B. Su Lin had directly promoted to level 11 this time, which was simply the speed of a rocket. It also showed how huge and pure the power contained in the three iceberg lotus plants was. Even with the cuts, the two subsequent ice mountain lotus plants still provided a whopping 10, 000 or so evolutionary values. Now, his attributes in all aspects had increased by leaps and bounds, but what made him a little surprised was that there was an additional gene level. This gene level should be that as one devoured more and more species, the gene level would become higher and higher. As for what level he would reach in the future, even Su Lin didn't know. Eh? Why is the extra attribute value 30? Shouldn't it be 20 for two levels up? At this moment, he continued to look at the attribute panel with some curiosity. However, he quickly relieved himself. It was possible that after breaking through to level 10, there were more attribute values added per upgrade. Su Lin didn't think about it anymore and casually added 30 points of extra attribute value to the speed column. The current him had a speed value of 300 and had already reached a speed of 100 meters per second. After opening the hunting talent, he had already reached two-thirds of the speed of sound. Launching an attack at this speed was not something an ordinary species could react to. However, the strength increase brought about by this promotion was far from what was shown on the numerical panel. The powerful hidden battle strength increase made Su Lin already become a wolf-shaped demon. Ow. Oh, this leaping increase in strength caused Su Lin to resist letting out a long whistle. The loud and long wolf howl echoed at the bottom of the crack for a long time. Next, he then looked at the three already dead heteroflower ice mountain lotus, which could provide an extremely large amount of evolutionary value. Therefore, Su Lin used his wolf claws to plow through the snow and ice, wanting to dig out the roots of the ice mountain lotus and take them out to plant near his cave. The sharp wolf claws broke through the snow and ice, but found that the roots of the ice mountain lotus had also shrunk long ago. It was thought that the energy had all been ingested by the lotus. However, two seeds of the ice mountain lotus were found, which made Su Lin's eyes light up. With these seeds, there was also the hope of growing an ice mountain lotus. He went back to the remaining two ice mountain lotus roots and plowed through them, harvesting three more seeds. There were five seeds in total. The seeds were only the size of a soybean, and Su Lin directly swept them with his claws, incidentally retrieving them into the fur on his wolf paws. Now Su Lin's wolf body has broken through four meters. Counting the wolf's tail has more than 4 meters, even if it is compared to a polar bear, it is also called a behemoth. After putting away the seeds of the iceberg lotus, Su Lin looked at the steep iceberg crevice. Phew! He let out a long breath and began to mobilize all of the remaining stamina in his body. Then he took a few steps backwards. His speed of 100 meters per second was unleashed in full force, and he leaped a height of about 10 meters, with the help of the ice wall on both sides of the more gentle area. After 30 to 40 times of jumping, finally rushed out of the iceberg gap, seeing the long-lost sky outside. Su Lin only felt refreshed. Chapter 103, Grizzly Confrontation. This time when he came to this ice mountain, his strength ushered in a rocket rapid climb. At this moment, Su Lin, looking at the corpse of the iceworm king on the ground, and, he began dragging this corpse, preparing to return to the cave. The body of the iceworm king was 500 to 600 pounds. For Su Lin, who now had 2 to 3 tons of attack power in one claw, this weight was nothing at all. Su Lin easily picked up the iceworm king and quickly walked out towards the ice mountain. And at this moment, the fey grizzly bear and that polar bear couple had also completely fought. Roar! The fey grizzly bear went berserk. The huge bear body of more than 4 meters stood upright, and the claw spikes on the two thick bear paws directly stabbed into the male polar bear's body. The fey grizzly bear brought out a crazy tyrannical look in its eyes. Since it didn't submit, it was death. Battles for mates among animals were often more frequent and bloody than fights for territory. Tear. Its two bear paws violently exerted force, 
and then directly tore the male polar bear, which was three meters in size, alive. The blood in the polar bear's body gushed out furiously in an instant, just like a small rain of blood. This blood and internal organs, dripping all over the fey grizzly bear, setting it off even more hideous and terrifying. Step by step, it walked towards the only remaining female polar bear, with the same chilling killing intent in its eyes. If you submit and mate with yourself, then you can spare the life of this female grizzly bear. If she resisted again, she would definitely be killed. Roar! The female polar bear wailed, despair in her eyes. This fey grizzly bear was too strong. It was almost impossible for it to resist. However, if it retreated, the cubs in the cave would definitely die. This caused the female polar bear to have hesitation in her eyes. And as the cub in the cave arched its body, the female polar bear looked back at the cub, who was dancing his little paws, signaling that he wanted to fight side by side with it. This caused the motherly love in the female polar bear's heart to override everything else. There was no longer any hesitation in her eyes, and she began to attack the fey grizzly bear as if she were mad. Roar! Its muffled low roar resounded once again, with the tragedy of fighting to the death against the fey grizzly bear, as well as a reminder for the cubs to run fast. Roar! Faced with such an insensitive female polar bear, the fey grizzly bear was also enraged. It roared and closed in on the female polar bear, then danced the thick bear paw that was 30 to 40 centimeters in size, and fiercely slapped it towards the polar bear. Boom! This palm slapped on the female polar bear's forehead, knocking it directly backward for more than 10 meters, and then collapsed to the ground with a bang. Ice and snow were splashing and flying in all directions, and it also had several more horrifying wounds on its forehead that had been slashed by the fey grizzly bear's clawthorns. The wounds had broken through the flesh and fat, and one could see the white bones. This fey grizzly bear really didn't hold back this time. Such a vicious strike almost took half of the female polar bear's life. But the female polar bear once again stood up with great difficulty, letting the horrible wound at her chest, flowing blood uncontrollably. Such a wound, even if it no longer fought for its life, would be difficult to nurse under the icy arctic. This makes this female polar bear, can only miserably to their own cubs, son a low howl signaling to run faster. A mother's love is great, and the female polar bear is trying to give her cubs a chance at life. Before the male polar bear died, she thought that they could fight the grizzly bear together, but reality has taught them a bloody lesson. This fey grizzly bear, powerful beyond their understanding. When the blood fight really started, it directly tore the male polar bear alive. The blood and guts that littered the ground were still not far away. Female polar bear is also ready to be torn alive by this grizzly bear, full of will to die. It set up a bear-specific defensive posture. Want to rely on this defensive posture to block the grizzly bear for a moment. But it still underestimated this grizzly bear. On the huge body of the fey grizzly bear, which was more than 4 meters tall, it emitted an extremely strong aura. It walked over step by step, with a chilling killing intent in its eyes. Roar! As the fey grizzly bear roared, its thick paws smashed towards the female polar bear's front. The grizzly bear that possessed invincible strength never bothered to look for the opponent's weakness. Only by directly crushing it from the front could it have a sound pleasure and sense of accomplishment. Boom! A heavy blow. Up to thousands of pounds of force erupted with full force, directly sending the dead defending female polar bear flying out with a single palm strike. The female polar bear that only weighed 8 or 900 pounds could not resist this heavy and fierce force. It flew out more than 10 meters before landing with a bang. The ice was slightly shaken. The strong impact brought by this blow, making the female polar bear's mouth and nose are overflowing with large strands of blood the chest wound, but also cannot stop in the flow of blood out. Blood will originally white hair or dyed bright red. The female polar bear suffered two such powerful blows, and it looked like she wouldn't survive. It was estimated that its internal organs had been shattered. It was still crawling with difficulty, trying to stand up. It wanted to buy a little more time for its cubs. Finally, it climbed up from the ice with great difficulty, but before it could stand firmly, the fey grizzly bear had already arrived in front of it, and then slapped it fiercely. Boom! This time it directly smashed into that bear head of its. The force of several thousand pounds directly caused the female grizzly bear's eyes, ears, nose, and mouth to be crazily spilling blood out. This palm completely cut off the female polar bear's vitality. Even though she was worried about her cubs, even though she wanted to stop the grizzly bear, she couldn't stand anymore. Her body went limp and she collapsed. Then all of its body began to convulse and the blood spilled out in large streams, staining the ice and snow on the ground red. Looking at the dead female polar bear, the grizzly bear just walked over with an indifferent expression. The tyrannical and ferocious aura on his body did not diminish in the slightest. Since it had already been killed, it naturally had to be killed cleanly. The cubs couldn't be left behind either. The massive grizzly bear followed behind the polar bear cub without slowing down. Through the sound of its footsteps, 
It caused endless panic to this polar bear cub, wanting it to die in panic. But soon, just when this polar bear cub had fled for about a few hundred meters, the fey grizzly bear's footsteps came to a halt and a pair of pitch black bear eyes brought out a color of extreme gravity as it looked ahead. And this polar bear cub in the middle of panic and grief still did not realize anything, just lowered his head while howling miserably, while running on all fours. But after running for more than a hundred steps, it ruthlessly crashed into a white as snow giant claw. Boom! The impact made its little head a little dizzy. The polar bear cub forced itself to endure the discomfort and tilted its head in a panic before it could see that the owner of this giant claw was actually a white wolf. This white wolf's body size is huge to beyond imagination. A single paw has a height of one meter four and a half, which is already bigger than the polar bear cub's whole body. And the wolf's body was more than two meters tall and more than four meters long. It was a well-deserved behemoth. Especially the terrifying killing aura emanating from the body of this white wolf made the polar bear cub shiver in place, unable to even take a step. This white wolf was also dragging a huge meatworm in its mouth, and it looked like it had just returned from hunting. However, when he saw the opposite side of the huge grizzly bear with the same size of more than 4 meters, the white wolf threw the ice worm king that he was holding in his mouth directly onto the icy ground, the pair of golden brown wolf eyes, in the cold arctic sky, and the grizzly bear's line of sight ruthlessly collided with each other. On both sides, a strong and tyrannical invincible aura was rising recklessly. Chapter 104, Grizzly Bear Fleeing The grizzly bears and Su Lin confronted each other in the icy sky and snow, and the howling blizzard could only slightly blow their fur. However, the fake grizzly bear that had been rampaging through this area didn't make a move this time, because it still remembered this white wolf. Some time ago, it had encountered the white wolf and the purple lynx. The grizzly bear's keen sixth sense had smelled a vague dangerous aura from them, but after nearly two months, it originally thought that by eating those bugs with abundant energy in the iceberg, strength has greatly increased. Once again encountered can strongly suppress the white wolf and purple lynx, but let the fey grizzly bear expression. But what made the fey grizzly bear look grave was that the white wolf seemed to have grown faster, and the aura emanating from its body was even more dangerous than the last time they met. As for the huge white meatworm, due to the wounds everywhere, the heavy smell of blood had obscured the original flavor of the white meatworm. It made the grizzly bear. Not the first time to distinguish that this was the giant insect from the iceberg. At this moment, the sixth sense of the fey grizzly bear was frantically sending it warnings, trying to make it stay away from this white wolf. This level of warning hadn't appeared in a long time. Roar! This caused the grizzly bear, standing in place, to let out a low growl. It hated this feeling of being held like a man's back, and wanted to raise its aura through a low bear roar. But in the end, it didn't do anything. Instead, after making that roar itself, the the white wolf in front of him, that pair of very good looking golden brown wolf eyes narrowed, and that dense to the extreme killing aura on his body fiercely elevated a few points again. For a time, the air seemed to be filled with a terrifying killing intent. Clatter! The white wolf's thick claws swept the polar bear cub directly to the side, then took a few more steps forward. The aura rising from that 4 meter plus wolf body was incomparably strong. This chi flame made the fey grizzly bear, all of them, slightly suffocate. Nowadays. Su Lin's strength had changed drastically, even though his physical strength had dropped a lot. If it was really a life and death struggle, the end result would definitely be that the grizzly bear would perish. At the same time, the latest attribute values of the fey grizzly bear also appeared in front of Su Lin's eyes. Race, grizzly, fey. Level, 18. Blood, 4237. Endurance, 253. Strength, 261. Defense, 265. Speed, 127. Talent, Defense, Grade C. The strength of the Fey Grizzly Bear had also greatly increased in these past two months. Not only did the Fey Grizzly Bear have the strange encounter with the iceberg, even its growth potential was of a demonic level like that Fey Lynx. Otherwise, even if it went about devouring polar ice worms containing pure energy every day, it wouldn't have had such a huge increase in strength. Sure enough, none of the guys who became Fey before the natural disaster level blizzard were good. This caused Su Lin's pair of golden brown wolf eyes to bring out a chilling killing intent. The more demonic they were, the more they should be beheaded. Only the more powerful genes could become the best fuel on his evolutionary path. Ow! Su Lin let out a long whistle, his white fur exploding all over his body, and the solemn killing intent in the air completely boiled over at this time. But in this region, the fake grizzly bear that was rampaging through the area didn't fight hard at the moment, but instead retreated, although it did not flee in a hurry, but fell back a few steps, and even the entire huge body of the bear also took a defensive stance. This is a different kind of grizzly bear. Very few cases will show caution. You have to know that since the grizzly bear became an adult, in the North Pole, there are few rivals, 
especially after devouring a few small insects in the iceberg. It was as if it had opened up a new world of growth. Its strength has been increasing day by day, and in just a short time, it has already broken through the upper limit of its race. Even the strongest dominant polar bear in the Arctic in the past could only tremble under its ferocious flame. But now, it really smelled a very dangerous air from this white wolf, so it didn't provoke this white wolf anymore. Instead, it retreated a few steps backwards, sending a signal of weakness to this white wolf. The IQ of bears was already a bit higher than that of the wolves. After metamorphosing into a fey species, the fey grizzly bear's IQ, moreover, had surpassed the vast majority of the species. This IQ made it not like the rest of the bear race, only bulky and brutal rampage, but learned to retreat and avoid. However, the white wolf in front of him seemed to have no intention of letting it go, and again continued to walk towards himself. As the white wolf approached, the terrifying killing intent was like a black cloud pressing down on the city as it came towards it. This pressure made the fey grizzly bear somewhat unable to hold back the irritation in its heart, and it couldn't help but roar once again. Roar! A low bear roar sounded above the sky, but this bear roar had no deterrent power to speak of, and after roaring, it looked at the white wolf that was still walking towards it, and finally couldn't resist the pressure and, under the great desire to survive, he began to abandon his dignity as the overlord of this area. His thick front limbs landed with a bang, and then began to flee in a hurry. Fleeing speed even more than the value panel tips, has reached a speed of more than 30 meters per second. This speed was definitely extremely terrifying among the bear race, more than 30 meters per second. It was on the verge of being no less than the purple lynx at the time. However, even with a speed that was second to none in the bear race, this fake grizzly bear still didn't want to fight the white wolf in a real life and death battle, because it was very life thirsty. It knew that it hadn't grown to its peak state yet and most of the female grizzly bears and female polar bears in this neighborhood had already been in its pocket, so it has a good life and future. It also wants to bring this area under the rule of the bear tribe, and it also wants to have many offspring, enjoying its own bear life in this area. That was why it didn't want to fight for its life, and it fled in a hasty manner without any dignity. This caused a trace of consternation to flash through even Su Lin's pair of golden brown wolf eyes. Originally, he thought that he would have a peak battle with this grizzly bear. This battle would determine who was the strongest overlord in this area. However, he didn't expect the grizzly bear to escape so quickly. It looks like this grizzly bear is very life-thirsty. However, Su Lin didn't chase after it quickly. On the one hand, he still had the body of the Ice Worm King to drag back to the cave, which was also a lot of harvest. With this 500 to 600 pounds of fey flesh and blood, the wolf's strength could be raised at least another notch. On the other hand, his physical strength had been greatly depleted and he didn't want to waste a recovery potion in order to hunt down the fey grizzly bear. Anyway, the fey grizzly bear was at the North Pole. It wouldn't be too late to wait for his stamina to recover before killing it, without the polar ice worms in the icebergs for the fey grizzly to devour. It was thought that its strength would only be fixed here. It won't be able to increase its strength in a short period of time. And this fey grizzly bear was too lifethirsty, far from the madness and ferocity of the fey lynx that killed it. Chapter 105, Returning to the Cave. In a real bloody battle, the fey grizzly bear without the advantageous suppression of its strong attributes, it would be like a withered bone in a grave, a rat waiting to die, and there was no need to worry about it at all. Su Lin's wolf eye squinted in the icy sky and snow, looking at the huge body of the fey grizzly bear disappearing in the blizzard. He then turned around and picked up the huge ice worm king in his mouth and headed back towards the cave. As for the corpses of the two polar bears, he also greeted little gray and little lone wolf in a moment and dragged them back. This is all a bountiful reserve of food. The polar bear's meat, which Su Lin hadn't eaten yet, was thought to be able to provide at least a few hundred evolutionary values. Although nowadays, evolving again would require 20, 000 points of evolution value, but a little goes a long way. A few hundred points of evolutionary value was not too little for him, and a few thousand points of evolutionary value wasn't too much either. With a little bit of growth, he would eventually become the strongest king at the top of the entire food chain. But just as Su Lin was carrying the Iceworm King's corpse in his mouth and had just taken a few steps, he realized that a tender bear roar sounded behind him. Roar! He turned around to look, and it was this polar bear's little cub. This cub carefully came behind Su Lin, trying to try to express itself through its intermittent bear howl. However, the different races and language barrier made it unable to express its meaning for half a day. However, it was obvious that this polar bear's cub's IQ was a bit beyond its kind. Otherwise, if such a small cub faced a strong hunter, it would probably have been scared to death and would only howl miserably, so how would it dare to come forward on its own initiative? In his curiosity, Su Lin pulled up the numerical attributes of this polar bear cub with a thought. Species, polar bear, fey, level, 2, 
Blood, 525. Endurance, 35. Strength, 33. Defense, 36. Speed, 12. As expected, this polar bear cub was also a fae, and the attribute panel was magnificent. The heavens and the earth have changed greatly. After that natural disaster-like blizzard, some creatures with strong growth potential and abundant food had evolved into fae. These fae might not be as demonic as the fae before the natural disaster, but they also had much more growth potential than ordinary species. So Su Lin didn't drive this polar bear cub away, he just let it follow behind him. After cultivating this polar bear cub well, its future battle power would not be inferior to this fae grizzly bear, although the language is not understood, but the fae IQ was high, and in the future, there should be no problem communicating through physical communication. Roar! The tender bear howl sounded once again, and seeing that this huge white wolf did not drive itself away, this polar bear cub carefully followed. Now its father and mother have been killed by that hateful grizzly bear, it has no one to rely on. Even he was afraid to be targeted by that big grizzly bear, now the only thing that can give it a trace of security is the huge white wolf in front of it. Because of this white wolf, it could make that big grizzly bear flee with its own aura alone, so it began to run furiously just to catch up with the white wolf, but the white wolf was just too huge for it. Even if it was dragging a hundreds of pounds of white meatworm, even if it was also just walking normally through the icy sky and snow, the white wolf's speed was extremely fast compared to it. Taking a step was equivalent to running 10 or so steps, which made it not dare to relax for a moment. Plop, plop, plop. With the slight sound of a bear's paw sinking into the icy ground, this little polar bear cub landed on all fours and followed closely behind Su Lin. And after Su Lin had walked for about 10 or so kilometers, he saw that the polar bear cub was about to run out of steam, so he also slowed down a little. Roar. The polar bear cub sensed that the white wolf's speed had slowed down, and it gave a low howl of gratitude and surprise, because this move, it most likely meant that the white wolf had taken itself in. In the future, at the very least, he didn't have to worry all the time about being eaten by that horrible big grizzly bear. This sense of security was something that his own bear father and mother had never given. The bear cub once again gasped for breath and ran wildly, wanting to show his potential and ability as much as possible. Because the little polar bear's perception was that in nature, no matter if it was a wolf pack or the rest of the species, they would not take in a weakling or a waste for nothing. So if you want to truly stay by this white wolf's side, you must perform well. As for the grief and anger of the bear's father and mother being killed, it was too weak to do anything but bury it deeply in the bottom of its heart. Just like this, Su Lin dragged the corpse of this ice worm king and returned to the cave. Behind him, the polar bear cubs also followed closely back. Just after returning, the rest of the members smelled the polar bear's odor and they all climbed up in a single bound, and a pair of wolf eyes had a slightly tense color in them. Only the little lone wolf. The more pressure he faced, the more intense the color of madness and ferocity in his eyes. This was also the source of the little lone wolf's strong combat power. The ferocious madness in its bones was not far from the ferocity of the fey lynx that killed it. However, with Su Lin's appearance, the ferocious color in the little lone wolf's eyes gradually dissipated. The rest of the several young wolves also surrounded over, and there was a look of disbelief in their eyes. The shock that Su Lin's appearance gave them this time was too great. Su Lin's body had skyrocketed too much and his size was about a meter larger. It was a good thing that when they chose the cave in the beginning, they purposely chose a very spacious one. If it was the kind of small cave that wolf parents had, it was estimated that Su Lin would have to purposely lie down to enter even the entrance of the cave. Ow! The wolf sister and the gray and white coyote, who were already at level 3, came forward in surprise. They, who already had more than a meter of wolf body, were simply inconspicuous in front of Su Lin. Even cousin, little gray and little lone wolf who were already level 5, were pitifully small in front of him. However, the wolf sisters and gray and white coyotes in the wolf pack had been practicing their hunting skills since they were young due to the abundance of food. The potential was developed quite well in all aspects, plus they had eaten a lot of fey meat and evolved into fey as well. There are already 4 fey in the wolf pack, and if we count this little polar bear cub, if this little polar bear cub was included, then when they grew up in the future, the 5 of them alone would be enough to become the absolute hegemon of the 100 miles around. Since Su Lin intended to take in this little polar bear cub, he nicknamed it Little White. His code name was as commonplace as ever. Next, Su Lin simply gave a low howl in response to the intimacy and surprise of the group of cubs in the wolf pack. By the way, through the wolf's howl, he also, that the little polar bear was a new member of the pack. This made the wolves even more surprised. A polar bear joining the pack? In their cognition, this was a reversal. They should know that the polar bear was still the Arctic overlord in their hearts. Such an existence. Even a wolf pack with a dozen or even twenty heads would not dare to mess with it. 
Because the wolf's sharp claws and fangs can't even break through the polar bear's thick skin and fat. As for weak points like eyes and noses, it wasn't something that could be hurt so easily. However, Su Lin didn't explain too much to them, because in the future, as the contact time became longer and longer, they wouldn't have any more questions. It's just that the wolf race and the bear race have different habits, so in order to avoid misunderstandings and conflicts, Su Lin purposely divided a corner for Little White to live there on weekdays. For food and such, there would be Little Grey to carry it over. Although the little polar bear couldn't understand the meaning conveyed by the wolf's howl, as the white wolf raised its head to signal, it then slowly went to a corner and started huffing and puffing. Afterwards, Su Lin put the huge ice worm king's corpse into another corner of the cave. Currently, there was quite a lot of food in the cave. The meat of ordinary species had one, 400 to one, 500 pounds, and if you counted the two polar bears, it was estimated that it had broken through to the point of three, zero 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 to four, zero 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 pounds. But Su Lin didn't plan to bring the two polar bears back, but prepared to bring them to the den of the two female wolves. On the one hand, it was a bit unreasonable to eat its parents in front of the polar bear cubs, though perhaps it would be acceptable. After all, in nature in order to survive, devouring bloodline relatives to survive happened all the time, but there was no need to do so. On the other hand, the food stockpile had to be prepared for both. You couldn't put everything in one basket. As the little lone wolf got stronger and stronger, Su Lin planned to let the little lone wolf stand alone. A lot of hunters in this area had already died. From the very beginning when the nearby wolves were brutally suppressed by the phalanx, to now when the two polar bears were torn apart alive again, it had already emptied out quite a few more territorial ranges. With the natural disaster like blizzard over, it was time to expand the territory again. By the way, some potential wolf clans were also selected, so that the strength of the wolf pack would grow again. As his own strength increased, the strength of the wolf pack must also increase, otherwise it would be difficult to provide him with a boost. In addition, Su Lin vaguely felt that in the future, it was very likely that he would also have to have a grueling battle with that large wolf pack in the west. One must know that the last time when nearly a hundred wolves were rounded up, the probability was that it wasn't the full strength of the large wolf pack. It was because the wolf king of that large wolf pack had never shown his face from the beginning to the end. That was an arctic wolf that had evolved into a face species before the natural disaster. So it couldn't be underestimated. At this moment, Su Lin looked at the blizzard outside that was gradually stopping looked up at the west, and a pair of wolf eyes had a cold light flashing through them. Next, he let out a low howl and greeted Little Grey and Little Lone Wolf as they walked out of the cave, leading them towards the scene of the polar bear and fey grizzly bear battle at the ice. Chapter 106 Territorial Prey Nowadays, Little Grey and Little Lone Wolf, breaking through to level 6 was just a day or two away. After breaking through to level 6, the strength of the two wolves could be considered unique in the pack, especially the Little Lone Wolf with all its ferocity and killing intent. I'm afraid that even large prey of level 7 or 8 could be hunted alone. After taking the two of them out and walking for a while, they arrived at the scene of the battle between the fey grizzly bear and the two polar bears. The scene was still a mess, but in the time that Su Lin and the fey grizzlies had been gone, quite a few bold poachers had come. Most of them were wandering lone wolves and lynxes. These guys usually didn't have a fixed hunting territory and relied on plundering some leftovers for food, so they were more pressed for the smell of blood than ordinary hunters. As the male polar bear's body was torn apart by a different species of grizzly bear, the body's blood and guts were scattered all over the ground. This picture makes this group of predators have a hidden heart and timid. After all, this is the Arctic dominant remnants. After all, this is the limbs and remains of the Arctic overlord. The strong hunter who can kill the polar bear so sadistically is an existence they can only look up to. However, they cautiously walked into the messy battlefield, devouring the polar bear's internal organs scattered on the icy ground. Only after Su Lin arrived were they just about to move the male polar bear's corpse, but after seeing Su Lin's huge size of 4 meters, they all fled in terror. Scared, a wolf race with a size of more than 4 meters, this had already exceeded their cognition. Some of the marauders who still wanted to greedily tear off a few pieces of flesh and blood to take away soon paid a painful price for their greed as well. With the sound of two furious wolf howls, Little Grey and Little Lone Wolf were like arrows heading towards the marauders. The strength of the two of them was crushing to these marauders who were wandering around and didn't have enough food. In no time, the battlefield came to an end with a few miserable howls. Two lone wolves and a lynx were directly bitten to death by Little Grey and Little Lone Wolf. This caused all the marauders that were still in love with each other to quickly disperse, especially the Little Lone Wolf, who had just come out extremely fast and, almost instantly killing a lynx, followed by pouncing on a stray arctic wolf. The results of killing two predators in a short period of time were accomplished. These two marauders also had level 5 attributes, 
although they were just about to enter level 5, but they also had a certain strength. From this, it could be seen that little lone wolf's combat power had grown so rapidly over the past few days. The rampant killing intent and the ferocity of being stronger and stronger were all silently telling that it was a natural hunter and killer. As for Little Grey's results, they were moderate. Su Lin had long since gotten used to it. Next, he let out a low howl, and the two wolves began to laboriously drag up the corpses of the two polar bears. Since the male polar bear had been torn in half raw, he also went up and took half of the carcasses to open the way in front. For the current Su Lin, these several hundred pounds were no longer much of a weight, but for Little Lone Wolf and Little Grey, it was still a considerable test. But fortunately, the icy ground was slippery, and after the two wolves had struggled for nine cows and two tigers, they were also able to finally drag the corpse back to the cave of the two patrolling female wolves. Ow, ow. At the same time, surprise wolf howls rang out. Su Lin's arrival was a surprise to the two female wolves. They wagged their tails in front of him and also howled lowly as they began to report on the situation in the territory these days. The fierce snowstorms of the previous days had prevented the two female wolves from going out to patrol the territory. However, these days, they went every day, and in their low howls, Su Lin also learned about the situation of the territory's herbivores. In the low howl report, Su Lin also roughly learned that the herbivores in the territory, even though he had led the wolves to the caves in advance, they still froze to death and starved to death quite a lot. And due to the fact that under a cave, various herbivore groups also broke out many times in small-scale group fights, resulting in many casualties. The injured ones didn't survive the icy cold blizzard and were frozen to death in the cave. This caused Su Lin to greet the wolves again after placing the polar bear carcasses in the female wolf's cave. Food was always the top priority for the wolves, as food often represented survival in nature. He was prepared to drag back all the carcasses of the large prey that had died under the cave to serve as the wolf pack's reserve food. In the future, as the strength of the wolf pack expanded further and the number of members of the wolf pack increased, then the portion of food needed would also increase further, so it was imperative to reserve more food. The cave was not far from the female wolf cave, and under Su Lin's leadership, in a short while, the wolves arrived at the cave where the herbivores were gathered. Now the best position of the cave has been occupied by the muskox herd. The rest of the race group are hiding in the edge of the shivering to cope with the piercing cold. The moose, relying on their thick hides and the nourishment from their humps, had also made their way out from under the cave. The blizzard has been much smaller. These blizzards for the moose herd has been able to resist. However, the rest of the races were still hiding under the cave and struggling to survive. They are all in poor condition. Even if the blizzard is already very weak, they can't resist it. They could only wait for the blizzard to completely stop before stepping out of the cave to look for a place with abundant moss and grass to thrive. After Su Lin led the wolves over, these racial packs were obviously in a panic, but many of them didn't have the strength to resist. After all, the blizzard that had been going on for more than 20 days in a row had consumed nearly all of their physical strength and endurance, and the moss in the cavern had long been gnawed away in the previous few days as well. Yo! Moo! The miserable wailing of the reindeer herd and the sound of the musk ox herd bracing themselves to resist resounded one after another. Faced with this sound of resistance, Su Lin didn't take it seriously and just patrolled the cave's prey that were already dead or dying, for these prey that could no longer create value for the wolves. It was natural to take all of them away as a food source for the wolves. He found that in the current cave, except for the musk ox herd which was in pretty good shape, the rest of the race groups were severely damaged. The reindeer herd, which originally had about 30 heads, was severely depleted, with only 12 or 13 reindeer left barely surviving. With a low howl, Su Lin signaled the four wolves to come out and drag out all the dead prey bodies in the cave. The four wolf races whose physical strength and condition were at their peak and had not been affected by the blizzard were extremely threatening to these race groups. Naturally, it caused a small-scale disturbance, but with little doctor's ferocious suppression, this riot was also quickly calmed down. With the current combat power of little doctor, suppressing these dying prey was no problem at all. One of the reindeer leaders that still retained some condition shook his antlers, wanting to defend the reindeer herd. But soon, under a fierce struggle, the reindeer leader was severely injured and howled miserably. The leader's miserable howl instantly broke every reindeer's heart line of defense, making them face the wolves and start to hastily avoid, not daring to fight back. The little lone wolf's claws and fangs were stained with blood, and the ferocious intent in his eyes was self-evident. Nowadays, the little lone wolf, alone, had shocked the entire reindeer herd into retreating. Under the intimidation of its ferocious flame, the two female wolves and little grey easily dragged out the dead carcass of the reindeer. Chapter 107 Feeding on Polar Bears There were a total of 11 carcasses of reindeer, and there were two more that were gnawed and bloodied. It seemed that in a state of starvation, even the herbivorous reindeer herd had also gnawed on the carcasses of their companions. 
These reindeer carcasses together had about 4,000 pounds of food, and it was also very tasty reindeer meat, which greatly enriched the wolf pack's reserves. This greatly enriched the wolf pack's reserves, and also provided Su Lin with abundant capital for the next expansion of the wolf pack. The remaining small reindeer pack with only five or six heads was huddled in the corner, but there was no attrition, only that their condition was obviously not good. The scattered moose herd had also come out of the cave, and what remained was a herd of five or six horse deer. These moose were also extremely hardy, but because of their long legs, they were prone to sinking into the deep snow. Therefore, in the blizzard and snowstorm, the deer herd did not take a single step out of the cave, even due to the lack of food. Two of the thin horse deer were already starving and dying, not looking to survive. Su Lin let out a low howl, signaling the wolves to bite the two deer that couldn't survive and drag them out. The deer that couldn't survive were a burden to the pack. In Su Lin's eyes, it was better to give them a pain in the ass. This was the most common attrition of all species in this sudden blizzard. If he hadn't led the wolves ahead of time to drive these species away and come under this huge, empty cave, then he would have thought that even more would have died. Ow, ow, as the wolves let out their howls of offense. The horse deer group only put up some weak resistance, which did not help at all. Once the little lone wolf fought, the ferociousness that swept through his body was equal to that purple lynx. Every attack was directed towards the vitals. The two skinny deer, even though they wanted to live again and desperately resisted, they still died under the sharp fangs of the little lone wolf. Although the little lone wolf had already evolved into a fey species, its body structure had long been different from that of ordinary wolves. The wolf claws that were usually hidden in his fur were enough to cause a great deal of killing once they were revealed, but still habitually use the bite. As long as the bite of the prey's throat vitals, can quickly the prey body blood and life force drained. However, the wolves' wanton killing also made some of the only remaining large herbivores under the cave start to get restless, especially the musk ox herd. The large hooves began to trample on the ground, and the deep purple eyes of the oxen also brought out a determined look of going forward. They didn't want to wait for death like this. Although they knew that they had been starving for many days and were already very weak, the bravery in their bones made it impossible for them to accept a situation where they were waiting to be killed. They also firmly believed that as long as they charged, this wolf pack would never be able to resist. But this musk ox herd, after two or three months of time, as if it has gradually forgotten the previous period of time the wolves on their roundup, with the musk ox herd's restlessness, the only remaining dozen reindeer herd also had a hint of resistance, and began to strongly support their bodies to stand up. The sharp antlers on top of their heads were shaking, and their eyes were staring at the wolves that were laboriously dragging the carcasses of the two reindeer. Of the wolves. Yo. Moo. They all let out roars in unison, wanting to completely drive this wolf pack away by roaring in unison. Because of their low intelligence, they didn't know how much longer this wolf pack would wantonly hunt. As the large herbivorous race resisted, little lone wolf and little gray also began to show their sharp fangs and deterred by howling. Ow. 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 The wolf pack's wolf howls echoed in the cave. But just as the reindeer herd and musk ox herd revolted in unison and began to prepare for a confrontation with the wolves, suddenly, an extremely strong aura and pressure descended violently, which made it seem as if they were instantly targeted by a flood beast. The aura of death echoed in the hearts of every musk ox and reindeer. Their pairs of eyes brought out a trace of panic as they began to raise their heads to look for the source of this powerful aura. Whoosh! With a sharp whistle that cut through the air. A majestic white wolf whose size exceeded their imagination appeared in their field of vision from afar, almost as if it was instantaneous. The source of that strong pressure was clearly this white wolf. The white wolf's body's unbridled aura made the musk ox and reindeer that were just about to fight back want to have their hearts and minds explode. Even the musk ox group that had always claimed to be courageous, also started to retreat backward in a riotous frenzy. Because looking at this white wolf, they also recalled the roundup three months ago. In their minds, they also vaguely remembered the bloody scene of this white wolf wantonly killing their former leader. And now this white wolf was even more terrifying. The killing aura that was rapidly rising from its body made them feel like it was hard to breathe. I'm afraid that even if they were in peak condition and formed a defensive formation again, it would be difficult for them to pose the slightest threat to this white wolf. However, Su Lin came over and didn't prepare to start wantonly slaughtering. He just lightly swept these prey. Next, he led the wolves and took away all of these dead prey. He brought the six intact reindeer and two horse deer back to the cave where he was. The remaining five caribou and two caribou that had been eaten and bloodied were placed in the cave where the female wolf was. The cave that the female wolf chose was actually the same cave that the small wolf pack was in. The cave was slightly smaller than the cave of the wolf's parents. However, even if there were another ten or so new wolves, it would still be more than enough. Therefore, Su Lin planned to use this place as the second cave in the wolf pack. He left the little lone wolf in this cave and explained the distribution of the little lone wolf's food. 
the female wolves patrolling the territory were treated the same, still eating food once a week, and with conspicuous performance, they could receive additional rewards. The newly recruited Ohio wolves, on the other hand, would eat food once every 10 days, in this way, this current food was enough for the wolf pack to expand by quite a number of wolves. Only if the wolves grew stronger would Su Lin be able to occupy more territory in this region. Before preparing to go back, he also started devouring the polar bear's meat. Polar bears had been thinking about hunting, but they hadn't found the right time. Unexpectedly, in the end, it was the fey grizzly bear that gave up two polar bears for nothing with their carcasses. Tear. Su Lin tore open the thick skin and flesh of the polar bear, revealing the tender meat inside. Starting from the meat at the back, he bit off a piece and swallowed it into his mouth. The meat elsewhere in the polar bear had too much fat. For the other wolf clans, the meat with more fat was the best meat to eat, because most wolves relied on calorie intake to survive. As for nutrition and the like, very few wolves would consider it. But for Su Lin, the pressure of survival was long gone. Only the meat of the back and limbs was okay to eat. Fat and thin, in combination with the light blood that hadn't been completely frozen in the polar bear's body. It was also considered very tasty and delicious food. Ding, host eats polar bear, gaining 30 points of evolution value. The polar bear was worthy of being the once recognized arctic overlord. As the blood and flesh of an ordinary species, the first bite also provided a full 30 points of evolution value. It was the most evolutionary value that Su Lin had ever gained from eating. Moreover, the evolutionary value of ordinary species was reduced by a small amount. So this polar bear could also provide him with a considerable amount of evolutionary value. With the evolutionary value, Su Lin's appetite was completely wide open. His current digestive power was horrifying. And although only three or four short hours had passed since he had eaten the iceworm king, he had already digested a few percent of it. It wouldn't be a problem to swallow in a dozen pounds of polar bear meat. Ding! The host has eaten a polar bear and gained 29. 5 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Host eats polar bear gaining 29 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Host eats polar bear, gaining 28. 5 evolution points. After eating until he had an eighth of a full stomach, Su Lin stopped. By devouring the polar bear, he gained another 400 points of evolution value, which was a small step towards his next advancement. He was still looking for the polar bear's essence parts. The essential parts of ordinary bears were usually bear bile. He directly found the male polar bear's bear bile and swallowed it into his stomach. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating polar bear bile, level 17, and gaining an evolution value of 300. Seeing this message prompt, Su Lin's eyes lit up. As expected, the higher the level, the higher the evolution value the essence part could provide. Su Lin then got up and swallowed the female polar bear's essence part, into his stomach as well, and once again gained a 210 point evolution value reward. This made him feel slightly relieved that the evolution value from two polar bears wasn't inferior to a fey. Next, Su Lin then returned to the cave once again. As for the little lone wolf, it was considered to have stayed in the cave, and was considered to be one of the branches of the wolf pack. Originally, Su Lin had planned to lead the wolves in this area and live a leisurely life. But nowadays, with the great changes in heaven and earth, all sorts of abnormal natural phenomena are occurring frequently, and there's no telling what else will happen in the future. Therefore, it was imperative for the wolf pack to expand and grow in strength. The six carcasses of reindeer and two carcasses of horse deer had already been dragged back. Currently, Su Lin's physical strength needed to be rested and recovered. With his physical strength restored, not only would he hunt down that fey grizzly bear, but he would also expand the wolf pack territory further. By that time, from here to the ice, it would all be the dominion of the wolf pack. Ow, ow. Su Lin had just returned when he heard the two cubs, the wolf sister and the gray and white coyote, start fighting together again. Even the wolf sister took the initiative to challenge the polar bear cub, but the polar bear cub was in a new environment, and had been taken in by the wolves. It was obviously living very carefully, did not dare to make a sound, just howled lowly and huddled in the corner to concede. This caused the wolf sister to howl in excitement, thinking that the dominant polar bear that wolf mom had inadvertently mentioned in the past was nothing more than that. This scene made Su Lin couldn't help but shake his head. The wolf sister was already on the verge of being spoiled into a little devil by herself. However, the growth potential of polar bear cubs was terrifying, and they grew faster than the wolves. So the wolf sister who was still howling with excitement now could not say that she would no longer be a match for this polar bear cub in a few months. The current reserve food in the wolf pack far exceeded any previous moment. In the cave where Su Lin was alone, there were several hundred pounds of king fey iceworms, several hundred pounds of musk beef and moose meat, as well as the six caribou that had just been dragged back as well as two horse deer. The total amount of food was approaching 5,000 pounds. 
the food didn't rot in the frigid Arctic and could be stored for a long time. This food made it possible for the wolves to not have to worry even if they didn't go out hunting for the next year or two. Su Lin stretched his back, returned to his position, and began to lie down and rest. The color of the sky outside was also gradually darkening. Under the dark night, the whistling blizzard was still exerting its last remaining power. Chapter 108 The Wolves Are Pouring Out In Su Lin's rest, the polar bear cub's pair of dark brown eyes were also looking curiously at the many wolf clans in the wolf pack. Although it didn't understand the language of the wolves, it could feel that the atmosphere in the wolf pack was harmonious and didn't have the kind of brutal competition that it recognized. It was just that it was a polar bear, and it seemed like it was out of place here. But being taken in by the wolves did give it a sense of security, especially with the leadership of the white wolf. It was destined to mean that the wolf pack would be at the top of the entire Arctic food chain. Time passed quietly, and in a flash it was three days. During these three days, Su Lin's physical strength had already recovered to its peak. He had also planted the five seeds of the ice mountain lotus into a hidden crevice on a high mountain. This place doesn't see sunlight all year round, and it is cold and cold, which is also suitable for the ice mountain lotus to grow. As for whether it can grow out, or depends on luck and fortune, if it could grow, then it would be a stable source of huge evolutionary value. Not only would Su Lin benefit, the entire wolf pack would benefit. After all, the iceberg lotus's surging pure energy will allow a group of polar iceworms to evolve into a different species. Although it had the reason that the polar iceworms had a lower life level, there was no denying the powerful pure energy contained in the ice mountain lotus. In addition, Su Lin also gave the blood and flesh of the Fei Ice Worm King to the members of the wolf pack. By the way, he also let the two female wolves send 20 pounds of Ice Worm King blood meat to the little lone wolf, so that the little lone wolf could grow up quickly. Among the other members of the wolf pack, Little Grey had the most Ice Worm King's blood and meat, with a full 20 pounds. With the help of the surging energy in the Ice Worm King's flesh, it had successfully broken through to level 6, a level 6 Fei. It is very strong. Race, Arctic Wolf, Fei. Level, 6. Blood, 775. Endurance, 75. Strength, 72. Defense, 71. Speed, 73. Little Ash's current numerical attributes had already exceeded an ordinary level 7 Arctic Wolf. With Little Ash's current strength and battle power, it was thought that dealing with six or seven ordinary wolves would not be a problem anymore. After all, with its strong resistance to blows, it would be difficult for an ordinary wolf pack to bring down the already level six little gray. If it possessed the ferocity of a small lone wolf, then even exterminating a small wolf pack would not be a problem. In addition to little gray, cousin, wolf sister, gray and white coyote, and even little white, Su Lin had also distributed about 10 pounds of fey blood meat per member. These days, through eating the fey blood meat, their respective strengths had also made considerable progress, especially cousin. As an ordinary arctic wolf, the increase in strength brought about by eating fey blood meat was extremely significant. Now that she had reached the peak of level 5, it wouldn't take long for her to reach level 6. Female arctic wolves with level 6 attributes were extremely rare in the entire arctic, because female arctic wolves are at level 5. If they want to break through to level 6, they can only do so by devouring heavenly treasures or fey flesh and blood. Nowadays, the wolves had all made considerable progress, plus the snowstorm that was howling outside had finally stopped. It was time to take the wolves out and practice a bit. Ow! Oh. At this moment, Su Lin came to the entrance of the cave and let out a long howl, summoning all the members. This time, Su Lin led a wolf pack that poured out. The hunters in the vicinity of the cave had already been cleared out, and even if the entire wolf pack was all out, there was no need to worry about the food in the cave. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. The members of the wolf pack were also all very excited as they followed Su Lin around and raised their voices to the sky. Among them, Wolf Sister, Gray and White Coyote, Little White and Cousin, were all following the wolves as they prepared to go out and fight for the first time. This was all very exciting and thrilling for them. Su Lin led them down the mountain, and the whole six or seven wolf clans were currently acting quite powerfully together. But it was far from that, and as they arrived at the hunting territory, Su Lin let out a lone howl. After hearing the call, the little lone wolf also brought along two female wolves and flew furiously towards this side. Ever since the little lone wolf started to guard the second cave, its intelligence was not low, so it knew that Su Lin already had the idea of expansion. And this was precisely the time for it to reward the wolves and Su Lin, only hunting and attacking were its natural home turf. As the little lone wolf came running wildly, Su Lin also realized that the little lone wolf had broken through to level 6. It was just that Ash and little lone wolf, both failed to awaken their talents. It could be seen that it was possible that this thing called talent would only appear in level 10 or higher fey. Su Lin didn't have much regret. After all, they were both fey before the natural disaster. 
and their growth potential was terrifying. As long as they didn't die prematurely, they were destined to grow into Su Lin's right-hand man, and would also grow into a powerful party in the Arctic ice plains. After the little lone wolf and the two female wolves joined the wolf pack, the size instantly rose to 10 wolves. Such a wolf pack size was already considered a very strong wolf pack in the Arctic, but Su Lin wasn't satisfied. His golden brown wolf eye swept towards the wolf pack territory that had once been strongly suppressed by the phalanx. There were still three wolf packs there. All three of these wolf packs had also had a brief golden period of development after the extreme night. And, but just after their development, they were brutally suppressed by the phalanx. Then came a blizzard of natural disasters. This caused them, who were short of food, to break through the territorial boundaries from time to time, trying to poach some of the prey in Su Lin's territory. Because Su Lin's territory was closer to the south, it was warmer and richer in moss and grass. Naturally, there would be more large herbivorous races, so this was a fertile territory that attracted the wolves' attention. However, intruding into another wolf pack's territory was tantamount to naked provocation, so it was time for them to pay the price. Ow! With a low howl, the formation of the wolves slowly drew apart in the frigid Arctic. Ten wolves, plus a polar bear cub advanced steadily through the icy sky and snow. There were quite a few lynxes and stray lone wolves that smelled the wolves on the way, and when they saw this wolf pack, they all shivered a little, because the white wolf in the center was too large, beyond their imagination. Even the gray arctic wolves and the arctic wolves with gray purple fur that stood on the left and right had a size of 2 meters and 2-3 meters. Arctic wolves with such a size were deservedly at the level of head wolves in other wolf packs, there was even a fast darting polar bear cub in the wolf pack, which even shattered their previous perceptions. The wolves, on the way in, None of the hunters dared to come forward to provoke. Even when they came to the territory of the female grizzly bear, the female grizzly bear only stood at her den and looked at the wolves, then huddled back into the cave. Because the aura emanating from Su Lin's body was extremely strong, even that fey grizzly bear that often came to mate with him was as if it was inferior. Even besides the white wolf, even that gray arctic wolf and purple gray arctic wolf gave it a hint of danger. This caused it to just take a glance from afar and then hastily hide in its cave again not daring to come out. As it slowly advanced, the scent of the wolves also spread out in this area, also as if it was silently declaring who was the king of this area. Immediately after that, as they traveled, they soon reached the territory of the rest of the wolves to the north. Due to the fact that Su Lin, Little Grey, and Little Solitary Wolf hadn't covered their body odors at all. The, so just after coming in, they were greeted with a confrontation from this wolf pack. This wolf pack was the one that had been killed the most by the lynx. A wolf clan member had been killed and eaten by the lynx, and even the head wolf had half of its face torn apart by the lynx, but now the head wolf has recovered well from his injuries. Looking at this Surin wolf pack that came rashly, it bared its fangs and let out a wolf howl of repulsion and warning. However, just as the wolf howl had landed, the little lone wolf beside Su Lin was like a purple-gray lightning bolt that quickly rushed over. The ferocious aura on the wolf's body erupted violently. In the eyes of the little lone wolf, the moment this head wolf bared its fangs, it had already declared its death. Since his own boss wanted to expand, then those who dared to stand against him had to die. Chapter 109 Bloody Suppression The little lone wolf currently had a speed value of over 70, which was considered to be the peak speed of the wolf race, with a speed of up to 20 meters per second. It launched at full speed and pounced towards this head wolf. This head wolf did not expect to be faced with a life and death struggle, especially with the fierce flames rising up from the little lone wolf's body. It felt as if it had returned to the day when it faced the phalanx. Ow! This caused the head wolf, in a hasty howl, to summon the rest of the pack to face the enemy. However, as Little Grey, Cousin, and the four female wolves approached, it caused all of these wolves to let out whimpering low howls, not daring to go forward. This was because the aura emanating from the opposite wolves was too strong, as if they only had to move, it would be the end of their lives. Boom! The little lone wolf did not give this head wolf, a second chance to summon the wolves. He went up with a vicious pounce heading straight for the head wolf's throat, with the power of the charge from running wildly, coupled with the 70 plus strength value, little doctor had a crushing advantage over this head wolf, it directly pounced on the head wolf's entire body, and its sharp claws inflicted several bloody wounds on it, ow, ow, the head wolf fought back in a miserable howl, the four wolf claws were also stomping into the air, but the little lone wolf didn't give a damn about these lingering resistances, the, in its eyes, the best way to stop these resistances was to kill the other party, with the most ruthless means, with the most rapid speed to kill. Boom! Another vicious blow. The little lone wolf used its sharp claws to directly tear off the other side of this head wolf's face skin as well. Then the two front claws pressed this head wolf dead in place, and the sharp fangs began to recklessly tear into the head wolf's vitals. 
The eyes were bitten to pieces and swallowed into the stomach, and even half of the ears were bitten off. Even though the head wolf desperately tried to resist with its fangs, it was simply useless. In the end, the little lone wolf bit down on the head wolf's neck, then raised its head violently and directly tore down the head wolf's neck and windpipe. Instantly, blood burst out. The hair on the body of the little lone wolf was also dyed red in an instant. This head wolf could no longer howl, and its entire body was involuntarily convulsing. The head wolf that had ruled this area for many years had completely come to the end of its life. In those wolf eyes, there was a fear of death. Poof! As the little lone wolf spat out the throat trachea with hair, this head wolf also lost its color in its eyes and its body stopped twitching. Ow! After biting this head wolf to death, the, the little lone wolf, whose body was drenched in blood, let out a long whistle and looked towards the rest of the wolf clans across the street. The rest of the wolf clans all retreated in succession, their tails clamped tightly, not daring to make the slightest sound. Even though some of these wolf clans were the spouses and children of that head wolf, under the threat of death, none of the wolf clans dared to bare their teeth again, because if they bared their teeth, they would most likely end up in the same situation as the head wolf, with their blood staining the ice and snow. As the little lone wolf whistled once again, these surviving wolf clans all trembled and prostrated themselves on the ground, beginning to show their loyalty. The little lone wolf was only a bee wolf in the wolf pack, and could only lead the wolf pack to hunt and fight against the enemy. However, it would never dare to accept such a thing as the rest of the wolf clan showing their loyalty, because accepting it would be the same as provoking Su Lin's position. Therefore, after watching a group of wolves prostrate themselves on the ground, it silently retreated back to the wolves. Next, Su Lin walked over to the group of wolves and looked at the remaining wolves. There were a total of five wolves, and there was also an underage coyote. He directly walked up and slapped the coyote that was only about a year old. This coyote looked to be the pup of the head wolf, with the resentment of having killed his closest relative still lingering in his eyes. For this kind of cub, no matter if it was Su Lin or another wolf pack, they would directly kill it. This little wolf didn't even wail a single time before it was directly slapped into a blurry mass of flesh by Su Lin's thick wolf claws, and the blood flowed uncontrollably and dyed the ice and snow below. Ow! Oh, this scene caused the mother coyote to go completely berserk. Its eyes pounced towards Su Lin with incomparable resentment, a resentment that had caused it to forget the huge gap between the two sides. If it was according to the usual practice of the wolf tribe, the female wolves that went crazy would just be taught a lesson. After all, they were waiting for the tragic loss of their pups. After all, when the grief of losing a pup passes, the female wolf will become the main force of the wolf pack's fertility when she starts to come into heat again. But Su Lin's eyes just flashed a trace of ice cold. He did not have time to teach this female wolf. In the cruel icy sky and snow, he had to use the shortest possible speed to completely subjugate these wolves. So anyone who dares to resist must die. This was the only way to establish supreme authority in their hearts. Boom! Su Lin's wolf claws directly swept across, and his sharp claws were like cutting tofu, completely cutting the female wolf's neck, and blood recklessly gushed out from the female wolf's neck. The female wolf, who had an incomparable expression of indignation in her eyes, was unable to react in time, and only felt her body lighten up collapsing on the spot. Only after the female wolf's head fell to the ground did its consciousness completely dissipate into the air. As for Su Lin, he was still standing in place with calm eyes, scrutinizing these three remaining wolf races. Barely, the corpse of the female wolf was still gushing blood. This sound was the most terrifying and shattering sound to the heart's defenses for the three remaining wolf clans. They were on the verge of burying their wolf heads in the ice and snow, their tails were clamped in death, and their entire wolf bodies were trembling uncontrollably. Originally, they thought that the gray purple furred arctic wolf was already ruthless enough, but now they realized that the one who was really ruthless was this huge white wolf. Life and death were all at his whim. After calmly watching the three wolves for a moment, and realizing that there was no thought of resistance at all, only then did Su Lin let out a low howl, signaling the little lone wolf to receive them and lead them on towards the next wolf pack. The wolf whistled at the North Pole. This time, Su Lin wanted to truly dominate this area. After he unified this area, the wolf pack territory would also reach a staggering one, 800 square kilometers. If he counted Papa Wolf's territory, it would reach 3, 000 square kilometers. It could be said to have reached the size of a city. With such a large territory, as long as there weren't too many prey deaths in the territory, it would be possible to raise a large wolf pack with hundreds of wolves. Ow! Accompanied by the little lone wolf's long whistling sound, it started to lead the three wolf clans that had just defected to the next wolf pack. Chapter 110, The Wolves Grow in Strength. It was a day when the whistling blizzard had completely stopped, and it was also a day when the wolves expanded greatly. Many species in this area, smelled the wolves. However, 
All the hunters looked at the growing wolf pack and could only put their fangs and sharp claws away completely, creeping on the snowy ground, not daring to make the slightest sound. The large herbivore races, on the other hand, were all showing uneasiness in their eyes, especially some lone wolves and lynxes, are even more terrified. In the past, this area was chaotic, with ten or so hunters' territories that intertwined with each other. So they wandered in this area and were still able to eat some leftovers, and with a bit of luck they were even able to snatch some fresh food. But once the wolf pack under this white wolf's command completely dominated this area, then in the future, they could only wander further away or submit to the wolf pack. There was no third way. Want to rebel against the wolves? Not to mention the four-meter-sized majestic white wolf. Just the few ethereal wolves in the pack alone were not something they could resist. Currently, with three new wolves joining the pack, Su Lin's wolf pack had grown to 13 wolves, which made the wolf pack even more furious. The little lone wolf, who was rising with ferocious flames, led the three newly joined wolves and took the lead in attacking the remaining two wolf packs. After a bloody suppression and slaughter, the two wolf packs submitted with fear. In the cruel world of nature, there was nothing too complicated. Whoever is strong is the king. The head wolves of both wolf packs were bitten to death by the little lone wolf. The last head wolf was very strong not too far from the original wolf father, both located at the peak of level 6. Similarly, it was also brave and good at fighting, and had a lot of battle experience. But in the end, it was still unable to defeat the ferocious little lone wolf, and after a dozen or so rounds of exchanges, it was torn apart by the little lone wolf's eyes. Without the aid of eyesight, he immediately fell behind. Soon was small lone wolf bit off the throat. A generation of head wolves that once reigned supreme in the arctic ice plains came to an end but perhaps still having deep feelings for the previous head wolf. The entire wolf pack didn't want to accept Su Lin's annexation, setting off a fierce resistance. Su Lin didn't make a move, but just quietly watched the fight between the wolves. At the same time, it was also to let all the wolves under his command see blood. It saved them from having empty strength that they couldn't utilize at all when the time came for a real bloodbath. Ow, ow, ow. In this last wolf clan annexation battle, even the wolf sister and the gray and white coyote went deep into the battlefield. Although the strength of the two of them was not inferior to that of a level 4 arctic wolf, they were hindered by the fact that they hadn't really experienced a life and death bloodbath between the wolf clans, resulting in the two of them joining forces to just barely be able to hold on to a level 4 female arctic wolf, the degree of combat power pulling crotch, then the little grey also had more than not. However, Su Lin didn't say anything, these were all expected, the wolves fought for a long time, and finally, after biting three of the other party's arctic wolves to death, and after the rest of the wolves had all been injured, these wolf members whimpered. Only then did these wolf tribe members whimper and howl lowly as they fell to the ground and began to show their submission. After submitting, Su Lin still let the little lone wolf bite to death two of the wolves that resisted the most fiercely. This was to give the rest of the wolf clan another sign of authority. Only the most ruthless, only the most ruthless means could deter this group of wolves that were used to fighting for their lives. Now that he had annexed two more wolf packs, the wolf packs under Su Lin's command, the strength of the wolves under Su Lin's command had grown to 21. This number didn't sound like much, but in the Arctic ice plains, it was already considered an extremely large wolf pack. He redivided the wolf pack. The bee wolves in the wolf pack were still little gray, little lone wolf and cousin. The original four female wolves of the wolf pack were all divided under cousin's command this time, serving as the patrol mission of the wolf pack's territory, and just reporting to cousin on a daily basis. This made the four female wolves wail and howl lowly so they tacitly followed behind their cousin, little gray, wolf sister, gray and white coyote, and polar bear cub, on the other hand, followed by their own side, the most Su Lin's personal wolf clan, all four of them were fey. Now, although their combat power wasn't too obvious, with the growth of time, they would eventually become the mainstay of the wolf pack, the rest of the wolves were all under the little solitary wolf's command, a total of 11 wolves, it could be said that half of the wolves were under the command of the little lone wolf, this was a supreme honor. This caused the little lone wolf to be so surprised that it kept lying at Su Lin's feet to show its loyalty. Among the eleven wolves, there was an arctic wolf that had reached level six, five male wolves that had reached level five, and the rest were all level four wolves. Their overall strength was not bad, and with little lone wolf leading them, they were already considered to be a powerful wolf pack that could traverse the arctic ice plains. In the future, it would be used as the main force to carry out missions. Next, Su Lin brought them to delineate their wolf pack's territories, and summarize the territories of the two dead polar bears. The territory of the wolf pack had officially reached a staggering one, 800 kilometers. Su Lin also scanned the prey in the territory. It was discovered that not many large herbivores had survived the brutal blizzard. Currently, 
there were only two scattered moose herds, one horse deer herd, one musk ox herd, and three reindeer herds, which were the prey that had survived in his hunting territory by and large. These prey were also all weak from hunger, and were looking for moss and scrub grass that hadn't yet been covered to eat in the snow-covered ice and snow. For this batch of prey, Su Lin gave the little lone wolf an order not to hunt for the time being. With the arrival of the polar day, the moss and grass began to grow rapidly, waiting for these prey to grow a little stronger. Since there weren't many prey, it was important to maximize the food. Along the way, Su Lin was also looking for signs of the fey grizzly bear. However, he didn't find it, and could see that the fey grizzly bear should be hiding somewhere. This caused Su Lin's golden brown wolf eyes to have a hint of ferocity in them. If this fey grizzly bear wasn't removed, it was equivalent to a hidden danger. He gave the wolves an order to pay attention to any bears that might appear in the territory and its vicinity. Come to the cave and report once you find them. Su Lin didn't ask the wolves to search for the fey grizzly bear on a wide scale, because the fey grizzly bears were too strong. Once they met it, even if little lone wolf led eleven wolf clans, they would have to die. This had been starkly proven when Su Lin had once fought against that large wolf pack. Even if the number of wolves in the pack was large, without a strong wolf clan that could truly play a role in holding them back, then one could only rely on the life of a single wolf clan to drain the other party's stamina. Although the little lone wolf was also a fey, if he wanted to hold back that grizzly bear, at least he would have to be promoted to level 10 and have the talent to have that qualification. Aside from the fey grizzly bear, the rest of the bears were already difficult to pose a threat to the wolves. Chapter 111 Reinforced Spine Fey claims the top spot, request for subscription, especially with the ferocious little lone wolf leading them. They could even round up ordinary grizzly bears, with little lone wolf's sharp claws and fangs as a fey. It could already break through the defenses at the weak points of ordinary grizzly bears, coupled with little doctor's level 6 fey speed. It had also surpassed ordinary grizzly bears, which was enough to play a holding effect. Just the grizzly bears in this area. Su Lin didn't intend to kill them all. After reorganizing his territory, Su Lin returned to the cave with the wolves. Naturally, he also let little lone wolf lead the eleven newly joined wolves to another cave. There were also quite a few reserve grains there. Enough for the wolves to eat for a long time. And Su Lin also brought the remaining wolves back to the cave. After returning, the wolf sister and the gray and white coyote, due to experiencing life and death combat for the first time, also felt their inadequacies. Without their usual liveliness, they began to lie down quietly in their place. And cousin, due to being in charge of four female wolves under her command, in addition to the vigilance task, she also also lowly howled and arranged the patrol time and range of the female wolves. As for the cousin's mother, she was also quietly squatting in front of the cousin and listening to the instructions. After all, the wolf clan is honored by the strongest, and there is even a strict hierarchy in the wolf pack. Even if it was the cousin's mother, besides being intimate in private, she still had to maintain her reverence for the ethereal wolf. And after Su Lin came back, he was the one who once again began to devour the iceworm king in large mouthfuls. During this period of time, he had eaten a total of 60 to 70 pounds of iceworm king's meat. In total, he had gained 800 or so points of evolutionary value, and his evolutionary value had been cut to a minimum. But even if it was the lowest, eating a bite had 3 points of evolution value, and eating a meal could gain 70 to 80 evolution value. After eating about 10 pounds, he let out a low howl and gave some fey flesh to a few cubs and his cousin. The four female wolves, on the other hand, were left to eat some moose meat. With four female wolves, there wasn't much growth potential left, so wasting fey blood meat wasn't necessary. At this time, Su Lin returned to his position and began to study the rewards he obtained when he killed the iceworm king. Naturally, there was no need to mention the evolution potion, and he also obtained a strengthening serum as well as a copy of the poison-type talent serum that had been refined from the devouring essence part. Although the Iceworm King's poisonous mist had no effect on himself, it didn't mean that the poison-type talent wasn't strong. On the contrary, the poison-type talent was strong to the point of being perverse. Using weakness to overcome strength was the regular operation of the poison-type talent. However, Su Lin didn't plan to use it for the time being, because with his strong strength, poison-type talent could only serve as icing on the cake for himself. He thought of giving this poison type talent serum to his cousin or wolf sister to use in the future. This would drastically increase their battle power. And the thing that made Su Lin feel most useful was the strengthening serum. He had first experienced the extreme pain of strengthening his heart, and then the pain of destruction and rebirth at the bottom of an iceberg crevice. Therefore, he already had a superb tolerance for the pain caused by the strengthening serum. What part will be strengthened this time? Su Lin naturally wished to strengthen the brain but he also knew that it was only an extremely small probability. However, with more and more strengthening serums in the future, sooner or later, 
the entire body would be strengthened one by one. By that time, that time, it was hard to imagine just how strong he would be. Ding, is the strengthening serum being used? Use. Su Lin lightly said that, having already used the strengthening serum multiple times, he just quietly endured it after that familiar rolling energy appeared. This rolling energy was in the wolf's body, and it traveled around for a few moments. Then it surged into his back. HM, back, spine. Su Lin's eyes lit up. The spine was likewise extremely important to the wolf race. This time, strengthening the spine, he thought that it would also enhance his battle power by a lot. At this moment, after the hot energy surged in, the thick spine on the back of Su Lin's huge wolf body also felt a sharp pain. Just this pain was nothing to the current him. The hot energy began to scorch the bones, bone marrow, and even every linked tendon of the spine. The spine, which had long ago experienced a destruction and rebirth at the bottom of the iceberg crack, also once again ushered in a new breakthrough. Under the scorching hot energy, the spinal bone emitted a faint glittering light. It was only after about an hour or so that the scalding energy slowly disappeared, and the faint fluorescent light on the spine gradually converged. A brilliant light also flashed in Su Lin's eyes. He could feel that he had gotten stronger again this time. The spine was an important bone for the wolf race to carry and transmit explosive power, and the enhancement that came from a successful strengthening was obvious. Su Lin felt explosive power all over his body, and was able to utilize it more easily. Boom! With a vicious slap, he struck a boulder in the cave directly smashing the boulder into pieces. With such attack power and destructive force, it wasn't too much to say that a phrase like opening a monument and cracking a stone was not an overstatement. Phew! After feeling this terrifying attack power, Su Lin let out a long breath. Name, Su Lin. Species, Arctic Wolf. Gene level, I. Level, 11. Upgrading requires 20. 000 evolution points. Blood, 2100. Endurance, 200. Strength, 230. Defense, 240. Speed, 330. Evolution, 6308. Talent, Hunting, C Rank, Healing, B Rank. A new attribute panel appeared before his eyes. Su Lin found that after strengthening the spine, all of the attribute properties increased except for defense and endurance, which didn't increase. The spine was truly worthy of being the most important bone of the wolf race. Among them, strength was the biggest boost, directly increasing by 50 points. Speed increased by 30 points and blood value increased by 300 points. Such an increase was also definitely considered a strength surge. Su Lin's strength value had increased to 230, which meant that the attack power of his right claw would reach a terrifying 340 points or so. Such an attack power surpassed the bear race by a full two or three times. The force of one of his claws going down nowadays could reach several tons, combined with the wolf claws that were sharp to the extreme. It was already considered indestructible. His speed soared to 330 points, also reaching a speed of around 110 meters per second. After opening the hunting talent, it would reach over 200 meters per second. It was important to know that even the top human warplanes flew at a speed of only a thousand or so meters per second, and Su Lin possessed one-fifth of its speed, and it was still a complex terrain of land. The terrain was complicated. On top of that, Su Lin also possessed numerous hidden battle powers added to his body. The, the snow lord's eyesight, the bear tribe's sense of smell, the birds gliding, the fish's ability to adapt to water, the wolf tribe's hearing, the lynx's agility, and the polar ice bug's cold resistance. So now, his comprehensive sensory power is so strong that it's outrageous. Battle power was also terrifying to an extreme, and when looking at the entire Arctic, it was hard to find an opponent. Even if there is an alien species, it can only be reduced to rations on his evolutionary path. But today, after touring the territory, he didn't find a single fey, which made Su Lin slightly disappointed. It could be seen that even with the great change in heaven and earth, Fei were extremely rare. This caused Su Lin to grind his teeth slightly. The only thing he could be sure of at the moment was that Fei grizzly bear. So if he wanted to obtain a huge amount of evolutionary value, then finding the Fei grizzly bear was still imperative. In the midst of Su Lin's thoughts, time also quietly passed. And at this time, within a few months, the human alliance, which had already established dozens of human fortresses, had ushered in an even more horrifying variety of natural disasters. This natural disaster was like the end of the world. The horrible cold stream from the North Pole, the mountainous areas were overturned by flash floods and earthquakes, and the tsunami swept by various oceans. These natural disasters made the human beings burnt out, and a lot of small countries were perished in the natural disasters. Even some large kingdoms were severely damaged. Even the beasts and plants everywhere, some of which had gained super-evolution, began to attack humans. There were rumors that a bloodthirsty python had been seen in India, which was invulnerable to knives and guns, 
with the size of a hundred meters, and took humans as its blood meal. There are also rumors that on the African continent, a pride of lions has gathered hundreds of male lions and nearly a thousand female lions, and has dominated the entire African grasslands. There are even rumors that in the southern border of Siberia, there has been an invincible tiger, extremely fast, invincible strength, once faced with hundreds of hunters with hot weapons roundup, still killed out of the siege. There is also the accident of the submarine transmitter, the last message back to the bottom of the sea, encountered a huge sea monster, and said that human beings should never come to the bottom of the sea again. Others said that they had seen a huge tree in the rainforest that was covered with human skin. All sorts of rumors flying all over the sky, so that the human world is full of fear and anxiety. Many people are huddled in the human fortress, do not dare to take a step forward. And the Union of Scientists also finally researched these animal and plant mutations some clues. It was a special elemental force that was released from these natural disasters. This elemental force unsealed the sleeping gene power in each species, making the best of each species obtaining a superb genetic evolution. But this elemental power, which no one in the entire scientific community can decipher, seems to be beyond the knowledge of science. And among humans, there were also the best of the best who unsealed the sleeping genes. Eventually, the scientific community named these species that had unsealed their genes as behemoths, strange flowers, exotic trees, and new humans. Various forces began to call for the recruitment of these new humans who had unsealed their genes. On top of that, they also decided to organize the strongest forces to capture those unsealed genes of giant beasts, strange flowers, and exotic trees. However, with the great changes in heaven and earth, the satellite signals were disorganized all over the world, and the real high-tech weapons were feed for the most part. Facing these creatures that had unsealed their genes, none of the major powers were sure of victory. One side is the latest genetic power, and the other side is the power of human technology. No one knows what kind of intense sparks will be touched. Chapter 112, Visiting the Wolf Father, Encountering the Fae Again. The polar day had completely descended, and without night, the entire Arctic ice plain was shrouded in eternal light. The soft sunlight shone in every corner of the icy sky and snow. As the blizzard stopped, the cold current that was raging across the land also finally gradually dissipated. The large herbivorous races also came out from under the stone walls of the caves where they were hiding to forage for food. After the wolves under Su Lin's command had completely unified this area, one after another. There were seven stray lone wolves seeking to join the wolf pack, because if they didn't join the wolf pack, they could only be expelled and face new wanderings, even with the onset of extreme weather and the passing of the blizzard, but faced with new strays, the death rate will still skyrocket, under the trend of the desire to survive, these wolves all prostrated themselves and offered their loyalty to the pack, after Su Lin checked them out, most of them were level 4 or level 5 arctic wolves, but the wolves at this level also had preliminary combat power, so they were all accepted, he also picked two female wolves with peak level 4 combat power and joined his cousin's command. After all, with the expansion of the territory, using four female wolves to patrol was already too much. Currently, there were 16 wolves under Little Lone Wolf's command, and six female wolves patrolling the territory under her cousin's command. Such a size of wolf pack was already powerful in the Arctic. These past few days, the terrifying growth potential of the polar bear cubs had also come to the fore. Having just eaten about 20 pounds of fey flesh and blood, they had broken through to level 3, and were truly no less than level 4 arctic wolves when they fought. From this, it can be seen that as time grows, Little White's combat power will increase with each passing day. The genes of the bear race were inherently stronger, and growing fast was expected by Su Lin. However, when the Ice Mountain Lotus really grows out, with the pure energy overflowing from the Ice Mountain Lotus, I think all the members of the wolf pack will see a rapid growth. In addition to the wolf pack's strength further increasing, during this period of time, Su Lin naturally searched for traces of the fey grizzly bear. In the end, he didn't find any traces of this grizzly bear, which, this caused Su Lin to feel some remorse. He didn't expect this fey grizzly bear to be so lifethirsty. If he had known that when he first encountered it, he would have had to kill it even if he had to use a recovery potion, because it was a fey grizzly bear, with a body size of more than 4 meters, almost 5 meters. It had at least several thousand pounds of fey flesh and blood, as well as level 18 fey essence. If he swallowed it, he would conservatively have more than a thousand points of evolutionary value and a gift serum. But Su Lin didn't have too many regrets. After all, as long as that fey grizzly bear was in the North Pole, there would eventually be a time to meet again. On top of that, Cousin also reported to herself with a low howl that the outskirts of the wolf's territory had also recently hidden a group of other wolves. And these wolves were not wandering lone wolves, but many of them were small packs of three or five wolves. These wolves are not wandering lone wolves. Many of them are small packs of three to five wolves 
and they even collaborate with each other. Even the small lone wolf led a dozen or so wolf clans under his command, and they didn't manage to do anything to them. These wolves were not afraid of little solitary wolf, nor were they afraid of the dozen or so wolves under little solitary wolf's command. With little Dr. Wolf's current level of battle power and ferocity, it was at the crushing level for ordinary wolf clans. But after returning this time, Su Lin clearly noticed that little Dr. Wolf had some trauma on his body. This caused Su Lin to raise his head and look to the west, and a flash of light flashed through a pair of golden brown wolf eyes. He knew that this was the vanguard of that large wolf pack to the west. That large wolf pack, after the blizzard, had once again begun their strong expansion. Even Su Lin suspected that there was no lack of other wolf races in that large wolf pack that had evolved into Fei. After all, the number of wolves in that large wolf pack was so large that it could be said to be the most numerous in a 2 to 300 mile radius. In this area, there were only 3 to 400 wolves in total, and the large wolf pack would occupy at least one third of the number. This number was very impressive, and it was reasonable for one or two wolves with exceptional talent to evolve into a different species. Due to the threat of the large wolves, Su Lin planned to move to see Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom. This was because Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom's territorial range was the closest to that large wolf pack, and it was also the place where conflicts were most likely to occur. But right after, Su Lin had just walked about a few kilometers towards Wolf Dad's cave. Suddenly, he vaguely heard a noisy wolf howl coming from Wolf Dad's side of the territory. Su Lin's hearing had become extremely amazing since his entire body had been remodeled at the bottom of the iceberg crevice. He sidled his wolf head then opened the layer of film in his ears completely, enough to hear any sound within a range of more than 10 kilometers. This was hearing that far exceeded the limits of living creatures, and Su Lin's territory and Wolf Dad's cave were only about 20 kilometers apart. Finally, he could probably hear that noisy wolf howl clearly. It was the sound of wolves commanding in bloodshed, which caused Su Lin's eyes to sink slightly. The speed of hundreds of meters per second was completely adjusted to its peak at this moment. Could it really be that there's a conflict with that large wolf pack? Su Lin was a little worried about Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom, because even though Wolf Dad had advanced into a fae, the wolf pack under his command would definitely not be a match for that large wolf pack. He was afraid that Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom would suffer. This caused Su Lin to not gather the wolves at all and dash towards the source of the sound alone. His speed was like a white lightning bolt. Su Lin was about 20 kilometers away from the place where the noisy wolves were howling. This wasn't a short distance, and a normal species would need at least a few hours to migrate 20 kilometers but at Su Lin's current peak speed, this distance only took about 3 minutes. 3 minutes, it wasn't a very long time. After arriving, he was standing on top of a snowy slope, and what met his eyes was clearly the wolf pack led by Wolf Dad. The equally snow white fur of the Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom was conspicuous amongst the many wolf clans. Ow, between the wolf father's wild whistles, he was commanding the wolf pack to charge. Only the object of the charge slightly relieved Su Lin, because it was a large group of musk oxen, with more than 20 heads. It could be seen that the wolf father had not been idle after the blizzard. He started to take advantage of the musk ox herd's weakest moment to start a roundup. Wolf Dad's current strength had already reached the peak of level 7. Plus he was a fae. Coupled with the fact that he was still a fae, this strength was enough to pose a great threat to the musk ox herd. Wolf Mom, who commanded the wolves from the flanks of the musk ox herd, was also very athletic, and her body was very strong. Was also very athletic. Su Lin swept a glance and found that after feeding on the fey blood and meat he had sent, the wolf mom had finally reached level 6, a level 6 female arctic wolf. This was extremely rare in the entire arctic wolf population. As her strength grew, the wolf mom's prestige obviously grew as well. Between low howls, many of the wolves behind her charged at the musk ox herd without any hesitation. The tactics of wolf dad and wolf mom were commonly used amongst the wolves. After the attack, they split the battlefield and then concentrated their superior force to kill the single prey in one fell swoop. It was just obvious that this time, the wolves split the battlefield and fought very hard. Moo, moo, moo. With the musk ox herd's frantic resistance, several attacks by the wolves were completely dispersed. Even after Wolf Dad led the charge, they were all toppled back by the musk ox leader's strong charge. Relying on his speed value of over 80, Wolf Dad was able to thrillingly dodge the musk ox leader's strike. However, after Papa Wolf dodged through, the musk ox leader's remaining strength did not stop and, boom, boom, with the force of a vicious charge, it smashed two huge piles of ice and snow in a row before stopping, then it raised its head, and its deep purple cow eyes, with a look of disdain, swept towards the entire wolf pack, this musk ox leader was obviously a bit overpowered, which was the main reason why wolf dad and wolf mom failed in their several charges, the musk ox leader had a huge body of 3 meters, and his body exuded the aura of a strong man, seeing this scene, Su Lin couldn't help but see a light before his eyes. With a thought, 
he quickly pulled out the numerical attributes of the musk ox leader. Species, musk ox, fay. Level, 11. Blood, 2785. Endurance, 139. Strength, 131. Defense, 129. Speed, 78. Talent, Savage Punch, D-Rank. Fay. It's really a fay. Ha ha. It's not hard to find a place to get it. Su Lin's expression was instantly delighted. Currently, only the fay could allow him to obtain a large amount of evolutionary value. And fay blood and flesh could also allow the wolves to obtain a sharp increase in strength. This muskox leader had a huge body size of 3 meters and definitely weighed as much as a ton. Once it was slaughtered, it was equal to a not so small harvest. The fay grizzly bear had searched for such a long time without finding it, but came across a fay musk ox. In the Arctic, where the number of species is not large, the probability of fay appearing is extremely low, and everyone that appears is not a small harvest. Because in the present era after the great change of heaven and earth, the blood and flesh of ordinary species could only ensure the survival of the wolves. Only the blood and flesh of the fay species was the real hard currency. Ow. Oh. With this in mind, Su Lin let out a long whistle. The rough and loud wolf howl instantly echoed in the sky above this icy land. At the same time, the aura on his body was no longer restrained and suppressed, and it began to boil up recklessly. Since he had come across it, he would nonchalantly take it. After Su Lin's aura, which was rapidly rising up all over his body, the, the wolves led by the wolf father were also all panicked as they all raised their heads toward Su Lin on the snowy slope high above. When that huge size of 4 meters appeared in the light blue wolf eyes of the many wolves, a, Many of the wolf clans that hadn't seen Su Lin a few times were obviously alarmed. It was because the aura that Su Lin had on him now was too strong and terrifying. It was simply not something they could fight against. Facing this Fei Musk Ox leader, the wolves still had the confidence to fight. But facing Su Lin, they even felt that even fleeing was a luxury. The old members of the wolf pack, who had once been in the pack, all responded with a long howl when they smelled the familiar odor of Su Lin's body. And when the wolf parents saw their own pup size, which had grown several times larger, on the high slope, they all had shock and surprise in their eyes, then the wolf howls, rising and falling, resounded under the cold sky, chapter 113, beheading the musk ox, as for the musk ox leader that was just now looking askance, after seeing the tall and majestic white wolf on top of the snowy slope, the look of disdain in its eyes, after seeing the tall and majestic white wolf on top of the snowy slope, the look of disdain in its eyes, which had a not so low level of intelligence, also turned into panic, what happened to this world? When did the wolf tribe become so terrifying? Originally, it was already not easy for him to leave his pack to survive under that heavily disaster-like blizzard. It did not want to die here. Any species in nature had an extremely strong desire to survive. And no species would willingly become a blood meal in someone else's mouth. In the blizzard of the natural disaster, the musk ox leader managed to survive by gnawing on the bodies of its frozen companions, and even gained a powerful strength. At first it was a bit inflated. Looking at its horns that had become sharper and feeling the explosive power within it, thinking that it could be the king of this icy land. But just a few days after stepping out of the cave, this musk ox leader suffered a gray and white mixed color arctic wolf's drive in the west. The strength of that arctic wolf is still fresh in the musk ox leader's mind. With just one claw, one of its mates was directly disemboweled and blood was scattered all over the place. So it suffered a cruel reality blow, forced to take the race group from the west to migrate here. After coming here for two days, Although the wolves here weren't weak either, there was simply no one enemy for it. This allowed the musk ox leader to finally find a trace of existence, and it felt that it could lead the pack to flourish in this area. But it never expected that a white wolf with such a terrifying aura would appear today, and its sixth sense frantically signaled the alarm, even stronger than last time. This proved that this tall and majestic white wolf was even stronger. This caused it to run wildly towards its own pack, as if only the pack it led could provide it with a trace of security. But just as it was running fast and furious, out of the corner of its eye, it saw that the white wolf on top of the snowy slope moved. It was like the wind and like a phantom. The musk ox leader couldn't describe what kind of speed that was. But this kind of speed had brought out gusts of loud harsh whistles that resounded from the friction of the air. Moo! After seeing the speed of this white wolf, the musk ox leader knew that it might not be able to return to the pack. It quickly stopped and shook its incomparably sharp horns. Then a low cow roar also resounded through this heaven and earth. The musk ox clan brought out the bravery in their bones. Let them know that when facing the hunters hunting, they were not willing to lead their necks to be killed. They want to use their sharp horns to fight to the death with the hunter. But the white wolf still has no intention of stopping. From the snowy slope to here, a distance of 3 to 400 meters, this white wolf only used the blink of an eye to arrive in front of him. This makes the musk ox leader's pair of deep purple ox eyes flashed a trace of ruthlessness, shaking the sharp ox horn toward the white shadow ruthlessly crashed. 
but before it could charge, it only felt a huge force that was so strong that it was unimaginable, instantly striking its bull's head. Boom! This force erupted violently, sending the musk ox's heavy body flying directly backwards over a dozen meters. The sharp wolf claws also instantly broke through the musk ox's flesh, leaving several bloody scratches on the skull. The scratches were deep into the skull. The skull of a musk ox was extremely hard, and the musk ox that had evolved into a fey species, the musk ox that had evolved into a fey, the hardness of its skull was even beyond steel. However, Su Lin's wolf claw still made a two-fingered deep scratch. This blow, if it was an ordinary musk ox would have already been killed, but this musk ox leader that crashed down on the ice and snow ground, by virtue of the fey's strong impact resistance, even though the skull was hit so hard, even though the blood and plasma spilled out from the inside of the skull, it even struggled to fight again, but it unexpectedly struggled and climbed up from the icy ground once again, what came out of the bull's nose was no longer air, but blood, a pair of bull's eyes were also red like blood, at this moment, this musk ox was truly like a bull-headed evil spirit that crawled out of hell, the musk ox leader could feel the chi and blood and life in his body frantically draining away, and he knew that he would not survive, one strike, just one strike, the musk ox leader, who had just been so powerful that the entire wolf pack under wolf dad's command had shunned it, had become this bloody and horrible appearance. This caused the entire wolf pack, even the wolf father's and mother's eyes to look at their own cubs, to be filled with shock and awe. They couldn't imagine the strength of their own cubs, what kind of level it had reached, but it was clear that this strength had already exceeded their knowledge. This was a kind of invincible strength that had never appeared in the Arctic ice plains before. Moo! But the musk ox leader was not willing to die in obscurity like this. The closer it was to death, the more frantic it became. It gave up all of its concerns and hope for survival, only to fight to the death. At this moment, a glittering white light emanated from its body, and then immediately followed by the white light converging into its body. The, this white light suppressed the pain coming from its skull, and its bull eyes once again brought out the color of unrelenting determination. The bull's hooves stepped on the snow, stamping out deep hoof prints one after another on the icy ground. Then it violently launched a final charge toward Su Lin. Even if it died, it would die on the way to the charge. Savage charge. This musk ox opened its talent as it was dying. The musk ox's original speed surged to more than 40 meters per second, and even its charging power increased a lot. But this speed was still too slow for Su Lin. With a flash, he dodged this dying blow from the musk ox, and then his sharp wolf claws ruthlessly smashed into the musk ox's side abdomen. Boom. This strike broke open the musk ox leader's defense, revealing the internal organs and intestines inside. The tremendous impact caused it to be knocked out once again even though it had its talent turned on. The musk ox leader noiselessly reappeared from the icy ground, struggling to get up, blood and intestines scattered on the ground. But before it could stand still, Su Lin appeared in front of him again like a gust of wind. Boom! Another blow. This blow cut off a small half of its entire cow's head, and the blood and brains were splattering uncontrollably. Quite a lot of it splashed onto Su Lin's fur. The phase vitality was tenacious to the extreme. The links of the first time, even though its entire body had been drained of blood, still fought with its own blood for more than a dozen hits before it died completely. The second time the polar ice worm king was cut, severed all of its mouthparts and was still writhing and resisting. This time, the fey musk ox had its skull shattered, was disemboweled, and even had a small piece of its head cut off still alive. The fey musk ox was still making its final attack. It wasn't willing to go down like this, it hadn't even touched it yet. It didn't even touch the white wolf yet a pair of blood-red cow eyes staring at the white wolf. The fey musk ox attacked again, but its attack was already weak and feeble. Even though the sharp bull's horn reached Su Lin's shoulder, it didn't even manage to make him shake a little. In Su Lin's cold eyes, his sharp wolf claws directly stabbed into the fey musk ox's throat, and then his fangs bit down on the musk ox's remaining skull. The strength in his body violently exploded and, tear, a sound of flesh and blood being torn apart. He gave this fey musk ox a painful blow, and directly tore off the huge ox head. Raw, the blood from the musk ox's neck immediately splashed out like a fountain a full two or three feet high. The hair on Su Lin's wolf head was also dyed bright red. Even though the fey musk ox was no longer willing, its cow eyes had permanently lost their color. That huge body of three meters also fell to the ground with a loud crash of blood and ice and snow, splashing in the air. At this moment, Su Lin, who was drenched in blood, not only looked like a blood-colored demon in the musk ox herd, even the entire wolf pack led by Wolf Dad couldn't help but take a few steps backward as Su Lin raised his head and swept his eyes. In Su Lin's eyes, there was no longer shock, but awe. The strong were honored. This was the eternal law of the great natural world that had remained unchanged for ages. The strong aura on Su Lin's body was also rising uncontrollably on the icy sky and snowy ground. 
when his golden brown wolf eyes once again gazed icily at the entire musk ox herd. The musk ox herd was no longer able to resist the oppressive force, nor could they suppress the panic and fear in their hearts. When the degree of ferocity and viciousness exceeded the boundaries of tolerance, then there was no species that would not be afraid. Even the musk oxen that were known to be the most courageous were likewise so, they began to run in all directions. At this moment, the musk ox herd had already forgotten what a formation was and what a cub was. What they had in their not-so-high IQ was completely fear of that white wolf. Run. Frantically running. Just to seek the chance to survive. Now that the musk ox formation was completely scattered, it was the perfect time for the wolves to hunt. Seeing that the wolf father had not moved, Su Lin gave a long howl as a reminder. Only then did the awestruck wolf father come back to his senses and began to lead the wolves to quickly rush towards the musk ox group. And at this moment, Su Lin also felt elated for having killed this fey musk ox. Ha ha, it definitely has a weight of over a ton. After dropping this huge bull's head, he was very satisfied with the results of his hunt this time. With the flesh and blood of a fey musk ox, he would definitely be able to obtain a generous amount of evolutionary value. When the time came to give the wolf parents another hundred or two hundred pounds of fey blood meat, it would also be enough for their strength to increase by leaps and bounds once again. But Su Lin didn't know that this fey musk ox had migrated from the territory of that large wolf pack in the west. Otherwise, he would have been curious as to why that large wolf pack would let such a fey musk ox escape. After all, the blood and flesh of the last fey lynx all held a fatal attraction for them. It didn't make sense that a fey musk ox of such weight would be released. Even if this fey musk ox was as tough and brave as it was, it would not be able to withstand the wolves' unending roundup. Phew! At this moment, Su Lin let out a long breath. Hunting this fey musk ox looked easy. But in reality, he had also mobilized his peak strength and killed it within a few strikes, consuming about 10% of his physical strength. This caused Su Lin to prepare to eat the musk ox's flesh and blood to replenish it. But right at this moment, within a radius of 10 kilometers, the sound of wolves howling violently resounded once again. This wolf howl caused Su Lin's golden brown eyes to show a look of gravity, and the membrane in his ears completely opened. The membrane in his ears also completely opened and he instantly heard the sound of hundreds of wolves quickly darting towards him from a distance of more than 10 kilometers. Chapter 114 Battle at the Peak of the Arctic The hearing and sense of smell of ordinary wolf clans could only explore a range of 2-3 to three kilometers. This batch of wolf clans, on the other hand, had darted in from about 10 kilometers away. At the same time, several new wolf races under the wolf father's command that had joined not long ago directly broke away from the wolf pack's charging formation. These several wolf clansmen, which were clearly recruited only after the expansion behind Wolf Dad. They began to run wildly towards the direction where the wolf howls were the most intense. Ow, ow, ow. They were still howling while running. This howling and the noisy wolf howls echoed each other. It was passing and communicating. HM, these wolves are from that large wolf pack. Su Lin narrowed his eyes, revealing a touch of danger. At this moment, he realized that he had underestimated the intelligence of the Fey in the past. At the very least, the intelligence of that fey wolf king had already reached the point where he knew what it meant to arrange for an insider. Even beyond that, Su Lin once again looked at this fey musk ox and also vaguely understood. Maybe this fey musk ox was used to consume the strength of the wolf dad's wolf pack, and when the wolf dad's wolf pack and the fey musk ox fought a bloody battle to the point where both sides were exhausted, the large wolf pack that had been waiting for the opportunity would then swarm up and swept away any species that dared to stand in front of them with a windswept momentum. It wasn't that they couldn't crush Papa. They just wanted to unify all the wolves under his command at the smallest possible cost, and they can't even count themselves out of it. They wanted to take advantage of the momentum of their great victory, and also completely eradicate themselves with a single blow. After all, he had fought with that large wolf pack, and both sides had a blood feud. This made Su Lin couldn't help but grind his teeth as he stretched his wolf body, which was a full four meters. The aura on his body rose violently, but it was also at this time that, Su Lin's sharp sensory power instantly sensed at least two strong chi flames that had rapidly approached the area. Ow! Soon accompanied by a loud and rough wolf howl that was filled with cold killing intent. A tall arctic wolf with grayish white fur and a body size not unlike Su Lin's appeared on top of a snowy slope. This gray and white colored arctic wolf was emitting an extremely strong and ferocious aura all over its body. Its pair of grayish white wolf eyes didn't even look at the wolf pack of the wolf dad below, but instead looked directly at Su Lin. Roar! At the same time, on the other side, accompanied by a low but loud bear roar. The fey grizzly bear that Su Lin had searched for several days had also reappeared before his eyes. The bear's body, which was already extremely tall, seemed to have grown bigger again these days, and it stood on top of the snowy slope. It stood on top of the snowy slope, a pair of pitch black eyes similarly carrying a ferocious flame as it looked towards Su Lin. They're teaming up? Su Lin also looked towards the fey grizzly bear, 
and his wolf eyes narrowed. However, judging from the stand of the grizzly bear, the two of them shouldn't be teaming up. After all, the two sides didn't speak the same language, making communication difficult. It was probably just a coincidence that they ran into each other. This fey grizzly bear, whose IQ was not low, might also have smelled that today was the only chance to hit itself hard. That's why it came out of hiding and showed itself again. But this fey grizzly bear was too lifethirsty to be feared. Even though it possessed strong attributes, without a fierce and murderous nature, it would only retreat when it truly began to fight for its life. At this moment, just as the auras of both sides began to rise recklessly, the large wolf pack under the wolf king's command also came one after another, on top of the snowy slopes, one after another. The shadows of the wolves were stretched long under the soft sunlight, with the wolves running at full speed. It didn't take long for the large wolf pack to converge. This time, Su Lin looked towards the snowy slopes, and saw that the wolves were densely packed with nearly 200 wolves, and there were even two wolves that were comparable in size to the wolf dads. He knew that this was the true invincible strength of this large wolf pack. Under such strength, even the polar bears, which were known as the strongest creatures on land, could only become rations for the wolves to hunt. Ow, ow, ow. Nearly 200 wolves raised their voices to the sky, and many of the wolves that had once fought against Su Lin, after smelling this familiar odor, although there was still fear in their eyes, more than anything else, they were rising with the will to fight, because this wasn't the dark night in the blizzard, where even the howls of the wolves couldn't be transmitted. This was the day of fear. Last time, due to the wolf's howl not being able to penetrate the blizzard, the true top power of the wolf clan had not been summoned. Instead, today was a complete convergence. For a moment, the powerful aura of this large wolf pack was nearly monstrous. Chapter 115 Tragic Battle Bloodstained Ice Plains Up The two sides were confronting each other. But it was obvious that the large wolf pack had the upper hand. Counting Papa Wolf's wolf pack, this area had reached the size of 200 wolves. A confrontation of this scale was unprecedented in the Arctic. There was no denying that the opposite wolf pack was strong. Su Lin roughly swept through the wolves and found that there were nearly a hundred wolves with level 5 strength alone. The head wolves with peak level 6 strength had also reached more than 20. On top of that, Su Lin also found two fei. This should be the wolf king's left and right arms. Two fei that were also ranked 7 strength. The strength of one of them was already vaguely close to breaking through to level 8. A wolf pack of this size, plus this gray and white mixed color wolf king and the fey grizzly bear. It was an unprecedentedly luxurious lineup. At the moment, if Su Lin wanted to leave, he could come and go as he pleased, relying on his speed of more than 300 meters. But if he left, losing the fey musk ox was small. Wolf father and wolf mother would definitely be hurt, and it was even impossible to say that they would lose their lives. So it was impossible for him to retreat. Since there was already a blood feud between himself and them, then the blood feud could only be resolved with blood. At this moment, Su Lin shook the musk ox's blood from his fur, and then came to the side of the terrified wolf parents. With a low howl, he signaled the wolf dad and mom to lead the wolf pack and follow behind him. He didn't let the wolf parents leave, because they simply couldn't rush out. It was good that wolf dad and wolf mom also knew that in nature, there was no survival by praying, so they also both had a determination in their eyes. And the wolf dad also let out a low howl and led the wolves to stand behind Su Lin. Then, under the watchful eyes of the many wolves, he slowly walked forward. Su Lin's pair of wolf eyes that were filled with coldness collided fiercely with the gray and white mixed colored wolf king's line of sight right in the white sky above the north pole. The aura between the two sides was rising recklessly. The murderous atmosphere under the polar day was burning like a blaze. When the atmosphere reached a peak, the chilling killing intent in the eyes of the gray and white wolf king did not have the slightest concealment. Through the long howls from the wolves under his command, he already knew that it was this white wolf that had bloody slaughtered more than 10 wolves in the pack. It even included several head wolves that it highly valued. This caused the pair of grayish white wolf eyes of this wolf king to narrow, rising with a touch of chilling killing intent. Ow! It let out a long whistle as it stood on top of the snowy slope. After the wolf king's loud and clear wolf howl sounded, the entire large wolf pack of nearly 200 wolves were also whistling long and frantically. The might of the hundred wolves' long whistles also reached an unprecedented peak in an instant. Immediately following that, the, they were charging towards Su Lin as well as the wolf parents with an unrivaled might in their direction. Su Lin had already faced the might of a hundred wolves surrounding him once, so he didn't feel much. However, it was obvious that the wolf parents behind him as well as the rest of the wolf clan were trembling uncontrollably. It was really because the might of the wolves on the opposite side was too strong, as if they wanted to crush everything. However, Su Lin didn't hold much hope for the wolves under Wolf Dad's command, just that they could defend themselves. As for, to actually killing through this large wolf pack, if he could do it once, he could naturally do it a second time. A fierce glint flashed in Su Lin's eyes, 
Then the speed of over a hundred meters per second completely exploded. Preemptive strike. His limbs stomped out a deep snow pit on the icy ground, rapidly rushing towards this large wolf pack. Su Lin's speed was far beyond that of any wolf race, and this speed that brought out a loud airy stern sound caused the gray and white mottled wolf king and the fey grizzly bear to bring out scorn in their eyes. The speed of hundreds of meters per second made the charging wolves unable to react at all. One of the head wolves charging at the front crossed paths with Su Lin. Then this head wolf, which had the strength of a peak level 6, its 2 meter wolf body flew violently backwards and, it directly collided with 7 or 8 wolves in the back before its body gradually stopped. When it came to a stop, large streams of blood spilled out of its mouth, and its body kept convulsing violently. The head wolf's chest was also cut open with a bloody wound that had already seen its internal organs. It could not survive. In its eyes, there was still a lingering love for this world. But the huge wound on its body was rapidly draining its vitality. A generation of head wolves that also once roared in the Arctic, spilled blood in the air with just one blow. Even several of the wolves that had been charged along the way began to wail in scattered fragments under the tremendous impact. This white wolf had become even stronger. It was also this strike. It was also the blood and death that caused them to recall the white wolf that had killed to the point of insanity that night. Scarlet Death. Nowadays, the white wolf's entire body is still drenched in blood. And even though this blood is not that of the wolf race, it still brings out a ferocious and extreme killing aura. This was a white wolf that relied on its sharp claws and fangs to kill its way out of the cruel nature. However, the wolves were not cowed, and were only shocked for a very short period of time before attacking again. In particular, one of the level 7 fey, with more than a dozen male wolves behind him that were all at the peak of level 5, launched the first wave of the charge towards Su Lin. Sharp fangs displayed an eerie cold glow in the air. The rest of the wolves attacked around the white wolf. Su Lin, who had coldness in his eyes, didn't care about the attacks of the rest of the wolves at all, because the rest of the wolf clans were too weak for him to break through his defense. His pair of golden brown wolf eyes stared at this level 7 fey, being the vanguard? Since he had made a standout, he had to be prepared to die. Su Lin didn't hold back any longer. His entire battle power was mobilized to its peak. Then with a direct and very spicy claw, he smashed onto the wolf's mouth of this level 7 fey. Boom! This up to several tons of force was focused on the sharp wolf claw, and the lethality it brought was terrifying to an extreme point. In just one strike, the wolf mouth and fangs of this rank 7 fey were directly shattered by a large portion. The tremendous impact also caused its entire body to be like airborne flotsam, flying out horizontally several feet away. Even though blood flowed horizontally, even though the fangs and wolf mouth had already been bloodied by Su Lin's blow. However, this level 7 fey, after landing with a thud, it's still forcibly struggled to stand up and didn't even wail out, because as the wolf king's right arm, it knew that once it wailed, it would definitely impact the morale of the wolf pack, but it was also really shocked by the white wolf's ruthlessness and terrifying combat strength, without even caring about the attacks of the rest of the wolves, the white wolf hardened itself against the bites of the wolves and dealt itself a heavy blow, the impact from this blow was so terrifying that it only felt like it had completely feet under this blow, I'm afraid that even if it was given more time to recuperate, it would still be hard to recover. It was clear that it was incapable of fighting anymore, and could only drag its body, which was so painful that it was trembling, silently retreating towards the back. However, when it wanted to retreat, it realized that the white wolf seemed to have no intention of letting it leave this battlefield alive. The white wolf's majestic wolf body flung itself around wildly, completely throwing down those wolf clans that pounced on him, with a speed of hundreds of meters per second. It once again unleashed itself directly towards this fey. Su Lin's eyes brought out a cold light of certain death. His speed was akin to a breeze for ordinary wolves. The wolves simply couldn't defend themselves. That arctic wolf, a level 7 fey, couldn't help the panic that surfaced in its eyes when it felt the gusty wind coming at it. It was at this time that the wolf king who was on the snowy slope was completely unable to stand up. The wolf king originally intended to let the wolves consume a wave of white wolves, and then it would step in to settle the battle. However, he didn't expect that the two sides had only just exchanged blows and he saw that his left arm was about to be chopped off. This caused the wolf king to violently dart down from above the snowy slope. Flying wildly, the wolf's paws stepped on the icy sky and snow, leaping 20 to 30 meters in a single bound, bringing out countless splashes of ice and snow. The speed of this gray and white mongrel wolf king was also extremely terrifying. Even faster than a fey musk ox with its talon turned on, it was approaching a speed of 50 meters per second. But for Su Lin, it was still too slow. It was too late. Since Su Lin intended to take the life of this level 7 fey, no one could stop him. In an instant, he arrived in front of this level 7 fey, and before the fey could react, he directly slapped it into the icy ground with a vicious claw. 
This vicious claw imprinted this level 7 fade directly deep into the ice and snow. Blood also splashed recklessly from its wolf head once again. Bronze head, iron bones, and tofu waste. The skull that was claimed to be the hardest of the wolf race didn't even manage to carry Su Lin's wolf claw that brought out a harsh whistle. Ow. He let out a long whistle at this time. Then the claw spikes of one wolf claw popped out completely and stabbed through the abdomen of this level 7 fey. The fey's strong vitality caused this fey to not die yet. It finally couldn't suppress the immense pain and began to wail miserably. The wailing sound of a similar species under extreme pain was the most capable of breaking down the heart's defenses, especially since this wolf clan was one of the strongest in the wolf pack, except for the wolf king. However, it was still not a match for the white wolf. Just how strong was this white wolf? Every wolf clan was shocked. Immediately after that, the wolf king was about to rush forward with a wild aura. But Su Lin, in the midst of the ice coldness in his eyes, his wolf claws once again exerted force, directly slashing from his abdomen to this face chest, opening up a bloody, huge wound for it. Then he pulled out a bloody heart from it that was still hot. In the midst of the face blood splattering wildly, Su Lin swallowed this heart. Ding! The host has eaten a fey arctic wolf and gained 45 points of evolutionary value. When the heart was swallowed into the stomach, the acquisition of evolutionary value followed. This fey was only barely level 7 and had no essence parts. However, the gray and white mixed colored wolf king in front of him was beyond level 10. At this moment, Su Lin's eyes flashed with a fierce light, and his body was covered in blood. In the eyes of the many wolves, he looked like a rabid wolf bathed in blood. As for the wolf king who dashed over, seeing his right arm perish under Su Lin's claws, he was completely enraged. His gray-white wolf eyes were filled with cold killing intent. Chapter 116, Tragic Battle. Bloodstained Ice Plains, Middle. This wolf king in the midst of fury quickly arrived in front of Su Lin. The sharp wolf claws were also fully displayed. Then with a charging momentum of 50 meters per second, it ruthlessly smashed at Su Lin. The wolf king's speed was the fastest Su Lin had ever seen besides himself. 50 meters per second was already nearly half of his speed, but it still couldn't touch Su Lin. Between the long whistles of the wolves, he only slightly sidestepped and dodged this vicious claw. Boom! This wolf king's claw smashed on the ice and snow ground. It smashed out a snow pit that was more than two feet deep, with countless snow and ice flying in all directions. The gray and white wolf king had struck the ground. Su Lin's eyes were cold as he prepared to strike back, but the rest of the wolves had already surrounded him. With the wolf king as a check, the wolves that were originally still fearful had once again regained their ferocity. Before he could hit the wolf king with a claw, Another fey that was vaguely close to level 8 had already pounced over. This arctic wolf strike had a full 90 power points, even if it was Su Lin. Under this strike, the wolf's body shook a little, delaying the opportunity to attack. Boom! His claw similarly fell short. Ow! This caused Su Lin to roar with rage. He knew that after the wolf king's entrance, the real wolf roundup had just begun. If he wanted to kill his way out, the difficulty had skyrocketed several times. A fierce light erupted in his eyes. Capture the thief before capturing the king. This wolf king must be killed as soon as possible. Otherwise, he didn't know how many recovery potions he would have to consume here in the endless roundup of wolves. There were currently a total of three. Each of them could restore his full physical strength. That was the same as adding his original stamina, which was only about 800 points. Therefore, he didn't have the time or stamina to delay. After the sound of angry whistles rang out, Su Lin didn't even care about the rest of the wolves biting and directly headed towards the wolf king once again. Boom! The wolf king and Su Lin finally met the first bloodbath hard. The wolf king fell back several steps before stabilizing his stance. Even that wolf paw had a blood-soaked wound on it, so it was obvious that this wolf king was at a disadvantage. But it was also in the cruel ice and snow, killing out of the wolf king. A ferocious and killing intent is not inferior to the purple lynx at the time. The more traumatized, the more ferocious tyranny emanated from his eyes. The wolf king retreated and had a chance to catch his breath to adjust his state. But after Su Lin had just sparred with the wolf king, the countless wolves around him once again tore madly at him. This was the wolf pack. After the main drag retreated, the rest of the wolves would quickly pounce over and bite. Under such a continuous situation, even an existence with more physical strength would be completely dragged down. Boom! Su Lin didn't have time to defend himself, and was viciously struck in the neck by a peak level 6 direwolf, but it hadn't even broken through the thick fur at all. But Su Lin didn't spare the head wolf. Since it struck out, it had to die. This was a bloody battle. It had to be killed until blood dyed the icy sky and snow. Ow. As Su Lin roared, he leapt forward. Then he stretched out his thick wolf claws and directly trampled. This head wolf under his feet. Sharp fangs flashed with an eerie cold light. Heading for the head wolf's neck. When it wanted to tear into Su Lin's neck, it should have thought that its neck would be bitten off. Kaching. 
Su Lin's current bite force was simply not something a head wolf's neck could withstand. It was directly bitten off at the throat, and blood splattered wildly, staining the fur of the many wolves in the surrounding area. This head wolf did not even wail out a single wail. The color of terror didn't even appear in its eyes before it directly perished. The blood-stained wolf head and body were separated in a bloody mess. Su Lin swallowed a mouthful of sweet, fishy blood, but just as he raised his wolf head, the gray and white mixed colored wolf king had already charged over again. Boom! This time, it solidly and directly hit Su Lin's wolf head. This gray and white wolf king's attack power was definitely 200%. The vicious attack directly broke through the flesh on the wolf's head, and blood flowed freely. Even Su Lin's huge body of 4 meters was completely sent flying several meters away by this attack. Then it landed with a bang. Just after landing, there were countless wolves tearing towards Su Lin's abdomen. Ow! Su Lin roared in pain and quickly rolled over. Then the claw spikes of his right paw completely popped out and directly smashed hard at a level 5 male wolf that had just torn the most aggressively. Boom! The fierce force of the furious blow blew out the head of this level 5 male wolf, as if a balloon had exploded. Countless blood and brain matter crumbled out. The brain splattered all over Su Lin's body, adding a few more points to his terrifying aura. Su Lin was just as much in the cruel nature. Killing out, hunting musk oxen, killing grizzly bears, routing herds of cows, and decapitating bug kings. So the pain didn't make Su Lin retreat. It only made the killing intent on his body even crazier. Kill, kill, kill. In today's battle, in addition to beheading the wolf king, I'm also going to kill until the broken limbs and remains of this large wolf pack cover this ice field. His abdomen has just been torn out by countless blood marks. But fortunately, none of his defenses have been broken. Because nowadays, even the defense of Su Lin's abdomen was not something that this group of ordinary wolves could break through. But they had managed to enrage Su Lin. The tyrannical and terrifying killing intent in Su Lin's body rose to its peak, along with the wolves attacking once more. His wolf claws also directly stabbed into the throat of a female wolf, then hooked onto the female wolf's body in death and swept towards the rest of the wolf clans. Boom! Several pouncing wolf clans were immediately sent flying out, but they were closely followed by another gray and white mixed colored wolf king. This time, it was this wolf king's tearing bite, its bloody mouth biting the back of Su Lin's neck. It instantly broke through his flesh. A trace of ruthlessness flashed in Su Lin's eyes, and he didn't struggle to attack the Wolf King's wolf head. The, that strength and right claw carried a terrifying attack power of over 300 and headed directly towards the Wolf King's soft abdomen. This Wolf King wanted to lock its own throat, so Su Lin would first open it up. Ow! Oh, this desperate ruthlessness of Su Lin's made the Wolf King kill a trace of panic in its eyes. Even though it was a fae, its abdomen was still the softest part of the wolf race. It was forced to loosen its fangs and decisively back away. As long as it had the cooperation of the huge, large wolf pack, it could sooner or later drag this white wolf down. But Su Lin's speed was too fast. The sharp claws of the wolf still cut into the wolf king's abdomen. Tear. The sound of skin and flesh being torn apart. Su Lin gained momentum and hardened himself against the attacks of the rest of the wolves. Pouncing on this gray and white wolf king once again, there was an extremely chilling killing intent rising in his eyes. And that arctic wolf that was about to break through the level 8 fey. In order to alleviate the pressure on the Wolf King, also pounced over and slammed a claw fiercely towards Su Lin's eyes. Ow! Su Lin's killing intent had boiled over, not caring about all the attacks at all. A claw once again ruthlessly smashed towards this Wolf King's flank. Boom! The power value of up to over 300 completely exploded. And under the full force of a claw, this gray and white mixed color Wolf King's 4 meter wolf body was sent flying out more than 10 meters away. Along the way, the wolves touched were also struck by the residual force wailing and screaming. The gray and white mixed color Wolf King's side abdomen was also cut open with a deep slit. Even the ribs, under the tremendous impact, broke two of them. Ow! Oh, the gray and white mixed colored Wolf King roared furiously in pain. This strike caused the entire wolf pack to glance at it, but soon the almost level 8 fey also pounced on Su Lin. Under the inertia of the full force strike, Su Lin had just stood still and was too late to dodge. Boom! A vicious claw slapped him in the eye. Blood instantly flowed down from his eyes. I, last time, he was hit in the eye by the Polar Ice Worm King, which was the weakest key point of defense. However, this strike was much weaker than the Polar Ice Bug King's mouthpiece attack, and it only caused blood to spill out of Su Lin's eyes, and the vision in his right eye became scarlet. Pain. It still hurt as well, but after experiencing the pain of destruction and remodeling, this pain was something that Su Lin was able to endure. His wolf eyes that were overflowing with blood directly stared viciously at this fey wolf race that was about to break through level 8 and was even a few points stronger than his wolf father. Ow! He let out a furious whistle, and a fierce light shone in his eyes. Certain death. This fey must die. 
Since he had chopped off one arm of the gray and white hybrid wolf king, he didn't mind chopping off another arm. This would also allow the wolf father and wolf mother to be completely free of pressure. Otherwise, if this fey wolf attacked wolf dad and mom, it would pose a great threat to them. Between angry whistles, Su Lin forced himself to endure the severe pain coming from his eyes, neck, and wolf head. He leapt, his thick limbs stepping out several inches deep snow pits on the icy ground, and soared several meters high. Then towering over him, the wolf's claws flashed with an eerie cold light under the never-ending polar day. The harsh whistle that cut through the air also resounded in mid-air, and the wolf claws viciously smashed towards this level 8 fey wolf race. With Su Lin's speed, this fey wolf clan couldn't dodge in time. Boom! The vicious blow smashed into the neck of this fey wolf race, directly breaking the neck, and even the throat was torn apart by the wolf claws. The huge impact also sent this fey wolf clan, which was more than 2 meters tall, flying backward at a fast speed. Before he even landed, Su Lin, who had launched at full speed, once again came underneath this fey wolf clan. Boom! Another vicious blow, completely breaking the flesh of its abdomen, and its body was sent flying horizontally into the air. After being disemboweled, the fey wolf clan's blood and pieces of internal organs were scattered in all directions in midair. In an instant, the smell of blood was so thick that it made the wolves vomit. However, the killing intent in Su Lin's eyes, which had risen to the peak, still hadn't receded. It even kept boiling and burning under the stimulation of the intense pain. It was as if only killing in blood could give vent to his pain. Ow! Oh, Su Lin once again whistled long and loud. Rough wolf howls resounded over this arctic ice plain. Nowadays, not only was his fur stained with blood, even his eyes were overflowing with blood, and his originally golden brown eyes had become scarlet. Chapter 117 Tragic Battle Bloodstained Ice Plains Next, at the same time, the gray and white wolf king had already climbed up from the ice and snow. His body was also swirling with an increasingly ferocious killing intent as he looked towards Su Lin. Su Lin and the Wolf King's lines of sight once again intertwined and collided. Huffing, huffing, Su Lin once again began to pant, counting that fey musk ox. It could be said that he had already killed three fey in a row. It looked effortless, but in reality, each strike had mobilized his entire body, and he had currently consumed nearly half of his physical strength. However, the entire wolf pack's attack did not slow down, especially that fey Wolf King. The blow he gave him didn't hurt its fundamentals, and its battle strength was still at its peak. This made Su Lin realize that the next battle would become increasingly brutal. It would be a bloody and deadly battle. The wolf father and wolf mother behind Su Lin were also fighting hard. There were about 30 odd wolves that were rounding them up. Luckily, Wolf Dad was a peak level 7 fey, and his strength was crushing for ordinary wolves. With the few against the many, they were able to withstand it. In addition to that, there was still a fey grizzly bear sitting on top of the snowy slope. This fey grizzly bear, after all, was still too lifethirsty. Otherwise, if it rushed down and joined forces with the wolves at this time, it would really put Su Lin in a tricky position, but it didn't dare to make an entrance, which made the pressure facing Su Lin much smaller. He began to let out a long whistle and once again mobilized the peak battle power of his entire body and headed towards this fey wolf king. This wolf king was also commanding in a low howl, and the hundreds of wolf clans in the surrounding area once again launched a siege against Su Lin. The wolf king acted as the main force of the hold. In its gray-white wolf eyes, there was a chilling killing intent while also bringing out a touch of gravity. Because undeniably, this white wolf was very strong. Whether it was its strength or speed, it exceeded it by a large margin. Most of all, its ruthlessness was even above it. But with the wolves surrounding it, sooner or later, this white wolf would be dragged down. Ow, ow, ow. At this moment, the sound of wolves howling in this area was like boiling water. Boiling noisily. Many of the head wolves were leading the wolves under their command to start charging round after round against Su Lin. With the Fei Wolf King personally on the field, these wolves were all as if they were fearless. Because the Wolf King was the supreme existence of the entire large wolf pack, the Wolf King was fighting first. How could they dare to retreat and fear death? At this moment, Su Lin had completely utilized his entire body's strength to an extreme. Not only was he fighting with the Wolf King, he was also dealing with the wolves' entanglements. Luckily, the two fey wolves that could barely pose a threat to him had already bled to death in the ice and snow. These remaining wolf races could not break through his defense at all. But these wolf races were also very smart. And all of them were attacking and tearing at the parts of their bodies that were already injured. This caused these wounds on Su Lin's body to be torn and expanded once again. This pain made him more and more frantic. And his sharp wolf claws stained the blood of these wolf clans. The sound of wolf claws cutting through flesh and blood rang out from time to time. The wailing of the wolf race was also unceasing. In the life and death struggle. Su Lin killed to the point of near madness. Those bloodstained wolf eyes were full of icy killing intent. 
In the midst of the blood and flesh flying around, the hairs on his body were all stained with blood, the blood-colored god of death. This was his image in the eyes of these wolf clans. Every wolf clan whale represented the loss of a life. This white wolf was quick to kill at every turn. The strong force was simply not something that ordinary wolf clans could resist. It should be known that even the strongest right arm under the wolf king's command had not gone around under the sharp claws of this white wolf. The smell of blood. This area began to be so thick as to be pungent. Not only was Su Lin covered in blood, even all of the wolf clans that were fighting in close quarters were dyed into bloody wolves by the splattered blood. Blood dripped down their fur. Blood stained the ice plane. This was truly a blood-stained ice plane. Even the limbs and broken bones of an unknown number of wolf races were scattered around in this area. Ow, ow, ow. After more than an hour of intense killing, the wolves' loud and long wolf howls at the beginning of the wolf pack also became hoarse and low. All the wolves of the large wolf pack looked towards the white wolf whose killing intent was getting more and more terrifying, and their eyes unconsciously carried a hint of fear. How could they have never imagined that this white wolf would still be able to inflict such a terrifying kill even though it was facing the peak power of the entire wolf pack? It was too ferocious. If the wolf king wasn't still fighting for blood, I'm afraid they would have dispersed in a flurry. At this moment, Su Lin had also used a recovery potion, but he still hadn't killed through the entire wolf pack. Now, his physical strength had once again dropped to a quarter. This was a very dangerous situation. Su Lin already didn't know how many wolves he had torn apart alive, and at the same time, he could also feel the wounds on his body, once again adding several more. It was just that most of these wounds were covered up by the blood of the rest of the wolf races. Huffing, huffing, he began to pant violently, and pain lurked everywhere on his body. If it wasn't for having a healing talent that quickly condensed all the wounds into blood scabs, blocking the flow of chi and blood, otherwise, his state would have to be even worse. However, that fey wolf king wasn't much better. Having been viciously struck three times by Su Lin, the wolf claws had caused extremely horrifying wounds on his back, his flanks, and at his wolf head. The blood from these wounds was flowing freely across the room. After the blood fight had reached this point, not only did Su Lin start panting heavily to regain his strength, even that Fei Wolf King and the wolf clans under his command were feeling the rapid loss of stamina, but they didn't retreat yet. A pair of wolf eyes were still staring at themselves in death. There were too many wolf clans that had died under Su Lin's wolf claws, and such a heavy price was beyond their imagination. It was also precisely after paying such a tragic price that it was impossible for the Fei Wolf King to retreat. It would not stop until they were dead. This was a tragic battle that truly would not end in death, because if this white wolf wasn't cut down, the cohesion of the entire large wolf pack in the future would probably go up in smoke. Ow. The Fei Wolf King stared at Su Lin, and extreme ferocity and tyranny erupted from its eyes once again. It led the wolves and once again attacked Su Lin. A flash of gray light erupted from the 4-meter wolf body. And this gray light quickly converged into the wolf king's body. This gray light quickly converged into the wolf king's body, causing its entire wolf body to grow again as if out of thin air. And the pair of gray white wolf eyes completely transformed into pure gray. The already strong aura of the fey wolf king also rose a few notches higher. Rank C talent berserk wolf. This fey wolf king finally used its killer weapon, and its strength soared to an extremely powerful level. The wolf whistled across the ice field. Its pair of pure gray eyes carried the aura of undying desperation as it once again fought with Su Lin in a bloodbath. Chapter 118 Killing the Collapsing Wolves Wolf King's Blood Request for Subscription The Fei Wolf King had been invincible for a long time in this empty arctic ice plain. It thought that it could be the well-deserved king of this area. It never thought that it would meet such an opponent as the White Wolf. But there was no way back for it now. This was a bloody battle. Ow! The hoarse hull of a wolf once again resounded in the sky above the North Pole. In the eyes of the Fei Wolf King and Su Lin, looking towards each other, they both carried killing intent that was chilling to the extreme. Boom! A bloodbath exploded in the sky above the ice field. The strong to the extreme recoil caused both to fall back more than 30 meters. Along the way, the wolves that couldn't dodge in time were all rushed to the ground by the residual force. Su Lin, who stopped in his tracks at this moment, could feel the pain from having his right paw strengthened. Bloody scratches were also revealed on the wolf's claws. There was no doubt that after this Fey Wolf King had opened his talent, his strength in all aspects had increased by leaps and bounds. Even this enhancement was far from over. Su Lin's mind moved, and the Wolf King's numerical attributes appeared before his eyes. This was a level 14 Fey Wolf King, but with the talent turned on, this Fey Wolf King's numerical attributes soared a lot more than they were at the beginning. What kind of talent is this? All aspects of attributes can be boosted? The more injured you are, the more it improves? Nowadays. The Wolf King's strength already posed a threat to him. He couldn't let this Fey Wolf King boost any further. This caused the ferocious light in Su Lin's eyes to flicker madly and, then he let out a furious whistle, and his pair of wolf eyes, 
which were already stained with blood, became even more scarlet. Talent Hunt. The same C grade talent of hunting caused Su Lin's strength to instantly skyrocket to an extreme. And it was at this time that the wolves pounced over once again. Ow, ow, ow. In the midst of the wolves' siege, Su Lin's scarlet like eyes brought out an invincible ferocious flame. The strength and right claw's strength soared to nearly 700. It opened monuments and cracked rocks. Indestructible. Boom. The vicious claw struck a level 5 male wolf, directly smashing its head and front body. Blood and brain matter were splattering freely. To be injured by rubbing it, to be killed by touching it. This was the present day battle power of Su Lin. Ow. Along with the rain of blood, his rough wolf howl sounded once again. This wolf howl carried a killing intent that was already so strong that it was nearly unrivaled. Under this terrifying killing intent, no wolf clan dared to thwart it. The sharp wolf claws cut through the air, killing the lives of one wolf tribe after another. Wherever they passed, there was a rain of blood and broken limbs. In just 20 to 30 seconds, the wolves threw down the corpses of 10 or so wolf clans. They began to retreat in terror. Even with the Wolf King as the main force holding Su Lin back, they were also scared and killed until they were completely cowed. It was as if this white wolf wasn't one of their own kind, a god of death that mercilessly harvested lives. However, just as the Wolf Tribe's morale was about to collapse, the Wolf King charged up again. Boom! A vicious claw smashed into Su Lin's forehead. A deep cut was made, even revealing the white bones inside. If it was a one-on-one -on -one fight, Su Lin wouldn't be able to kill this fey Wolf King like a pig or dog. At least he wouldn't suffer, like slaughtering a pig or dog, but at least he wouldn't be so seriously injured. But with the harassment of the wolves, it was different. One wolf couldn't harass Su Lin, and ten couldn't either. But tens or hundreds of wolves all attacking towards the wound would be different. And every time he had just torn a few wolves to shreds, before he could stand still, this wolf king rushed over. This wolf king picked a very tricky time, causing Su Lin to be unable to defend at all. This vicious attack sent him flying out a dozen meters away. He landed with a bang. Su Lin forced himself to endure the severe pain and quickly climbed up. This time he could feel his mouth was filled with a fishy sweetness, and his internal organs were bleeding from the shock. It had been a long time since he had suffered such a heavy injury, especially after turning on the hunting and killing talent. Luckily, due to the fact that the might of just blood slaughtering more than a dozen wolves was especially strong, causing this large wolf pack around him to already just surround and no longer dare to pounce on them. They were really scared of being killed by Su Lin. In just 20 to 30 meter seconds, more than 10 wolves had been torn into pieces of blood, internal organs, and broken limbs were scattered all over the icy ground. What kind of horrifying killing was this? Even the icy ground was dyed red. Ow! Oh. Under the intense pain in his forehead, Su Lin let out a furious roar before his speed of more than 200 per second fully unfolded. Without the wolves entangling him, with his current speed, this fey wolf king wouldn't have time to react. Boom! The sharp claws of the wolf. Likewise directly smashed into the front chest of this fey wolf king. The terrifying explosive force of almost 700 pierced through the fey wolf king's chest. A deep bloody hole was created. And even the beating heart inside could be seen. This strike also sent this fey wolf king flying across the sky. And the blood gushing out of his forehead made a beautiful arc in the air. Su Lin's figure was like a ghost. And he once again posted up. Before the wolf king landed. There was another vicious claw. This claw originally wanted to completely slice open the wolf king's neck. But the Fey Wolf King endured the pain and directly used his wolf head to harden against Su Lin's strike. For the wolf race, the skull was their hardest place. Su Lin's current attack power was enough to blow up an ordinary wolf race's wolf head with a single blow. However, this Fey Wolf King's skull was several times harder than steel. Boom! The force that had exceeded tens of thousands of pounds smashed the Fey Wolf King's wolf head. It smashed it out a dozen meters away once again. Blood flowed freely from its wolf head. But it finally resisted Su Lin's nearly fatal blow. Ow! Under the threat of death and the nearly suffocating pain, it also completely fell into a frenzy as it climbed to its feet. A pair of dark gray wolf eyes were filled with chilling killing intent. Even these traumas, under the addition of the talented berserk wolf, caused its strength and aura to soar once again. The wolf king that had fallen into a frenzy, facing Su Lin who was attacking again, did not dodge anymore. It mobilized its entire body's senses to the extreme, and was finally able to barely make out the white wolf's figure. Immediately following, there was a bloodbath. Boom. The two sides once again clashed hard. Nowadays, the Fey Wolf King's power value had reached 400 under the surge. However, the difference between it and Su Lin was still too great. This blow made. It only felt that the bones of its own wolf claws were shattered. This pain that went straight to his heart caused the Wolf King to become more and more insane. Sharp fangs, biting towards Su Lin's neck. But without the assistance of the wolves, it couldn't touch any of Su Lin's fur. Boom. 
Another heavy to the extreme blow smashed into its wolf head. It smashed its wolf head until it was a bloody mess, and even one of its eyes was torn apart by the sharp wolf claws, but it was still fighting back. With its claw bones shattered, it slammed its huge wolf body towards Su Lin. This vicious and sudden attack caused Su Lin to be knocked down by the wolf king. The two wolf races, which were a full four meters in size, tumbled on top of the ice and snow. In the midst of tumbling, both tore at each other towards each other. Tearing, flesh was broken open, and blood was splashing, tumbling all the way. It also dyed the ice and snow all the way to Scarlet, the large wolf pack under the Fey Wolf King's command. Seeing this scene, it also finally pounced towards the battlefield once again. Ow, ow, ow. Their voices were hoarse as they furiously charged towards the battlefield. After rushing over, they tore at the wounds on the white wolf's body with all their strength, tearing the wounds on the white wolf's body. Once again, ow. Su Lin roared with extreme killing intent. Tearing, he tore the wolf king, which was already half ruined. Once again, ruthlessly, tearing off its other eye, along with a small half of its face skin, he swallowed it into his stomach. Ding, the host has fed on the Fey Arctic Wolf, gaining 42 points of evolutionary value. The blood and eyes of the Fey Wolf King were slightly replenishing Su Lin's few remaining stamina values. He had wanted to kill this Wolf King, completely, before tackling these wolf clans, but the brazen attacks of these wolf races caused blood to flow freely from wounds all over his body. Su Lin could feel the chi and blood values, frantically draining away. Bang, bang, bang. The heart that had been strengthened had also gone from a smooth and gentle start to a rapid beating now. Each beat created fresh blood for Su Lin. This caused him to finally get up quickly and kill the rest of the wolves around him in a furious roar. Boom! A vicious strike swept across the room. Several of the surrounding wolf clans had half of their cheeks swept away under this blow. The closest one had half of its head sliced off by a sharp wolf claw, perishing on the spot. Taking advantage of the last few seconds of his hunting talent, Su Lin once again exploded with his most powerful battle force. In a few seconds, he killed eight wolves in a row. Bloody guts and brains were scattered all over Su Lin's massive wolf body, making him look terrifying to the extreme. It was also these few seconds that completely had to kill the morale of this large wolf pack until it collapsed. The dense aura of death was beyond the limits of what any wolf mentality could bear. Every sense in their body was frantically screaming at them to run away. They were simply no match for this scarlet death. Every inch of their flesh and blood, too, began to tremble unconsciously under the great threat and fear of death. Even if they don't do anything, their hearts are still beating faster and faster. Still felt that their hearts were beating faster and faster. And their body's strength was also, rapidly draining away. Even though they wanted to protect the wolf king, they couldn't control their bodies after all. I don't know which wolf clan took the lead. And then the entire wolf pack collapsed. Run, run away. Facing this white wolf that was terrifying to the extreme. They were truly afraid. They weren't fighting their own kind. As if they were challenging the authority of the god of death. In the midst of escaping, they wailed miserably, howled in fear, and howled low in trepidation. And even quite a few wolves could not control the tears and urine that came out of their fear. They only felt their legs soften, their breathing tense. And, looking at the corpses of their companions along the way, the wolves who seldom shed tears began to cry freely. And their tears flowed. They knew that in the future, there would be no place for them in the Arctic ice field. They will become a wandering lone wolf that all hunters can bully. This area of the war killed too many of their companions, with a spouse, with children, with the usual side-by-side -side partners, but they can't do anything about it. They do not dare to face the white wolf that has already killed to the blood into a demon. Pathos in them, with tears, even the closest wolf corpses do not dare to carry away. Just like the loss of the general fled, as the wolves collapsed, the wolf father and wolf mother, whose pressure was lightened, looked up at Su Lin in the distance. His own cub was standing in the distance, not doing anything. The ruthless killing intent that rose from his body alone made all the species tremble with fear. At the same time, wolf parents looked at Su Lin, who was drenched in blood and brains, and the broken limbs all over the ground, and were silent for a moment. Then they silently followed and came behind Su Lin. They had wanted to go up and bite this wolf king to death, but Su Lin stopped it. Even though this wolf king was already seriously injured in dying, it was still not something that they, the wolf dad and wolf mom, could fight against. Huffing, huffing. At this moment, Su Lin's stamina had already bottomed out, dropping to the point where it was around 5%. He was panting violently and, even his body felt a bit weak under the extreme lack of physical strength. But Su Lin knew that he couldn't fall. The Fey Wolf King could rely on the lives of the wolves under his command to consume himself, but he couldn't use the lives of his wolf parents to consume him. This Fey Wolf King hadn't really been killed yet, and that Fey Grizzly on top of the snowy slope was still eyeing him. So not only could he not fall, 
The chilling killing intent in his eyes was even a bit more intense. Su Lin raised his head and looked towards the Fei Wolf King that had already redrawn its distance. This Fei Wolf King had been beaten by him to the point of being half ruined. The gray light of the talent on its body had been dispersed. Yes, this head's talent hadn't faded away on its own, but rather, it had been hardened and dispersed by Su Lin. Even though the Berserk Wolf talent was extremely heaven defying, and the more traumatized it was the stronger it improved, there was ultimately a critical value, and Su Lin had shattered this critical value. The current Wolf King was miserable. The wolf's head was a bloody mess. Both of its grayish white wolf eyes had been torn apart by Su Lin, and one had even been swallowed into its stomach. There were extremely hideous and gruesome wounds on the abdomen, neck, back, forehead, and so on, although Su Lin was also severely injured. With the healing talent and the reinforcement of his heart, his chi and blood values quickly stabilized. But this Fei Wolf King didn't, and under the massive flow of blood, it was so weak that it couldn't even stand up. Su Lin slowly walked towards it, and the cold killing intent on his body was like a mountain crushing down on it. This Fei Wolf King, with both eyes completely blinded and scaly, didn't retreat, did not retreat, it only hoarsely howled a long howl to the sky. Ow! The wolf's howl was far from as loud and clear as it was at the beginning, and there were no more hundreds of wolves to follow along. This weak howl seemed to be announcing its own downfall to the icy sky and snowy land. It was once invincible in this ice field, felt the blood in its body flowing away and also felt the coming of the rich death aura, but it also relieved, strong support to stand it in quiet waiting for the advent of death, weak flesh, strong food, the cycle of heaven, only this time it was it that was reduced to a blood meal, chapter 119 huge harvest, the fey wolf king's eyes were blinded, and the wolf's head was beaten to a bloody pulp, only with its tenacious vitality and resistance to blows, it was still standing in place, it could smell the white wolf approaching through its sense of smell, with the same ferocious killing nature, it wanted to counterattack in its death throes. However, its front paw bones were all shattered in the blood fight just now. Its fangs were also half knocked out, making it difficult for it to launch a powerful attack. The remaining dignity of the wolf king caused it to still stand and not let out a wail of pleading for mercy. As the white wolf gradually approached, the aura of death came closer and closer. In this oppressive aura, the wolf king recalled the day when it was driven out of the wolf pack due to its weakness when it was a cub. It was also like today with the scent of death and the cold air circling around. On that day, when it was driven out, it only felt that the arctic sky was unprecedentedly cold. It was so cold, it was about to freeze to death. If it wasn't for an arctic rabbit that hopped in front of it and became its food, I'm afraid it would have died long ago. After it survived that day, it became a wandering lone wolf, living on scraps of food. One day, by chance, it picked up a small musk ox left over from a bear tribe. After it finished eating the flesh and blood of the small musk ox, it obviously felt that its body had changed. Its wolf claws became as fast as blades, and its body was more flexible than that of an ordinary wolf clan. Even though it had only just been two years old, its bite force had already far exceeded that of an adult wolf race. That was when it realized that it was not weak at all. The only reason it was weak was because it couldn't even eat the leftovers among the wolves. So after recovering, it killed its way back to the wolf pack and tore its own wolf parents alive. Why do you think it's not good to feed just because it's dirty? Why do you always favor other siblings when feeding them? Not only did he tear apart his parents, but he also tore apart and swallowed all the other wolves in the pack. From that day on, it became cold-blooded and ruthless, but it is getting stronger every day. It also led the wolf pack step by step to expand and grow. In the polar night has expanded to a full 60 or 70 wolves. A few months after the extreme night, it even reached almost 200 wolves at one time. Really want to unify this area, but it had always been invincible but it never expected to encounter Su Lin here. An unprecedented and tragic battle of the wolf clans had dyed this ice field scarlet with blood. It had lost, lost with nothing. Ow! Another pale and hoarse wolf howl sounded. Su Lin, who had walked over, didn't try and torture too much when faced with this fey wolf king whose size was not inferior to his own. Because the wounds on this wolf king's body couldn't possibly support its dying counterattack anymore. As for the miserable sadness of this wolf king's fall, it also didn't make his heartstrings fluctuate in the slightest the strongest is honored, and the winner is the king, this was the eternal and unchanging law, every king that stood at the top of the food chain had stepped on the bones of one opponent after another to reach the top, even this fey wolf king was no exception, those who had died in its hands, opponents, how was it ever less, boom, at this moment, Su Lin ruthlessly struck this fey wolf king's neck with a claw, once again slashing a huge bloody wound on its neck, the huge impact and the miserable pain caused the wolf king's body to no longer be able to stand, it flew horizontally and then landed with a bang. The little blood that remained once again flowed out from the neck artery. 
However, this fey wolf king still did not die. It struggled to get up from the icy ground, but it was too late. Even though Su Lin's speed wasn't hundreds of meters per second as it was at its peak, it was still very fast. In an instant, he arrived in front of it, and his thick wolf claws directly slapped on the fey wolf king's bloodied wolf head. Boom! This attack slapped the wolf king's wolf head into the ice and snow. The skin and flesh on the wolf's head were instantly torn apart, and the skull was also cut out with traces of blood, but the wolf king was still alive. This was the fey, the tenacious to the point of being terrifying, it was difficult for ordinary species to achieve. A ruthless light appeared in Su Lin's eyes. He once again stretched out his wolf claws and directly stabbed into the wolf king's chest, then violently exerted himself, and his peak strength once again erupted. From the front chest to the abdomen, he directly disemboweled the wolf king. The thick smell of blood rose up violently, and many of the internal organs were still pulsing, and the intestines were still writhing. Subsequently, Su Lin didn't waste too much time. His physical strength was about to be depleted, and he was still able to stand entirely by virtue of his willpower to hold on again. He saw the wolf heart that was emitting a rich gray fluorescent light, and then stretched out his claw spikes and yanked the wolf heart out of the wolf king's body by hooking it to death. The heart was also the most deadly for a fey, especially when it is the heart that condenses the essence of the body. After the heart was taken out, the remaining trace of life force of the fey wolf king finally came to an end. It wanted to let out a long howl, but its throat had already been completely cut. It could only emit a whistling sound of leaking air. In the end, the huge wolf's body began to convulse violently, and within a few seconds, there was no more movement. This fey wolf king, who had ruled over nearly 200 wolves, also finally perished completely. Su Lin, who was drenched in blood, didn't have the slightest hesitation and devoured the heart that was emitting a glistening gray light into his stomach. He didn't want to make the essence of the heart pass away. After swallowing it into his mouth, Su Lin felt that the heart quickly transformed into a very large energy that flowed into his limbs and bones. Under this energy, even his physical strength recovered slightly. That gray essence power was also completely extracted. Two light gray message prompts then appeared before his eyes. Ding! Congratulations to the host for feeding on the heart of the Fey Arctic Wolf, level 14. Gaining 1, 200 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for feeding on the Fey Arctic Wolf's residual talent essence and purifying a talent serum. These two message prompts were followed closely by the message prompts for the battle ratings. To overcome the strong with the weak. Fighting the crowd with the few. Talent duel. Blood-soaked combat. A grueling battle. The final victory. Target dead. Battle rating, SS. This battle rating, SS. Gained two reinforcement serums. Three restoration potion and 30 evolution potion. The battle rating this time has reached the SS level. It far exceeded the rating of the last time he fought with the Lynx, and the rewards far exceeded the last time as well. Seeing this obtained reward, Su Lin, who was panting violently and roughly, felt somewhat relieved. The talent serum, reinforcement serum, recovery potion, and evolution potion were all what he needed most urgently at the moment. In addition to that, killing four fei in a row in a single battle. This fey blood and flesh alone was a huge harvest for Su Lin and the wolves. Chapter 120 Unidentified Green Light The fey musk ox, in particular, weighed more than a ton. It was an extraordinary harvest. However, the crisis hadn't been fully contacted yet, and after devouring the heart of the fey wolf king, Su Lin, who had slightly regained a trace of his strength, looked up at the huge grizzly bear that was so large that it had already vaguely reached 5 meters. In his eyes, there was a ruthless killing intent that didn't diminish in the slightest. After obtaining three more recovery potions, Su Lin currently had five recovery potions, so he didn't mind wasting a recovery potion to kill this grizzly bear as well, chopping up five fey in a row in one day. There was no doubt that Su Lin's performance would set an unprecedented record in the Arctic ice plains, but just as Su Lin let out a low howl, signaling Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom to clean up the battlefield, and he went forward again, but he realized that the fey grizzly bear standing on top of the snowy slope had actually retreated, and this time, it retreated extremely fast. Ow. Oh, this caused Su Lin's somewhat hoarse wolf howl to ring out violently. He quickly chased after this fey grizzly bear, but due to the fact that the battlefield was far away from the snowy slopes, the, he soon saw the fey grizzly bear, with a greenish glow emanating from its body, disappearing from his sight at an extremely fast speed. Su Lin's mind moved, wanting to call up the fey grizzly's attributes to see what that green glow was, but he failed. It was impossible to call up the fey grizzly's attributes at this distance. But Su Lin could be pretty sure that this green light was definitely not a fey grizzly's talent, because he'd seen a grizzly bear's talent when he'd slaughtered that group of poachers that day. It was a light gray fluorescent light that could make a fey grizzly bear's defense skyrocket. Even their skin became as hard as stone and steel, 
making it difficult for ordinary rifles to cause an effective kill. But if that green light wasn't a gift, what was it? Just now even Su Lin from the glittering green light, feel a hint of danger. Even Su Lin's extremely sharp sense of smell also detected a breath that did not belong to the fey grizzly bear from the green light. Eh, could it be that this fey grizzly bear is having another strange encounter? There was an incomparably chilling light in his eyes. Although this fey grizzly bear was timid and shy, its luck had always been so good that it was the envy of other species. The last time there was an iceberg crack, even though he didn't obtain the iceberg lotus, he had gained a great increase in strength by devouring polar iceworms day after day. This time, if he obtained some more encounters, Su Lin wouldn't mind intercepting them again. The Ice Mountain Lotus's evolutionary value of thousands and thousands of points was something that he still couldn't get enough of even now. But why did that fey grizzly bear run away when he himself is so weak now? Su Lin stood on the snowy slope with some doubt in his bloodstained wolf eyes. But soon, he didn't think much more about it. Because even though he hadn't been able to slaughter this grizzly bear, he had saved a recovery potion. As for his own questions, I think I will get the answer later. And that glowing green light made Su Lin think that he might be able to get some surprises from this fey grizzly bear in the future. Huffing, huffing, the fast and furious running he had just done had completely depleted Su Lin's stamina, which had recovered a tiny bit. His limbs were all a bit weak and he strongly supported his wolf body to the corpse of the fey musk ox with. One, while lying on his back, he panted violently to recover his stamina, and also sucked a few mouthfuls of fresh blood from the neck wound. The blood of the fey musk ox was sweet and delicious, and it was quickly converted into a considerable amount of energy when it entered the body. Ding, the host fed on the fey musk ox and gained 45 points of evolutionary value. A light gray message of evolutionary value followed. This blood flowed into his stomach replenishing some of the strength of Su Lin, who was already extremely tired. Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom. They had also gone through a grueling fight. Three of the wolves in the wolf pack under Wolf Dad's command had also died in battle, and the rest of the wolves were carrying injuries to a greater or lesser extent. However, they were still much better than Su Lin, and they were working together to drag these prey. This was the territory of the wolves, and there were usually no ungrateful hunters coming over to plunder. But Su Lin, just in case, still let out a low howl and signaling his wolf father to detach one of the wolf clans to go gather the little lone wolf and the little gray over to them. Ow! Papa Wolf responded painfully. After this tragic battle, Wolf Dad had already deeply felt his inadequacy. The mere fact that the wolves had gotten mixed in with the underbelly of a large wolf pack was a very significant dereliction of duty on his part as the head wolf, and after evolving into a fae, his IQ had increased quite a bit. He also no longer took his majesty too seriously, especially for his own pups and his own mate. The wolf father would not show his majesty as the head wolf anymore. Plus, today, the wolf dad, too, had completely seen Su Lin's terrifying and incomparable battle power. This battle power was beyond its imagination. At first, the wolf father thought that this was the end of the wolf pack, and he had the intention of accompanying the wolf mom to her death. He just hoped that his own cubs could escape. But how could he have thought that Su Lin didn't escape at all? He killed the wolves alone until the wolf pack collapsed and the wolf king was bleeding. He had led a dozen or so wolves, but he was only able to hold off 30 or so wolves from the other side. This gap made the wolf father recognize himself, and began to listen to the words of his own cubs. With a low howl, he sent out a wolf clan that still had reasonable stamina to go to Su Lin's territory to summon Little Grey and the others. This wolf clan was an old member of the wolf pack and naturally recognized the scent of Little Ash and Cousin. Ow, ow. After continuously howling lowly to lead the order, it quickly darted over in the direction of Su Lin's territory. As for Su Lin, after lying on his back and greedily sucking in quite a bit of blood, he also finally recovered some of his physical strength, while gaining quite a bit of evolutionary value. He stood up once again and completely slashed open the abdomen of the fey musk ox, searching for the best parts of it. Now that it had been two to three hours since the fey musk ox had died, he didn't know how much of the gifted essence above the essence part had dissipated. At this time, after Su Lin opened the musk ox's belly, he quickly saw the essence part of it. Because the fey musk ox's essence part was large, it was a piece of brisket. Brisket had always been a very popular part to eat on all kinds of cattle. And the brisket of this fey musk ox was even emitting a faint fluorescence and aroma. Having an aroma proved that the talent essence on top of the brisket hadn't dissipated yet, which caused Su Lin's appetite to widen and he began to devour it. This piece of beef brisket was 12 or 13 pounds. However, under Su Lin's big mouth swallowing, it didn't take more than a minute or two for all of it to enter his stomach. After all, Nowadays, Su Lin's body size was already a full 4 meters, and a bite was at least nearly a kilogram of meat. The meat of this essence part was very tasty. Not only was it sinewy and refreshing, but it also had the aroma of the talent essence, so it could be said that it was full of color and flavor. 
After finishing this piece of beef brisket, two light gray message prompts also appeared in front of Su Lin's eyes once again. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the Fei Musk Ox brisket, level 11, gaining 600 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the Fei Musk Ox's residual talent essence and purifying a talent serum, inferior. Chapter 121, Splitting the Prey. Hmm, the talent serum still has a secondary product? It sure looks like it dissipated quite a bit of talent essence. Su Lin looked at the two light gray message prompts and pondered in his heart. But having a talent serum, even if it was defective, was better than nothing. After Su Lin finished digesting the essence parts of the Fei Musk Ox, he began to lie down and rest again. In this bloody battle, he had consumed a lot, having used up a recovery potion. This was because every wolf clan he killed would consume some of his physical strength. It was a good thing that this large wolf pack hadn't been formed for a long time. Even though the Fei Wolf King had supreme authority, in front of real death and killing, the wolf pack still collapsed. After all, the desire to survive was engraved in the genes of any species, and it was hard to change this point. In today's battle, if the little lone wolf and the little gray also came, I think it should be able to fight a little easier. After all, the two of them, together with their wolf father, were also a not so weak force, and it wouldn't be a problem for them to sweep away more than 20 ordinary wolf clans, but Su Lin came over in a hurry and didn't inform them. The battlefield was nearly 20 kilometers away from his territory. This range could be heard by Su Lin's extremely sharp hearing, but the rest of the wolf clans were unable to detect it. After he rested for about half an hour, with a noisy wolf howl, the, it was discovered that Little Gray, Cousin, and Little Lone Wolf, were dashing over from the distance. Little Lone Wolf was the most powerful, and had the most wolves under his command, with a dozen or so of them. With Little Lone Wolf's coaching these days, the morale of the dozen or so wolves had obviously risen a lot. Secondly, Cousin also led six female wolves over. As for Little Gray, he came alone. Currently the number of wolves under Su Lin's command was more than the wolf father. Also after crushing the large wolf pack this time, he was preparing to expand to the west. The territory of that large wolf pack in the west was already empty. Once he expanded past it, Su Lin's territory would reach an unprecedentedly vast point. On top of that, there were even more wolves over there. When the time came, they would have to be prepared for a surge in the number of wolves. There were about 400 wolves in this area. In today's battle, Su Lin had slaughtered at least 60 to 70 wolves in this ice field, leaving about 300 left. These wolves were more than enough to form a large wolf pack. Ow, ow, ow. As the wolf howls of Little Lone Wolf, Little Gray and Cousin rang out. More than 20 wolves, all came before Su Lin, respectfully waiting for the head wolf's instructions. Currently, this area was littered with broken limbs and blood. Anyone could see that an extremely tragic battle had occurred. The victor was obviously their head wolf. This made these wolves, for Su Lin are more respectful, prostrate on the ground, front limbs holding the head to show loyalty. At the same time, they were also terrified. They hadn't participated in such a grueling battle, and the head wolf fought it alone. So would they still be useful to the wolf king in the future? In the cruel nature, useless wolves are often expelled. Fortunately, Su Lin coldly watched them for a moment, did not say anything, just low howl signaling these wolves along with the wolf parents to clean up the battlefield. The battlefield was filled with the corpses of several. The corpses of the ten wolf clans should also be gathered up and find a cave to hoard again. Eating each other's food was something that could only be done under extreme hunger. Therefore, these dozens of wolf races broken limbs and bones were used as a reserve food as a last resort. Just find a remote cave to hoard it and send another wolf to guard it. The most important thing left was the corpses of the four fey. This was the biggest harvest of the battle. Su Lin decided to give more than a hundred pounds of the blood and flesh of the fey musk ox and the wolf king's blood and flesh to his wolf parents. The fey blood meat contained powerful energy and nutrition, and more than a hundred pounds was no longer a small amount. It was enough for wolf dad and wolf mom to eat for a long time. As for the ordinary wolf clans under the command of wolf dad and wolf mom, they didn't enjoy the treatment of fey blood meat. After the great change in heaven and earth, Fey blood and meat was extremely precious to carnivores and could prompt a rapid increase in strength. So such precious food, Su Lin didn't intend to give the ordinary wolf clans a share. Next, in cleaning up the battlefield, Su Lin also devoured another 2 to 3 pounds of Fey musk ox blood and flesh, gaining hundreds of evolutionary values. The carrying and dragging of the other dozens of wolf clans was a not so small amount of work for Su Lin's wolf pack and the wolf dad wolf pack. It was only after more than 2 hours of busy work that these wolf race corpses were dragged and dragged to a remote cave. This cave was located in the territory of the wolf daddies. It wasn't a large area, but it was more than enough to place these wolf corpses in the frigid Arctic. A few hours would have frozen these ordinary wolf corpses to stiffness. 
Placing them in the cave made the cold air inside the cave even heavier. Since he was in Wolf Dad's territory, Su Lin let out a low howl and signaled Wolf Dad to send some wolves to watch over it. In the future, this place would serve as a place for the wolves to hoard food. The corpses of the four fey, on the other hand, were dragged back to the cave with a low howl by Su Lin, who instructed the little lone wolf and the little grey to escort them. Naturally, more than a hundred pounds of fey blood meat was left for the wolf parents. In passing, Su Lin once again instructed the wolf parents that these fey blood meat could be eaten by themselves. This would allow them to gain faster progress. Wolf Dad was already located at the peak of level 7, so it wasn't possible to say that the next time he came, Wolf Dad would be promoted to a level 8 fey. The Wolf Dad's potential wasn't weak either. To be able to grow to a peak level 6 attribute before the great change in heaven and earth, it already said it all. As for Wolf Mom and Cousin, although they had also eaten a lot of fey blood and flesh, they still didn't have a single sign of evolving into fey. This made Su Lin feel that if he could still obtain fey serum in the future, he would give priority to Wolf Mom and Cousin. After all, Wolf Mom and Cousin were the ones he trusted the most. The more fey, it also meant the stronger the wolf pack was. Ow. Oh. At this time, Su Lin had also recovered 20% of his physical strength in two or three hours. He stood up and let out a long whistle, then said goodbye to his wolf dad and mom. And he instructed wolf dad and wolf mom to recuperate in the cave as much as possible these days. When they go out to hunt, they should also be vigilant against that fey grizzly bear, and contact themselves in time once there is a situation. Because that fey grizzly bear was very strong, for the wolf pack led by wolf dad and wolf mom, it could almost cause a devastating blow. As for the territory of that large wolf pack in the west, after waiting for his physical strength to recover, he would personally lead the wolf pack to receive it. After barking out his instructions, Su Lin then led the large force under his command and left the area. The wolf father and wolf mother stood at the entrance of the cave, looking at their own pups who were gradually moving away. In addition to the relief in their eyes, they both added a touch of respect. Among the wolf clan, the strongest is honored. The toughness of their own cubs had already exceeded their imagination especially Wolf Dad. After this battle, he had begun to follow Su Lin's instructions. Regarding this point, the Wolf Mom was also very pleased. Being able to see her mate and her own pups coexisting peacefully was something that made her very happy. In a short while, Su Lin and the wolves gradually disappeared from their view. And Su Lin, who was on his way back to the cave, looked at the harvest from this trip and was quite satisfied. The blood and flesh of the four fey, added together, amounted to about 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds. As the current hard currency, this was an amazing amount. It was important to know that the energy and nutrition contained in fey flesh was terrifying, and even Su Lin would feel full if he ate 10 or so pounds a day. So these 5, 000 pounds of fey blood meat were enough to consume for a long time. In the future, if all of this fey blood meat was consumed, then the strength of both Su Lin and the wolves would take a qualitative leap. In this thought, he led the wolves and began to quickly return to the cave. This time, the four heads of fey blood meat were still placed in the main cave where he lived. The path of the cave was steep and rugged, and even with the combined force of little lone wolf and little grey dragging and pulling, they couldn't drag the carcasses of the fey wolf king and the fey musk ox up. In the end, it was Su Lin who stepped in and carried the two fey corpses up. The steep and rugged mountain road more or less caused some inconvenience to the wolves. However, the safety and defense aspects were greatly improved. Overall, the advantages outweighed the disadvantages. In the future, if another race really attacked the wolf pack, then this mountain road alone would be able to block many ordinary species. After dragging the four fey back, the fey flesh and blood in the cave was up to 5,000 pounds. There were also nearly 5,000 pounds of deer meat as well as some of the rest of the meat, which brought the total amount of food in the cave to tens of thousands of pounds. This food alone could supply the wolf clan in their own cave for a few years without worrying. The blood and meat of the fey species and the blood and meat of the ordinary species were stacked separately in the corners of the cave. With this food, even Su Lin felt at peace, because this food was the strongest guarantee to become stronger and survive. As he grew stronger in the future, then he would be able to adapt and survive no matter how the future changed. Su Lin gave the blood and meat of the fey musk ox, and gave 30 pounds to the little lone wolf to take back with him. Little solitary wolf was the main battle general that Su Lin intended to focus on cultivating, and even though it didn't participate in the battle this time, it was still allocated some fey blood meat, 30 pounds of fey blood and flesh after swallowing it, would also enable Little Doctor to take a steady step on the path of a level 6 fey. Ow! Oh, this caused the little lone wolf to howl low in surprise, and also wagged its tail repeatedly to show its loyalty to Su Lin. It was naturally very eager for this fey blood and flesh, because it had already eaten several times. It knew that these blood and meat contained surging pure energy, 
Su Lin just patted the little lone wolf's head and accepted the loyalty. He then signaled for it to take the wolves back. At this moment, while Su Lin was lying on his back resting on his position, he was also thinking about the future development of the wolf pack. The wolf pack strength could only become a booster for him if it was raised and developed again. Currently, the strength of the wolf pack was still too weak and far from being able to keep up with his rate of improvement. In the midst of his musings, the cousin then signaled a few female wolves to go out and patrol the territory once again. After the explanation, cousin then came to Su Lin's side and licked his still unhealed wounds with concern. Chapter 122 Healing Talent Surrounding the Fae The time in the cave passed by very quickly, coupled with the fact that the polar day was always daylight. It was easy to lose track of time. A few days passed in a flash. During the days that Su Lin had been recuperating, his injuries had completely recovered under his powerful healing talent, and his physical strength had also reached its peak. Through this battle with that large wolf pack, he had also gained some more experience in fighting against a crowd by being outnumbered. If he encountered this kind of battle again in the future, he wanted to be able to cope with it more easily. In addition, during these three days, Su Lin also went out to patrol the territory. Under the polar day, the North Pole should be a bit more vibrant. Just a while ago, under the cold snap of the natural disaster-like blizzard, at least half of the species froze to death. The large herbivorous races that came out to eat were only scattered. Currently, in the area he ruled, apart from a few large herbivorous races, there were only two grizzly bears and three polar bears at the ice layer. There were also some small-sized lynxes. Other than that, the only remaining lone wolves in the area had also returned to the pack in the past few days. Currently, the young lone wolf's men reached 18 wolves, and had also recruited a peak level 6 wolf. Such strength was enough to be a leader in other wolf packs, which caused Su Lin to pay more attention to this wolf clan. It turned out that this peak level 6 wolf was indeed the leader of a small wolf pack. It was only later that it was crushed by the large wolf pack to the west and was forced to wander over here. As this area was unified, it tried to poach some food in the bear clan's territory, but it failed. It was almost torn apart by a bear clan member. Therefore, under the aftermath of the robbery, it came to the wolf pack to join it, but this wolf clan is quite strong. Just after joining the wolf pack, he helped the wolf pack drive out some lynx that wanted to poach, but in the wolf pack, one still has to start as an Ohio wolf. In the future, with the acquisition of merit, only then will they slowly be promoted. At the same time, during these few days Su Lin also made some reward and punishment rules for the wolf pack, and these rules could also increase the fighting motivation of the wolves under the wolf pack's command. Article 1, when hunting large herbivorous races, those with outstanding performance could be rewarded with some meat. Rule number 2, when fighting for hunting territory, those who caused the other party to be attenuated could be rewarded with about 3 to 10 pounds of fey flesh and blood, depending on the situation. For an ordinary wolf clan, a few pounds of fey blood meat was already quite a lot. Another thing is the punishment. If a hunter flees without a fight, the lesser penalty is that food will not be distributed for a month and the more severe penalty is that the wolf will be expelled from the pack. For the wolves, food is more important than anything else. Therefore, using food as the standard for reward and punishment was the best. As for promotion within the wolf pack, if one receives rewards for more than five times, they can be promoted from Ohio wolf to be wolf. Those who have received rewards more than ten times can be promoted to head wolf. Those with significant merit could be promoted out of the ordinary. Su Lin had also prepared to expand the wolf pack into a large wolf pack so he would definitely promote some head wolves in the future. With these rules, the ordinary wolves would have something to look forward to. Of course, the meaning that Su Lin conveyed to these wolves was simplified. After all, ordinary wolves couldn't understand the complicated meanings. After all, ordinary wolves couldn't understand complicated meanings. Afterwards, Su Lin let the little lone wolf lead his wolf pack to the territory of the large wolf pack in the west. He wanted to see if there were any remaining wolves in that large wolf pack that were still defending their territory as well as exploring the noteworthy hunters over there. The territory of that large wolf pack was around 3,000 square kilometers. It was a not-so-small area, and letting the little lone wolf be the first to go and fight ahead of the pack was also to exercise the pack's fighting ability. Ow, ow, ow. With a long howl, the little lone wolf that received the order led the wolf pack to run towards the west. The pack's many wolves followed closely behind and were quite impressive. The current little lone wolf was also very strong amongst the rank 6 face species, and with the nearly 20 wolves under his command, among the ordinary species, there were almost no rivals left, even fey around level 10. As long as their talent wasn't too perverse, they could fight. Next, Su Lin, who had returned to the cave, checked his rewards that he had obtained the other day. Two reinforcement serums, three restoration potions, and 30 evolutionary potions. These were all things he was currently in great need of. 
especially the strengthening serum. It was a necessity for him to enhance his strength. In addition to this, there was also a talent serum and a defective talent serum. Comparatively speaking, the defective talent serum only had a higher chance of failure, reaching a staggering 70% failure rate. Su Lin looked at these rewards and eventually took the lead in using the talent serum. After strengthening his hunting talent last time, the increase in his battle power was extremely terrifying, increasing his attack power and speed by 100%. This was definitely a crushing level compared to other Fei talents. Even if it was a talent like Berserk Wolf's that got stronger the more he was injured, it couldn't be compared to the hunting and killing talent of the same level. Relying on injuries to increase strength and directly doubling one's strength by leaps and bounds were incomparable. I hope to strengthen the hunt once more, Su Lin said in his heart. If he were to strengthen the hunt one more time, it was hard to imagine the increase in battle strength would reach a point. In this thought, Su Lin took out the talent serum. Ding, is the talent serum being used? Use. Su Lin didn't hesitate in the slightest. The talent serum was different from the strengthening serum, and there wasn't the slightest bit of discomfort after using it. Instead it was the very comforting warmth that surged over his entire wolf pack, the limbs, bones and tendons. It didn't last long before this warm current was completely absorbed. Ding, the healing talent has been successfully strengthened, advancing to an A-rank talent. This light gray message appeared before his eyes. Healing talent? Su Lin didn't feel much regret. After all, the healing talent was also instrumental in these battles. The healing talent's rapid recovery and blood clotting effects were also very effective in battle. And since a B-ranked healing talent possessed 100 times the recovery speed, what amazing level would an A-ranked one reach? Immediately afterward, within a few seconds the introduction of the A-rank healing talent appeared before his eyes. Healing, grade A, upgradable, passive talent, increases the speed of healing injuries by 500 times, immune to toxins, immune to fungal infections, and is equally effective against mental and radiation type. Traumas, equally effective. Note, can consume stamina to speed up recovery. Duration, permanent. Cooldown, none. A ranked healing talent. The speed of healing was increased to 500 times. 500 times. Looking at this recovery speed, Su Lin couldn't help but be a little shocked. Such a recovery speed could be called terrifying. Ordinary light injuries might have healed in the middle of a battle, especially since in the notes, there was the additional consumption of stamina to speed up the recovery speed. It was already 500 times faster. What would it reach if it was further accelerated? I'm afraid it will reach a recovery speed visible to the naked eye. Such an increase in talent also meant that his future survivability would rise to a terrifying level. After being shocked for a moment, Su Lin, who had regained his senses, took out the rest of the talent serum in one go. Ding, is the talent serum inferior to be used? Use. Su Lin didn't hesitate in the slightest. It was fine to strengthen whichever talent this time, just hoping that it wouldn't fail. After all, a 70% failure rate for a second-rate talent serum was really a bit terrifying. And just when Su Lin was still strengthening his talent in the cave, all the major forces in the world had already decided to send out their most elite troops. They were ready to start hunting the giant beasts, exotic trees, and strange flowers that appeared in the human field of vision. Because after research, many scientists have come to a unanimous decision. These genetically unchained species, as their strength and size evolved, even their intelligence soared. Many species already possessed intelligence that was no less than that of humans. This was what made all the major powers decide to take action. Wisdom is the most essential difference between humans and the rest of the species. If human beings can't even maintain the advantage of intelligence, if humans can't even maintain their superiority in intelligence, then what will they use to crush these genetically unchained species in the future? Especially since these species are still getting stronger at an astonishing rate. All the major powers were completely panicked. And they didn't want to sit back and watch these species continue to get stronger. They wanted to rely on the existing technological advantages to exterminate these species. The most radical Sakura nations know. One figure openly proposed in the Alliance's video conference, there is a saying in the ancient East that I think says it very well. If it's not my kind, its heart will be different. All the major powers should join hands, not only to carry through this rare ice age, but also to maintain our supreme human dominance. Once these words were proposed, quite a few people seconded them. After a comprehensive consideration, the strongest armed forces of all the major powers came out in full force. Floods of steel, swarms of drones, the latest warplanes, missiles with fire coverage, and so on, ready to begin the siege. Of all species that have unlocked their genetic shackles, the bloodthirsty pythons of India, the invincible lions of Africa, the human skin trees of the rainforest, the patterned tigers of Siberia, and the unknown sea monsters of the deep sea have all become the key targets of the major powers. In addition to that, 
Search teams were also sent out to travel deep into regions where major satellite signals had disappeared to explore the mysterious species in these regions. Chapter 123 Strengthening the Lungs On top of that, the Human Science Alliance also released authoritative information. These giant beasts, strange flowers, and exotic trees all contained a new type of pure energy. This energy subverted the known energy system on Earth and could be absorbed by humans, possessing many magical effects. Once this news was released, it made the power holders of all the major powers sharpen their swords. Peak armed forces began to swarm out from human fortresses. Even the submarines that were silent in the deep sea moved slowly, searching for the so-called sea monsters in the deep sea. But the extreme weather under the ice age has rendered satellite means useless in many places. This has made searching for these genetically unlocked species quite difficult, especially in the deep sea. Antarctica, the Arctic and the rainforests, places with extreme weather and complex terrain, but these didn't make humans retreat. Instead, there were quite a few elite troops that had asked for orders to serve as pioneers to explore. And at this time, in the Arctic caves of the morphic cold, ding, unfortunately, the talent serum inferior reinforcement failed. Su Lin looked at the light gray message that popped up in front of him, slightly regretting it. Sure enough, it had still failed, but it was expected. After all, a second-rate talent serum had a failure rate of up to 70%. Next, Su Lin then took out the strengthening serum. Since the talent serum had been used up, it was time to experience the scorching pain brought about by the strengthening serum. In fact, right now, for Su Lin, the pain caused by the strengthening serum could already be endured, unless it was strengthening the brain. Such a deadly place. What part will be strengthened this time? Now that there were two more reinforcing serums, the parts of the entire wolf body that had been reinforced were becoming more and more numerous, and the bonuses they brought were unprecedentedly powerful. Su Lin's level 11 attributes were definitely overriding those of a fey of the same rank. Ding! Is the strengthening serum used? Use! Su Lin didn't hesitate for a second. Soon the familiar rolling energy in his body once again swam through the wolf's limbs and bones. However, this time, it traveled for a long time and never made a move. Just as Su Lin was slightly puzzled, he suddenly realized that this rolling energy had surged into the meridians of the wolf body's limbs. Eh? Meridians? Without a doubt. Meridians were important parts of any species' body. This time, strengthening the meridians should result in a considerable battle power increase. However, after the hot energy surged into the meridians of the limbs and bones, the pain brought about was far greater than the last time the spine was strengthened. After all, the meridians were extremely sensitive and spread throughout the entire body. Under this pain, Su Lin silently endured. This hot energy scorched all the meridians, and also caused these meridians to undergo subtle changes. In the roasting, the meridians all over his body faintly emitted a glittering light. Even the meridians originally linked to the wolf's claws, heart, and spine were enveloped in this glittering light. This time, the strengthening had taken much longer than before. It was already comparable to the time it took to strengthen the heart last time. Even after more than an hour, this hot energy was still sizzling in the meridians of the limbs and bones. During the pain of strengthening his meridians, that Su Lin had endured for about three hours. Only then was this hot energy gradually absorbed and the faint fluorescent light that covered his entire body slowly converged into his meridians. The strengthened meridians became even tougher than before, and the speed of qi and blood circulation became even smoother, breathing even longer. This caused a brilliant light to flash through Su Lin's golden brown wolf eyes. The enhancement brought about by this strengthening was so strong that he could feel it. It was going to be far more than the last time he strengthened his spine and the boost it brought. In particular, the enhancement to qi and blood was obvious. The chi and blood flowing in the huge wolf body became even more majestic. Phew! Feeling this majestic chi and blood, Su Lin let out a long breath. Immediately afterward, the latest attribute panel appeared before his eyes. Name, Su Lin. Species, Arctic Wolf. Gene level, I. Level, 11. Upgrading requires 20. 000 evolution points. Blood, 2900. Endurance, 230. Strength, 260. Defense, 240. Speed, 360. Evolution, 15567. Talent, Hunting, Grade C, Healing, Grade A. Looking at the detailed latest attributes in front of him, Su Lin's expression was even more joyful. The enhancement brought about by strengthening his meridians this time far exceeded his imagination. Except for the defense value which had not been raised, the rest of the attributes had all been very significantly enhanced. Among them, the Qi and Blood value was the most obvious enhancement directly skyrocketing by 800 points of qi and blood value. This meant that Su Lin's current blood value had far exceeded that of the polar bear as the arctic overlord. Such a huge blood value, combined with his tenacious vitality, healing talent, and strengthened heart, 
This made it almost impossible for Su Lin to receive fatal injuries. In addition to the qi and blood values, Su Lin's speed, endurance, and strength, they had all increased by a considerable amount as well. The base strength value had increased to 260, which meant that by utilizing the strength and right claw, the strength value would directly approach 400 points of. This was a very terrifying strength value. A claw going down, even without opening the hunting talent would be nearly 10,000 pounds of force, and no ordinary species could resist it. Combined with the sharp wolf claws, invulnerability was definitely not something that could be said. The speed soared to 360 points, and darting at full speed also reached a speed of over 120 meters per second. Such an increase made Su Lin feel very satisfied. He looked at the one reinforcing serum that was still remaining and took it out again as well. Su Lin's tolerance for pain was already very strong. This caused him to decide to also use the second reinforcing serum in one go as well. Ding! Is the reinforcing serum used? Use! As another reinforcement serum rolling energy appeared, Su Lin only felt that this time, the pain was much stronger than the first time, but it was still within the range of tolerance. He was enduring it with a deathly clench of his teeth. This time, the rolling energy flowed quickly, not as slow as the strengthening of the meridians. In no time at all, it surged towards Su Lin's lungs. Extreme pain immediately came from his lungs, which made it a little difficult for Su Lin to even breathe for a moment. The suffocating sensation made him feel like he was blacking out a little before his eyes. However, it could be felt that the genetic reorganization experienced at the bottom of the iceberg crevice in the lungs, once again, began to break through the genetic shackles and undergo new changes. After strengthening the lungs, it was thought that in the future, one could not only swim on land, even in water, especially in the ocean. There were countless species that hadn't eaten before, which was extremely enticing to Su Lin. Thinking about the huge amount of evolutionary value in the ocean, Su Lin even felt that the pain coming from his lungs had weakened quite a bit. Right in the middle of this subtle strengthening of the lungs, time also slowly passed. This time, the strengthening time was obviously faster, and it only took about an hour or so for the lungs to finish strengthening. Su Lin also loosened his tightly clenched wolf's teeth, and now he only felt that his breathing had become long, and his lungs possessed a powerful vigor. Immediately afterward, a new attribute page popped up once again. Only this time, the bonus brought by strengthening the lungs only added 30 points of endurance, far from the bonus of strengthening the meridians. But the biggest effect brought about by strengthening the lungs was its powerful breathing ability. This allowed Su Lin to be like a polar bear, able to breathe even underwater. In the future, hunting various marine species would no longer be a dream. At this moment, Su Lin stood up and his huge wolf body came to the entrance of the cave, looking at the snow-covered arctic ice field, feeling his strength surge again. He couldn't help but let out a long whistle to vent the joy in his heart. Ow! The loud and long wolf howl echoed in the cold arctic sky. The little gray and polar bear cubs were also awakened from their sleep by Su Lin's wolf howl. All of them were farting around, running and following to Su Lin's side. Through these days of contact, the polar bear cubs didn't have the rusty feeling they had at the beginning with the wolf pack. It became familiar with all the members of the wolf pack and had already integrated into the wolf pack, coupled with the phase strong learning ability. The polar bear cubs also knew roughly what movements the wolves made and what they meant through careful observation. During this time, it followed and learned in a decent manner, although the action is very naive, but for the wolves also more a trace of joy, and can also through the action behavior for some simple communication. Little White's growth speed was also very fast, and in a short period of time, he had already reached the middle stage of a level 3 fey. This growth speed was terrifying, however, it only takes 2-3 to three years for an ordinary polar bear to grow to adulthood. Fey polar bear growth speed to be more rapid. Not to mention these days, Xiaobai also eat 10 pounds of fey flesh. Therefore, it is reasonable to have this growth rate. It is not possible to say that in a few more months, he will be able to hold his own amongst the wolves. Now in the cave, wolf sister, the gray and white coyote and little white, would also engage in some scuffles from time to time. In the beginning, the wolf sister's battle power was still the strongest of the three. After all, she had taken a potential potion when she was a cub and the development of her body's potential was still a bit stronger. It was only recently that she could no longer suppress Little White. Little White's strong combat power as a fey polar bear is gradually showing its strength. Su Lin looked at the Little Grey and Little White that surrounded him, so he led them both out of the cave. Nowadays, his battle power was the best in this area. If you look at this area of 300 to 400 miles, other than that fey grey bear that had run off somewhere, there wasn't a single person who could. There wasn't a single hunter that could make it through a few moves. Except for that fey grizzly bear that didn't know where it had run off to, even the polar bear, which was known as the Arctic Overlord, would be hard pressed to last more than a few rounds under Su Lin's wolf claws, 
With the right claw's attack power of close to 400, once it hit the vitals, it could easily drain the polar bear of all of its massive blood value and life force. This didn't mean that the polar bear's combat power had become weaker. It was just that after the great change in heaven and earth, the natural world no longer belonged to ordinary species. It was a world of fey species. As for ordinary species, even the once invincible polar bears would eventually become a passing cloud in the big time. After walking out of the cave, Su Lin brought little gray and little white to the ice. He had just strengthened his lungs, so he naturally planned to come to the ice to capture some prey. Su Lin's thick wolf claws stepped on the ice and snow, bringing out a slight sound. With his current size of 4 meters, he had also long ago given up hunting skills such as creeping and hiding. Because of such a large size, these small low shrubs in the North Pole can't be hidden at all. Su Lin was so grandiose that he led Little Gray and Little White to appear in the ice. He planned to take the lead in hunting some seals, and had been craving for the seals' fatty meat for a long time. But the seals had a high IQ and were sensitive to dangerous odors, always moving at the mouth of the ice layer and jumping into the sea at the slightest situation, which made them difficult to be captured. But Su Lin, who had strengthened his lungs today, in the future, even if he specialized in feeding on seals like a polar bear, he didn't have the slightest problem, and the seals had become meat on the plate for him. At this moment, with the appearance of Su Lin, a strong aura enveloped the ice. This caused many of the species on the ice to look over in panic. Soon, Su Lin's huge size was reflected in their line of sight. Arctic wolves, such a large arctic wolf? Many species were so frightened that they jumped into the sea in a hurry including a sizable walrus herd. Walruses were equally large, but they were slow and lacked the means to attack. They were still weak against polar bears, let alone against an arctic wolf of such a large size. Many species were even thinking, is this really an arctic wolf? How can there be such a big arctic wolf? And how could an arctic wolf possess such a strong and dangerous aura? As many species hurriedly jumped into the water, there were also panicked cries mixed in, especially with the seal's cries, which were the most shrill and piercing. The calls of the remaining arctic ducks, sea lions and walruses are relatively low. In the arctic, no matter what time of year, the ice is far more species than the rest of the world, more vibrant. It was also the large number of species that made Su Lin just arrive, and the entire ice layer was suddenly a messy scene of chickens flying and dogs jumping. It could be seen that even the fierce blizzard from some time ago hadn't caused much of an impact on these amphibious creatures. Ow! Roar! Looking at this messy scene, Little Grey and Little White both howled low to cheer for their own boss. Especially Little White's polar bear howl caused the seals and walruses to become even more alarmed. After all, the polar bear's hunting of them had made their fear of the polar bear engraved in their genes. Bear's fear, engraved in their genes, and it was in the panic of the chickens and dogs that, Su Lin's golden brown eyes quickly swept to the mouth of the ice in another place, and there were several seals that were straightening up and looking at themselves with novelty. Seeing the appearance of these seals, he also thought of the first time he came to the ice to fish. That batch of seals at that time also looked like such a novelty. This batch of seals that hadn't jumped into the sea yet had a lot of guts and didn't have the slightest look of panic. This made Su Lin grind his teeth. Curious? Since you're so bold, it's just the right time to take you guys for a spin. He looked at this batch of seals, and a dangerous, ferocious light passed through his eyes. Curiosity often came with a price. Ow! Accompanied by a loud and rough wolf howl, Su Lin's speed was instantly fully unleashed, bouncing off the ground. His thick wolf paws lashed out, stomping out half-inch deep ice pits in the hard ice, with a speed of over a hundred meters per second. This speed was long past the speed that ordinary species could react to, even though the distance between Su Lin and this group of bold seals was about 300 meters. But at full speed, it only took two to three seconds to arrive in front of all the seals like a white lightning bolt, when they couldn't react in time. Only at this time did this group of bold seals feel the strong smell of death coming from their faces. A pair of very small eyes showed a look of panic. With a gust of wind, the tall and majestic wolf's body appeared in front of them. Just when this group of seals didn't have time to dive or scream at all, Su Lin directly ran towards one of the most robust seals, which had level 9 attributes and weighed at least 2 to 300 pounds. Su Lin, who had evolved many times, now had a horrible appetite. If he ate the blood and flesh of an ordinary species, he would have to eat at least a hundred or so pounds to feel full. So he directly rushed towards the stoutest and fattest seal. You're it. Su Lin's sharp wolf claws popped out completely in the coldness of his eyes, and the wolf claws flashed with an eerie cold glow in the sunlight. Chapter 124, Fei Seal. Nowadays, Su Lin's full force strike was simply not something an ordinary seal could resist, especially when it still carried a speed bonus of over a hundred meters per second, which further made the power of this claw reach a peak. Boom! 
The majestic force violently erupted and directly smashed into the seal's head, instantly shattering the seal's not-so-hard skull directly. The sharp wolf claws also directly shredded the seal's soft flesh and blood. Even the seal's pair of small eyes that appeared to be dull and cute also turned into a blurry piece of flesh and blood under the wolf's claws. Bloody blood also gushed out from the seal's body in large streams. One blow killed. This was Su Lin's current terrifying attack power. At this time, the seals also reacted and began to panic, jumping towards the mouth of the ice. Su Lin casually clawed the nearest female seal and smashed her skull with a claw. As blood splattered, the seal's body went limp on the icy ground. His battle power was equivalent to slaughter for ordinary species. Even if it was a large wolf pack with unified command and unified combat, it was able to cut down dozens of heads in a row. Not to mention the disorganized seals that had no sense of combat. Since they had come for a trip, they should capture some more. After all, seal meat was also very good meat for the wolf race. Su Lin once again struck a seal that hadn't yet had time to get into the water, and his claw thorns hooked onto the seal's skin and flesh in a deadly manner. After hooking it, even if the seal struggled wildly, it couldn't escape the claw thorns. Then with a vicious yank, Su Lin yanked the seal up from the mouth of the ice. Boom! The fat seal smashed into the ice, causing the thick ice to tremble slightly. The seal on the shore was clumsy. Su Lin, in his icy expression, slashed the seal's neck completely open with another claw. Blood immediately splashed, and the seal's corpse no longer struggled frantically as it collapsed onto the ice and began to convulse. In one breath, he killed three seals in a row, using less than 30 seconds. This hunting speed was horrifying. These three seals, together, weighed seven to eight hundred pounds, the weight of a female musk ox. As Su Lin hunted the three seals quickly and accurately, the rest of the seals had all jumped into the water. Looking at the bloody corpses of their companions, and the boldness and novelty in their eyes had long since disappeared from the beginning. The small eyes are full of panic and fear. This white wolf is too ruthless ah. Soon they didn't even dare to show their heads in the water and immediately fled. The ruthless scene of Su Lin hunting seals also greatly impacted the rest of the species. The amphibious species that were still watching all dove into the seawater and quickly swam away in nervousness and fear. In their cognition, there has never been such a ruthless arctic wolf. Not only was it ruthless, but its strength was also too strong. That speed and killing power were beyond what they could accept. Even the polar bears that had terrified them in the past were far inferior. In nervousness and fear, the creatures in this ice sheet almost all dispersed in a flurry. Even some of the flying birds that were leisurely, having seen the white wolf's speed, were all quickly ascending into the air, chirping and flying away. After all, the white wolf's speed was so fast, even they could not react. Only high in the air could provide them with some sense of security. The present-day Su Lin looked at the various species that dispersed in a flurry. His pair of golden brown eyes did not have the slightest change in expression. The milk tiger whistled in the valley, and yet all the beasts were still trembling in fear. Under the death threat of killing three seals in a row, it was only normal for these species to flee in a hurry. At this moment, Su Lin looked up at the various birds that were rapidly rising into the air. For these birds, with his current combat power, there was also a great probability that he could capture them successfully. After all, since Su Lin's last genetic evolution, he didn't just have the eyesight of a snow lord, he also gained the airworthiness of birds. He could currently leap at full speed at a height of 20 to 30 meters, and could also glide dozens of meters in the air. This also meant that he possessed the ability to fight briefly in the air. Now after strengthening his lungs, Su Lin was even able to go down to the sea at will. This meant that he, possessed the ability to fight in all directions on land, sea, and in the air and it also meant that he almost didn't have any shortcomings anymore. At this moment, Su Lin swept a glance at the birds and realized that they were all very low-grade birds, so even if he captured them, he wouldn't have much evolutionary value. Therefore, he returned his sight to the three seals that had been killed. The three seals were all very fat, each of them had more than 200 pounds, one of them had level 9 attributes, and the other two had level 8 attributes. This caused Su Lin to shake his head, the seal's level was still too low. If it had level 10 attributes, it would have the best parts, and it would also be able to provide a considerable amount of evolutionary value. But there wasn't too much regret. After all, now that the lungs were strengthened, there was a great opportunity to hunt these higher-ranked powerful species in the sea in the future. The oceans were vast, with countless powerful species. Among them were things like walruses, beluga whales, octopuses, large fish, and so on. All of these species were over level 10 once they reached adulthood. It was just that in the ocean, the fighting power of these species could not be as weak as on the shore, much less as clumsy as this on the shore. On top of that, there was an even more powerful group of hunters in the ocean, such as the highly intelligent killer whale group, the invincible king squid, as well as sperm whales.
great white sharks and so on, so the ocean is also extremely dangerous. In addition, there was a strong resistance in the seawater, and his proud speed would be cut down a lot. Therefore, even with Su Lin's current strength, he had to be cautious when he arrived in the seawater. At this moment, while thinking, he also disemboweled the seal directly. Then he used an evolution potion. Evolution potion, currently obtained quite a lot. Su Lin didn't save it either. But whenever he fed on prey for the first time, he would use an evolution potion. After using it, after the cold medicinal effect of the evolution potion surged throughout his body. The, after using it, after the cold medicinal effect of the evolution potion surged through his body, he began to eat seal meat in large mouthfuls, which had just been hunted, and the blood was still hot. A mouthful of it could still feel the warmth of the seal's body temperature. Upon chewing two mouthfuls, Su Lin's eyes lit up, discovering that this seal meat was much too tasty than walrus meat. It was fatty and soft, very smooth, and with the light blood it was very tasty for him. I heard that in the past. The original inhabitants of the Arctic Circle, they would hunt seals for food. And if there is a very important guest, will be the seal meat out as a hospitality. This shows the nutritional value and deliciousness of seal meat. Ding, the host has eaten a seal and gained 24 points of evolutionary value. The seal's level wasn't too low, and the evolution value it gave was quite a lot. With 24 points of evolution value, it was already more than many large herbivores. Coupled with the small reduction in the evolution value of ordinary species, it could also provide at least a few hundred points of evolution value. At the hint of the evolution value, Su Lin began to wolf down his food. Ding, host eats a seal, gaining 23. 5 points of evolution value. Ding, host eats a seal, gaining 23 points of evolution value. Ding, host feeds on the seal, gaining 22, 5 points of evolution value. In the midst of gulping down the food, little gray and little white stood to the side to help keep a watchful eye. But the fatty and tender seal meat also made them just feel their mouths watering, shrugging their throats up and down, especially the little white. As a polar bear is born to eat seals, sense of smell extremely sharp can smell the flavor coming from the seal meat. But still, they all pressed down on their most primitive desire to eat and help Su Lin keep watch. After all, Su Lin was the king of the wolf pack and possessed supreme authority. In the natural world, the right to eat and the right to mate were the most highly valued. Any species valued them extremely highly. But anyone who dared to touch these two rights would not have a good ending unless they possessed strong strength. Therefore Little White was also well behaved as he landed on all fours, lying on the ice, trying not to use his eyes to look at the food. As for Little Grey. He had long since gotten used to the fact that his own boss ate in advance. Little gray as a fay. IQ is much higher than the same kind. Restraint is naturally much higher. Just little gray looked at this time again as the family boss alone hunting prey. It feels a little incompetent. When would it be able to be as valiant as its own boss? Now that Su Lin had already enacted the rules of reward and punishment in the wolf pack, this made little gray even more active in wanting to take credit. After all, it was the first bee wolf in the pack so it naturally wanted to become the first alpha wolf under the boss command. But he himself was still too weak. If he came to hunt these seals by himself, I'm afraid he could only catch air. While Little Grey was thinking in such frustration, Su Lin had already devoured a whole 80 to 90 pounds of seal meat into his stomach. He currently had nearly a kilogram of flesh and blood in a single bite, and it was very fast for him to devour it. After he finished eating, he let out a low howl and started summoning Little Grey and Little White to come and eat. After hearing the voice of the boss summoning to eat, Little Grey immediately stopped thinking, and ran over. For the wolf race, eating is always the most important. Little Grey and Little White also came to the body of the seal that had already been disemboweled, and after a few low howls of respect to Su Lin, they began to eat in large mouthfuls. At this time, Su Lin stretched his lazy back, and also gave a low howl and explained to Little Grey and Little White that after eating, they would drag these seal corpses back to the cave. As Little Grey and Little White responded with a low howl, Su Lin also came to the mouth of the huge ice layer where a group of seals had just jumped down, then directly jumped into the seawater as well. Today, he had already captured three seals, and the harvest was, was actually quite good. However, Su Lin still directly entered the sea, ready to take a look at the major species in the seawater. And just after jumping in, Su Lin felt that the seawater was very warm, much warmer than the frigid arctic temperature. This long lost warmth made Su Lin feel very comfortable. After entering the seawater, the entire wolf body did not feel a trace of discomfort. On the contrary, there was also a hidden feeling of being like a fish in water, which was clearly the fish gene's adaptability to water coming into effect. In addition to this, Su Lin didn't feel the slightest breathlessness. Originally, he thought that the lungs that had been strengthened should also have a limit on the amount of time they could spend in seawater. But after entering the sea, 
he realized that he had still underestimated the effectiveness of his strength and lungs. The powerful breathing ability was also on display at this moment. No matter how long he stayed in the seawater, he was unharmed. This point made him feel very satisfied. It allowed him to explore deeper into this vast and boundless ocean. For the ocean even at the peak of human technology, it had never been fully explored. But as Su Lin's strength increased in the future, he believed that he would eventually unveil the mysteries of the ocean and become the top hunter in the ocean. Just as this thought of Su Lin's had just risen, a number of shallow seawater fish appeared in groups of three to five in front of him. These fish were mostly salmon, dogfish, and whitefish. Su Lin had just dived not too deep, and the seawater was still very bright. When he looked up, he could see ice that was a few feet thick. In addition, there was also soft sunlight reflected in the seawater through the ice. Like snakes meandering through the seawater, it looked very nice. As Su Lin continued to dive, the light around him slowly became dark. After all, the penetration of sunlight in seawater was limited. Fortunately, Su Lin's eyesight was very strong, and he originally had night vision, so even though it was very dark, he could still see very clearly. After diving to 500 or 600 meters, he could feel the pressure of the seawater. Just this pressure, for Su Lin's powerful wolf body is very weak. Nowadays, at this depth of seawater, quite a few powerful species had begun to populate the area. These species dazzled Su Lin. But just as he ground his teeth and was about to attempt a hunt on a tuna that was a full three meters in size, a golden shadow suddenly flashed before his eyes. Su Lin fixed his eyes on it and saw from the dark waters that the shadow was actually a seal. However, its skin was a light golden color, and its body size had reached a terrifying three meters or more. Eh, a seal with this skin color and size? Could it be a fey species? Su Lin looked at this seal, and without the slightest hesitation, his, with a thought, he directly pulled up the attributes of this seal. Species, Spotted Seal, Fay, Level, 10, Blood, 1635, Endurance, 139, Strength, 87, Defense, 89, Speed, 73, Talent, Sonic Attack, Grade D. When the numerical attributes appeared in front of his eyes, Su Lin realized that this seal was, unsurprisingly, a Fay, a Level 10 seal, with attributes other than the stamina value and blood value that could barely be seen. The rest of the attributes were not worth mentioning. Adding to the fact that it had a size of more than 3 meters, it definitely weighed more than a thousand pounds, which was equivalent to giving away fey blood and flesh for nothing. This caused Su Lin to be instantly delighted. It was true that there was still an abundance of species in the ocean, and he had just come and encountered a fey. Clatter! The sound of water flowing. Su Lin quickly paddled his wolf claws towards this light golden seal. In seawater, even though he had the water ability of a fish, he had the natural resistance of seawater. Su Lin's speed value was also cut by more than half, and currently he was only swimming at about 40 meters per second in the seawater. But even so, this speed was extremely fast. It was far from being comparable to the seal speed, which was only about 70. Wow! As the sound of running water got closer and closer, this light golden colored seal also sensed the danger. It slightly looked back, and when it saw a majestic white wolf with a size of 4 meters swimming towards it, the face seal only felt a thunderbolt in its head. Its small eyes were filled with an unbelievable expression. The wolf race? Since when did the wolf race know how to dive? If one were to say shallow waters, it would still be able to understand. But this was a 5 to 600 meter deep sea. How on earth did this white wolf come down? But just as the fey seal froze for a moment, Su Lin had already quickly approached to its side. A pair of golden brown wolf eyes were filled with coldness, and his sharp claws quickly popped out. The claw spikes that were more than 10 centimeters long were like blades. It was also at this time that the Fey Seal felt a great fear of death, and quickly swam its body to escape. Chapter 125 Invincible Great King Squid, Request for Subscription But it was obvious that the seal was too late to escape. Su Lin stuck to the seal's close body. Wow! The wolf's claws broke through the current and directly smashed fiercely into the seal. But at this time, Su Lin also realized the inconvenience of being in seawater. The strong resistance of the water current not only weakened his speed, but even his strength was drastically cut down as he broke through the current. Boom! Although this strike also smashed hard on the seal's neck, cutting a bloody wound in the seal's neck, it didn't have the same effect as Su Su's attack on the shore. However, it didn't utilize the invulnerable, invincible force of Su Lin on the shore. It just sent the seal flying 7 or 8 meters, and the residual force disappeared. If it was on the shore, this blow would have killed at least half of this face seal. The force was also cut by at least half. Looking at this scene, Su Lin's heart sank. Having the force and speed cut in half was almost equivalent to having the strength cut in half. In the absence of moral and legal constraints, strength became the most important principle to survive. 
so such a horrible cut made Su Lin feel that in the future, it would be better to catch some fish in the diving layer, and then slowly go down to the deep water area as his strength grew, and with this vicious blow from Su Lin, a howl of pain came from the opposite side of the seal, this howl is very sharp, in the seabed through the seawater transmission is the formation of a channel has the power to kill the water waves, many small fish that encountered this water wave were instantly split into pieces and turned into a blood mist, but this fluctuation for Su Lin, or too weak, even his hair defense couldn't break through at all, Su Lin hardened himself against the sound wave and once again headed towards the already injured face seal, when the seal saw that Su Lin wasn't affected at all, it was even more panicked and began to swim quickly to escape, while fleeing, a light golden fluorescent light was emitted from his body, this face seal used its talent very decisively when faced with a threat to its life, sonic attack, after this talent appeared, the faint fluorescence emitted quickly suppressed the wounds on the seal's body, causing the wounds to stop spreading blood outwards, on top of that, after this faint golden light was internalized into the body, the seal's already shrill cry seemed even more extremely piercing, and the water waves that surged out became even more violent, this caused Su Lin to hastily close the membrane in his ears to counteract this ear-piercing sound, as for the violent water waves that swept out, they also impacted above Su Lin's wolf body in a circle, a sonic attack, such an attack was simply unavoidable in the ocean, boom, 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 this water wave exploded on Su Lin's body one after another, it was just that nowadays, his defense was too strong, even after the talent enhanced violent sound wave, it still failed to break through Su Lin's defense, it only made him feel a burst of pain in his eyes, nose, and abdomen, his weak points, this pain caused a cold light to flash in Su Lin's eyes, if it was on the shore, such a weak seal was simply fey flesh and blood for nothing, it was even worse than the fey musk ox that was decapitated, but in the ocean, possessing its own home field advantage, the, even the seemingly weak seals exerted no small amount of power, this made Su Lin intend to fight quickly, after all, this was not, his home turf, and his battle power was cut too severely, Su Lin continued to swim quickly towards the seal, swimming at a fast speed and bringing out a ripple in the water, in the dark, deep waters, he was like a white ghost intruding into the ocean, at a speed of about 40 meters per second, he soon caught up with the fey seal, this caused the seal to whine angrily as it fled in panic, the shrill cries brought up wave after wave of aggressive waves, but these struggles were just futile and couldn't break through Su Lin's defenses at all, as the waves of water exploded on the wolf's body, it only slowed down Su Lin's pursuit for a moment, however, it was just a moment's delay, and there was no time gap of a few minutes between dying early and dying late, in Su Lin's cold eyes of certain death, he once again quickly approached the face seal, the light golden skin was extremely conspicuous in this dark sea, as Su Lin caught up, the face seal, even though it was whistling madly and angrily, was unable to block the cold killing intent, the claw spikes that were close to 20 centimeters in the dark sea water ruthlessly slapped at the seal's back, bringing up a channel of surging water, boom, this blow smashed solidly on the seal's back, instantly leaving a blood scar that was more than a dozen centimeters deep, the blood that came out of this bloodstain spread rapidly in the sound waves of the seals wailing in pain, Su Lin seized this moment and pounced on the seal, his thick limbs firmly grasping onto the seal's body, even though the seal struggled frantically, it couldn't shake off Su Lin, because his claw thorns were dead hooked into the body of the face seal, struggling could only bring more intense pain to the seal, the seal was also in a desire to survive, still swimming and flinging its body rapidly, now it only wanted to get rid of the white wolf and move away to a safe water, even now the seal still couldn't accept that how could there be wolves in a few hundred meters deep sea, knowing that if it didn't have a mutation itself, it wouldn't even be able to dive down to a few hundred meters deep, let alone a land creature like the wolf race, hundreds of meters deep, this water pressure made it feel a bit uncomfortable, how did the wolf race hold up, ha, huh? this made the face seal feel that its mind was filled with absurdity, what on earth is wrong with this world, the face seal hadn't lamented for too long, and soon all of its thoughts were sucked away by the intense pain coming from its back, Kaching! with one bite, Su Lin directly tore off a large piece of bloody flesh from the seal's body and then swallowed it into his stomach, the limbs had a death grip on the face seal, unable to attack, the, however, it was even easier for the sharp fangs to break through the skin and flesh of this seal, the meat of an ordinary seal was extremely tasty, let alone the meat of this face seal, when this meat entered Su Lin's mouth, it was mixed with whisks of seawater, which also added a hint of salty flavor to the seal meat, it was very tender in his mouth, and the nerve endings hadn't completely died yet, and were still jumping around in his mouth, ding, the host has eaten a face seal and gained 60 points of evolutionary value, the first bite of meat from the face seal directly gave 60 points of evolution value, this made Su Lin's eyes light up, if he dragged it back and ate this thousand pounds of seal meat, 
I'm afraid it would be enough to advance and break through to level 12. In this thought, Su Lin, even more tightened his death grip on this face seal. The life of this face seal, he had to have it. With over a thousand pounds of fine fey flesh and blood, no hunter could give it up. This caused Su Lin to tear even more violently at the seal's back. Ka Ching, each bite tore off large swaths of bloody flesh. In the midst of this intense pain, the face seal also wailed shrilly and once again continued to rush towards the bottom of the sea below. It wanted to rely on the enormous pressure of the seawater to force this white wolf to give up hunting for itself. It was just that this face seal had far underestimated Su Lin's powerful genes for water resistance. Ka Ching, he was still viciously tearing the flesh from the seal's back. The meat of the face seal was really delicious to the extreme. It made Su Lin tear and eat bite after bite. Ding, the host has eaten a face seal and gained 33 points of evolution value. Soon this evolution value was cut down to 33 points, and also once again fed on at least a dozen pounds of face seal meat. This much flesh and blood caused Su Lin to be on the verge of reaching the point of being very full, so he stopped feeding on the face seal, and with the strength of his thick limbs, his huge wolf body completely rode up to the seal's body. Then that bloody bloody mouth, directly toward the face seal's most deadly head to be. The face seal was already in pain from the vicious bite, now slightly tilted its head, but also saw the white wolf's bloody bloody mouth. It only felt panic. Fear and fear of all kinds of complex feelings surfaced one by one. It was so scared that even tears welled up in its eyes, just diving in the seawater. The tears of the seal could not be seen at all. Click. In the end, the seal still couldn't escape death. Su Lin bit down hard, and his bloody mouth directly crushed the hard skull of the face seal, swallowing the blood and flesh in his mouth. He swallowed it once again. As for the hardness of the seal's skull, it wasn't even the slightest problem for Su Lin who possessed the devouring evolution. After swallowing it into his mouth, it turned into rolling energy. And at this time, two light gray prompts appeared in front of Su Lin's eyes. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the face seal brain, level 10, and gaining 600 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for feeding on the face seal's residual talent essence and purifying a talent serum. Su Lin didn't expect the seal's essence part to be the brain. With this bite, not only did he gain 600 points of evolutionary value, but he also gained another talent serum. This made him instantly look happy. And after completely crushing the skull of this face seal, this face seal, which was still forcibly struggling to dive, immediately stopped moving. The huge body of more than 3 meters instantly turned into a puddle of unconscious flesh and blood, floating with the current in the seawater. Su Lin looked at the corpse of the face seal that was more than a thousand pounds, and his expression brought out joy. It was true that it was better to go to the sea to have a rich harvest. Fei on land were too rare especially in the Arctic where there was a lack of species. The fey in the large 3 to 400 mile area had almost been hunted by Su Lin. Just as Su Lin started to carry the corpse of this face seal in his mouth, intending to return to the ice towards the top, he, but then he found, that he had now lost his bearings during the chase with the seal. Knowing that in the darkness of the ocean, even though Su Lin possessed unrivaled perception, it was difficult for him to keep track of his bearings all the time. But he wasn't discouraged. As long as he got onto the ice then everything would be fine. He had only swum a short distance, so he thought that he was not far from his own territory. But just as Su Lin was thinking this way while dragging this face seal upstream, the smell of blood on the seal's carapace, flowing along the seawater, caused an existence that was sleeping nearby to open its eyes. Those eyes were huge between opening and closing. One eye was the size of a musk ox. Its body was covered with dense coral worms, which obscured its original aura. Even Su Lin, who possessed invincible senses, felt that this was a large piece of floating undersea coral. But the moment this being opened its eyes, all the hairs on Su Lin's body exploded. And even in the seawater, they were all upside down. An unprecedented, intense sense of crisis that surpassed any other, instantly surged to his heart. This strong sense of crisis caused Su Lin's pair of golden brown eyes to stare at their maximum. His sense of smell and hearing were all completely mobilized to their peaks as he searched for the source of this sense of crisis. Just as he was searching, he found that a stretch of three to four hundred meters of huge coral moved beside him. Clatter! Numerous coral worms were shaken down. Then a giant king squid with a size of three to four hundred meters, countless tentacles and a pair of enormous eyes appeared directly in front of Su Lin. After the great king squid revealed its true body and revealed its aura, all the fish in this area were frantically fleeing. Even a group of killer whales that were several nautical miles away from a group of top ocean predators were shocked by this powerful aura, twisting their heads and flinging themselves in the opposite direction. Su Lin, on the other hand, was already locked by this unspeakably monstrous aura. Invincible. At this moment, Su Lin only felt that the feeling this great king squid gave him was heck of an invincible one. It was also the strongest species he had ever encountered. Bar none. Su Lin's mind moved, 
and the attribute values of this great king squid appeared before his eyes. Species, great king squid, fey, level, 61, blood, 81, 859, endurance, 3358, strength, 3396, defense, 3237, speed, 301, talent, convergence, grade C, poison ink, grade B, berserk, grade A. Su Lin looked at the attribute values of the king squid in front of him and felt that it was ridiculously strong. It turned out that the fey that were truly strong to the point of invincibility weren't on land, but in the deep sea. Such a great king squid could be said to have no enemy on land. More than 80, 000 blood value, thousands of defense and strength. With attributes like this, it was thought that nothing could carry a single blow in front of it. Even Su Lin felt that even ordinary missiles and torpedoes would have a hard time completely breaking through this great king squid's defense. I'm afraid that the only way to kill such a sea monster level existence was to really bombard it indiscriminately without regard to wear and tear or use a large killing weapon, a nuclear weapon. In the past, the king squid in Su Lin's perception was only 80 to 90 meters at most, but this head had already surpassed the species limit, and even Su Lin felt that it was an existence that had evolved into a fey species before the natural disaster, otherwise it couldn't have evolved so quickly. 3 to 400 meters in size, it was larger than most human warships and submarines and the mutations in the depths of the ocean were the most silent. It was impossible to say that there had been a mutation before the natural disaster of the blizzard. At this time, Su Lin was facing this invincible king squid, and felt that for the first time, he was so close to death. Su Lin looked at the face seal he was holding in his mouth and knew that it was probably the smell of blood spread out by the face seal that had stimulated this great king squid. He let go of the face seal and at the same time began to mobilize the peak strength of his entire body. Su Lin had experienced so many killings that his heart and mind had long been hardened. The killing and ferocity in his body was also above the little lone wolf and the fey lynx. If he couldn't get the great king squid to shift and lock onto its target with this fey seal as bait, then he would have to put up a fight. After opening his hunting talent, Su Lin's speed could briefly surpass this great king squid even in the water. Combined with his powerful healing talent, as long as he didn't die, he could quickly recover from even the heaviest injuries. What's more, with five recovery potions and the ability to devour evolution, with all of Su Lin's cards smashed out, he didn't believe that he couldn't rush out. Chapter 126 Struggling to Break Out of the Deep Sea Wow! The sound of flowing water was unceasing. The various species in this area had already fled without a trace under the powerful aura of the Great King Squid, and only the sound of flowing seawater remained. Level 61 This was the highest level species that Su Lin had ever seen. He knew that as the level increased, the attributes that increased with each level behind it increased with the level. So it was expected that this great king squid was level 61 and possessed such strong attributes. With this level of strength, it could be said that it was already standing at the true peak of the food chain. Even in the vast and unfathomable ocean, this king squid was definitely an overlord level existence. As Su Lin let go of the face seal he was holding in his mouth, he really felt the aura locked onto his body weaken quite a bit, but it still didn't completely disappear. There wasn't the slightest ripple of emotion in the great king squid's huge, indifferent eyes either. This caused a look of determination to pass through Su Lin's eyes, and he directly used his wolf claws to push the corpse of this face seal, into the distance. Then he himself fled in the opposite direction. As he swam, he also didn't hesitate at all and instantly turned on his hunting and killing talent. The strong force brought about by the hunting and killing talent immediately surged through Su Lin's entire body. Those golden brown eyes also became as scarlet as blood. The limbs became even thicker. Facing such an invincible great king squid, Su Lin directly just displayed his strongest state. After opening the hunting and killing talent, his speed at this moment, he also once again vaguely approached a speed of 100 meters per second. This speed was extremely fast in the ocean. This was because the resistance of the water current was much, much stronger than the resistance of the air. Wow! This fast speed caused Su Lin to be like a white lightning bolt as he quickly fled the area and Su Lin's speed of 100 meters per second clearly exceeded the Great King Squid's expectations. In that pair of huge, indifferent eyes, there was also a very rare flash of emotional fluctuation, because for the Great King Squid, it had never seen the wolf race at all. Even in the seabed, it had never seen a strange white species swim so fast. What exactly was this species? Even though it possessed a high IQ, it still didn't know what species Su Lin was. But in surprise, one of its tentacles, which was 60 to 70 meters long, swept towards Su Lin. It wanted to capture this strange species and explore it properly. The other tentacle swept the floating face seal carcass over and sent it straight into its bloody mouth that was big enough to swallow a beluga whale. Wow! Between the opening and closing of the giant mouth of the great king squid, it brought out the raging seawater, and also revealed the giant teeth that were razor sharp.
The 3 meter plus face seal contained unimaginably powerful and pure energy, but when it was swallowed into the mouth of the king squid, it was as if it could only give it a gap between its teeth. At this time, Su Lin, feeling the huge fluctuation of the water behind him, did not dare to look back at all. He could only swim vigorously. He didn't expect that the first time he went down to the sea to hunt a face seal, he would run into a sea monster level great king squid. Boom! A strong current rushed towards Su Lin, and he could already smell the fishy odor coming from the tentacles of the great king squid behind him. This caused Su Lin to clench his wolf teeth and continue to swim vigorously. It was necessary to rush out. He hadn't grown to his strongest yet, as long as he could survive. Sooner or later, this great king squid would just be a blood meal in Su Lin's mouth. In his powerful desire to survive, Su Lin's speed was vaguely faster again. Adrenaline erupted violently, and for a moment the numerical attributes exceeded the panel display. But this tentacle was too long and very swift, and the end of the foremost three or four meters still touched Su Lin. Wow! Accompanied by the sound of powerful water currents, the end of this tentacle dead-ended and curled around Su Lin's wolf body. Ow! Su Lin roared angrily. Only the wolf's howl failed to be as rough and loud as it was on land, and instead only brought out a gust of blistering sound. The powerful force curled around Su Lin in a death grip, causing his speed to stutter. Su Lin's eyes flashed with the most vicious and ferocious light. Fight to the death. He knew that now that he had reached the point of fighting to the death, he simply couldn't admit defeat. Boom! The right claw under the hunting and killing talent slammed hard into the end of the tentacle. But this time, the wolf's claw that could crack rocks and stones and was indestructible did not succeed. With a power value of over 800, it only cut a wound of only 7 or 8 centimeters on the end of the tentacle but this wound hadn't even broken through the tentacle's flesh. However, the end of the tentacle was often the most sensitive place, and this pain also made the big king squid's huge eyes bring out a touch of surprise. It was truly somewhat surprised that this little white fellow could cause it pain, even if it was very weak. The pain that came from it made it even more interested in Su Lin. The ends of its tentacles began to exert force, wanting to sweep this little guy, which was only about 4 meters, over so that it could take a closer look. Just as its tentacles were dead curled around Su Lin, about to drag him back, only to see Su Lin's scarlet eyes glowing with a touch of ruthlessness, his wolf teeth fiercely going towards the wound that had just been cut open by 7 or 8 centimeters, the wolf race tended to tear and bite was the strongest attack, so the force contained in this tearing bite exceeded the slap of the wolf claw just now, and the sharpness of the fangs also far exceeded the wolf claw, ka -ching. this fierce bite went down, but it really broke the defense of the end of this tentacle, biting out wisps of blood. This blood flowed into his mouth, and devouring evolution instantly opened. Ding! The host has eaten the Fey Great King Squid and gained 1500 points of evolution value. Ding! The host feeds on a species that far exceeds its own level, gaining 2, 000, 000 points of evolutionary value bonus. The efficacy of the evolution potion that he had just used to devour the seal was still there, and one bite under the triple bonus was a full 3, 500 points of evolution value. Such evolution value brought him to the edge of breaking through level 12. But right now, Su Lin couldn't care less about the joy of this huge amount of evolutionary value. His scarlet eyes continued to tear into the end of the tentacle with endless viciousness. The defense of the end of the tentacle was very weak, but even if it was weak, it still had a defense value of at least thousands of points. It was just that this defense value didn't play a role under the strong devouring power. ka -ching. Under the extremely strong devouring force, this nerve ending directly snapped apart, as if it had been bitten off by Su Lin. Under the power of devouring, the entire wound had no blood left behind by the bite. Instead, it was smooth and tidy, as if it had been dissolved by a mysterious force. Buzz. The pain of the broken tentacles caused the king squid to emit a buzzing sound. The great king squid had no vocal organs, and this buzzing sound was like the sound of the body's various cellular tissues vibrating in unison. The power of this vibration far exceeded the sound wave attack of the face seal, bringing out a huge and wildly surging wave of water towards Su Lin. Boom. Boom. Boom! The powerful impact caused Su Lin to directly spit out blood, and his internal organs felt a vague pain, but he didn't dare to stay for even the slightest amount of time, taking advantage of the current to swim towards the distance again. But the big king squid behind him obviously didn't want to let him go just like that, and several thick tentacles came at him again, even though Su Lin's swimming speed was already very fast, and he even avoided the attacks of two tentacles by relying on his false moves. He was still rubbed on the back by the end of one tentacle. Boom! Su Lin only felt that the bones in his back were instantly shattered. His internal organs were also cracked, and his entire wolf body seemed like it couldn't withstand this kind of power and was about to faintly explode. Healing talent. Su Lin gritted his wolf teeth, endured the pain of being torn apart, and unleashed his healing talent. Consuming stamina could make the healing talent speed up its recovery, 
as his stamina dropped. Under the white luminescence of the healing talent, the entire wolf body finally stabilized, and the feeling of blowing up began to fade away. And Su Lin was also consuming his stamina to run the healing talent while also escaping with the help of the strong impact that he had just been pumped with. Behind him, this fey great king squid was still moving to pursue. Due to its huge size, the king squid didn't look like it was moving fast, but in reality, it had a speed of 80 to 90 meters per second. Boom! A surge of seawater. Su Lin's body size was smaller, and he swam faster along with the surge of seawater, pulling away from the king squid a little bit, with a speed of hundreds of meters per second. In just a minute or so, he went out nearly 10 kilometers. During this period of time, Su Lin also used the huge coral and seaweed on the bottom of the sea to hide his body, and finally escaped from the pursuit of the big king squid. In the midst of escaping, Su Lin was also rubbed by a tentacle on his side. Now, if he hadn't been running his healing talent, I'm afraid that his entire wolf body would have already been torn apart. Terror! This great king squid's attack power was simply too terrifying. After Su Lin, who was seriously injured, saw that the huge figure of the great king squid was finally gone behind him, he forced himself to endure the pain and dragged his wolf body towards the ice above him and swam quickly. Sure enough, the deep sea was still dangerous for himself. This time, he encountered the great king squid. Next time, if one encountered a swarm of fake killer whale groups, or an equally huge and incomparable arctic haze jellyfish, one didn't know if one could still rush out. As for which area it is now, in the frantic fleeing just now, it has long been forgotten. Anyway, as long as it reached land, it would be relatively safe. In this thought, Su Lin paddled his wolf claws and swam, and when Su Lin had just swam not too far, he suddenly saw the end of the meter or so of tentacles that the great king squid had bitten off by itself again. Ha ha, the emperor's heaven does not disappoint those who suffer. Seeing this meter or so of tentacle endings, Su Lin was overjoyed. Originally, he had the intention of returning empty-handed, but when he saw this tentacle tip that was 1 to 200 pounds, he felt like his mouth was about to water. One bite was more than three, zero 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 points of evolutionary value. Such a terrifying acquisition of evolutionary value was far too much more than that face seal. This made Su Lin very joyful. It was still a pity that he had directly given up this section of tentacle just now in order to escape, but he didn't expect that it would actually float along with the current as well. Chapter 127 Promoted Again Temporary Residence in the Ice Cave At this moment, Su Lin, who was in excitement, even the pain in his body felt a lot lighter. He took a bite of the end of this tentacle and swam towards the ice above with it. With this tentacle, Su Lin felt that not only could he break through to level 12, but even level 13 was expected. After all, the evolutionary value provided by the blood and flesh of the Great King Squid was very astonishing. In addition, the flesh and blood of the Great King Squid's body could provide so much near evolutionary value, so how much could its essential parts provide? Thinking like this, Su Lin felt energized. The more powerful a species was, the better it was the best fuel on his evolutionary path. Wow! After swimming for a few moments, Su Lin finally dragged the end of this one meter tentacle and crawled from the seawater to the ice layer. It was just that this ice layer hadn't encountered a suitable ice opening. Looking at this three to four feet thick ice layer, a ruthless look once again appeared in Su Lin's eyes, and he directly swung his wolf claw to ruthlessly smash into this ice layer. Boom! The huge impact force only caused a slight crack to appear in the ice layer. It should be known that the ice layer that had been frozen for many years in the frigid North Pole had a degree of hardness beyond imagination, and even steel was difficult to compare with it. So even though the strength and right claw struck with all its might, it only made a tiny crack. But Su Lin didn't give up. Due to the fact that he had been running his healing talent to heal his injuries, his stamina was depleting quickly, and he didn't have time to find the mouth of the ice layer again. Therefore, in the midst of his ruthless eyes, he struck several more times with all his might before finally shattering this ice layer to create a 2 meter plus breach. Boom! Along with the sound of the ice layer breaking apart, Su Lin also swam up from the seawater. Wow! With the sound of breaking through the seawater, channels of water dripped down from Su Lin's wolf body. After climbing up, he first took the lead in scanning his surroundings, realizing that it really wasn't the ice he was familiar with. Moreover, it was extremely cold here, and the temperature was vaguely comparable to the bottom of the iceberg crevice that day, 70 to 80 degrees below zero. At this temperature, even steel could be frozen to the point of being as fragile as glass. However, Su Lin possessed the cold resistance of the polar iceworm. Not to mention this temperature, even if it was a hundred degrees below zero, it would be harmless. Huffing, huffing. At this time, he threw the tentacle he was holding onto the ice and started panting heavily. Su Lin also stopped running the healing talent that was consuming his stamina. Having just stopped running his healing talent, the pain of the entire wolf body being torn apart came back clearly. 
From this, it could be seen that consuming physical strength to run the healing talent also had the effect of suppressing the pain. At this moment, he looked back and realized that his wolf body was still covered in blood. The blood mixed with seawater and turned into a puddle of blood that was dripping down onto the ice floor. The chi and blood values were also rapidly draining away along with this blood. In the morose cold ice and snow, Su Lin had to recover his injuries as quickly as possible. Therefore, when he looked at the end of the tentacles of the great king squid in front of him, he devoured it once again. He was already on the verge of breaking through level 12, and as long as he gained some evolutionary value, it would be enough to advance. By then, the arcane evolutionary energy would be able to restore the injuries on the wolf's body as if it was the first time. Ka Ching! Su Lin tore hard at the end of this one meter tentacle. The skin and flesh defense of the end of the tentacle was still tough. The tearing hard. It took half a day to tear off a piece of flesh. After eating into the mouth, chewing for half a day, it feels like eating craft candy again. Cannot bite at all. In the end, it was only after the strong devouring power was unleashed that the blood and meat in his mouth was digested. After digestion, the rolling energy filled Su Lin's limbs and bones. Ding. The host has eaten the Fey Great King Squid and gained one. 497 points of evolutionary value. Ding. The host feeds on a species that far exceeds its own level gaining 1,500 points of evolutionary value bonus. A light gray message alert appeared before his eyes. This time, the extra bonus light gray message commission cut was so large that it far exceeded Su Lin's imagination. It was directly cut by 500 points in one breath. It was true that anything extra couldn't last, but this evolution value of close to 3,000 points also allowed Su Lin to reach the threshold for a breakthrough. Ow! With a loud and long howl, it resounded in the sky above the cold arctic. That arcane evolutionary energy also descended once again. Su Lin focused wholeheartedly and began to absorb this energy. This arcane energy traveled anywhere in Su Lin's wolf body. Icy cold and very comfortable to the touch. The energy took the lead in recovering the injuries on Su Lin's body. And splash after splash of heat began to rise from the majestic wolf body. The ghastly wounds on the wolf's body that had almost been torn apart were all recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. The bones and internal organs that had been shattered by the huge force were also restored to their original state in no time at all. This mysterious energy recovery speed also made Su Lin feel as if he had seen the efficacy of the healing talent after it was upgraded again. If he could achieve such a powerful recovery ability, then he would truly be considered immortal. Next, after the injuries were recovered, this arcane energy began to nourish and strengthen every corner on the wolf's body. Su Lin's fur became even denser. Dense fur which could also provide a considerable amount of defense. The, the outer skin also became tougher, and his defense rose another notch. Nowadays, Su Lin felt that his defense was strong enough to be able to ignore less powerful firearm bullets. If it was a shotgun, sniper, machine gun, large caliber rifle, it would still be able to cause him a lot of damage. But with the speed of coming and going without a shadow, even a professional soldier would have a hard time hitting him. The powerful senses. Moreover, could help him make the optimal evasive route. Immediately after that, Su Lin's wolf claws had also grown by 2 or 3 centimeters, and the length of the claw spikes reached more than 20 centimeters, the sharpness of which needed no introduction. In addition to that, the fangs, limbs, bones, and so on, all received a considerable boost. The 4 meter wolf's body also ushered in another round of enlargement, directly growing to the point of 4 meters 4 and a half, counting the length of the wolf's tail. Su Lin's body size was vaguely approaching 6 meters. 6 meters, this was absolutely amazing amongst the wolf race. Even the African elephant, which was known to be the largest in size, was slightly inferior compared to Su Lin's current size. It was only after a few moments that this mysterious evolutionary energy faded away and the, the latest attribute panel appeared before his eyes. Ding, congratulations to the host for advancing to level 12. Name, Su Lin. Species, Arctic Wolf. Gene level, I. Level, 12. Upgrading requires 40, 000, 000 points of evolutionary value, blood, 3200, endurance, 260, strength, 290, defense, 270, speed, 390, extra attribute value, 30, evolution value, 2850, talent, hunting, grade C, healing, grade A. The increase in strength this time was huge. Advancing from level 11 to level 12 added an extra 30 points to every attribute value and even the blood value increased by 300 points. When one first broke through from level 10 to level 11, that should have added 20 points to each attribute value. It looked like after breaking through to level 10, even though the evolution value required for promotion had increased to 5 digits, the attributes after promotion had also increased by a lot. In the future, the increase in strength for every level up would be huge. Currently, 
Su Lin looked at the 30 points of extra attribute value and still added it to speed without hesitation. This caused him to directly reach a speed value of 420. A speed value of 420 allowed him to approach 150 meters per second at full speed. After opening the hunting talent, it would be on par with the speed of sound. After advancing to level 12, all the injuries on the wolf's body were restored, and Su Lin's essence had recovered a lot. He raised his head and looked in all directions, realizing that it was all white ice and desolate. Since he didn't know where to go, Su Lin didn't walk haphazardly. He planned to find a cave to recuperate for a while, and after determining exactly where this place was, he would find a path to leave. With this thought in mind, Su Lin gripped his remaining tentacles and searched for a cave where he could temporarily station himself. The temperature in this area was very morose and cold. It made him feel that even if this place wasn't the extreme center, it wasn't far off. During his search, Su Lin realized that there were very few signs of life. Arctic rabbits, Arctic ducks, seals, walruses, and the like were almost absent. Even the birds in the sky were few and far between. There was a feeling of a thousand birds flying away from the mountains, and ten thousand trails of people disappearing. After searching for more than an hour, Su Lin found a well-located ice cave. Yes, this was an ice cave. It was located on an iceberg that protruded more than a hundred meters. The way up was also very smooth and steep. But luckily for Su Lin, it wasn't that difficult. He held a hundred pounds of tentacle flesh in his mouth and leapt 17 or 18 meters. With the help of the smoother area, it didn't take long to climb up. This ice cave wasn't too big. It was the size of the cave where the wolf's parents were. So it wasn't a problem for the 20 or so arctic wolves to live there on weekdays. After Su Lin came in, the cold air inside the ice cave was even heavier. However, for him, it was harmless. The cold was already hard to bother Su Lin. Entering the cave, he first randomly found a corner and placed the tentacles of the great king squid. Then it was time to lie down and start a short restful sleep. Since this wasn't his territory, Su Lin didn't sleep as much as usual, but only slept superficially to recover some physical strength. For Su Lin, who had once ingested the genes and flesh of a snow lord, even if he didn't sleep for a few days in a row, he wouldn't feel too sleepy. The fastest way to recover physical strength is to sleep. In the shallow sleep, Su Lin left two minutes of his powerful sensing power to be used for vigilance. He used it to keep an eye out. Time passed quietly in sleep. And it was also at this time that, Little Gray and Little White, who had already dragged the bodies of the three seals back to the cave, saw that their own boss hadn't come back yet and, both were a little worried as they came down from the cave and ran towards the ice layer again. Little Gray has the strength of mid-level 6, as long as they don't meet the bear tribe, they can sweep all the hunters in the area, there is no worry about safety. And this time, there was also a cousin leading six female wolves to follow. When the wolves arrived at the mouth of the ice layer, Little Grey had been sniffing at the mouth of the ice layer, but did not find the fresh scent of his own boss. At first, it thought that its own boss was omnipotent, and it was normal for him to enter the sea to hunt fish, but now it had been a full ten or so hours and had not appeared. This caused Little Grey to panic a little. After all, Su Lin, as the wolf king of the wolf pack, was the top priority in the wolf pack, it was also in the hearts of the earliest group of wolf members, the Invincible Faith. If something really happened to his own boss, and now the little lone wolf was leading the vast majority of the wolf clan on a quest outside, Little Ash didn't dare to think what would happen. After all, the strongest has always been honored in the wolf pack, and after the disappearance of the wolf king, in order to survive, only the strongest wolf clan can be chosen to succeed the wolf king, and at this time the cousin also reacted. She looked at the mouth of this ice layer and then looked at Little Grey. She was very angry. She didn't expect Su Lin to jump into the sea. In her cognition, the wolf race all survives on land. Isn't jumping into the sea the same as asking for trouble? But followed out of the little gray and white. Even went back so long to know out to sea? This angry cousin cannot help but viciously tear a few little gray neck and flesh. Although the cousin is far from the little gray opponent. But as a fey little gray also do not dare to express dissatisfaction with the cousin. Can only whimper and admit fault low howling. Because cousin sister and wolf sister in the eyes of their own boss are both top priority. Even if the cousin sister taught it a lesson, it would not dare to resist. As for Xiao Bai, after waiting for a while at the mouth of the ice layer, he also made a dash down, ready to try to enter the sea to explore the boss. Chapter 128 Hidden Talent Strange Iceberg As a polar bear, Xiao Bai had reached the middle of level 3 and also possessed a certain ability to go underwater. However, it could only dive in the shallow water layer of 10 meters and 8 meters. Once it went further down, whether it was pressure or breathing, it would be very fatal for it, which was still very weak. However, it turned around in the shallow water layer for half a day, and ultimately did not find its own boss. Returning to the ice, it was a bit frustrated. Ow, oh, 
Ow, ow. Seeing that Xiao Bai had failed to find Su Lin even after going into the water, the group of wolves all threw back their heads and howled long. They wanted to try to make the wolf king hear them through their loud, long, penetrating wolf howls, but everything was in vain. There was no response except for the chirping of birds under the extreme day. Cousin had searched the ice with her pack, but still could not find it. It made her feel anxious. Starting to howl lowly, she signaled a female wolf to go and gather the little lone wolf back as well, to come together to search for Su Lin. But in the end, it was Little Grey who stopped it. Although Little Grey was usually a bit naive, he was very calm when it came to big things. Plus being a fae, his IQ was much higher than his cousin. Now in this situation, it's cousin and Little Lone Wolf were all bee-wolves in the pack with the same status. Himself, due to the fact that he had grown up with his boss and cousin since he was a child, it was nothing to listen to the cousin's orders. But would the Little Lone Wolf really listen? The Little Doctor Wolf was ferocious to the extreme in battle and even he himself was no match for it long ago, coupled with the nearly 20 valiant wolves under his command, even if he and his cousin teamed up, they wouldn't be able to stop it, so without the boss around, could cousin really suppress the little lone wolf, and would the little lone wolf really listen to her cousin's orders, this made little grey stop the female wolf and decide to let little lone wolf clean up the remaining forces of that large wolf pack in the west first, he himself and the remaining wolves, and then carefully search to find his own boss can, after all, with the boss's unrivaled combat power and supreme intelligence, how could anything happen? He must have encountered some new prey again and went hunting alone. Little Grey in this kind of thinking, is also low howling and cousin sister exchange. After communicating for a good half a day, the very worried cousin only slightly settled down. But in the end, she still dispersed the six female wolves under her command, letting them all properly search for the wolf king in this three to four hundred mile radius area. Time passed quickly under both the extreme day and night. It was three days in a flash. During these three days, Su Lin's physical strength had also long since recovered to its peak. By devouring the tentacles of this great king squid, he had also once again gained more than 30,000 points of evolutionary value. Currently, there were still 70 to 80 pounds remaining, so when he finished eating it, he could definitely break through to level 13. Earned, losing a thousand pounds of face seal meat could be exchanged for tens of thousands of evolutionary value points. It was definitely a bloody profit. Moreover, Eating a bite had thousands of points of evolution value. Even if three points were cut each time, it would still take a long time to cut. In addition to that, during these three days, Su Lin also turned this area around. He found that the species in this area were really pitifully few, and there were only a few scattered birds that were extremely cold resistant. The rest of the species were nowhere to be seen. However, at one of the largest icebergs, many footprints of canines and bears were found. However, with his powerful and sharp senses, Su Lin could sense the dangerous aura coming from inside the iceberg, so he just watched from the periphery for a long time and didn't rush in. After the great change in heaven and earth, no one could say what powerful existences would be inside the iceberg. The big king squid that he encountered in the seawater was a living example, so he still couldn't underestimate the fae of this world. In addition, Su Lin thought that he would also use the talent serum obtained from eating the seal's brain, so as to add a few more points of security. At this time, Su Lin, who had returned to the ice cave, didn't waste any time. With a thought, he took out the talent serum. Currently, the healing talent had reached grade A, and the hunting talent had reached C. Regardless of which one was strengthened, it could greatly increase Su Lin's strength, especially since the healing talent was able to actively consume physical strength and speed up recovery. It made the ability to stay alive even stronger. Ding! Is the talent serum used? Use. After using it, a very comfortable warm current appeared above Su Lin's wolf body once again. Only this time, Su Lin realized that this warm energy flowed for a very long time and still hadn't been absorbed by the wolf body. Hmm, what's the situation? Just as Su Lin was somewhat surprised, this warm current changed violently, directly changing like a fire. After it changed, it brought out a burning pain. This burning was still different from the sizzling of the reinforcing serum. It was a sensation that wanted to melt the fire into the body. Ow! Su Lin couldn't help but let out a low howl, and then the light in his eyes exploded, because he could feel a new energy gradually begin to appear in his body. In the past, he had always used the talent serum to strengthen his talent, but he had overlooked the fact that the talent serum also had a 10% probability of opening a new talent. The one that had been opened now was presumably the new talent. Having already experienced the pain after the destruction and rebirth, Su Lin was still able to endure this pain. He was also eager to see what kind of new talent he would open. The flames that the talent serum visualized were surging a little bit towards Su Lin's wolf body. The sensation brought about by absorbing the warmth and absorbing the fire flames was naturally vastly different. 
In the midst of this pain, about half an hour or so passed. Only then did the fire completely surge into Su Lin's wolf body. Immediately afterward, a light gray message prompt appeared before his eyes. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the concealment talent, grade B. Concealment talent? Su Lin looked at this prompt and also felt the pain on his body gradually disappear. He was looking forward to the new talent that he had opened. After the pain disappeared, within a few seconds the introduction of the concealment talent appeared before his eyes. Concealment, grade B, not upgradable. Active talent. After opening the breath completely disappears, the figure enters a state of invisibility. No attribute bonus. Can exist with other talents. Duration, 8 hours. Cooldown time, 24 hours. When the introduction of the new talent appeared in front of his eyes, after Su Lin carefully looked at it, he only felt that this talent was too much stronger than the Fei Lynx's lurking talent. The breath completely disappears and the figure enters a state of invisibility. This is more or less the same as the Fei Lynx's lurking talent. But the Fei Lynx's lurking talent could at most only make the figure and the surroundings blend into one. And look very similar. It looks very similar. But the stealth talent. But can enter the invisible state. This directly kills the lurking talent. Last time in the snowstorm. If the Fei Lynx had entered a state of invisibility. Then I'm afraid that Su Lin would not have been able to track it. As for the duration. It's a full 8 hours. This time. Some too heavenly. With a stealthy state of 8 hours. There would be a lot of things that could be done. Phew. Su Lin let out a long breath and his expression was joyful. Although this stealth talent didn't increase attributes, the actual combat effects it brought would be extremely heaven-defying. In the future, whether it was assassination, sneaking, surprise attacks, retreats, and so on, it was definitely an extremely useful talent. Earned. This talent made Su Lin very satisfied. He got up and came to the entrance of the ice cave and looked at the largest ice mountain in the distance. A touch of desire to explore also flowed from his golden brown eyes. With the concealment talent, safety is also greatly guaranteed. Go explore what's in the iceberg, Su Lin said in his heart. This concealment talent came at the right time. Going into this largest iceberg to take a look. If there was still the exotic flower ice mountain lotus or something like that that he encountered last time, that would really be a stroke of luck. Originally thought that being chased by the great king squid was an unlucky thing, but now it seems to be a blessing and a curse. In this mood, Su Lin walked out of the ice cave. With a leap, he began jumping down the iceberg. The piercingly cold wind that blew over from the front only slightly ruffled Su Lin's fur and didn't make him feel the slightest bit cold. Next, Su Lin quickly rushed towards the huge iceberg that protruded out from the surface of the ice and was more than a thousand meters tall. This iceberg was the largest iceberg that Su Lin had ever seen. Even the last time he obtained the ice mountain lotus, it was nothing compared to this one. The part that protruded out was more than a thousand meters. So it was hard to imagine how big the part of the iceberg that was sunk in the sea really was. Could it really be a 10? 000 meter high iceberg? Thinking about this possibility, Su Lin sucked in a breath of cold air. To know that Mount Everest, known as the world's highest peak, was only 8 or 9,000 meters high. Nowadays, the height of an iceberg had reached tens of thousands of meters. How unbelievable was this? It was just that after the great change in heaven and earth, all kinds of anomalies occurred frequently. So Su Lin wasn't surprised for too long. However, he felt that this huge iceberg had something that was hard to imagine in the outside world. Su Lin didn't have a moment to spare before he arrived at the periphery of this gigantic iceberg. He looked inside from the rugged ice road that entered the iceberg, and he could still feel a faintly extraordinary power. At this moment, Su Lin mobilized his entire body's senses to the extreme, wanting to see or hear something from inside the iceberg. But after looking for a long time, he saw nothing and heard nothing. However, Su Lin looked down and saw the footprints of these canines and bears on the periphery of the iceberg. He felt that there had been at least two sets of hunters that had rushed into the iceberg. Therefore, after pondering for a moment, he also headed deeper into the iceberg. This lofty ice mountain definitely had some heavenly treasures in it, otherwise it wouldn't have attracted so many hunters. And hunters that could survive in such a cold climate should also have some capital. Su Lin didn't take it lightly. After he cautiously walked into the iceberg from the rugged ice road, he could feel that the cold air inside the iceberg was even more dense. It was white and cloudy. Even with Su Lin's amazing vision, he could only see things within two to three hundred meters. This was a very dangerous distance. Because if there was a sudden surprise attack by a species, it would be easy to fail to react at this distance. This caused Su Lin to open all his senses to the maximum, not just relying on his vision. Even his hearing, sense of smell, sixth sense, and so on, were all operating at full capacity. Chapter 129 Palace of Ice Su Lin opened his senses to the max. Although his hearing and sense of smell were also obscured quite a bit by this gray, cold air, 
he was still able to detect movements within two or three kilometers. At the same time, Su Lin also realized that inside the iceberg, there was a very unusual natural phenomenon. That was that the oxygen density here was also extremely high. It was important to realize that aside from some face species that could ignore natural conditions and break through the racial upper limit, the body size of most of the rest of the species was tied to oxygen density. Only the higher the oxygen density, the larger the animal size will be. Therefore, if there was a living species here, it would definitely have to be very large. This caused Su Lin's pair of wolf eyes to narrow slightly, still cautiously exploring the iceberg. At first, when he walked into the four to five hundred meters of the iceberg, there was nothing too abnormal. He could just feel the cold air getting heavier and heavier, and the inside of the iceberg was even more sinuous and rugged, like a maze. Su Lin could only rely on his sensitive sense of smell, tracing the scent of the previous travelers as he walked inside. At this time, due to the slow circulation of gas inside the iceberg, he could already vaguely distinguish what races the odors were. The wolf race, the bear race and some lynx scents. These lynxes were lighter in weight and did not leave traces on the outer edges of the iceberg. According to common sense, these species were indeed able to withstand the cold, just that the severe cold of 70 to 80 degrees below zero could cause very serious frostbite to them as well. Unless these were fey species, when thinking of this possibility, Su Lin couldn't help but shake his head. Fey were still very rare, far from the point of being rotten. Every fey was in existence with extremely strong growth potential in their respective races, so how could it reach the point of being a rotten street? Unless there was another possibility, it was a fey that relied on pure energy to pile up. The polar iceworm that was encountered at the iceberg crevice last time was an example. It was just that the polar iceworms were small in size, and it didn't take much pure energy to pile them up into a fey. But the wolf race, lynx, and the bear race, wanting to rely solely on pure energy to promote into a fey species was definitely not a simple matter. To be honest, this period of time, Su Lin had been giving his cousin fey blood and flesh to eat, also wanting to pile her up into a fey species. When the energy in the body reached a certain level, once it broke through the racial ceiling, then naturally and again, she would evolve into a fey. It was just obvious that it would require a lot of time and a large intake of fey blood and flesh. Next, Su Lin didn't think any more and continued to go deeper into the interior of the iceberg. The cold inside the iceberg was getting heavier and heavier, and the range of vision that could be seen was getting smaller and smaller, but the hearing and sense of smell weren't cut down much. After entering the iceberg, the rugged ice road was gradually going downwards. That is, it led to the interior of the ice. The peripheral vision was getting darker and darker, but just after Su Lin had walked another three to four hundred meters, he could keenly hear a low howl of a wolf race in front of him. This low howl was very faint, like a whisper re-communicating, but it was still completely caught in Su Lin's ears. Eh, ice monster? Destroy? What does that mean? Su Lin frowned slightly as he listened to the low howl of the wolves in front of him. For these exchanges, he could hear the meaning. He just didn't really understand what exactly was being said again. Could there be ice monsters in the icebergs? However, Su Lin felt that this was probably because the wolves had a lower IQ. However, Su Lin thought that this was probably because the wolves had a low IQ so they would naturally label any species they didn't recognize as monsters. He continued to walk towards the front, only this time his speed was slightly faster. Wanting to catch up with the wolves in front of him, he wanted to see what kind of wolves could enter the cave. By the way, let's also see what exactly they were discussing. However, as Su Lin went deeper and deeper, his expression became slightly heavy, because he found that at the corners of the ice wall, there were actually a few scattered human corpses that had been frozen into ice sculptures. Humans. This was almost the pole of the North Pole. There was no North as a direction here, as North had already been trampled underfoot. At the same time, the temperature has dropped to nearly 100 degrees below zero. At such temperatures, even if humans rely on liquid nitrogen suits, it's hard to survive for long. After all, this is a temperature that can freeze steel into glass-like fragility. This caused curiosity to fill Su Lin's eyes. How did the human corpse appear here? He used his wolf claws to peel the snow and ice off the ice sculptures and took a closer look. It was discovered that these humans were wearing clothing from the last century. Soon after, he saw the very obvious Soviet Union symbol above the protective clothing. Whom? Soviet Union? Su Lin's expression slowed. As the absolute hegemon in the 1970s and 1980s of the last century, it was easy to understand that the Su League had once explored the Arctic Polar Center. After all, the North Pole here bordered the Su Alliance equating it to the Sioux Alliance's backyard. However, Su Lin was still curious as to what had happened to the Sioux Alliance's people here in the first place. How did so many people die sporadically? Or was this place once a research base of the Soviet Union? As a former overlord during the Cold War, 
The Soviet Union naturally conducted countless extremely secretive research and experiments. In his previous life as a human, Su Lin was very fond of exploration. Now that he saw that there were traces of humans in the huge icebergs in the polar center of the North Pole, his expression also instantly became active. This proved that his judgment was absolutely not wrong, regardless of whether it was the Sioux League from the last century or the hunters who entered the iceberg in front of him. It all symbolized that there was definitely something unimaginable inside this iceberg. Su Lin didn't hesitate and continued to go deeper into the interior of the iceberg. As he went deeper and deeper, the transcendent energy that was winning inside the iceberg became heavier and heavier, and the concentration of oxygen also became more and more dense, breathing in the rich oxygen. Su Lin felt that the cells in his body had become a lot more active. When he had traveled more than a kilometer, he finally approached the place where the wolf hull had just come from. It was at this moment that Su Lin directly opened his concealment talent. He currently didn't know what exactly was going on inside this iceberg. So naturally, he didn't want to be exposed to the many hunters like this. After stealth was turned on, no fluorescent light emanated from his body. On the contrary, the figure was still gradually transparent, and the aura on Su Lin's body gradually dissipated. In a few seconds, Su Lin's huge body size of more than 4 meters was completely hidden, and his breath completely disappeared. It was as if there had never been any signs of life in this space. The sound came from a huge cave inside an iceberg, and Su Lin quietly felt his way in. Just after entering, the scene in front of him left Su Lin somewhat shocked, because in this cave, it wasn't like imagining that there were only icicles and broken ice all over the place. Instead, what appeared in front of him was a very empty and huge palace in the ice. This palace is very lofty and brilliant. The palace also has a lot of carvings above the lifelike. In addition to that, there were many modern industrialized research instruments underneath the palace. It could be seen that at one time, the people of the Soviet Union had indeed done very secretive experiments here. As for whether or not this palace was built by the Su Alliance, Su Lin wasn't able to say. This was because the aura that this palace gave himself was surprisingly somewhat similar to the aura of the crystal coffin that he had encountered before traveling. Chapter 130, Kenai Mountain Wolves. However, this thought flickered as it was impossible to say that it was his own misperception. Su Lin then also looked in the direction where the wolf howls had just come from. After his line of sight turned around, he really saw a wolf pack with more than 20 heads. It was just that this wolf pack wasn't an arctic wolf at all. On the contrary, in Su Lin's impression, this branch of the wolf race should have gone extinct in the last century due to the mass killings by humans, because this group of wolves was the famous Kenai Wolves. It was also the only undisputed wolf race that possessed the largest size. Even the size of this group of Mount Kenai wolves was much larger than the recognized size. With a movement of Su Lin's mind, the numerical attributes of this batch of wolves appeared before his eyes. Species, Kenai Mountain Wolf. Level, 10. Blood, 1257. Endurance, 139. Strength, 116. Defense, 93. Speed, 95. After reading the attributes of this group of wolves, Su Lin couldn't help but feel some emotion about the strong strength of the Kenai Mountain Wolves. The ordinary wolves alone had the strength of level 10. Not to mention hunting, in a single fight, they were no less powerful than weaker large herbivores. The origin of this batch of Mount Kenai Wolves also made Su Lin very curious. Even if the Kenai Wolf hadn't gone extinct, it shouldn't have appeared in the North Pole. Unless it was when Su Li had collected the genes of the Kenai Mountain Wolves and wanted to research something here? Only in the end it failed. But the genes of the Kenai Mountain Wolves magically survived and multiplied into a wolf pack with the growth of time. Then what exactly did Su Li want to research here in the first place? Su Lin was curious. Although this batch of ordinary Mount Kenai Wolves were strong, they were far from a match for Su Lin. What made him pay attention was still the head wolf in this group of wolves. The head wolf could be easily distinguished by its stance and posture in the pack. With this head wolf, Su Lin could already smell the phase scent. Ow! The head wolf was signaling the wolves around him to continue moving forward slowly through a low howl of communication. The location of the palace was large, and the wolves were, were running towards the very center of the palace. At the very center were several very large ice mountain lotus plants, as well as strange flowers and plants that couldn't be named. Su Lin's mind slightly looked at the ice mountain lotus, and found that they were all level 20 or more exotic flowers, and two of the ice mountain lotuses had even reached level 40 or more. The ice mountain lotus was slowly rotating and every time it rotated, it would exude a dangerous aura. This aura was as if it could sense a strange aura intruding over, and a faint feeling swept towards Su Lin's side. Fortunately, the concealment talent was very rebellious, and this feeling wandered in Su Lin's direction for a moment before dissipating. What a strong ice mountain lotus! Su Lin couldn't help but say in his heart, not only did animals evolve into fey, even the rest of the creatures mutated. 
What was currently hovering in the very center of the palace guarding an ice sculpture idol was clearly a bunch of mutated plants. These plants not only contain extremely surging pure energy, but also extremely dangerous. As for the ice idol, Su Lin looked at it and saw that it vaguely seemed to be the ice god of the western legends, Dan Yi. Su Lin looked at it as if it was the ice god Dani from the western legend. In his previous life, he loved to explore, and he had learned a lot of complicated words from various countries, and naturally, he had also read a lot of wild stories. Among them was an introduction to the western gods, which had a description of the ice god Dani. The image of Dani described in it was similar to this ice idol. However, he did not care too much, but on the contrary, he was very interested in the research of the Su League under the temple. He wondered what exactly Su Union was researching here. But just as he was about to move, the head wolf of the Kenai Mountain Wolves had arrived in the middle of the Divine Hall. With a low whimpering howl from the head wolf, the entire wolf pack began to worship the ice sculpture idol with great sincerity. Prostrate on the ground, front limbs holding their heads, the wolf's tails didn't dare to shake but instead were tightly clamped. This represents that the wolf tribe not only has loyalty to this ice idol, but also has fear because generally this was a gesture only towards the wolf king. Su Lin's pair of golden brown eyes looked at everything in this ice hall with increasing curiosity. Next, while this group of Mount Kenai wolves were worshipping, Su Lin quietly walked over. The walk was very slight all the way. However, the wolf's claws were still on the floor of the ice hall, bringing out a rustling sound. This caused the two huge ice mountain lotuses to violently emit a dazzling light and a powerful aura to come out. Luckily, Su Lin stopped instantly and the aura of these two giant ice mountain lotuses turned around this way again before slowly converging back. This caused him to become even more cautious. Although his figure and breath had completely disappeared, the senses of plants and animals were incomparably powerful, and the slightest sound could be felt. Su Lin was now very close to the place where those bottles and jars from the Su League were being experimented on. He adjusted his full vision and looked at these instruments and experiments. It was discovered that there were likewise quite a few humans who had been frozen into ice sculptures here and some of them were still maintaining the same movements they had when they were doing the experiments, thus showing that this was definitely the result of a sudden cold snap. There were even a lot of shattered man-made materials and building materials below, which should mean that humans had also once built a suitable experimental base for short-term residence here. However, they were instantly frozen into ice slag, even one by one. Some of the humans were frozen into pieces, while others were permanently frozen in ice. As for what exactly was being experimented on, Su Lin couldn't tell. After all, the age was too long, and many of the instruments were covered with a thick layer of cold and frost, but through the various organs and tissues in the bottles and jars, Su Lin surmised that there was a high probability that some experiments were being conducted that were not accepted by the world, because according to the breaking news that went out, the Su League had conducted experiments on apes, wanting to cultivate a group of powerful warriors with beastly physiques, and had even made considerable progress. As for what was here, it should also be some appalling experiments. And just as Su Lin began to make his guesses, the two giant iceberg lotuses directly in front of him, perhaps sensed the loyalty of the wolf tribe. As the iceberg lotuses rotated, the pure energy that was emitted unexpectedly landed completely on the wolf bodies of these wolf races. Then more than 20 wolf races, all of them grew at an extremely astonishing speed. In just a few tens of seconds, these wolf races had a small increase in strength. Hiss. Seeing this scene, Su Lin became somewhat enlightened. Sure enough, this batch of Kenai mountain wolves, it wasn't without reason that they could be so strong, relying on the afterglow energy of the ice mountain lotus like this and growing day after day, it would be strange if they weren't tough, moreover, this ice mountain lotus definitely possessed a not so low level of intelligence and awareness, and was even able to train its subordinates, the three ice mountain lotus plants and the polar ice worms that were encountered at the bottom of the iceberg crevice last time should also be the same. It was just that the difficulty of cultivating a batch of polar ice worms and cultivating a batch of Kenai mountain wolves were incomparable. The vast majority of the overflowing energy from the ice mountain lotus was absorbed by the head wolf. But even so the strength of the rest of the wolves had increased by a considerable amount. After the ice mountain lotus's afterglow energy was absorbed, the entire wolf pack also whimpered and lowly howled to express the surprise and loyalty in their hearts. Then there was a white and hazy fluorescent light that flew out from the mouth of the head wolf, which was a fragment of an ice sculpture. This ice sculpture fragment flew directly towards the ice sculpture idol behind it after being guided by the pure energy of the ice mountain lotus. Clang! A crisp impact sounded, and this fragment fit perfectly on top of the shattered corner of the ice sculpture idol. It was just that there were still a lot of broken parts of the ice statue, and one ice statue fragment didn't allow her to recover as before. The many Kenai mountain wolves that followed were all whimpering and howling lowly. The low howls were repeatedly conveying some disconnected meanings. Destroy! Ice monsters! Find the shard race mission. 
After howling low for a long time, the lotus flower of an ice mountain lotus that was only level 20 or so came off the rhizome and turned into a lotus flower that emitted pure energy, which was slowly sent to the front of the head wolf of the Kenai mountain wolves. Looking at this ice mountain lotus, Su Lin's eyes flamed. The pure energy contained in this ice mountain lotus far exceeded the three plants at the bottom of the ice mountain crevice. Even though eating the same creature would have its evolutionary value cut, this ice mountain lotus would still be able to bring him a considerable amount of evolutionary value. However, the two huge ice mountain lotus plants in the ice statue in the palace gave him a very dangerous aura. Therefore, he did not move hastily. He planned to wait for this group of Kenai mountain wolves to reach a safe place before making his move. At the same time, Su Lin also felt that everything here was a bit unbelievable, so he didn't intend to stay here for long, seizing this ice mountain lotus and leaving, waiting for when, after having the strength of that great king squid, he would come back to find out what was going on. At that time, even if there was really any ice monster, it would be enough to tear it apart on the spot. In today's world where heaven and earth have changed drastically, only strength is the most important thing. With this thought in mind, Su Lin continued to hold down the fire in his eyes, just like a best assassin. He was waiting for a suitable opportunity to kill him with a single blow. And after this wolf pack finished their low howl of a thousand thanks, they got up. The head wolf continued to carry the iceberg lotus flower in its mouth and continued to go deeper into the interior of the iceberg through the passage on the left. This huge iceberg has a full 10,000 meters. Here is only just reached the ice layer step, still far from the bottom. Watching the wolves continue to go deeper, Su Lin's eyes also showed a flash of cruel light. These exotic flowers and plants in this palace. He was afraid that he wouldn't be able to pick them. Because of the two huge ice mountain lotus guards, if he really wanted to do it, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to touch anything. If he wanted to do it, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to feel any benefits. There was only the ice mountain lotus at the head wolf of the Kenai mountain wolves. Su Lin gently followed, and the ice mountain lotus sensed the movement around it. But after the dangerous energies came back to search some more and still found nothing, they all retreated. Su Lin followed the Kenai mountain wolf towards the left passage. After entering, it only felt darker and the cold air was heavier. As he walked along, he realized that there were still quite a few human corpses in here. Even Su Lin saw a few discs that recorded directions from it. Only the internal mechanics of the discs had been frozen. Even if Su Lin slapped off all the frost on top of these discs with his claws, he still couldn't see the directions. As for the two compasses in the sealed toolbox, although the compasses were not frozen, they had obviously lost their function. Because there was no north as a direction here at the pole. No matter how one fiddled with the compass, the needle would remain stationary. However, Su Lin still swept this compass with his paw and received it into the hair on the wolf's paw. The compass was only the size of a walnut, so it was easily placed on the hair of the wolf's paw. After all, Su Lin's size was too big nowadays, and the wolf paw was also very huge, so the hair for the wolf paw to shrink was also very thick. Having collected the compass, Su Lin continued toward the Kenai mountain wolves ahead, in no time at all. He passed through the long corridor and arrived at another huge iceberg cave. The cave here was a true cave, no longer a palace. Icicles were swarming and broken ice was everywhere. Just after arriving here, Su Lin's keen sense of smell also smelled the extremely strong flavor of the bear race and lynx. Roar, roar. Sure enough, it didn't take a moment for the, the ferocious hissing sound of the lynx and bear race violently resounded in this icy cave. It was just that this hissing sound didn't sound like the roar of a blood feud but instead sounded like the sound of hunting. At the same time, Su Lin also noticed that after this group of Kenai mountain wolves heard the hissing of the bear clan and the lynx, their pairs of light blue wolf eyes all erupted with a look of anxiety and, then with a long whistle, they quickly rushed into the cave and ran wildly in the direction where the sound came from. There was not the slightest hesitation or fear in their actions. It could be seen that this group of Kenai mountain wolves and these bears and lynxes were already familiar with each other. Su Lin also quickly followed. He wanted to see what was in this cave that was worth the Mount Kenai wolves being so anxious about. One had to know that the Mount Kenai wolf pack didn't look like there were many wolves. However, if it was placed in Su Lin's region, it would definitely become a well-deserved overlord. Even that large wolf pack couldn't match it, because the individual strength of the Kenai mountain wolves was too strong. After being nourished by the pure energy of the ice mountain lotus day after day, aside from that head wolf, the strength of the rest of the wolves had also seen a very strong increase. It was thought that if Su Lin had come back some time later, it was feared that all of these Kenai mountain wolves would have broken through the upper limit of their species and reached the fey species, a wolf pack consisting of more than 20 fey, and they were all the toughest Kenai wolves in the wolf clan. Just by thinking about it, one could imagine how powerful such a wolf pack would be. If Su Lin really had such a valiant and battle-hardened wolf pack under his command, he would be able to push through the entire North Pole. Ow, ow, ow. At this moment, 
The Kenai Mountain Wolf Pack was whistling madly and rushing in the direction of the Bear Clan and the Lynx Howls. The howls of the wolves were hollow and loud, echoing down this huge cavern. The area of this cave and the iceberg was so large that at least Su Lin couldn't see the edge at a glance. Even Su Lin felt that this couldn't be called an iceberg anymore, but that it would be more appropriate to call it a glacier. Soon, after running wildly for three to four kilometers, several tall polar bears stained with blood and resembling demons finally appeared in front of him. The size of these polar bears was also much larger than the outside world. There was even a polar bear that emitted a monstrous aura that was even stronger than the fey grizzly bear that Su Lin had encountered. On top of that, there were five snow white lynxes bearing their sharp fangs, confronting the Mount Kenai wolves that had just charged in. These five lynx were athletic and swift. Lynx are the best hunters no matter where they are. The lynx may not be as good as the polar bear or the Kenai mountain wolf at the genetic level of the species, but obviously, through the blood on their fangs and the ferocious killing nature emanating from their entire body, all of them were emphasizing that none of the five of them were good. It was just that these few lynxes stepped on the prey that had already been disemboweled, but it made the look in Su Lin's pair of eyes somewhat surprised. Chapter 131 Fay Polar Bear Werewolves, or also call it a man with a wolf's skin. It was also at this time that he understood why the Kenai mountain wolves, which had become extinct in the last century, appeared here. Su Lin was a human being in his previous life, and he also loved exploring, so naturally he had heard of many horrifying things, but when everything was truly displayed in front of him, he still couldn't help but be shocked by it. Genetic Modification no matter what time, the major powers will not give up on this aspect of the research. In the Cold War era, when a war of destruction could break out at any time, it was even more so. I think it must have wanted to research a group of beast warriors with the powerful bloodline of the Kenai Mountain Wolves. But in the end, the research base here was struck by a devastating cold front, resulting in all the results, all buried in this lofty glacier. However, the genes of the Kenai Mountain Wolves miraculously survived and multiplied into a wolf pack. With a thought, Su Lin's mind moved, and the attributes of these werewolves that had become the blood food of the lynx and bear races appeared before his eyes. Species, Werewolf. Level, 4. Blood, 389. Endurance, 33. Strength, 35. Defense, 12. Speed, 27. The attributes of this batch of wolves were very weak, worse than the average human race. From this, it could be seen that the remodeling with the help of some extraordinary power here had still failed. The height of this group of werewolves was not big and they had not inherited the strong bloodline power of the Kenai wolves in the slightest. Most of them are only 1 meter 5 or 6 in height, with white wolf hair on their bodies and pointed ears. But the features of the face have not changed. In addition to the wolf fur, there is not even a single piece of cloth on the body. The skin on the face is very white. This is a kind of unhealthy pallor caused by years of being in the cold. The limbs were also like those of the wolf race, with 2 or 3 centimeters of sharp claw spines, yet they were also able to curl up and stretch out freely especially the beastly gaze revealed in the pair of light blue eyes and a miserable wolf howl, bringing out very obvious wolf race characteristics. It was just that this group of wolves was too weak and could only be reduced to blood food, and with the Mount Kenai wolf pack being this anxious, it looked like these werewolves should be a very important part of the pack. Su Lin was still waiting quietly and didn't make a sudden move just because a werewolf appeared. He had already been reborn as a wolf, and the sympathy he had for his kind in his previous life as a human had long since dissipated. Currently this iceberg cave had become a huge bloody killing field. After the Kenai Mountain Wolf Pack rushed over, the head wolf handed over the iceberg lotus to one of the bee wolves in the pack and, without the slightest hesitation, he led the wolves to attack the bear clan and the lynx. And Su Lin, who saw this scene, had a brilliant light in his eyes. Ow, ow, ow. As the wolves swarmed up, the Kenai Mountain Wolves Wolf Pack tactics were very skillfully coordinated. Surrounding the pack in threes, they immediately suppressed the ferocious lynx and bear clan. The five lynxes were all fey, only their grades were not high, and the highest lynx only had 12 levels of fey attributes, but even so, the ferocious lynx was not the slightest bit timid in the face of the wolves' encirclement. On the contrary, the other three polar bears, facing the siege of the head wolf as well as several bee wolves, were at a disadvantage. The situation is frequent. If it was placed outside, if someone saw more than 10 wolves dare to surround the three polar bears and tear them apart, it was definitely a fantasy but it was truly staged here. The Kenai mountain wolves that had been nourished by the ice mountain lotus energy all had terrifying strength. Ow! Between the long whistles of the wolf clan, the head wolf and the fey polar bear on the opposite side were engaged in a vicious bloodbath. Boom! The wolf's claw slapped hard on the head of the polar bear that was more than 6 meters tall, bringing out deep blood marks. Even above the wolf's claw, there were strands of icy cold air that resembled the ice mountain lotus. This icy cold chi invaded into the body of the fey polar bear along the wound 
causing it to feel extreme pain. Roar! The polar bear roared. Boom! A vicious palm slapped out, and this direwolf dodged through it. The bear's palm was incredibly powerful, slapping out a three-foot ice pit on the ground. This polar bear had a level 21 attribute, and its strength was unrivaled. But under the attack and entanglement of the Kenai mountain wolf, it could not exert its own power. The entire huge ice cave was echoing with the angry whistles of the polar bear and the wolves. Comparatively speaking, the Kenai mountain wolves were only attacking the five lynxes, but did not fight in blood. But with these three polar bears, it was a real life and death fight. Both sides fully displayed their fangs and claws, and blood splattered in the fight. King against king, general against general, the head wolf acted as the main shack, and its sharp claws and fangs left a bloody wound on the polar bear's huge body. But the fey polar bear, in its fury, quickly unleashed its talent. Blood rage. This made the fey polar bear's already very large body size, once again much larger, and its strength and defense both skyrocketed. Between a pair of bear paws waving, ice and snow flew and icicles broke. Only the head wolf among the Kenai mountain wolves was a fey. However, after Su Lin tuned out the attributes of this head wolf, he discovered that the Kenai mountain wolf's talent was actually a seemingly group healing type of talent. Therefore, facing the attack power of this fey polar bear after it had gone berserk, they were all suddenly outmatched. Among the remaining ordinary Kenai wolves, there was even one that was viciously slapped on the back by the fey polar bear, with a thick paw of 40 to 50 centimeters. It only took a single slap to beat a Kenai wolf to a state of serious injury and death. The battlefield was instantly reversed. This was the strong battle power bonus brought by talent, and it was also the reason why the fey could stand at the top of the food chain. Roar! After the fey polar bear seriously injured a Kenai mountain wolf, it even brought out a strong aura and attacked the remaining Kenai mountain wolves. For a while, the pack of Kenai mountain wolves separated to avoid the fey polar bear's attack. After this fey polar bear dispersed the wolves, it swung out another palm and seriously injured a Mount Kenai wolf, then continued towards those wolves who were searching around in the cave for something. ka -ching. After catching up with a werewolf, this fey polar bear bit the werewolf's head right off and swallowed it into its stomach amidst the werewolf's terrified howls. After eating it, regardless of the blood that was gushing out from the body, the claw spikes on the bear's paws hooked onto the werewolf's corpse and began to fling it around, realizing that nothing had fallen out. After realizing that nothing had fallen, it pounced on the rest of the werewolves once again. In just a minute or so, this fey polar bear killed 10 or so werewolves in a row. When the fey polar bear was about to pounce on a female werewolf, the head wolf of the Kenai mountain wolves and several bee wolves all had angry flames gushing out from their eyes. Chapter 132, Tearing a Polar Bear Alive. Ow! The head wolf let out a long whistle, and that ethereal wolf that was guarding the ice mountain lotus quickly came to the front with the ice mountain lotus in its mouth. The head wolf then prostrated itself on the ground. And after kneeling and lowly howling at this ice mountain lotus with the same stance it had in that ice palace, the, this ice mountain lotus flower, unexpectedly slowly rotated on its own. As it rotated, it emitted a glittering light and brought out a dangerous aura. Seeing this scene, Su Lin also somewhat did not expect that this ice mountain lotus could still be awakened to a trace of consciousness after detaching itself from the rootstock, so it was fortunate that he did not strike too early. Immediately afterward, this iceberg lotus flew into midair then headed towards that fey polar bear at an extremely fast speed. Roar! After the fey polar bear saw this ice mountain lotus, a pair of bear eyes were also filled with a grave color. It could be seen that, the fey polar bear that had spent a long time in this ice mountain also had an extremely deep fear of the ice mountain lotus. Shoo! With a sharp whistling that cut through the air, this ice mountain lotus brought out a strong and extremely powerful energy that ruthlessly crashed into the fey polar bear. A touch of ruthlessness also appeared in the polar bear's eyes and its thick bear paw slammed into this ice mountain lotus. Boom! A vicious impact sound rang out, and the polar bear's thick paw was cut out with a deep gash, but the fluorescence on the iceberg lotus also dimmed by one point. It was while this time, the numerous Kenai mountain wolves also once again cooperated with the ice mountain lotus and launched an attack towards the fey polar bear. Ow! Howl! Wolf howls and bear roars also resounded once again. A solemn killing intent filled the huge iceberg cave. The fey polar bear was overwhelmed and several more bloody wounds were added to its huge bear body. But soon, it saw that these wolves, as if they cared about the female werewolf that they had trampled under their feet. At once, it hooked the female wolf with its claws as a shield, and the attacks of the many Kenai mountain wolves were indeed slowed down a lot. The IQ of the fey polar bear was not inferior to that of a teenage human, but it also had the cunning and ferocity of a wild beast. It used the female werewolf to wield it recklessly to block the wolves. Only the female werewolf's vitality was very tenacious. Even though she was waved and flung more than 10 times, and her body was still smashed on the ice from time to time, it was still only gushing out blood from its mouth and nose, 
and had not yet lost its life. Roar! This made the fey polar bears even more reckless in destroying the female werewolf. One of the other heavy bear paws sometimes fought with Ice Mountain Lotus and sometimes sent a group of wolves flying dozens of meters away. Both sides fought for more than an hour. Broken ice collapsed into the air and blood splattered. In the huge ice cave, hundreds of meters in a circle were destroyed by the fey polar bear and several kenai wolves. As for the rest of the direction of the battle, the curtain basically came down. The Kenai Mountain Wolves had achieved a decisive victory, but they all carried bloody wounds. The five Fey Lynxes, forced to converge together, bared their fangs and confronted the ten or so Kenai Mountain Wolves. The two ordinary polar bears, on the other hand, had collapsed onto the ice. The, their bodies were torn with wounds everywhere, and it looked like they wouldn't survive. The Kenai Mountain Wolves that surrounded the two ordinary polar bears also joined the sequence of surrounding the Fey Polar Bears. It was just that this Fey Polar Bear, Species polar bear was too strong. Even with the group healing talent of the head wolf, after a bloody battle, it was still seriously injured again. The fey polar bear also had more than 10 horrifying wounds added to its body, and its blood fell to the ground of the iceberg, coloring the ice surface red. The polar bear's talent also finally slowly receded, but it was still strong, and the wounds on its body didn't touch the root. Plus with the female werewolf in its hands as a shield, the many Kenai mountain wolves were too cowed to attack. Even the ferocious head wolf was seriously injured by it just now. Roar! It let out a long roar, declaring its strong and invincible aura. It then picked up the iceberg lotus flower that had fallen onto the ice surface without the slightest fluorescence. The disappearance of the fluorescence represented the last trace of consciousness of the iceberg lotus, which had also completely dissipated. Nowadays, the iceberg lotus flower only has the purest energy left, but this pure energy was what it had gotten. This caused the dark eyes of the fey polar bear to bring out a trace of surprise. Originally, he had come to the cave to hunt some wolves looking for ice sculpture fragments, but he didn't expect that there would be such a heavenly harvest. As long as it swallowed this iceberg lotus flower, it would at least be able to increase its strength by a large margin. Even if two of its own men died here, it would still be a big profit. After picking up this iceberg lotus, the aura emanating from the fey polar bear became even stronger. It raised its head and scanned the circle of the many Kenai mountain wolves and the five fey lynxes that were still stupidly moving. A pair of eyes were filled with ferocious colors, and it also roared repeatedly in a warning and threatening manner. In fact, the many hunters gathered in the ice mountain cave today were only for the ice sculpture fragments. The Kenai mountain wolves were there to collect the ice sculpture fragments, while the bear clan was there to stop the wolves from collecting them. Both of them have been in this iceberg for a very long time, entangled in a fight. As for the five fey lynxes, they were just a predator, wanting to come to the iceberg to get some benefits and devour a few wolves to fill their stomachs. But nowadays, the greatest benefit is none other than the iceberg lotus flower. This purest energy exotic flower was an existence that would make all fey and even intelligent creatures go crazy for it. Therefore they were all staring at this fey polar bear with dead eyes, and saliva that couldn't be stopped was coming out of their mouths. As for the numerous Kenai mountain wolves, they were all traumatized. Even the fey wolf king, who was the main force, was viciously smashed in the back by the polar bear's paw. The spine of his back was smashed and sunken in which made it difficult for the fey wolf king to even straighten his back, and the corners of his mouth were overflowing with blood in wisps. Ow! Oh, but it was not willing. It wasn't willing to watch the iceberg lotus flower, which it had only exchanged for with the ice sculpture fragments, be taken away by the polar bear just like that. The many Kenai mountain wolves were frantically howling at the fey polar bear, but this howling didn't stimulate the polar bear. Instead, it caused it to let out a long roar as well, and its aura became even more ferocious. But it was also at this time that, just as the fey polar bear was wantonly venting its arrogance and ferocious temper, whoosh, a loud whistling sound that cut through the air caused the hairs of many hunters with extremely sharp hearing to explode. The whistling sound was so loud that it even brought out a sonic boom effect. The sound was so loud that it even brought out the effect of a sonic boom. A cloud of sonic booms appeared in the huge cavern due to its extremely fast speed. Just as the many hunters noticed the sonic boom cloud, Su Lin had already rushed toward the head of the Su Lin had already rushed towards the fey polar bear. His eyes had a scarlet, ruthless color in them. This time, Su Lin didn't hesitate at all and opened his hunting talent right away, because he had to kill this fey polar bear in the shortest amount of time. And then with the residual power of the hunting and killing talent, he rushed out of this bizarre iceberg. He's been eyeing this iceberg lotus for a long time. If this polar bear wants to take it, we'll have to see if its life is hard. At this moment, since a huge sonic boom had been generated, Su Lin didn't cover up his existence. Ow! Oh, an earth-shattering wolf howl also exploded like thunder in the huge iceberg cave. Almost in the blink of an eye, his figure arrived in front of this fey polar bear. 
Not to mention that Su Lin was still in a stealthy state now, his breath completely absent. Even if he appeared here brightly, this fey polar bear wouldn't be able to react. Boom! With a charging speed of more than 300 meters per second, Su Lin directly slapped a vicious claw on the chest of this fey polar bear. Nowadays, Su Lin's strength and right paw had reached a power value of nearly 900 with his full strength strike after turning on his hunting and killing talent. Such a horrifying attack power and lethality exceeded the limit of what this fey polar bear could withstand. This blow caused the huge polar bear, which had just been so furious and had a body of more than 6 meters, to collapse directly into its front chest. It was as if it had been hit by a heavy hammer, and the huge body of the bear, which weighed 3 or 4 tons, was smashed by the impact of the blow and flew out dozens of meters. Along the way, the hanging icicles encountered all shattered. The heart of the fey polar bear's chest was shaken out by Su Lin's blow, giving it several cracks. As it flew backwards in mid-air, blood was spilling out of its mouth in large streams. The dark eyes that were originally filled with arrogance were filled with panic. It was so heavily traumatized, but it hadn't even felt where its attacker was. However, just before it landed on the ground, its very sensitive sixth sense once again sensed a nearly fatal threat. Boom! Another vicious strike. Su Lin's wolf claws, as sharp as blades, directly stabbed the fey polar bear from its back to its forehead. That heart, which had already been shaken out with several cracks, was also torn to shreds by Su Lin's wolf claw like a giant peach. Roar! The pain that could be considered fatal caused this fey polar bear to start wailing miserably and struggling desperately. Even the female werewolf and iceberg lotus, which were dead hooked in the bear's paw, were directly loosened and allowed to fall to the ground. This female werewolf was actually still alive. After being ravaged by the fey polar bear for more than a child, her pair of light blue eyes carried what was left of her divine splendor as she looked towards Su Lin, who was hunting the polar bear. Su Lin hadn't faded his concealment talent. It was just that a large amount of blood was stained on the wolf's paws and on his carapace, revealing his position. Su Lin, who was in the middle of a fierce fight at this moment, didn't even notice the female werewolf. His pair of wolf eyes just stared tightly at the ice. Mountain Lotus and his wolf mouth directly bit this descending ice mountain lotus in his mouth. This fey polar bear's heart had been torn apart by Su Lin, but it still hadn't died yet. Roar! The fey polar bear's eyes were filled with ferocity. It had already smelled the strong scent of death, so it wanted to fight to the death, but before it could turn its huge body, the sharp wolf claws swept inside it, bringing out several organs in its chest as well as many blood vessels and flesh. Tear! From the inside out, the front chest was instantly torn down a small half. Numerous organs and bones were exposed in the cold air. Roar! Feeling the intense pain, the polar bear finally turned its body, and it was roaring mournfully like an evil spirit. A pair of thick bear paws ruthlessly smashed towards the blood-stained air. Boom! The bear paw struck the air, smashing the ice and snow on the iceberg ground, and that sharp claw with fresh blood. When it didn't react, it directly stabbed into its forehead again. Boom! This sharp claw brought its body weighing several tons and directly smashed hard on a pile of ice and snow. The pile of ice and snow, which was comparable to steel, was smashed with cracks. Tear. Then the sharp claws directly tore apart its huge bear body from top to bottom in a bloody manner. On top of that, Su Lin had also seen the essence bear gallbladder that was emitting a rich fluorescent light. This was a 21 level fey essence part. He directly made another claw to pluck the bear bile alive from the carcass of the fey polar bear that hadn't completely died yet. Roar. The pain of this being directly plucked alive from the essence part made the polar bear which was still connected except for its neck and head, also couldn't help but roar miserably once again. But the fey polar bear that was still furious just now couldn't even shout out a complete roar. Boom! Su Lin gave this fey polar bear another claw. The sharp wolf claw completely slit the polar bear's neck. In an instant, blood splattered, and the rich smell of blood came instantly. This fey polar bear, which perhaps also once had a glorious past, leaned against the pile of ice and snow at this moment and slowly paralyzed onto the iceberg ground. The blood also stained the ground below, bright red, with the killing of the fey polar bear, the five fey lynxes that were filled with killing and ferociousness, at this moment, surprisingly and rarely all clamped their tails, because the wild killing intent that was hidden in the air, like a ghostly hunter, violently exuded exceeded them by several times, the polar bear that was hunted has been roaming across this iceberg for a long time, even though the Kenai mountain wolves had rounded it up many times, there was nothing they could do to it, now but in a short time, it was completely torn alive on the spot. What kind of terrifyingly ferocious battle power was this? If it was said that they were excellent hunters, if they were excellent hunters and killers, then this one was a bloodthirsty cultivator that had truly killed its way out of a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. At this moment, after Su Lin swallowed the bear bile with blood, two light gray message prompts appeared in front of his eyes. 
Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the Fey Polar Bear Bear Bile, level 21, and obtaining for 500 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for feeding on the Fey Polar Bear's residual talent essence, purifying a talent serum. The efficacy of the evolution potion used some time ago was still present, and the triple increase gained for 500 points of evolution value. It was even more than the evolution value obtained from the Great King Squid Tentacle. Except that this was the part that it condensed most of the essence of the Fey Polar Bear's body, and the pure energy it contained was naturally beyond imagination. And Su Lin just swept a glance, not having time to rejoice before he once again let out a long howl, preparing to rush out of the iceberg. This wolf howl brought out the ferocious aura of God blocking God and Buddha blocking Buddha. Now in order to snatch the iceberg lotus flower, he had already revealed his figure. Once this group of Kenai mountain wolves passed this message to the huge ice mountain lotus in the ice palace, it would be very difficult for him to break out of this ice mountain again. In the middle of this iceberg, although there were definitely other ways out, but there were also definitely other potential dangers. Since he had obtained the ice mountain lotus, then he did not intend to stay for long. The hunting talent still had 50 or so seconds left, 300 or so meters per second. 50 seconds would allow him to rush out over 10 kilometers. After Su Lin's long whistle, he quickly charged out the same way he came. As for this huge fey polar bear corpse, it would have to be cheaper for this group of Kenai mountain wolves and fey lynxes. Boom! In the midst of Su Lin's doubling back, a huge sonic boom once again roared out. The sonic boom cloud also violently appeared in the huge iceberg cave. Such a fast speed was beyond the imagination of the crowd of Kenai mountain wolves and fey lynxes. They all looked at the mysterious hunter that came and disappeared abruptly. Yet, they all knew clearly through that wolf howl that that was a wolf clan. An invincible wolf clan that was so strong that it could tear apart a fey polar bear alive in just a minute. Chapter 133, Breaking Out of the Iceberg Su Lin had turned on his hunting talent, and his own strength was at a peak, with a speed of more than 300 meters per second. He also had a strength value of up to 900. With this kind of strength, he thought that even if he faced a heavy siege from the humans, he would be able to kill his way through the siege. Even in this mysterious iceberg, his strength was still crushing to the rest of the hunters. This batch of Kenai Mountain Wolves, Lynxes and the Bear Tribe, Su Lin had read all of their numerical attributes. It was found that the highest was the Fey Polar Bear that had been hunted by himself, with attributes as high as level 21. The rest of the Fey were all under level 20. Such strength was indeed a bit stronger than the outside world, but it was limited. It could be seen that this batch of Fey in the iceberg should have been catalyzed by pure energy, far from the strong growth potential of the Fey in the outside world, or else they shouldn't be at this level. However, Su Lin was still very greedy for this batch of Kenai Mountain Wolves, because of their strong genetic bloodline power. Once they became a fey they would all be above level 10. If he had such a group of wolves under his command, there would be few rivals in the entire North Pole. At this moment, while Su Lin was running at full speed, sonic boom clouds were also exploding in the cavern and corridor. He was stained with the blood of quite a few fey polar bears, so he didn't hold out any preparations that he could conceal himself from those two giant iceberg lotuses. Rushing over, Su Lin possessed confidence in his current strength. Those two giant iceberg lotuses were two level 40 plus iceberg lotuses and it was thought that they should have the strength of a third of a level 60 plus great king squid. However, the two giant iceberg lotuses obviously couldn't move on their own. Otherwise, there was no need to expend effort to cultivate the Mount Kenai wolf pack. Just go directly to the cave to hunt polar bears and search for ice sculpture fragments. The value panels of exotic flowers and herbs were often very concise. Therefore, Su Lin could only make a rough guess as to the strength of the two giant iceberg lotus plants. A third of the strength of a great king squid meant that it was only a thousand or so power points. Su Lin still had the confidence to deal with it. When he came in at the beginning, he moved very lightly and, with his concealment talent turned on, he managed to conceal himself from the ice mountain lotus. This time, when he rushed out, he flew at full speed, accompanied by a loud sonic boom. Su Lin, who was running wildly, leapt two to three hundred meters in a single leap, and every time his wolf paw landed, he would step on the thick iceberg ground and create a crack. Such a huge commotion also caused the two huge ice mountain lotuses to emit a very dense and holy white light around them, which almost instantly enveloped the entire ice hall. On top of that, other exotic flowers and plants were also as if they had awakened from their slumber, and they all exuded a dangerous aura. Buzz. With a slight vibrating sound, a huge petal fell off from the ice mountain lotus. This petal of the ice mountain lotus was also like a white light that shot towards Su Lin, who had appeared with a loud sonic boom. Seeing this white light petal, Su Lin's scarlet eyes didn't dwell on it and directly dodged sideways with great speed. But this ice mountain lotus petal was much more difficult to deal with than the ice mountain lotus that he had encountered at the bottom of the ice mountain crevice last time. 
It was as if this pedal had already locked onto Su Lin. After hitting the air, it turned around and came back towards him again, back toward him again. In a short moment, Su Lin was already about to rush to the entrance of the passageway in the ice hall. However, he could feel that the ice hall had been closed off by the holy fluorescent light emanating from the ice mountain lotus. This caused Su Lin to be forced to turn around and deal with the petals of this ice mountain lotus first. Without the slightest bit of procrastination, he came up with an all-out strike. The sharp wolf claws popped out completely and the white petals that shot towards him, directly and ruthlessly collided together. Dang, this collision was not like the sound of flesh and blood colliding, but rather like the sound of gold and iron clashing. The sharp wolf claws and the white petals brought out a terrifying energy fluctuation in the violent collision. Boom! Su Lin's power value of up to 900 was ultimately unable to defeat the white petals, and the huge wolf was sent flying backwards. With the help of the powerful recoil, Su Lin directly flew backwards towards the white fluorescent barrier at the entrance of the passageway. This was the only passageway he knew of. There was no time to look for another path. He mobilized his entire body to its peak, and his indestructible wolf claws smashed into this white fluorescent barrier. Boom! There was another huge crashing roar. This time, the sharp wolf claws smashed the white fluorescent barrier with several cracks, but failed to completely break through. And these several cracks were still recovering at an extremely fast speed. This caused Su Lin to grit his teeth and strike again with all his might. Wow! The two full force strikes smashed into a point of the white fluorescent barrier, finally piercing through the white barrier. The white barrier instantly broke open with a huge crack. It was just that Su Lin was also struck by the trailing iceberg lotus petal, which directly pierced through his side and back of his abdomen. Boom! A spray of blood was brought out. Su Lin consumed his physical strength and actively operated his healing talent, suppressing the intense pain while recovering from his injuries. Then while the huge fissure wasn't recovering, a speed value of up to 300 plus was unleashed at full speed, rushed out from the rift. After rushing out, he gave up the idea of using a recovery potion that he had wanted to use. The recovery potion was also a not-so-small bottom card for Su Lin. With a terrifying healing talent, it could be said that as long as Su Lin didn't run out of stamina, it would be difficult for him to fall. Therefore, he had originally planned to utilize the recovery potion to tangle with this giant iceberg lotus for a few more moments. He just didn't expect to shatter this white fluorescent barrier with two strikes. At this time, Su Lin still had a few seconds left in his hunting talent. He didn't delay for the slightest bit of time and darted at full speed with sonic booms. The extremely fast speed drove a lot of broken ice in the iceberg up. But what Su Lin hadn't expected was that the petals of the huge iceberg lotus behind him had followed him out. This iceberg lotus petal was much stronger than the one at the bottom of the last iceberg crevice. Even though it had already struck itself, it still carried a strong fluctuation of pure energy. Miso, the speed was extremely fast, and the holy fluorescent light appeared at first, attacking towards him again. Su Lin couldn't dodge in time and was once again struck through by the huge iceberg lotus petal, shattering several ribs. A huge flower of blood once again erupted from the wolf's body, and Su Lin, who was flying at full speed, finally managed to rush out of the iceberg in these few short seconds. Boom! The sound of a loud landing. Su Lin landed on the ground, stirring up gusts of ice and snow, sensing, Suffering from the severe pain coming from his wolf body, his eyes stared viciously at the petals of this iceberg lotus. Obviously, after this petal came out of the ice mountain, the white luminescence dimmed quite a bit. Sure enough, there was still a restriction. Perhaps it couldn't leave the body for too long, or perhaps leaving the iceberg would sharply reduce its power. But nowadays, Su Lin's hunting talent had also faded. Both sides were exactly in a balance. A flash of eagerness flashed through his wolf eyes, which had already regained their golden brown color. Since he had come out, let's try to see if he could leave the petals of this ice mountain lotus behind. After making a trip to this weird ice mountain, naturally, the more harvests the better. Anyway, in a short period of time, Su Lin didn't plan on coming back. The dangerous aura that permeated this ice mountain made him feel a palpitation. Whenever he had a higher level of strength, he would come back to explore this ice mountain. Because the many exotic flowers and herbs in this ice hall were extremely coveted by Su Lin. The pure energy contained in exotic flowers and grasses far surpassed that of fey flesh and blood, and could even greatly promote the growth of the genetic level. Last time, after Su Lin successfully metamorphosed his genetic level, he gained a multitude of powerful hidden combat strengths. It was hard to imagine how amazing the metamorphosis would be if he swallowed these exotic flowers and grasses. Staring at this huge iceberg lotus petal that was more than a foot long, Su Lin's sharp wolf claw once again collided with this iceberg lotus petal. Boom! The sound of gold and iron once again resounded in the cold air. Only this time, the iceberg lotus petals did not form an overwhelming advantage over Su Lin. Instead, both sides took several steps backwards. Sure enough, it's a lot weaker. Su Lin's eyes glowed with a glint. 
Perhaps it was this iceberg lotus petal that also sensed its weakness and wanted to return to the iceberg. However, Su Lin moved at full speed, and his limbs leapt up on the icy ground, stepping out deep snow pits. With a leap of 17 or 18 meters, he caught up. The sharp wolf claws with the speed bonus from the flying pound smashed into the petals of this ice mountain lotus. Su Lin's claws had directly penetrated a corner of the iceberg lotus petal. From this, it was clear that this iceberg lotus petal had weakened too much. At this moment, he was hooked onto this corner without letting go, and this sudden vicious attack also caused the fluorescence on the iceberg lotus petal to flicker. The iceberg lotus petal in midair became unstable, and after a few moments of stalemate, it finally staggered and fell towards the bottom. Boom! Both sides landed with a bang. Su Lin's claw thorns still hooked onto a corner of the ice mountain lotus petal in a deadlock, and then became entangled together once again. The fluorescent light emitted from the iceberg lotus petal dragged Su Lin's huge wolf body for hundreds of meters. But in the end, it didn't shake him off. Instead, it was Su Lin's pair of wolf eyes with ferocity and viciousness that first loosened the iceberg lotus flower held in the wolf's mouth. Then his fangs were razor sharp and he directly bit hard towards this iceberg lotus petal. Kaching! A loud, crisp sound. Su Lin bit out several cracks in the petals of this iceberg lotus. And this iceberg lotus petal was still struggling desperately in Su Lin's wolf mouth. But a strong devouring force violently erupted. Under this strong devouring, devouring force, all of the struggles of this iceberg lotus petal became futile. Soon a corner of the iceberg lotus petal was turned into a huge pure energy that surged into the body by the devouring force. The fluorescence on the entire iceberg lotus was also completely dissipated. Ding! Congratulations to the host for feeding on the ice mountain lotus of the foreign flower, gaining an evolutionary value of 4,500. Ding! The host feeds on a species that far exceeds its own level, gaining 2,000 points of evolutionary value bonus. This rolling energy was converted into a full 6,500 points of evolution value. It caused Su Lin to reach the edge of breaking through level 13. Ha ha, this iceberg lotus petal is truly extraordinary. At this moment, Su Lin looked at the iceberg lotus petal that he had swallowed a mouthful of and realized that he had only swallowed less than even one thirtieth of it. From this, it could be seen that this ice mountain lotus petal could at least provide himself with tens of thousands of points of evolutionary value. It was not in vain that he had gone through so much effort to leap behind this ice mountain lotus petal. Phew! Su Lin couldn't help but let out a long breath. Next, he didn't directly feed on this ice mountain lotus petal in the freezing sky and snow. This was the wilderness after all. And even though species were rare here, Su Lin didn't drop his guard. Holding this ice mountain lotus petal and the one that had just been loosened in his mouth, he prepared to bring it back to the ice cave before saying anything. The wound on Su Lin's wolf body, on the other hand, had a trace of icy cold chi eroding it. This icy cold chi was ravaging the wound, preventing it from healing. However, under the powerful healing talent, this icy cold chi was gradually dispelled. In a short while, Su Lin returned to the ice cave with the ice mountain lotus flower and the huge ice mountain lotus petal. After returning, Su Lin glanced at the tens of pounds of great king squid tentacles that were still remaining. He was going to temporarily rest in the ice cave for a few days, and when he finished eating all this food, he thought that his strength would be able to gain another not so small increase. At that time, he would then rely on the compass that came back to him and try to take a look out of this area. After all, the compass would only fail near the pole center. So as long as he got out of the pole center, he would still be able to discern the direction. As Su Lin pondered, he also prepared to eat the ice mountain lotus again. And it was at this time that, in the territory of that once large wolf pack, a small lone wolf with grayish purple fur was leading his wolf pack, standing on top of a snowy slope, looking out at the icy sky and snowy land. Its light blue wolf eyes not only possessed a ferocious killing nature, but also a hint of composure. In these days of killing, the little lone wolf had officially stood alone. Its ferocity and killing nature was revealed without a doubt. However, in this area, it still encountered quite a few very tricky opponents. There was a deeply hidden fey lynx that little doctor had led the wolf pack to round up several times and still hadn't taken it down. There were also the remaining wolves of that large wolf pack still holding onto their territory, with a number of about 50. Besides that, there are several polar bears in this area that are worth noting, and all of them possess a considerable amount of strength. These were the hunters in this area. For the rest of the hunters, Little Lone Wolf had already led his wolf pack to level the area. The wolf pack under his command had also skyrocketed to more than 40 in the past few days. Blood and killing filled the area. Accompanied by a killing, Little Lone Wolf's strength was also increasing by leaps and bounds. In just a few days, with the fey blood and flesh rewarded by Su Lin, it successfully advanced to level 7. The level 7 fey strength of the Little Lone Wolf, even if it was alone, could hunt large prey, and could even suppress small wolf packs of less than 10 heads. 
With a bloody kill and the increase in strength, Little Lone Wolf's prestige in the wolf pack was also getting heavier and heavier. However, Little Dr. Wolf had never forgotten its position, and had always referred to itself as the Beowulf of the wolf pack. And these days, it also sent two wolves under its command back to the cave to report the results of this expedition. Naturally, the entire wolf pack was also waiting with joy, for the reward from the wolf king. After all, they had already conquered two-thirds of this large wolf pack's territory, and were on the verge of unifying this area. Such a large-scale territorial expansion was definitely a monstrous feat among the wolves. Only what the little lone wolf didn't realize was that this reward might not come until a long time later. Ow. Oh. At this moment, the little lone wolf looked at the large territory it had struck down, and it stood on top of the snowy slope and raised its voice to the sky. The many wolf clans under his command all followed little lone wolf at once and began to howl long and fervently. Under the extreme day, the sound of wolves howling echoed in the cold, icy sky and snowy land. After the long howl, Little Lone Wolf once again led the wolves under his command and started a new round of conquest. This territory, since the Wolf King had already given his word, it would definitely be the Wolf Pack's possession. Any hunter who dared to provoke would fall under the Wolf Pack's conquest and hunting. Ow, ow, ow. Accompanied by a long wolf clan whistle, Little Lone Wolf placed his gaze on the Fey Lynx once again. This Fey Lynx was strong, and its lurking and hunting abilities were extremely powerful. If left unchecked, not only would there be great losses of prey in the territory, but it would also bring great security risks to the wolf pack. Therefore, this fey lynx must be killed. The little lone wolf's eyes were filled with cold killing intent. Nowadays, it had more than 40 wolves under its command, which made it a huge force to be reckoned with. Chapter 134 Extreme Night revisited two levels in a row. The little lone wolf led the wolf pack, and wherever it passed, the beasts left and the birds scattered. Even the several polar bears at the ice layer, Looking at the hula hula swarm of wolves, all just stood at their dens and did not go to mess with them. After all, this scale of wolves, alone rely on hunting, already enough to drag them down. At this time, the wolves that were whistling past had once again locked onto the location of the phalanx. Little solitary wolf decided that this time, even if he had to pay a price, he would have to completely kill this phalanx. Otherwise, with the passage of time, this phalanx would be more and more threatened by the wolves. And it was also at this time, cousin and little gray, who were still at the original territory, also began to silently recruit some stray lone wolves at the periphery of the territory, because cousin and little gray, after searching for several days and still not being able to find Su Lin, they were both a little uneasy in their hearts, expanding the wolf pack, on the one hand, it was to guard the current wolf pack's territory, on the other hand, it was also to protect themselves, otherwise, if Su Lin wasn't there, and if the little lone wolf really had second thoughts, I'm afraid that even if the wolf father led the wolves to come, he wouldn't necessarily be able to stop the little lone wolf. After all, the little lone wolf's ferocious fighting strength was obvious to all. Nowadays, the wolves in the cave were temporarily dominated by the cousin sister. Although cousin was only an ordinary species that had yet to evolve into a fae, her IQ wasn't too high. However, with little Grey's assistance, the expansion over the past few days had been quite smooth. Four female wolves and two level 5 male wolves were recruited. The female wolves were divided into the patrol team under her cousin's command. As for the two male wolves, they followed Little Grey and took on the main task of escorting and driving away hunters from the pack. The fae flesh and blood in the cave. Cousin continued to distribute it to Little Grey, Little White, Wolf Sister, and the Grey and White Coyote according to the share that Su Lin had distributed in the past. Their strengths, too, were all rising with each passing day. Especially Little White, who already had a hidden tendency to break through to level 4 the level 4 little white, I'm afraid that even an ordinary arctic wolf at the peak of level 5 would have the power to fight, as a polar bear cub, little white's growth potential and growth speed were terrifying, the 10 female wolves under cousin's command, on the other hand, were still allowed to do nothing but patrol the territory every day, which was to look for traces of the wolf king, the search area was also expanded to a 5 to 600 mile radius, only there was no news of Su Ling yet, time passed slowly, and another 20 days passed by, the area near the Arctic Polar Center was the first to convert from polar day to polar night. Every six months, the Polar Center would face a conversion between darkness and light. The pitch black night once again descended on the Arctic ice plains, making the already silent Arctic Polar Center even more dead silent. In addition to the occasional cold wind, there was not the slightest sound. Temperatures have also dropped from minus 60 or 70 degrees to minus 100 degrees. This temperature surpassed the previous all-time high. However, to Su Lin, who was extremely cold resistant, the senile cold of minus 100 degrees didn't affect him, 
He had already finished eating the tentacles of the great king squid and the petals of the iceberg lotus in the ice cave these days. Even that iceberg lotus, Su Lin had eaten only three petals left. Together, it provided Su Lin with a total of about 170, 000 more points of, of evolutionary value. This caused Su Lin to ascend two levels in a single breath, directly breaking through to level 14. The difficulty of Su Lin's promotion was far beyond that of a fei, but the increase in strength he gained from his promotion was also unrivaled by a fei. With his current battle strength, he could easily hunt fei around level 20. Name, Su Lin. Species, Arctic Wolf. Gene level, I. Level, 14. Upgrading requires 160, 000 evolution points. Blood, 4100. Endurance, 350. Strength, 380. Defense, 360. Speed, 570. Evolution value, 91, 500. Talents, Hunting, Grade C, Stealth, Grade B, Healing, Grade A. The improvement that Su Lin gained from each upgrade was very significant. Upgrading two levels in a row had even caused his strength to increase to a whole new level. Nowadays, his fur and skin defense had reached a very terrifying point. It surpassed that of an ordinary polar bear by several times. The white, flawless, thick hair fluttered under the cold wind from the entrance of the ice cave. This dense hair, Su Lin could control it as he wished. It could become very tough in the face of danger and attacks. And even attacks that possess tons of force would have a hard time breaking through Su Lin's defense. Su Lin's size had also grown to the point where it was close to 6 meters. And if he counted the wolf tail, it would reach over 8 meters. A wolf race of more than 8 meters. This size was considered a well-deserved giant beast. Nowadays, if Su Lin encountered a large wolf pack with 1 or 200 wolves, he could easily kill the wolves until the blood flowed. With his current strength and size, ordinary wolves wouldn't be able to pose the slightest disturbance to him. As for Su Lin's speed, the extra attribute values given by ascending two levels in a row were all added to speed as well. It caused the speed value to reach a staggering 570. Supersonic speed, truly supersonic speed. This increase in strength could be said to be very huge. After his strength was raised, Su Lin also once again went to the periphery of the iceberg and turned around again, wanting to crouch down and see if there were any hunters that ran out because he still couldn't stop thinking about the blood and flesh of that fey polar bear. After all, that fey polar bear weighs more than 3 tons, that's 6 to 7 thousand pounds of fey flesh and blood. With so much fey flesh, even if he swallowed it himself, he would still be able to obtain at least 30, 000 to 40, 000 evolutionary value. So he planned to see if there were any remaining entrances and exits in this mysterious iceberg. However, the hunter didn't crouch down to it, instead he crouched down to two werewolves. The werewolves were very frail, even their IQ was only that of an ordinary wolf race, and they didn't have much discernment at all. On top of that, the werewolves also possessed an innate trust in the wolf race. When they saw Su Lin's huge wolf body of 8 meters, they all knelt down and worshipped. This made Su Lin, who was originally filled with chilling killing intent. His killing intent weakened quite a bit for a while, and he just walked up to the wolves and asked about the recent situation in the iceberg cave. The communication language of the werewolf was also wolf howl although it could only express some short meanings, but Su Lin could still roughly understand it. In the werewolf's intermittent low howl, he roughly learned that after the fey polar bear had been torn apart, the various hunters in the ice cave had been able to understand what was going on. After the fey polar bear was torn apart alive, the forces of the hunters in the ice cave were all shaken. Nowadays, in the ice cave, in just a few days, seven or eight Mount Kenai wolf packs have converged. Seven or eight Mount Kenai wolf packs meant that there were at least hundreds of Mount Kenai wolves which meant that there were seven or eight fey head wolves. This was a force that could not be underestimated. As for the number of the bear clan, it had also increased to 17 or 18. On top of that, there was also a group of two to three meter sized arctic silver foxes that had also appeared. The arctic silver foxes killing ability wasn't strong by definition, but from the howls of the wolves, it could be heard that the arctic silver fox was feared, even more than the polar bears. The three parties were currently facing off in the huge iceberg cave. This made Su Lin know that the water in this mysterious iceberg was muddy. I'm afraid that in addition to those two giant iceberg lotuses, there were at least two other forces that were not inferior to the iceberg lotuses. In the end, he gave up on the idea of dragging the fey polar bear out. However, Su Lin stood at the entrance of the ice cave, his pair of wolf eyes still gazing out at the huge iceberg looming in the distance. Sooner or later, he would come back to explore this mysterious iceberg again. After all, it held too many exotic flowers and herbs all of which were pure energy that he needed on his path to evolution. Chapter 135, Returning to the Wolf Pack Humans Are Out. But now, Su Lin had been away from his wolf pack for about a month. It was time to go back. Originally, 
He had been chased by the Great King Squid to the Arctic Polar Center, but he had also gained close to 200. 000 evolution points here. It was not a wasted trip. After going back, Su Lin decided that he would train a wolf pack that could really fight. After all, the world had changed drastically, and there was no telling what else would happen in the future. Even he himself couldn't shelter little Grey, wolf sister and cousin all the time. If one's own wolf pack also had the Kenai Mountain Wolf Pack, a powerful battle force, then not only would they be able to protect themselves, they would also be able to provide Su Lin with a lot of help. At this time, Su Lin took the three Ice Mountain Lotus petals that were still remaining and walked out of the ice cave with them in his mouth. Su Lin's pair of golden brown wolf eyes possessed powerful night vision. Even under the extreme night, he could see very far. At this moment, he started to leap from the steep ice wall to the bottom. Su Lin, who was already very swift, after his speed value increased to 570 points, he came down from the ice hole in just a few seconds. Boom! The thick wolf claws stepped on the ground, bringing up a burst of splashing ice and snow. The pure energy contained in this ice mountain lotus. After Su Lin's fumbling these days, he found that it also possessed a considerable amount of life essence. Therefore he didn't swallow all of it. Instead, he left behind three slices that he couldn't say would be useful in the future. He himself had a healing talent and was fearless of any injuries. However, his wolf parents as well as his cousins, the wolf sisters, did not. After spending more than a year together, Su Lin also valued this blood kinship. That's why he kept the three pieces just in case. Su Lin held the ice mountain lotus in his mouth and started heading towards the route that had already been planned. The compass was ineffective in the polar center area, but it gradually regained its effect after leaving the polar center. The compass brought out from the iceberg was a high latitude and longitude compass. For this kind of compass, not to mention beasts, even ordinary humans couldn't read it. However, Su Lin had a hobby of exploration in his previous life. So naturally, he had bought quite a few compasses and compasses. For this kind of compass produced in the last century, he naturally knew it at a glance. After determining the direction where his wolf pack was, Su Lin began to turn back. Currently, it had been a month since he left the wolf pack. He didn't know if the little lone wolf had cleared the territory of that large wolf pack. And he also didn't know if the wolf father and wolf mother had gained another strength boost after devouring those fey flesh and blood. In the increasingly cruel natural environment, only strength is the source of better survival. Weak meat is strong, without strength. In the cruel nature, one would eventually become blood food for the rest of the hunters. As Su Lin pondered, he also quickly interspersed under the polar night. And just as the polar night began to gradually descend on every area of the Arctic, in the northern border of Siberia, Russia, in a huge human fortress, under the terrifying cold wave that swept through the country for several months in a row, many cities in the northern border of Siberia, Russia were hit by unprecedented impacts. In the end, countless human beings, in order to escape the natural disaster, converged on this human fortress. The fortress was overcrowded for a time, and millions of human beings were gathered to avoid the natural disaster. After entering the human fortress, millions of humans, after entering the human fortress, they gradually recovered their confidence from the initial uneasiness. Because here, they had witnessed the top technology and the peak combat power of the human race. There were sixth generation invincible warplanes, steel tanks made of the most advanced alloys, and elite warriors armed to the teeth with all kinds of black technology. On top of that, they also saw fourth generation high tech artificial intelligence, advanced drones, and all sorts of technologies that were unimaginable in everyday life. This caused all the residents who had come to take refuge to fill their hearts with the belief that humanity would win. As for the great species evolution claimed by the alliance of scientific communities, it was likely that the dominance of humans on earth would be weakened, and it was even treated as bullshit by many humans. Humans possessed such peak technology, how could they lose? How could a mere mutant species be a match for the human race's pinnacle technological killers? Today, there were even more cheers in the human fortress, because the terrifying cold current outside the fortress had finally receded and the elite warriors guarding the fortress were heavily armed and accepting the parade of the many people in power. They were about to walk out of the fortress, to purge the potential dangers outside and return a peaceful and stable beautiful home to humanity. At this moment, all the warriors did not have a hint of laxity, and their faces all wore solemn expressions. Standing in the forefront, wearing the General Star shoulder badge there are dozens of people. There were also hundreds of genetically unlocked new humans, carrying horrifying single combat weapons, standing silently on both sides of the huge lectern. Now the huge lectern is still empty, but the crowd didn't have to wait long. But without letting the crowd wait long, a white man in his fifties, wearing a suit, appeared on top of the huge lectern. He was clearly the number one figure of the army in this fortress. His gaze was like a torch as he swept over these many elite warriors. 
Even though he hadn't worn a military uniform today, the aura on his body still hadn't been cut down in the slightest. A pair of dark eyes swept over the dozens of people wearing the general's shoulder insignia at the front of the room, and then picked up the microphone in his hand and said, the horrifying cold stream catastrophe is gradually dissipating. And the Science Alliance says that the future may be the world of giant beasts and mutant creatures, but I don't agree with it. And I don't think everyone will agree with it either. Because as long as mankind is still around for one day, then mankind will definitely be the master of this vast land. Humanity may one day decline and perish, but definitely not this day. So I would like to ask all the generals one thing, do you dare to fight on behalf of humanity? These words were transmitted through the microphone as well as the holograms to the ears of every warrior on parade. For a time, Every warrior had a thick battle intent in their eyes, rising and burning madly. Definitely win. Loud slogans resounded in the human fortress. It made the countless people in the fortress feel deafening. However, the great figures who were truly located at the top of the power had a color of concentration in their eyes that could not be dissolved. Chapter 136, Hunting the Beluga Whale, Wolf Pack Report. It was because these big shots at the top of the power hierarchy were more aware of the results of the several roundups that had already taken place globally than the general public. Among them, the Indian nation had deployed heavy troops to round up the bloodthirsty python and suffered a crushing defeat. The bloodthirsty python's powerful scale defense and tenacious vitality had horrified all the big power holders during that siege. Tens of thousands of people, heavily armed, were killed until they were reduced to rivers of blood. Subsequently, the bloodthirsty python led the group of snakes under his command on a killing spree, and several cities were used as hotbeds by the snakes, a tragic picture of a hell on earth. There are also more than 30 new humans from South Vietnam led by a heavy battle brigade to follow. Went to the tropical rainforest to prepare for a one-off extermination of the murderous skin giant tree, and to take the genes. But after entering the rainforest, all the communication equipment completely failed. So far no news. In addition to that, with the Deep Sea Alliance composed of major forces, a full dozen nuclear-powered submarines were deployed. They entered the deep sea to hunt the mysterious sea monster, but they were all wiped out. In the end, the commander of the alliance only sent back a heartbreaking sentence, the deep sea, a forbidden area for humans. Even the last time the Siberian Southland hunted the extremely fast and invincible tiger, using a full heavy regiment. In the end, it was still killed by that invincible tiger and escaped to the mountains. More than 20 tanks made of special alloys were hit by the tiger until they were scrapped, and hundreds of soldiers died under the tiger's claws. In the end, the missile troops could only cover the area where the invincible tiger was located with indiscriminate bombardment but still let the tiger escape to the mountains and forests where there was no signal at all. So far, only the North African alliance led by Egypt has made good progress in hunting the invincible lions. A full three lionesses were captured. One was given to the Union of Scientists as a research object, and the other two were made into good ingredients for many big names in the North African Union. Fay flesh and blood has extremely abundant energy. In eating is to many big people to eliminate the body disease hidden trouble. Strong body, and even a middle-aged man successfully unlocked the genetic shackles. Such an amazing scene, so that the North African Union many big shots are even more ecstatic. They began to mobilize more elite warriors and conducted a large-scale siege on that lion group. Just this instance of joyful battle results did not dispel the worries in the hearts of the crowd. In the end though, it was decided that they would have to get out of the fortress, as the resources in the fortress could not feed such a large population. But for the areas where the signal was lost, such as the North Pole, the northernmost border of Siberia, the Caspian Sea, the Black Sea, etc. It was still kept on alert and explored, and there was no immediate intention of purging it. After all, no one knew exactly what kind of mutated creatures had appeared in these signal loss areas. At this time, after the army's number one figure gave a mobilization speech, the elite warriors in the human fortress received one order after another, and began to pour out from the human fortress. After some passionate mobilization speeches, the eyes of many warriors were filled with fervent wariness. However, in the fortress, they were receiving filtered information, but they didn't know what kind of horrible opponents they were going to face. It was also at this time, Su Lin, Su Lin, from the extreme center, was folding back towards his wolf pack. The distance wasn't short, and it took a full hour or so to re-enter his territory's range. Looking at the familiar scenery in front of him, he then felt a slight relief in his demeanor, regardless of whether it was with a human or an animal. Coming to a place where one often resided would relax quite a bit. On this journey, Su Lin was almost in his territory range. He then entered a shallow area of ice and hunted an adult beluga whale. Beluga whales were the smaller species of cetaceans, with a prominent and rounded forehead that bulges outwards, a very short beak, and a wide lip line. The body color is very pale, a distinctive white. 
It is this distinctive white coloration that makes it look more colorful than the rest of the cetaceans. Beluga whales are not fast swimmers, which makes them a popular hunting ground for polar bears. For a species like the beluga whale, Su Lin hadn't eaten it yet, so this time, he hunted one to get a taste. He thought that a level 7 or 8 seal could bring him a few hundred evolutionary values. This level 16 beluga whale would be able to obtain at least a considerable amount of evolutionary value. If Su Lin wanted to advance again, the amount of evolutionary value he would have to consume would be massive. However, devouring new species was not only about obtaining evolutionary value, but also about obtaining the gene fragments within them. With regards to the so-called gene level, Su Lin had also roughly figured it out through such a long period of time. It was thought that this was the new life level brought about by devouring the genetic flesh and blood of all things. The elevation of the life level caused Su Lin's hidden battle power in all aspects to become extremely powerful. Now that he was only at the most elementary level of life, he possessed such a powerful hidden battle power. Su Lin was eager to see what kind of amazing bonuses he would obtain after another promotion. Currently, Su Lin had a strength value of nearly 400, and it didn't take too much effort to drag a one-ton beluga whale. In no time at all, he was not far from the cave, and he was discovered by the female wolf that was patrolling the territory. This caused the female wolf to let out a long howl of surprise and quickly darted over towards Su Lin's side. This female wolf was the mother of the gray and white coyote, so she naturally recognized the scent of Su Lin's body. If it wasn't for Su Lin taking it in, I'm afraid that it wouldn't be able to survive even if it was injured. Therefore, for Su Lin, it was not only in awe, but also had a strong sense of gratitude. Ow! Oh, with the penetrating wolf howl, it spread in the cold air. Su Lin's hearing that was comparable to radar also heard the sound of numerous wolves dashing over from the cave several kilometers away. It was obvious that the wolves were very resourceful. After hearing the female wolf's long whistle, they all dashed over. It was just as well that they didn't come over. He also planned to see if the strength of the wolves had improved over the past month, especially Little Gray, Little White, Wolf Sister and Gray and White Coyote. Once these four fae grew up, they would definitely not be weaker than the head wolf of the Kenai Mountain Wolves. Su Lin didn't respond to the female wolf with a low howl, because the wolf wasn't just holding the huge beluga whale corpse in its mouth, it was also holding three iceberg lotus petals. After the female wolf came over, she wanted to try to help drag this huge beluga whale that was about 5 meters in size. The weight of this beluga whale was nothing to Su Lin. For an ordinary female wolf, it was impossible to move it. After holding it for half a day, she couldn't even drag the tail of the beluga. This made the female wolf only follow behind awkwardly, helping Su Lin patrol the surroundings for predators. Actually, this was useless. After all, Su Lin's current hearing, sense of smell, and vision were all powerful to the point of being almost unrivaled. Movements within a range of 30 to 40 kilometers could easily be heard. Right now, as Su Lin stood here, he could faintly hear the sound of the wolf's father and mother who were soundly sleeping in the cave. With this kind of powerful sensing power, there were almost no poachers that could be hidden from him. However, he didn't say anything more, but only felt inwardly that the wolf pack should indeed be reorganized. If they stayed this week, they would no longer be a help to him, but a liability. Su Lin thought about this while he was also walking in the direction that Little Grey and his cousin had darted from. In his senses, Little Grey's aura had gotten a lot stronger than before he left. The darting speed had also reached more than 20 meters per second, a speed that wasn't considered slow. It wasn't that far from the cave, and Little Ash didn't use two or three minutes to take the lead in darting here. When it saw the majestic wolf body of its own boss, it whistled in excitement. Ow! Oh, the long whistling sound echoed over the cold arctic ice field followed closely by the wolf howls of his cousin, wolf sister, and gray and white coyote. Ow, ow, ow. The long and loud wolf howls rang out here and there. In no time at all, the wolves converged on Su Lin's side with a crash. Little gray, who was the first to dart over, was wagging his tail, whimpering and howling low to express his surprise to Su Lin. Facing the boss he hadn't seen for almost a month, little Ash jumped and jumped excitedly. As for the wolf sister whose body had grown another size, she was also intimately burying her wolf head in Su Lin's fur, greedily sniffing the odor of Su Lin's body. And just at this time, Su Lin also scanned the circle to look at the strength of the wolf pack members. Little Gray, Wolf Girl, and the Gray and White Coyote's strength improvements were all considered moderate. In a month's time, with the assistance of the Fae Flesh and Blood, they had all improved by about a level. Little Gray was promoted to the late stage of level 7. Wolf Sister and Gray and White Coyote had all reached the peak of level 4 and were about to break through to level 5. Once they broke through to become a level 5 fae, they would also have the qualifications to be the leader wolf in other wolf packs. As for the cousin's promotion, it was even more gratifying, even promoted to level 7. Although it has not evolved into a fae, 
but even if the ordinary level 7 wolves, in the Arctic ice plains is also considered not weak hunters, one must know that the wolf father at the time was only at the peak of level 6. The last thing was that little white strength increase was what made Su Lin the most satisfied. In just a month's time, it had broken through to mid-level 5. Species, Polar Bear, Fay, Level, Level 5. Blood, 1052. Endurance, 67. Strength, 65. Defense, 68. Speed, 27. Xiao Bai's attributes were only at level 5, and his qi and blood values had broken a thousand. From this, the terror of future growth potential could be seen. As a polar bear, in terms of huge blood value, Little White possessed an advantage that was hard for the wolf race to match. In addition to the fact that the strength of several of them had increased quite a bit, Su Lin also realized that the size of the wolf pack had also expanded by A. Su Lin also discovered that the size of the wolf pack had also expanded during his time away. The number of female wolves under his cousin's command had reached 15. Each of them had the strength of at least level 4. And among them, there were also two level 5 female arctic wolves. Currently, cousin was leading this group of female wolves, which was quite impressive. Under Little Ash's command, there were also six more level 5 male arctic wolves, and Little Ash and cousin alone led more than 20 wolves. As for the small lone wolf over in the large wolf pack territory, the number of wolf clans absorbed and expanded should be even less. Boom. At this moment, Su Lin let go of the beluga whale he was holding in his mouth. Then he lowly howled in response to the surprised wolf howls of Little Grey, cousin, and wolf sister, and by the way, inquired about the recent situation of the wolf pack these days. Su Lin folded back to the cave with the many wolves while listening to Little Ash and Cousin's report about these days. The rest of the female wolves and male wolves were all very self-conscious about dragging up this huge beluga whale carcass. Many of the new wolves that had joined in, in front of the majestic wolf king, they were so scared that they didn't even dare to breathe. Although it had long been known that the wolf king was strong and unrivaled, but that huge body size of 7 or 8 meters was still beyond their expectations. Such a size of the wolf king, facing the ordinary wolf tribe is afraid that do not need to fight. A claw can be trampled down to death, right? Now looking at this huge beluga carcass, a pair of wolf eyes were even more filled with awe. They knew that the strength of their own wolf king was afraid to be beyond what they could comprehend. But inside, there was more of a feeling of surprise because many times, the wolf pack could only survive better under the cruel nature if it was led by a strong wolf king. At this moment, more than 20 wolves were laboriously dragging the huge beluga whale corpse behind them. The body of this beluga whale weighed more than a ton, which also meant that the food in the wolf pack had once again increased by a lot. This caused the many wolves to drag the carcass even harder, trying to look good in front of the wolf king. They wanted to perform better in front of the wolf king, so that they wouldn't be rewarded with more food. On the way back to the cave, Su Lin listened to Little Grey and his cousin's report. He roughly understood the current situation of the wolf pack. Currently, the few bears in the wolf pack's territory were still quite peaceful and were hunting in their respective territories. When they encountered prey that clashed with the wolf pack, they also avoided them. This was because with the bloodshed and killings that had been set off in this area for some time, it's, the bears with decent IQs knew that this was no longer their world. As for the lynx and arctic fox hunters, are more and more good at hiding and lurking generally are non-necessary do not come out to hunt, do not want to conflict with the wolves. At present, the prey on the territory of the wolves have largely recovered. The musk ox herd, caribou herd, moose herd, etc. are all thriving normally. It's just that this time, the delay of a rare snowstorm has kept the species from migrating so far. The pole is already in the polar night range. This area thought it wouldn't take more than a month or two for the polar night to really set in. It would be best if they didn't migrate, and even if they did, Su Lin would lead the wolves to drive them back, because with the great change in heaven and earth, they would become blood food for the rest of the hunters and fey in other places. It would be better to act as food for the wolves. As for the moss and scrub grass under the polar night, moss and scrub grass were scarce. Could these large herbivorous races survive? Then it could only be said that when the large herbivorous races couldn't hold on, Su Lin would lead the wolves to hunt them down in advance. Nature has always been merciless, the weak is the strongest, and the fittest survives. At this moment, Su Lin listened to the reports all the way back to the wolf's cave. The huge beluga carcass was barely dragged up with the help of Little Grey and Cousin altogether. The cave was very spacious. Even though Su Lin already had a size of 7 or 8 meters, and the number of wolves was much larger, it wasn't the slightest bit crowded. If it was the cave of the wolf's father and mother, the current size of Su Lin would not be able to enter. After returning to the cave, Su Lin leapt forward and placed the three petals of the ice mountain lotus into an alcove high up on the stone wall. All three of these ice mountain lotus petals contained an abundance of pure energy, making them very attractive to any species. 
Placing them high up so that the members of the wolf pack couldn't see them wouldn't give them a second thought. Next, Su Lin, who had placed the three ice mountain lotus petals, also considered the matter of the little lone wolf. Just now, little Ashen cousin reported that little lone wolf hadn't sent back any news for half a month. As for the various prey that had been killed in the large wolf pack territories and the expanding wolf pack territories, no news had been sent for the wolf packs to go and receive them. It was as if the little lone wolf was over there and had already established itself as the king. Even the other day, Little Ash secretly ran to that territory and found that the wolves under Little Lone Wolf's command were up to more than a hundred. Little Ash had never seen such a number of wolves before. Originally in small gray strength is not similar to the small lone wolf, now a strong ferocious flames, but also in the rampant rise, the sixth sense of the little gray, crazy signal of danger, which means that the strength of the little lone wolf has far exceeded it. It could be seen that the little lone wolf should have had some strange encounters over in the large wolf pack territory. However, the sense of smell and hearing of the wolf race were extremely strong. The fact that Little Ash was able to discover the Little Lone Wolf also meant that the Little Lone Wolf had discovered it as well. Not leaving Little Ash behind meant that Little Lone Wolf didn't have any second thoughts. Otherwise, with hundreds of wolves under his command, coupled with the ferocious strength of the Little Lone Wolf, even if Little Grey had 10 lives, it would not be enough to kill him. Chapter 137 Return of the Little Lone Wolf Su Lin asked his cousin to send out two female wolves with his own orders to summon the little lone wolf back. The ferocity and cunning of the wolf race was generally shown to the outer races or when hunting. Internally amongst themselves, there was still a great deal of unity. Su Lin didn't suspect little lone wolf, but if little lone wolf really had an inflated strength and wanted to rebel, then Su Lin could only say that he was able to give it all this in the first place. And naturally, he could also take it all back. At this time, Su Lin, who had returned to the cave, Scanned the food in the cave and realized that not much food had been consumed in the cave over the past month. The originally 5,000 or so pounds of fey flesh and blood was only about 400 or 500 pounds less. It could be seen that without him, Cousin and Little Grey did not dare to greatly share the fey blood meat. After all, they were also clear about the preciousness of this fey blood flesh. The blood and flesh of ordinary species could only be used as food after the great change in heaven and earth. But the blood and flesh of the fey species was different, containing pure energy. It can make all kinds of species evolve quickly, and even break the genetic shackles so that they can become fey. Just looking at his cousin, who had eaten a hundred pounds of fey flesh and blood, Su Lin couldn't help but shake his head. Cousin's growth potential was too average. Even if she relied on the pure energy in the fey blood and flesh, she had piled up to level 7, but she still hadn't been able to evolve into a fey. At this moment, while looking at the reserve food in the cave, he also looked at the 20 to 30 wolves in the cave in unison and began to ponder the future direction of the wolf pack in his mind. He was the wolf king, and his will would determine how far the wolf pack could grow in this world. Su Lin wanted to create an invincible wolf pack, but the base number of arctic species was still too small. This made it so that even after the great change in the heavens and earth, there weren't many that had evolved into fey. In an area of 300 to 400 kilometers, counting his own wolf pack, there were only a few dozen or so fey. If it was in the African prairie where there were many species or the southern border of Siberia, I believe that under the premise that the species base was large enough, there would definitely be quite a few fey. But these places were all too far from the North Pole. Currently, Su Lin didn't intend to take the wolves and carry out a long-distance migration. What he planned to do now was to first unify the wolves in this neighborhood, then screen out some wolf clans with potential, form an elite wolf pack, and distribute some fey blood and flesh to see if any of the wolves could evolve into a fey. Even if there is no such thing, the fey blood meat is enough to make the ordinary wolf clan's strength rise to the next level. With such an elite wolf pack, it would also be able to help in the future. While Su Lin was thinking, the sky outside gradually darkened. Currently, the extreme day had receded, and the time for day and night to take over had once again arrived. Looking at the darkening night color, Su Lin got up and went to eat some beluga whale meat. He didn't eat immediately after the beluga whale was hunted. With Su Lin's current food intake, he could eat about 200 pounds of flesh and blood in one meal. For the newly captured beluga whale meat, Su Lin also used an evolution potion once again. Evolution potions were rewards that were often given in battle ratings. Su Lin had over 40 of them and didn't save them. In his mind, he was considering whether or not to use a few for Little Grey and Little White to speed up their growth. He was considering in his mind whether to give a few to Little Grey and Little White to speed up their growth. Because currently, only the little lone wolf in the wolf pack was able to hold its own. It was still far from enough. Ding, is the evolution potion used? Use. After the evolution potion's cold medicinal effects, swam throughout his body. Su Lin began to devour the beluga whale's blood and flesh. 
Su Lin's fangs directly tore off a large piece of blood meat from the back of the beluga whale and swallowed it into his mouth. Beluga whale meat was relatively not as delicious as venison and musk beef. The meat fibers were a bit rough, the meat smelled heavy, and the blood color was heavy. However, the large chunks of blood meat also contained a considerable amount of calories and nutrients, and if it was from the perspective of survival, this beluga whale meat was still excellent. No wonder polar bears would often hunt beluga whales. Ding! The host has eaten beluga whales and gained 42 points of evolutionary value. Beluga whales were extremely high ranked, and adult belugas were even higher ranked than polar bears. A single bite gave an evolution value that was also going to exceed that of a polar bear. 42 points of evolution value, coupled with the fact that normal species evolution value was only cut by zero, five each time meant that this beluga whale could also provide at least a thousand points of evolution value to Su Lin. This caused Su Lin to gorge on food. Large chunks of the beluga whale's flesh and blood were all swallowed into Su Lin's stomach. Ding! The host has eaten the beluga whale and gained 41. 5 points of evolution value. Ding! The host eats the beluga whale and gains 41 points of evolution value. Ding! The host feeds on the beluga whale, gaining 40. 5 points of evolutionary value. In no time at all. Su Lin in the cave had eaten a full 180 to 90 pounds of beluga whale blood and meat in one breath, and had also gained quite a lot of evolutionary value. The evolution value provided by this beluga whale's blood meat was about to equal the evolution value of that face snow lord back then. Next, Su Lin then disemboweled the beluga whale and began to look for the best parts of the beluga whale. The internal organs of cetaceans were notoriously damaging to ordinary species due to the excessive amount of heavy metals. But this damage was useless to just any face species, let alone Su Lin. Tear. Accompanied by the sound of blood and flesh being torn apart, Su Lin tore off the beluga whale's internal organs directly and swallowed them into his stomach. After swallowing quite a few parts one after another, all on the verge of being somewhat full, only then did a light gray hint appear in front of Su Lin's eyes. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the beluga whale's liver, level 16, gaining 300 points of evolutionary value. Liver! It turned out that the beluga whale's essence part was the liver. The essence part provided 300 points of evolution value, which wasn't too little for an ordinary species. In addition, underneath the vast ocean, there were a great number of creatures, and all kinds of cetaceans were not a few. If each of them could provide thousands of points of evolutionary value, it wouldn't take long for him to make another breakthrough. Even though he had encountered the extremely terrifying king squid in the deep sea, Su Lin was still sizing up the evolutionary value of these species under the ocean. After all, there were simply too many species under the ocean. As long as one tried to be more careful and didn't go to the deep sea, the risk wasn't too great comparatively speaking. At this moment, after Su Lin had swallowed the essence part of the beluga whale, while pondering, he also returned to his position and began to rest. By the way, he greeted little gray, cousin, little white, wolf sister, and the gray and white coyote to eat. As for Su Lin, when he returned to his cave from the arctic pole, the nerves that had been tense these days finally came to a long overdue relaxation. He went back to his position and began to lie down and rest. As for the many Ohio wolves in the wolf pack, they waited for Cousin and the others to finish eating before they all wagged their tails and waited attentively for the food to be distributed. Afterwards, Cousin also distributed some beluga meat to them. The appetite of the more than 20 wolves was not small, and one meal was less than three to 400 pounds of beluga whale meat. However, the Ohio wolves all only ate their prey once every 10 days so the average was only 30 to 40 pounds of flesh and blood per day, with each wolf only sharing one or two pounds. After the group of Ohio wolves finished their food, Cousin also explained the task in a low howl. The dozen female wolves were divided into two waves, one to patrol the territory, and one to patrol the vicinity of the cave. Saying that it was patrolling the cave, it was actually equivalent to resting, because the cave was several kilometers in circumference. All potential threats had long been cleared by the wolves. Coupled with the fact that Su Lin had also returned, there couldn't possibly be any threats at the wolf pack's cave, unless hunters who were tired of living would come here. In addition, the five male wolves under Little Gray's command, Cousin had also assigned them to go out and monitor a few bears in the territory. After all, in the cave, other than Little Gray and the Gray and White Coyote, the other wolf clans were all female wolves. It was inconvenient for a group of male Ohio wolves to be here. Cousin's inherent thoughts had always believed that all female wolves in the wolf pack were for the wolf king. Although the wolf queen hadn't been selected yet nowadays, she had to help Su Lin control the female wolves of the wolf pack. After explaining all the tasks, Cousin also plopped down at the entrance of the cave and continued to start her vigilance work. As Cousin's strength gradually increased, the hearing she had originally developed also became more and more sensitive. Perhaps not as good as Su Lin, but she could also hear movements within 7 or 8 kilometers. 
With her cousin's vigilance, little gray and gray and white coyote returned to their positions and slept on their stomachs. As for the wolf sister, she relied on Su Lin's side, close to her wolf brother. After feeling the temperature coming from her wolf brother's huge wolf body, she slept at ease. She hadn't seen her wolf brother for a month, which caused her to become very dependent on Su Lin. Even though she was already at the peak of level 4 and had the size of an adult arctic wolf, she still clung to Su Lin like a child. There were no words for the night. Three days passed in a flash. During these three days, Su Lin also toured the territory again and found that the prey on the territory were surviving quite well, grass moss and the like. After the cold blizzard, all of them were also tenacious again. In addition, he also brought 300 pounds of fey musk beef with him, and went to see the wolf father and wolf mother. It's just that the cave where wolf dad and wolf mom are now, Su Lin couldn't get in. As for the wolf father and wolf mother, when they looked at their own cub's huge size of 7 or 8 meters, their wolf eyes were shocked to the point of speechlessness. The growth speed of their own cubs was far beyond their imagination. The wolf father also completely recognized his own position, and began to decide from the heart to mix under the banner of his own cub. Just the position of the head wolf, always have to arrange one for themselves, right? The wolf father, whose IQ was already not low, began to whimper and howl lowly, communicating with Su Lin. The wolf dad's meaning made Su Lin chuckle slightly. Of course he still fulfilled the wolf dad's request. After all, how could he say that he was also his own wolf dad? With a deep affection here, the wolf dad and the wolf clan under his command were considered to be an external collaborative wolf pack. The wolf pack territory is also under the jurisdiction of the wolf father. In the future, when there was a hunting mission that required the wolves to mobilize, they would notify wolf dad again. This kind of great power made the wolf dad very happy and excited to agree with a low howl in succession. This kind of nepotism might be resisted and despised in human society, but in the wolf pack, where strength was honored, Su Lin's order was supreme, and there wouldn't be any wolves questioning it. Besides, the strength of his father was worthy of the position of the alpha wolf. There was no doubt about his growth potential, and he would reach the limit of the arctic wolves before the great change of heaven and earth. More than a month ago, the wolf father was at the peak of level 7, and now, more than a month down the line, with the fey flesh and blood to devour. The growth speed was fast, and he had, he had broken through to a level 9 fey, and with one more level he would have gained his talent. So for this appointment, even little Grey who was following by his side was very agreeable. Ow, ow. At this moment, little Grey was howling in wail, welcoming the addition of the wolf dad, acting very excited. After all, the wolf dad and wolf mom had also been very kind to it. The other thing was the growth of wolf mom, who had also successfully evolved into a fey after swallowing a lot of fey blood and flesh. Currently, the wolf mom's flawless white fur was also full of luster, and her mental state was extremely good. The wolf mom had reached the middle of level 7, and her body size was also 2 meters and 7 8. Such a size made the status of wolf mother, the wolf queen, even more consolidated in their small wolf pack. There were hardly any wolves that dared to question wolf mom's orders. Looking at wolf mom and wolf dad surviving well, Su Lin was relieved. These 300 or so pounds of fey blood and meat were delivered to wolf dad and wolf mom allowing them to still try to eat on their own as much as possible. This would allow them to get a rapid increase in strength once again. The current strength of the wolf father and wolf mother, together with the wolf pack, it could be said that even if it was a polar bear, it still had the power to fight. Next, Su Lin turned around and left. He didn't stay long, because today was the third day. The female wolf that he had sent out to deliver the order came back and said that the little lone wolf would return today. If it hadn't returned yet, Su Lin would have no choice but to go over and take a look. This caused him and Little Grey to come above a snowy slope at the very edge of his wolf father's territory and looked at the territory of the large wolf pack to the west, and a pair of golden brown wolf eyes narrowed, revealing a touch of danger. Su Lin was very attached to the little lone wolf, so he hoped that it wouldn't let himself down. And just as this thought rose in Su Lin's mind, his keen hearing heard the sound of a large wolf pack darting in from 30 to 40 kilometers away. Right after that, Su Lin stood on top of a snowy slope and raised his wolf head to look straight into the distance. What appeared in his field of vision was a large wolf pack of hundreds of wolves that was furiously dashing towards him. At the forefront was the small lone wolf with grayish purple fur that rose with a ferocious aura. The little lone wolf darted extremely fast, and in no time at all, it had distanced itself from the wolves. The distance was so far that Su Lin couldn't adjust the attributes of the little lone wolf for the time being. However, looking at its speed, it had already reached a speed of 30 meters per second. This speed meant that the little lone wolf had been promoted to at least level 10. This was also the first wolf under his command to advance to level 10. As the little lone wolf dashed at full speed, it quickly approached Su Lin.
The little lone wolf's sensitive sense of smell also quickly smelled the odor of Su Lin's body, and it raised its head to look above the snowy slope. It only saw that under the soft sunlight, a huge white wolf with a body size of 7 or 8 meters was looking down at it from above. Ow! Upon seeing the figure of his own boss, the little lone wolf couldn't help but raise his voice to the sky. A loud and clear wolf howl brought out incomparable feelings of excitement and exhilaration. After the long howl, it was a quick dart towards his own boss. The hundreds of wolves under his command had already been left behind by the little lone wolf for a long time. Nowadays, the little lone wolf had experienced one fight after another over the past month, and the aura that rose up all over his body had already gained a few moments of Su Lin's elegance. As Su Lin looked at the little lone wolf running over, he was also somewhat pleased. The little lone wolf was picked up by himself under the extreme night, and then step by step, he delegated his authority to cultivate it to grow up to this point. It would be a lie to say that there were no feelings. He had already treated the little lone wolf as an indispensable member of the wolf pack. If the wolf father and wolf mother were the most important in his heart, then wolf sister, cousin, little gray and little lone wolf were located in the second tier. Even little white and gray coyote couldn't compare. At this moment, Su Lin looked at the little lone wolf that was getting closer and closer and also directly let out a long whistle. Ow! Oh, his long howl was rough and long, extremely penetrating, and was like a thunderous explosion in the clear sky. The responding wolf howl also made the little lone wolf, even more excited and energetic, run wildly towards this side again. Immediately after, more than hundreds of wolves dashed over. First, the twenty-odd wolf clans that had seen the wolf king took the lead in howling, and the rest of the wolf clans followed at once. Ow! Ow! A loud and clear wolf howl resounded here and there. Hundreds of wolves howled long, all expressing their surprise and excitement at seeing the wolf king. Chapter 138 Reorganizing the Wolves Hunting the Tigers, request for subscription. Ow! Oh, the little lone wolf's surprise and excitement about seeing its own boss was no worse than when it was little gray, because it always remembered that under the extreme night of food scarcity, even its own wolf father and wolf mother were going to eat it. But in the end, it was Su Lin who saved himself. Not only did he save him, he also gave him food to eat. This made the little lone wolf feel touched from the bottom of his heart. It had always remembered this favor in its heart, and didn't dare to forget it even if it died. If not for his own boss, there is no it now. Nowadays, the small lone wolf already has a body size of about 3 meters 3 or 4. Counting the wolf tail, it has exceeded 4 meters. With such a size, in the Arctic where there was a lack of species, it was considered a huge thing. Su Lin's mind moved, and the attributes of the little lone wolf appeared in front of him. Species, Arctic wolf, fey, level, 11. Blood, 1357. Endurance, 137. Strength, 141. Defense, 139. Speed, 142. Talent, Rabbit Wolf, Level C. Su Lin realized that Little Lone Wolf had actually broken through to the peak of level 11. It was obvious that the opportunity Little Lone Wolf had encountered wasn't small. Although the pure energy required for a Fei to advance in the early stages wasn't too much. But in a month's time, he had broken through to the peak of level 11. Such a promotion speed was also amazing. It was considered a not so small encounter and it was estimated to be about the same as the three ice mountain lotus plants he had harvested at the bottom of the ice mountain crevice. Moreover, the little lone wolf's talent was exactly the same as that gray and white mixed color wolf king's talent back then. Both were berserk wolf talents. Although this talent could not be comparable to hunting, it was a talent that got stronger the more one fought. It was very suitable for the little lone wolf. If he really killed to the point of insanity, with little lone wolf's ferocity and killing nature, he could definitely utilize the berserk wolf talent to its fullest extent. Ow, ow. At this time, after the little lone wolf howled excitedly for a moment, it then remembered something and hurriedly took out several small black fruits from the gap between its wolf paws. These fruits were only the size of grapes, which could only be considered insignificant for the current 4 meter size of the little lone wolf. They could be easily hidden in the hair of the claws. The action of hiding in the paw hairs, the little coyote still followed Su Lin's example. As a fay, the little lone wolf not only possessed extremely ferocious combat strength, whether it was learning ability or command ability, it was far higher than little grays. This black fruit looked inconspicuous. When Su Lin took a closer look, he clearly felt that the black fruit contained an extremely pure energy. From this, it could be seen that this should be the opportunity that the little lone wolf had obtained in the large wolf pack territory. Su Lin realized that this black fruit looked a bit familiar, as if he had eaten it in the cave of his wolf father and mother. Ow! Oh, at this time, he also lowly howled twice and began to ask the little lone wolf how this fruit came to be. During the inquiry, Su Lin also discovered that the little lone wolf's abdomen and back, both had some hideous and gruesome wounds. Some of these wounds had injured the bones, 
and with the phase tenacious vitality and terrifying recovery speed, it would take a long time to recover. These wounds also proved that it wasn't that little solitary wolf hadn't let the wolves take over the territory this month. It was really, there had been a bloody conquest all along. Even with its ferocious battle power, it had encountered many vicious battles at the territories of the wolves in the west. But the little lone wolf, did not feel the slightest bit aggrieved or seeking credit. It was only an excitement. Attentively reporting to the boss about the battle situation in this month. In the middle of the report, it also arched the black fruit with its nose and pushed the black fruit in front of Su Lin for him to swallow. In the wolf pack, the wolf king had the right to prioritize feeding on any prey or food caught by the wolves. This was the supreme right of the wolf king. Su Lin looked at the fruit and felt a strong piece of loyalty from the little lone wolf. In the end, he just let out a low howl and received the fruit into the fur of his paw spikes, preparing to go back and reward the little lone wolf with an ice mountain lotus petal. The ice mountain lotus petal did not only have pure energy, but also contained abundant life essence, enough to make it recover quickly from its injuries. Next, Su Lin listened to the little lone wolf's report while also leading the hundreds of wolf races behind him, returning to the cave. These hundreds of wolves looked at the wolf king that was 7 or 8 meters in size, almost twice as big as the little lone wolf, and their eyes were filled with shock and fervor. It was indeed worthy of being their wolf king, size represented strength in their eyes. Possessing a wolf king with such a majestic size, they could no longer imagine the wolf king's strength. After all, little doctor's strength alone was enough to shock a group of wolves. The little lone wolf currently possessed a speed of more than 30 meters per second and an explosive power of 1 or 2 tons at every turn. Such strength had already surpassed the original Fey Lynx. Little solitary wolf's combat strength was the strongest in the current wolf pack, other than Su Lin. Even the wolf father, who was experienced in battle, was afraid that he wouldn't be able to last more than a few rounds under little solitary wolf. Su Lin was quite satisfied with little solitary wolf's growth. On his way back, he also recognized little lone wolf's battle results over the past month. In this month, little lone wolf had led the wolf pack to level the territory of the original large wolf pack. Even the several bear clans had shied away from the wolves. Originally, the bears thought that without the gray and white wolf king, they could have a better life. However, the small lone wolf that appeared right after them directly broke their thoughts. The ruthlessness and ferocity of the little lone wolf was even worse than the gray and white wolf king. For a while, all the bear clans didn't dare to make a sound. The grizzly bears, which were omnivores, only silently nibbled on the moss, shrub shoots and roots. The polar bears, on the other hand, only dared to hover near the ice. As for the wounds on the little lone wolf, most of them were left over from suppressing the remaining forces of that large wolf pack and hunting a phalanx, especially since that phalanx was very bad to mess with. The young lone wolf led the many wolf clans under his command and escaped from several roundups. In the end, the lynx's new lair was touched, and the wolf pack paid for the lives of more than 10 wolves as well as little doctor's serious injuries before the lynx was killed, and the black fruits of little doctor were also picked from a huge black fruit rock highland near the lynx's den, that huge black fruit rock orchid which should have evolved into a different flower not long ago, did not attack Little Wolf. On the contrary, Little Lone Wolf was allowed to pick more than 10 fruits. Due to his serious injuries at that time, Little Doctor was in urgent need of replenishing his energy, and swallowed away 6 of them. The, the pure and surging energy had been causing it to grow by leaps and bounds for more than half a month. Little Doctor Wolf brought back the remaining 6 fruits. Ow! Oh, the Little Lone Wolf was also explaining that although it had captured a lot of prey this month, since it hadn't been rewarded by the wolf pack, it could only be forced to take the lead in giving out the prey as rewards to the wolves under its command. Otherwise, most of these wolves are newly absorbed. They did not have a high sense of belonging to the wolf pack, so if they did not even have some food rewards, they would easily disperse. That's why the little lone wolf was obviously a little weak when reporting this point. One must know that in the wolf clan, only the wolf king and the alpha wolf had the right to distribute food. It's, a mere bee wolf, was far from having this qualification. However, seeing that Su Lin hadn't expressed anything, the little lone wolf gradually put his heart down. Not a moment later, Su Lin brought the little lone wolf back to the cave. As for the hundreds of wolves, they were squatting on the periphery of the cave. As for the cousin at the entrance of the cave, she was also shocked when she looked at the hundreds of wolves that were hooting and hollering. She moreover had never imagined that one day the wolf pack would reach the scale of hundreds of wolf clans. In her cousin's mindset of being rich and satisfied, it was satisfying to have a small territory with a dozen or two dozen or so wolves, just like her wolf parents. Having plenty of food to enjoy and the members of the wolf pack living together peacefully was a very happy thing. As for this grandiose scene of hundreds of wolves, it had never even crossed my mind. Just a cousin's simple IQ and thought, will not understand if small wealth, if the old ways, then sooner or later one day the wolf pack will become someone else's blood food. After all, 
Under the great change of heaven and earth, all kinds of strong fei were emerging. At this time, Su Lin, who had returned to the cave, listened to the little lone wolf's report and was ready to discuss the merits and rewards. The promotion of the promotion, the reward of the reward. Su Lin had the mindset of a human and knew how to gather the cohesion of the wolves. Currently, counting the hundred or so wolves under little lone wolf's command, plus the wolf father and the remaining wolves in the cave. It was no less than the number of large wolves at the beginning. It was just that this number was far from enough for Su Lin. He was going to plan to completely unify the wolf clans in this neighborhood. And even the bear clan was going to be recruited and surrendered. Other than some extremely hidden lynxes and arctic foxes, all the hunters in this area were going to surrender to the wolf pack. He was going to create a truly unprecedentedly powerful wolf pack. By the way, try to see if consuming some fey blood and flesh could cultivate some more fey. Once they were cultivated, the strength of the wolf pack would once again greatly increase. Therefore, after Little Solitary Wolf came back, Su Lin began to reward the wolves under Little Solitary Wolf's command, and also explained that he would let his cousin, Little Grey, and Little White bring the wolves that stayed behind to go out and unify the nearby wolves and bears. Xiao Bai is a bear clan. Relatively speaking, the success rate of recruiting and surrendering the same kind will be greater. In addition to letting them go out to unify the nearby wolf clans and bear clans, they also wanted them to accumulate some credit. Su Lin had the authority of a wolf king and could indeed promote his subordinates at will. It's just that little gray, cousin and little white were different from wolf dad. Wolf dad ruled the wolves under his command independently, and there wouldn't be any voices of disobedience. However, if they were to forcefully promote cousin, little gray, and little white to a higher position, it would be very easy to incur resistance from the rest of the pack. There is also another aspect is to exercise exercise their practical combat ability again. Their blood fight killing in small lone wolves compared to really too weak. At present, Su Lin started to reorganize the wolf pack in a drastic way. And in the Su Lin began to rectify the wolves. The Russian Siberian territory is also unfolding this one after another extremely tragic bloody war. Smoke filled the entire Siberian territory. Roar. In the southern border of Siberia, an invincible tiger hissed. Leaping up from the mountains and forests, it directly slapped a helicopter gunship into pieces with one claw. Several battlefield commanders are on top of a high mountain. From time to time, they took binoculars and looked at the smoke-filled battlefield on the opposite side. Their expressions were all very grave. Too ruthless. This Siberian tiger's killing nature is too heavy. Our iron barrel siege was almost cracked open. The commander who was at the head of them, put down his binoculars and let out a long breath with a heavy expression. This commander was called Rodney, with three tank battalions, one artillery battalion, and one field battalion under his command amounting to more than 3,500 elite warriors, but in this siege, a quarter of them were killed or injured. This made him extremely heartbroken, but with so many dead and wounded, he still hadn't captured this invincible tiger. Last time, if it wasn't for the missile forces covering bombardment, I'm afraid that he wouldn't even be able to seriously injure this fierce tiger. Lord Colonel, don't worry too much, now that this tiger has been seriously injured, it doesn't have the same power as it did back then, as long as we can keep up the offensive then we can definitely hunt this invincible tiger down completely. Rodney's adjutant, on the side, consoled out, just for his adjutant's consolation. Rodney did not take a stance, because the battlefield was always ever-changing. As long as the battle situation was not set for a moment, then there were infinite possibilities, especially in the face of such a tiger with a speed of hundreds of meters per second, and sharp claws and fangs that could break through the strongest alloys. How could he dare to have the slightest relaxation? Roar! At this moment, this Siberian tiger with a body size of 8 or 9 meters and a weight of at least a few tons had a pair of clear yellow eyes that flashed with an almost crazy look. The tiger's roar exploded in the mountains and forests. Numerous nearby species that didn't have time to escape were shivering in the sound of the tiger's whine and the smoke and gunfire. This current mountain forest was no longer a world of ordinary species. It was a sad song of blood and fire. It was the radiant collision of the latest genetic power and the peak technological power. And such a scene was being staged in all parts of the entire Siberian territory. In the north of Siberia, a group of 15 or 16 tigers were being hunted by more than 20 helicopter gunships. More than 20 helicopter gunships were flying very high, and there were more than 10 blurred shadows of warplanes above them, which were the latest warplanes of the sixth generation. These warplanes crisscrossed the sky, forming a beautiful landscape. Countless munitions were fired on the vast Siberian plains, mercilessly strafing and bombing. Tigers have always lived alone. Now that this group of tigers had gathered together, it was obvious that there was a different species of tigers uniting the strength of the tiger clan. Amidst the sound of the tiger's roar, many tigers were looking for nearby rocks as cover. Only under the armor-piercing and high-explosive bombs, 
these mountains and rocks were directly blown to smithereens. Every now and then, there would be a tiger that had its body torn apart. However, in the midst of the tiger group's resistance, there was a fey mighty tiger with a faint golden light emanating from its body. Then it let out a long whistle, and the tiger's roar could be described as piercing through clouds and cracking rocks. It directly shook several helicopter gunships flying at a low altitude until all kinds of instruments and windows shattered. The pilots were directly shocked until their eardrums were shattered and their heart veins were cracked. Siberia's Eastern Border A tall brown bear with a body size of more than 10 meters is also faster than a cheetah, hitting one steel tank after another to scrap. Its thick fur and flesh, which shimmered with a faint fluorescence, was several times harder than steel. The stray bullets hit it, but only rubbed out pieces of sparks. The pair of horrifying bear eyes, opened and closed with bloodthirsty brutality. As for the rest of the weaker fey in Siberia, they all fled and hid during the siege. Many of the fey have fled to the North Pole of Morikold, because in their impression, the fey have fled to the North Pole of Morikold, because in their impression, the cold North Pole snow-capped glaciers, many peak human technology to the North Pole will also be limited by the cold and failure, only they do not know, in the North Pole territory also has enough to make them cold in fear of invincible hunters, P.S., taking up 20 or 30 words, I'm asking for a subscription, and I'll try to update as much as I can starting tomorrow, so I hope you'll support it, there are suggestions can be mentioned to the author, thank you for your support, chapter 139, smoke and mirrors, wolves united, it wasn't just the mutant species throughout Siberia that were engaged in a fierce clash and bloodbath with human technology, mutant species all over the world were regarded by humans as a great danger to their hearts, with the exception of some red danger zones with no signals, smoke and war were being set off everywhere, and in the northern border of Siberia, Russia, in a city that had just been recaptured, a tall, very beautiful woman looked at the city that was almost in ruins, and there was a great deal of frustration in her demeanor. This woman was no other than Tiffany, a scholar who was engaged in biological research. Nowadays, on her beautiful face, she no longer had the lively cheerfulness she once had. This horrible cold spell natural disaster. The blow to humanity was too heavy. Just Tiffany still holds the hope for a better future is with their own families, toward the home neighborhood walking. Hopefully, the buildings in the neighborhood hadn't been reduced to rubble, that at least the family would have a place to live. But just after they had walked a short distance, a loud boom suddenly sounded in the sky. They looked up and saw that it was several helicopter gunships that had arrived over the heads of the people. People had seen these steel-killing machines too many times earlier these days, without the surprise and excitement of the peace era. There was no surprise or excitement from the days of peace, the eyes were all numb. Many people just gazed at it and left with their families. At present, many people were thinking about how to rebuild their homes and how to survive in the future, and were not in the mood to watch these helicopters to waste time. Only the Tiffany family could not leave, because these helicopter gunships were parked right in front of their family. Soon from inside the helicopters came out a team of humans with an average height of 2 meters 5 6, armed to the teeth. When this team of people slowly walked towards Tiffany, Tiffany could feel a strong sense of oppression coming from her face. New humans. The word popped out violently from Tiffany's mind. Only a special operations team composed of new humans could bring about such a strong oppressive force, especially in the hands of these people. The exaggerated single combat weapons also proved this even more. This was because only physically powerful new humans could hold these appalling weapons in their hands so easily. These people were wearing the most advanced nanolevel protective suits, which were specially built for giant beasts and strange flowers and trees. It could effectively resist great impact and recoil and on top of their heads were high-tech goggles such as night vision devices and analyzers. It could be said that they were one and all piled up with money. Active combat fortresses. One of the neo-humans at the head of them looked at Tiffany, then said in a deep voice, Hello, MS. Tiffany, I am the captain of the special operations team. Bob, this time I was ordered to explore the North Pole, and I heard that you have had a field exploration of the various species in the North Pole, and I would like to ask you to join me in exploring. In addition to you, there are several biological experts, and our special operations team will protect your safety. Bob was just talking in a very unusual way, but the low voice was still extremely intimidating to unusual humans. Tiffany's family had wanted to refuse, but looking at a heavily armed, all-around, imposing special forces team, at once they all didn't dare to speak as well. After all, they also knew that this was the post-disaster era, no longer a peaceful era. If they really offended the officials, the consequences and costs would most likely be more than their family could bear. This caused them to only all look towards Tiffany. Tiffany, on the other hand, also took a deep breath and thought for a long time before nodding. All right, but my family doesn't have a place to live yet, so I'd like to ask for your help in solving the problem of my family's residence in life. Bob, the leader of the special forces team, 
nodded his head in agreement and said, Okay, I'll make the contact and someone will arrange those when the time comes. Tiffany also asked one last thing, so when is the departure date? About a month from now, I'll let you know then. Hearing that time, Tiffany also put her heart down. This meant that she still had at least a month or so to spend with her family, which made her very satisfied. As for going to the North Pole to explore, Tiffany felt that it was an extremely dangerous thing to do, because the terrifying cold wave that swept through most of the cities in Siberia started from the North Pole, so how terrifying would the species that could survive in that frigid North Pole have to be? Granted, the Arctic had a dearth of species, and perhaps there were fewer mutant creatures, but if there really were, it would not be comparable to these mutated species on the Siberian plains, right? After all, more than half a year ago, when she went to the North Pole to shoot, she encountered a mysterious hunter who could tear grizzly bears alive under the polar night. Nowadays it was even worse to say how many terrifying existences there would be. It was just that since the officials had found her, then she had to go as well. At this moment, Tiffany also suddenly remembered the handsome and extraordinary white wolf that she had encountered about a year ago. It was also unknown if that white wolf was still alive. Under the great change in heaven and earth and the terrifying cold current, even if a strong white wolf that could hunt and kill large prey alone wanted to survive, I'm afraid it wouldn't be that simple, right? At this time, Tiffany, while being registered by the special forces team with personal information, was also thinking about this in her heart, and at this time, the cold arctic, also began the time of day and night, time was often the most merciless, and would not stay for half a second because of anything, in a flash, several days passed, even though the outside world was about to turn the sky upside down, the north pole was as calm as ever, the North Pole without a signal became a forbidden area that humans didn't dare to set foot in. Although Su Lin did not know, but if he knew, he would also agree with this prudent move of the human race. After all, even if you do not count yourself, on the pole alone in the mysterious iceberg in the extraordinary power, I think that even if the human race had endless peak technology swarming out, it would still have to be killed until the corpses were strewn across the ground and blood flowed into the river, because the transcendent power in that mysterious iceberg could not be considered by common sense. And during these few days, Su Lin also lived a peaceful life for several days. He rewarded Little Solitary Wolf with an Ice Mountain Lotus Petal, causing Little Solitary Wolf to officially break through to level 12, and the injuries on his body were completely restored. This Ice Mountain Lotus was the Ice Mountain Lotus in the Mysterious Ice Palace, an exotic flower that was as high as level 20 or so. The pure energy contained within it was far superior to a few grains of black fruit rock gallon. It caused Little Lone Wolf to not only break through to level 12, during this period of time, his strength was also in a sudden and rapid growth, and had already arrived at the middle of level 12. It was estimated that after digesting the pure energy of the Ice Mountain Lotus, he would be able to reach the peak of level 12 or level 13. Whether it was a Fei or Su Lin, the pure energy needed to advance in the back was increased exponentially. So even though the petals of the Iceberg Lotus contained a very large amount of pure energy, it couldn't be like a few grains of the Black Fruit Rock Golan's fruit which caused the little lone wolf to rise several levels in a row. During this period of time, Su Lin also completely united this territory. Completely, the range of the wolf pack's territory expanded to an extremely astonishing point, reaching a rare 13, 000 square kilometers, and almost no wolf pack territory could reach such an astonishing point. If you counted the area ruled by the ice, it was even greater. The wolves under Su Lin's command were also up to the point of more than 350. He had promoted the little lone wolf to become another head wolf after his wolf father. Regarding this appointment, all the wolf clans in the entire wolf pack didn't have any resistance, and they all whistled long and loud in joy at little solitary wolf's promotion to the position of alpha wolf. As for cousin, little gray and little white, they had also made a lot of achievements during these days of conquering outside. Only relatively speaking, these feats were not comparable to little lone wolf at all. Little white had managed to advance to level 6 through the bloody battles these days, a level 6 fey polar bear, it was already a meter and a half in size, and was beginning to display the ferocious aura that a polar bear should have. Su Lin didn't forcefully promote Little Grey and Cousin to become the head wolf, deciding to let them stay in the position of bee wolf for a while longer. And Little White's credit these days was not small. Not only did he cooperate with the wolves to go through several killings, he also recruited and surrendered 15 bears. Among them, there were 7 polar bears and 8 grizzly bears, and although there wasn't a single fey, the addition of these bears made the strength of the wolf pack increase dramatically. Due to the inconvenience of communication, Su Lin let Xiaobai temporarily lead the bear tribe, with a status equivalent to that of a bee wolf in the wolf pack. These bears stayed in their respective territories on weekdays, and would only be summoned when the wolves needed them. On top of that, Su Lin also allocated 5 pounds of fey blood meat to each wolf clan, 
An ordinary wolf clan would already feel satiated by eating one pound of fey blood meat a day, so five pounds wasn't a lot. The 300 wolf clans were allotted 1500 pounds of fey blood meat, and Su Lin hoped that with such a large amount of blood money, some new fey would appear in this group of wolf clans. As for the 15 bear clans, Su Lin also allocated 20 pounds of fey blood meat and 100 pounds of ordinary meat per bear clan. If they had the potential to evolve into a fey species, then the energy provided in these meats would be enough. Even if they couldn't, then the energy in these fey blood and meat would be able to increase the strength of these wolf and bear clans by quite a bit. After this group of wolves finished digesting the fey blood and flesh, Su Lin would select a group of elites from them to form an invincible wolf pack that could truly be invincible. Currently, Su Lin's rewards for the wolves were still only in the area of food. Aside from Little White, no true ethereal wolves had been promoted yet. This made the many wolves wait with bated breath. Hopefully, the Wolf King would see himself. Su Lin planned to wait a little longer to see who among these members under his command would be the first to evolve into a fae. As for Little Grey, Wolf Sister, and the Grey and White Coyote, they were still following Su Lin, not commanding any of the wolf clans. Although the three of them were fae, they obviously couldn't stand alone yet. Therefore, Su Lin didn't plan on releasing them either. During these days, the wolf sister and the gray and white coyote had broken through to level 5 fey, one after another. They were still toddler cubs a year ago, and their wolf bodies had grown to the point where they were about 2 meters long. Their strength was even stronger than a level 6 arctic wolf, and they could be the head wolf of any other wolf pack. As the development of the wolf pack gradually entered a stable stage, Su Lin took the little lone wolf, little gray, gray and white coyote, and wolf sister and walked out of the cave. Currently, this area of over 10, 000 square kilometers was the territory of the wolf pack, and the various hunters had been pretty much cleared out. The wolves wouldn't encounter any deadly dangers either. This time, Su Lin planned to check out the gigantic black fruit rock Galtheria, these exotic flowers and plants. It seemed like they couldn't move on their own, so they would distribute their pure energy to some species in exchange for protection. Therefore, Su Lin felt that this black fruit rock golem should not have any malicious intent if it allowed little lone wolf to pick its fruits. Of course, if there was malice, then he would have to be quick about it. After walking out of the cave Su Lin looked up to the west, a pair of golden brown wolf eyes, between opening and closing flashed a lurid cold light. Chapter 140 The Deer King Appears This was not cold-bloodedness, but a ruthlessness that one had to be able to know in order to survive in nature. Especially since Su Lin was also leading a huge wolf pack. Many times hidden dangers had to be removed at the very first stage. At this time, the little lone wolf was in the front to open up the road, and it had completely recovered from the injuries on the wolf's body, and its aura was even higher. The little lone wolf that currently possessed the strength of level 12, in the entire North Pole, it was already difficult to meet a rival. Even if it was that fey grizzly bear, with the current little lone wolf, it should be able to hold it back for a moment. After all, the small lone wolf's speed was about the same as the fey grizzly bear's and the talent of a rabid wolf. The more injured it was, the more it would improve its strength. Currently the wolves are advancing. Those arctic foxes and lynxes that are still lurking in the wolves' territory. After smelling the wolves' odor, they are all shivering in their respective dens. They don't even dare to breathe. They didn't even dare to breathe, fearing that the wolves would discover their existence. In fact, Su Lin's powerful senses had already discovered them. The, it was just that these arctic foxes and lynxes were small hunters. Even if they would poach some food from the wolves' territory from time to time, it wouldn't hurt. After all, with their bodies, even if they eat, they can't eat much food. For these hunters, Su Lin turned a blind eye. The rest of the large herbivore herds encountered along the way, on the other hand, all converged together in fear under the appalling aura of the little lone wolf and Su Lin, not even nibbling on the moss and scrub grass. However, Su Lin had no intention of hunting today, and their several wolves traveled at a fast pace. It was only when they passed through the wolf father's territory that Su Lin realized that the dozens of reindeer herds that were originally at the wolf father's territory had disappeared. Eh, could it be that fey grizzly bear poached them? Even if it was poaching, it couldn't have stolen this many. Su Lin was somewhat surprised in his heart. Dozens of reindeer herds were definitely a lot of prey. If the wolves hunted this much prey, they could eat it for two or three months. Even if the wolf pack had already reached the size of more than 300 wolves, and the amount of food consumed each time they ate was massive. Dozens of reindeer had at least 20 to 30,000 pounds of flesh and blood. However, Su Lin only paused for a moment before leaving. He planned to find Papa Wolf and ask him when he came back. And in the meantime, he asked Papa Wolf to strengthen his territory's patrol and protection force. The wolf pack under Wolf Dad and Wolf Mom's command currently had more than 20 wolves, which should be more than enough to guard the territory of a thousand square kilometers. 
facing the fey grizzly bears, they would definitely not be able to defeat them. But his own cave was only 20 to 30 kilometers away from here. So if there was really any big commotion, Su Lin would be able to quickly support him. Next, within a short while of traveling, they arrived at a steep stone wall. The steepness of this mountain path was comparable to the cave that Su Lin was in. It could block the vast majority of ordinary hunters. Su Lin's tall and majestic wolf body stood under the rocks and slightly raised his head to see a huge black fruit rock golem that was more than 2 meters tall. This huge black fruit rock orchid was rooted in the cracks of the stone wall. The black fruit rock orchid was known for its cold resistance and tenacious vitality. And this exotic flower had utilized this to its fullest extent. Even in the frigid Arctic, in the crevices of the stone walls, there is not much nutrients. Even in the freezing cold of the Arctic, in the crevices of the stone walls with little nutrients, it has grown tenaciously. With a thought, the introduction of this black fruit rock orchid appeared in front of Su Lin's eyes. Species, black fruit rock orchid, exotic flower. Grade, 13th level. Life status, surviving. As expected, this black fruit rock orchid was not of a high level. It should be a plant that had just evolved into a foreign flower not long ago. Not to mention himself, this foreign flower would hardly pose a fatal threat to even Little Lone Wolf, who was recovering from his injuries. Therefore, Su Lin and Little Lone Wolf directly walked through the steep mountain path. Clatter. After the two of them walked past, the branches of the black fruit rock golem clearly shook several times, bringing up a clattering sound. Between every different species, there were communication difficulties. Thus for this kind of behavior from the black fruit rock golem, Su Lin didn't know what it was, but the fact that he hadn't revealed his sharp claws and fangs already represented his goodwill in this visit. But what Su Lin didn't expect was for the little lone wolf to somewhat understand what this black fruit rock golem meant. Ow. Oh. After being quiet for a moment the little lone wolf began to howl lowly at Su Lin to deliver a message. In the intermittent exchange of wolf howls, Su Lin also roughly understood why the little lone wolf could understand the meaning of this black fruit rock golferia. So it's because that black fruit still has a fragment of the foreign flower's consciousness which can make the species that has swallowed the fruit understand its meaning. Su Lin secretly nodded. It was just that these were useless to himself, because regardless of any consciousness, under the strong devouring force, it would be turned into rolling energy. At this moment, Su Lin also signaled the little lone wolf to convey his meaning to this black fruit rock golem. The wolves could provide shelter to the black fruit rock golem, but every once in a while, they would have to provide several fruits to the wolves as payment, for exotic plants that could not move. Safety was often what they valued most. At this moment, the little lone wolf began to attentively convey the meaning of his own boss. And at the same time, he was also trying to persuade this black fruit rock Gaolan to agree. After all, this was a win-win situation for both sides. Especially the little lone wolf from the black fruit rock high orchid transmission meaning, can perceive the black fruit rock high orchid to their own boss's fear. As long as there was a consciousness, then no matter if it was an animal or a plant it would be fearful of an invincible existence that could instantly destroy itself. Right in the middle of the little lone wolf's intermittent low howls, time was slowly passing, and it was at this time that, what Su Lin wouldn't have expected was that on the territory of the wolves that had been thought to be completely stabilized, a touch of turbulence had once again been set off, near Su Lin's cave, which was more than 200 miles away from here, a loud deer sound suddenly rang out. Yo, this deer sound surpassed the wolves' perceptions. After hearing this loud deer sound, the original large and small reindeer herds on the territory began to quickly run wildly in one direction after pausing for a moment. In addition to the reindeer herd, even the horse deer herd and moose herd showed a hint of rioting. It was only under the deterrence of the patrolling female wolf that these deer herds settled down. However, the two reindeer herds, no matter how the female wolf tried to deter them, they did not have the slightest effect. This caused the female wolf to only lowly howl and summon the nearby wolf clans to come and help. Currently, Almost all of the wolves in the pack were in this area. This sound of summoning wolf howls instantly made the nearby area wolf clans all fly towards this side furiously. After all, the rules of reward and punishment in the wolf pack nowadays were deep in the hearts of the wolves, causing all the wolf clans to think about making a merit so that they could improve their status a little bit. Regardless of wolves and humans, when there is a class stratification, then naturally they all want to desperately climb up the ladder. B. Wolf. This position was an existence that many members of the wolf pack could only dream of because the bee wolf in this large wolf pack was full of gold, far from being comparable to the bee wolf in a small wolf pack. At this moment, hundreds of wolves in the wolf pack swarmed. Wolf howls were often penetrating. Nowadays, Cousin and Little Grey's hearing was extremely sharp again. After hearing this burst of wolf howls, Cousin and Little Grey glanced at each other before letting out a low howl and rushing out with the wolves that remained in the cave. The wolf pack was currently on the right track of development, a time of high morale and battle spirit clattering and clattering a piece of the wolf clan. 
They were all dashing towards the area where the wolf howl came from, but when they had just reached the area, they violently felt a heavy pressure descend on them. The wolf clans with excellent eyesight quickly raised their heads and scanned, trying to find the source of this pressure. Soon, it didn't take more than a few seconds for their pairs of wolf eyes to bring out a look of horror, because they saw that on top of that high snow slope, there was a huge reindeer that was 8 or 9 meters in size. This behemoth reindeer was condescendingly scanning the many wolf clans that had gathered. The huge antlers on top of its head were flashing with a sharp cold glow under the soft sunlight. The reindeer's eyes were black and white, clear and moist. Facing the huge wolf pack that was rapidly converging, there was not the slightest bit of panic in his eyes. If the wolf father was here, he would definitely be able to spot the scent of this huge reindeer. It was clearly the strong caribou leader that he himself had spoken to Su Lin about back when the extreme night had just receded. The wolf father had once led an entire pack of wolves in a siege, all of which were nearly kicked into serious injury by the reindeer leader. Later, he proposed to join forces with Su Lin and hunt the reindeer herd together. It was just that the reindeer leader at that time had mysteriously disappeared. But what hadn't been expected was that this reindeer leader, who had disappeared for months, had reappeared. At this time, Little Grey and his cousin also brought the remaining wolf clan from the cave and quickly flew over. In the absence of the wolf king and the alpha wolf, as bee wolves, they were naturally qualified to calm down the turmoil in the wolf pack's territory. But when they arrived and looked at the size of this huge reindeer, a pair of wolf eyes also had an incomparably shocked look flashing through them. This was a reindeer? There was such a large reindeer? Especially those huge antlers, which were even longer than the tusks of a walrus. Little Grey and Cousin, who were under the inertia of thinking, had long forgotten that their own boss and little lone wolf, and even wolf parents and themselves, were all existences that surpassed the peak of the arctic wolf's size. They only felt that the size of this caribou, was just too big. The caribou leader who stood on top of the snowy slope, behind him also stood hundreds of caribou who were confronting the wolves. Yo! With the existence of a powerful deer king, the many reindeer that could only tremble in the territory of the wolves in the past, this time, they even took the lead to let out an imposing chirp. With that large and small group of reindeer merging into one another, the group of deer behind the reindeer king's aura immediately rose to a higher level. Yo! The deer herd's tweet rang out once again. Under the compulsion of this deer call, the numerous wolf clans also began to howl in succession, wanting to raise the aura of the wolf pack. For a while, Crisp deer calls and loud and clear wolf howls rose and fell in this area. Chapter 141 Wolves Rounding Up Bloodthirsty Deer In the frigid Arctic, the deer king rose with a strong aura, looking down on the crowd of wolves. Only as the wolves gathered more and more, the wolves became bolder and bolder. Many of the wolves also got rid of the heavy pressure brought by the deer king, and began to howl step by step as they forced their way towards the deer. In their eyes, reindeer have always been on the wolves' menu. Now, if it wasn't for the huge reindeer king, the entire wolf pack would have swarmed up and killed the reindeer that dared to resist until they were bloodied. Next, in the tense confrontation between the two sides, Xiaobai also led more than 10 bear clans to the area. The oppressive and shocking force of more than 10 bear clans appearing in unison was very strong. This caused the deer king that stood on top of the snowy slope to finally bring out a touch of gravity in its pair of black and white eyes. Although it had obtained some miraculous encounters and its strength had been drastically improved, it had not yet managed to ignore such a wolf pack. This wolf pack exceeded its imagination, and even had bear clan helpers. There were two to three hundred wolves that had converged, and there were also ten or so bears. Such strength could be said to traverse the entire Arctic. Even the deer king, facing such a luxurious and majestic formation, felt a hint of pressure. It was just fortunate that the one female and one male at the head of this group of wolves were not too strong. Oftentimes, the leading wolf clan was not only responsible for directing the battle, but also for actually making the final decision. Since the leader of the wolf clan was not very strong, it was not a threat to it at all. This caused the deer king to chirp and recklessly lead the many reindeer under his command to charge out. Yo! The loud deer call exploded once again. The deer herd ran wildly in an instant. More than a hundred reindeer running wildly on the icy sky and snow, stomping the ice and snow to scatter and splash. The two to three hundred wolves that had converged also scattered in all directions. Cousin, little gray and little white, divided into left and right rear surrounded and intercepted the deer in three directions. The wolves' cooperation in hunting had long since penetrated their hearts. For hunting such large reindeer herds, the wolves would never fight hard, consuming, assaulting, holding back, dividing the battlefield, etc. The, the tactics of the wolves on the hunting field, after countless years of evolution, had long been very mature. For a while, the deer and the wolves intertwined and ran against each other in this cold region. From time to time, the wolves attacked and assaulted. Wanting to forcefully capture a few old and weaken the deer herd as a hold on the deer herd, but they failed. 
This group of reindeer followed the deer king, surprisingly abandoning their previous timidity and cowardice. A pair of black and white deer eyes were filled with the bravery of a musk ox. If one were to look from the sky at this time, one would definitely see a visual spectacle of chasing and hunting. Hundreds of wolves and hundreds of reindeer were running wildly on this snow-covered land. The long whistling sounds of the wolves and the deer's moaning sounds were intertwined and collided with each other. Among them, Little Grey searched for half a day and finally found the right moment. It looked at a female deer that was at the edge of the periphery and only had a level 6 attribute, and darted towards it. The doe was the mainstay of the herd's fertility, and in general, it was most appropriate to use the doe and fawns as the herd's hold, and this level 6 attribute female. Deer was unbeatable compared to the small grey that was already on the verge of reaching the peak of level 7. Miso, little grey's sharp wolf claws popped out completely from its fur. Under the soft sunlight, it appeared to glow. Boom, darting, it ruthlessly struck the neck of this female wolf with a claw, directly knocking the doe into a tumbling backwards flight. And little grey was also kicked out of the herd by several surrounding reindeer with a vicious flying kick. However, this tumbling doe instantly destroyed the charging formation of the deer herd especially on the neck of the female deer. The blood that splashed recklessly made the wolves bring out bloodthirsty excitement in their eyes. Seeing blood, it was still delicious reindeer blood. This caused the wolf howls to resound crazily once again. Ow, ow. The stimulation of the smell of blood caused the wolves to go completely crazy. One by one, the male wolves that weren't weak began to fight the vanguard, pouncing on the male deer at the edge of the herd. The male wolves in the current wolf pack had not yet finished digesting their share of fey flesh and blood but their strength had all gained a considerable amount of progress. Most of the adult male wolves had reached the strength of mid to late level 5, and there were even some with good growth potential that had broken through to level 6. Such strength was already not inferior to some reindeer. The charge of the wolves with such strength caused the defense line of the reindeer herd to collapse. Tear, the sound of blood and flesh being torn apart. The swarming of countless wolves caused the deer herd, which had just gathered its momentum, to become flustered once again. The outer adult reindeer were pounced on head after head by the wolves, no matter how raging and surging the aura was before the big battle. But the reindeer that had been used to eating grass and had never experienced a bloody battle, once they were met with a real bloody fight, they were all in a state of disarray. And the wolves, born group hunters, the smell of blood will not only not let them panic, but will stimulate them more and more crazy. Yo, the deer king was also instantly enraged when it saw this scene. It began to show its full strength. The huge size of its body swung back and helped the deer herd out. The reindeer king's speed was extremely fast, 50 to 60 meters per second, making it impossible for ordinary wolves to react. Just as a level 6 male wolf had just pounced on a reindeer, preparing to directly lock its throat and bite the reindeer to death. The reindeer king was like a piece of brown lightning. His 8 or 9 meter body was instantaneous. Boom! As a fey reindeer king, his limbs were too much more flexible than ordinary reindeer. With a direct flying kick, the large hoof kicked at the side abdomen of this level 6 male wolf. The powerful flying kick kicked the male wolf out about 20 meters, and all the wolves that he encountered along the way were also knocked to pieces by the huge impact. Yo! Along with this powerful flying kick, the reindeer king also gave a wild chirp once again. The loud deer call caused the panicked deer herd to begin to gradually calm down. The numerous reindeer also regained some confidence as they looked at the wolf clan that had been kicked to life and death by the reindeer king. On top of that, as the reindeer king chirped, the reindeer king's body also emitted a black fluorescent light, which spread very quickly and directly covered the huge deer herd. The fluorescence did not pour into the reindeer king's body. Instead, it was dispersed and poured into the bodies of these reindeer. This fluorescence also made the hundreds of reindeer. A pair of black and white deer eyes instantly became pitch black. Originally there was some panic, completely disappeared, and even brought out a trace of bloodthirsty brutality and courageous bravery. Even the antlers on top of their heads, also became sharper and more pointed. The entire deer herd's aura, violently rose a few chips. The wolves also felt the deer group's strength, but with their intelligence they could not understand why the deer group suddenly became stronger. There were even a few wolves that were eager to take credit for their actions, and they took the lead, wanting to try it out. But just after coming near the reindeer herd, they were directly kicked back by the flying kicks of the outer stags. There were also two wolf clans that were actually directly torn apart by the reindeer's sharp antlers in a bloody manner and the originally grass-eating reindeer, smelling this bloody odor, even flung the wolf carcasses off their antlers, and, that pitch-black incomparable eyes brought out bloodthirsty joy, and began to partake of the wolf meat, this scene caused the entire wolf pack to be lulled into a frenzy, even little white and little gray, who were fey with high intelligence, were somewhat shocked, what exactly did that deer king do, and what was that black light, why did the reindeer that had just faced the wolves in a panic turn into this bloodthirsty appearance in such a moment, 
It was just that no one would answer the questions in their hearts. Yo! After quickly dividing the blood and flesh of the two wolves, the deer king once again chirped. The entire deer herd also rioted in an instant and began to actively charge towards the wolves. The deer king's black and white eyes also brought out a touch of ruthlessness. Originally, it only wanted to take its race and head to the north, because it was there that it had gotten a strange encounter itself. Although it was cold there, there were quite a lot of mosses there. Those mosses were richer in energy and nutrients, and could better allow the deer to grow. But this group of wolves are really ungrateful and still want to round up themselves? In that case, don't blame yourself for leaving them a bloody lesson. Who says herbivores deserve to be used as blood food? Who said that the counterattacks of herbivores were always weak? The reindeer king brought out an incomparably ferocious look in its eyes, and it led the deer herd to start a great counterattack. A pair of sharp antlers flashed with an eerie cold glow under the soft gaze. Plop! With a single charge, the huge antlers pierced through a wolf clan that could barely reach level 5. With a violent toss of the head, the corpse of this wolf clan was instantly torn apart. Blood splashed up recklessly, and the reindeer king directly bit down on a wolf clan that lunged over, the thick teeth directly biting this wolf clan's back spine into smithereens. Afterwards, a deer leg stepped on the body of the wolf tribe, and that huge bloody mouth was a mouthful that gnawed the wolf tribe's wolf head alive. Who says herbivores can't eat meat? Blood splashed recklessly on the reindeer king's body, soaking its dark brown fur. Yo! The reindeer group at this time was also madly charging up against the wolves once again, and the wolves, under the immense pressure, also began to shift their strategy, adopting the laddering tactics only used in a war of attrition. They no longer swarmed. Waves of wolves assaulted and held back the deer pack, hoping to consume their current wild charge. Xiaobai also led more than 10 bear clans to join the battle. The strength of the bear clan was incomparably strong, especially the bear race that had swallowed the blood and flesh of the fae. Their strength had also risen to a higher level. Between the swings of the bear's paws, they also seriously injured a reindeer. However, after being enveloped by the strange black light, the reindeer, as if they were not afraid of death, after being knocked down, they quickly got up again and continued to charge and fight. For a while, the, the battlefield was incomparably bloody. The sounds of deer, wolf howls, bear roars, and blood splatters were intertwined in the air above this chilly area. This great battle was stalemated for a full hour or so, and the strong smell of blood filled every corner of this area. Every wolf clan had more or less brought out some injuries on their bodies and even directly killed more than 30 reindeer, but the rest were still desperately resisting the charge. Yo! With another loud deer sound, the entire reindeer herd finally broke out of the wolves' encirclement. The giant reindeer king's pair of sharp horns tore apart another wolf clan. During this period of time, Little Grey, Cousin, Little White, and several bear clansmen, also fought with the reindeer king in blood for a long time. It was just that this reindeer king was too strong, even though several bears with thick blood and high defense. They were all cut by the reindeer king's sharp horns with several deep blood marks, and at least half of their huge blood value was lost in this battle. There was even a polar bear that died in the battle, and its huge head was crushed by the reindeer king's hooves. The reindeer king, who had now killed his way out of the encirclement, charged towards the last line of defense formed by Little Grey, Cousin, Little White and several bears as well. Little Grey, Cousin and Little White wanted to stall this reindeer king, as long as the wolf king came back, then this reindeer king would definitely die. It was just that everything was in vain. Boom! The tall reindeer king was like a behemoth to them. Two direct flying kicks sent Little Ash and his cousin flying out 20 to 30 meters away. Little Ash and cousin were as badly hit as they were. Little Grey was a little better. As a fae with strong vitality, even with such a heavy injury, his internal organs were almost shattered, but he still stood up tenaciously. It was just that cousin's wolf body was on the icy ground, convulsing violently and fresh blood gushed out from the cousin's mouth in large gulps. The remaining Xiaobai and several bear clans were also scattered by the reindeer king in one rush. Even another bear clan was torn apart by the reindeer king. Blood flew into the air. The reindeer king was too strong. After leading the herd to charge out, it didn't stay too long and, after stepping on one or two wolves that dared to block the way again along the way, it led the deer herd away from this place with an extremely heavy smell of blood, because the reindeer king knew that his talent time was about to expire. Once the deer herd had no more talent bonus, then it would still be weak and fall into the wolf pack circle once again, so it was necessary to get out of here before it was too late, and dash to the north. There is a wealth of moss there, waiting for the strength of the deer herd to rise, it can completely bring the deer herd to come back here to avenge the siege, but what the reindeer king didn't know was, but what the reindeer king didn't know was that the so-called leader of the wolves in its eyes was actually not a wolf king, but just a be wolf in the pack. At this time, any wolf tribe present, looking at the deer group that rushed out of the encirclement, 
In addition to the indignation in their eyes, they all missed the wolf king and the head wolf, the wolf king and the head wolf, because if there was any one of the wolf king and the head wolf present, they would not have allowed this reindeer king to be so violent, the wolf pack's encirclement was broken up, and even though they killed more than 30 reindeer, the wolf pack also paid a terrible price, the root cause of all of this was that they themselves were too weak, and none of the wolves were able to play a major role in holding back this reindeer king, otherwise, this bloody battle between the deer and the wolves would never have ended like this, this was the first major defeat they had suffered in this area since they had converged, ow, 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 under this great defeat, countless wolves looked at the backs of the deer packs that had gradually disappeared, and all howled long and coldly, venting their hearts pent up anger, they were not willing, hundreds of reindeer, how long was the wolf pack's ration, especially when they were also seriously injured and killed 20 to 30 of their companions in battle, this was a blood feud, they were surrounded by a pack of herbivores, defeated by the prey that used to only tremble under the wolves lechery, this made every wolf clan feel incomparably humiliated, and little ash looked at his cousin who had been spitting blood on the icy ground, and also panicked and wailed directly, the fierce force that little grey received was not weaker than his cousins, and his internal organs were cracked, and wisps of blood were flowing out from the corners of Little Grey's mouth, it was only the phase tenacious vitality that was still supporting it, the, but with such a serious injury, if it relied on nourishment alone, it would also require at least a month or two or so of rest and recuperation, but at this time, Little Ash didn't care about his own injuries, he just looked at his cousin with concern, in Little Grey's thoughts, besides its own boss being the most important, it was the wolf father and mother and a few companions who had grown up together. Chapter 142, Killing Intent. Little Grey's pale wolf howl resounded in the air above the chilly Arctic. As for Little White, it was still barely able to support itself due to its huge chi and blood values, and it looked at the heavily injured Little Grey and its cousin. It felt that it was still too weak, not to mention having the strength of a wolf king, as long as it grew to the adult stage. It would be able to help the wolves as a main force to hold back and fight that reindeer king, and at this time, Su Lin and the little lone wolf, who were still far away more than 200 miles away, looked at the six more fruits given out by isoflower black fruit rock gaolan, and were also satisfied, since a win-win situation had been reached, the wolves naturally had the obligation to shelter black fruit rock gaolan's safety, with regards to the location of the black fruited rock gaolan, after inquiring, the black fruited rock gaolan also agreed to be transplanted near the cave where su lin was, hei gui yen gaolan could also feel the toughness of the majestic white wolf in front of him, which was a toughness that could not be compared to no matter whether it was that fei lynx or the little lone wolf, with the shelter of the white wolf, Hei Gui Yen Gaolan felt that there would definitely be no problem with his safety. As for the fruit of pure energy, it was easier to obtain pure energy for exotic flowers and plants. One could rely on the roots and branches to absorb the mysterious energy released after that natural disaster. It was just that this energy was currently getting weaker and weaker between heaven and earth, and it was feared that it would be absorbed in a few more months' time. By then, no matter if it was a strange flower or a giant beast, the evolution would become slow once again. At this moment, Su Lin signaled Little Lone Wolf to transplant the black fruit rock gallon. Even if it was an exotic flower, transplanting it once was still very damaging. However, for the sake of long-term safety in the future, the black fruit rock orchid didn't resist. Instead, it emitted a black-purple fluorescent light, assisting the Little Lone Wolf to help transplant itself. Little Lone Wolf's sharp wolf claws directly smashed the stone wall open. Nowadays, Little Lone Wolf's attack power could also be described as opening up monuments and cracking rocks. Ordinary steel could be pierced through with its force and the sharpness of its wolf claws. This kind of savage transplanting action would definitely be a dead end for ordinary plants. Fortunately, the foreign flower black fruit rock highland has a faint fluorescent light guarding it, and there is no big problem. Only after Su Lin reminded him with a low howl did the little lone wolf's movements become cautious. Su Lin's kindness caused the black fruit rock orchid to shake its branches in gratitude. It was only after a moment that the little lone wolf gently pulled the black fruit rock gallon out of the gap, a lot of pure energy diffused out of it. Under the intentional pull of the black fruit rock gallon, this pure energy surged towards Su Lin, little lone wolf, and wolf sister and gray and white coyote who had also come here. The little lone wolf, the wolf sister and the gray and white coyote were all greedily absorbing this pure energy, but when it arrived here in Su Lin's place, when this energy just touched his wolf body, the strong devouring force violently erupted and, not only did it quickly devour this pure energy, but even the pure energy from the source of the energy, the black fruit rock highlander, was plundered by the power of devouring as if it were a bandit. This makes the foreign flower black fruit rock high orchid crazy shaking branches, body black purple fluorescence greatly, but simply cannot fight this strong devouring force. It must be known that this strong devouring power could even dissolve the tentacles of the great king squid, 
not to mention a level 13 exotic flower. Under the devouring power, the black fruit rock golem felt the threat of death. It hastily shook its branches to bring out a rustling sound, as if it was begging for mercy towards Su Lin, and Su Lin was also aware of his own devouring power. This caused him to have to wolf his body and quickly distance himself from the heterocarpus black fruit rock golem. It was only after leaving the source of pure energy that this powerful devouring force gradually dissipated. But in just a short moment, Su Lin had plundered at least half of the pure energy of the heterocarpus black fruit rock golem. Ding! The host has eaten the heterocarpus black fruit rock golem and gained 7. 500 points of evolutionary value. Ding! The host has gained 7. 000, 000 points of evolutionary value by feeding on the foreign flower black fruited rock gorgonian. Ding! The host feeds on the heterocarpus black fruit rock golferia, gaining 6. 500 points of evolutionary value. After the power of devouring disappeared from Su Lin's body, several light gray message prompts popped up directly in front of his eyes. Sure enough, the pure energy that he had just devoured didn't count as one time. In one breath, he had directly gained over 20. 000, 000 points of evolution value. This massive evolution value was even more than what the heteroflower iceberg lotus had given. From this, it could be seen that the genetic level of the heteroflower blackfruit rock golem should be even higher than the heteroflower iceberg lotus. Currently, Su Lin was about to break through to level 15. Right now, every time he promoted, the increase in strength he gained was incomparably huge. On top of that, there was the acquisition of additional attribute values. As a result, Su Lin's battle prowess was such that killing same level Fei was as easy as a pig or dog, even if he was killing level 20 or so Fei. As for those really strong level 30 or higher Fei, Su Lin hadn't encountered any except for the Fei Great King Squid and those two giant iceberg lotus plants. It was thought that they should also have the power to fight. Those that evolved into Fei after the great change of heaven and earth had ordinary levels around 10 or so. Those that evolved into Fei before the great change of heaven and earth are only around 20 levels. Unless they encountered some heaven-defying encounters, they would break through this limit. As for Little Lone Wolf, Little Grey and Wolf Sister, the reason their levels were too low was simply because they were pups and needed time to grow up. On top of that, it was because they had only swallowed some fey flesh and blood and hadn't acquired any truly pure energy. Otherwise, like the Little Lone Wolf, but whenever they fed on a few fey flower fruits, their strength would be increased by leaps and bounds. Next. Su Lin waited for the devouring power to disappear before he once again came to the vicinity of the Fei Flower Black Fruit Rock Golan. Only this time, the Heteroflower Black Fruit Rock Golan was obviously very afraid of Su Lin, and its branches were all trembling slightly, but he didn't have any malicious intent, and just now that devouring force Su Lin didn't want to. After all, in the future, you can get the foreign flower fruit from time to time, and now directly in one breath to completely devour. This gap Su Lin still understands. A meal saturated and a meal full. Even an ordinary wolf clan knows how to choose. The wolf sister in gray and white coyote who had absorbed a lot of the pure energy of the heteroflower black fruit rock gorin. Their strength had also been boosted by a considerable amount. They had just broken through to level 5. And once again came to the peak of level 5. And those pure energies could still support their rapid growth in the coming days. As for the little lone wolf. Due to its already high level. Those Sioux diffused pure energies only slightly increased its strength by a hair. On the way back to relocating the heterocarpus blackfruit rock golem, Su Lin also let the little lone wolf ask about some of the blackfruit rock golem's pure energy. Lone wolf asked about the environment that the blackfruit rock orchid needed to survive. As for the blackfruit rock golem, when he saw that the white wolf didn't directly exterminate it, he also let go of his heart. After all, that devouring power just now, it could feel that it was too terrifying. It was simply unable to fight against it itself, nor could it resist it. Even its own consciousness, which had been born with great difficulty, seemed as if it was about to be devoured. It was good that this white wolf instantly moved away from itself, or else I'm afraid that in another second or two it would have to literally go up and smoke. It shook its branches slightly, conveying that its environment only needed to be safe and pioneering. A closed environment was not conducive to its growth. Su Lin, who had gotten this news, gave up his intention of letting the heteroflora blackfruit rock golem and those few iceberg lotus seeds be his companions. At this moment, Su Lin took the little lone wolf, wolf sister, and the gray and white coyote, and while folding back into the cave, he was also pondering the relocation location of the black fruit rock golem. After all, this was the only xenoflower in the wolf pack that was in its mature stage, so it still needed some attention. With the fruit it provided, not only could he himself obtain a large amount of evolutionary value, even the strength of the wolf pack could be mentioned as rapidly increasing. In the midst of his thoughts, it didn't take long for Su Lin to arrive at the Wolf Dad's territory. He had just planned to go and ask what was going on with the reindeer herd on Wolf Dad's territory when 
Su Lin's extremely sharp hearing heard the long whine of Little Grey and the wolves 20 to 30 kilometers away. This long whistle was pale and sad, like the howl of the large wolf pack when he had killed through that large wolf pack under the snowy night. HM, howling sound, could something have happened? There was some doubt in Su Lin's pair of golden brown eyes. It was reasonable to say that the present day wolf pack territory was the safest. With hundreds of wolf races and 10 or so bear races, most of the hunters within the territory had been unified. Even if there were fae that had just invaded the territory, they would have to consider whether they had the strength to face a wolf pack of this size. However, the wailing of this wolf pack still caused some killing aura to rise on Su Lin's huge wolf body. At this moment, the murderous aura rising from Su Lin's body made the fae flower black fruit rock gallon, not even dare to make a rustling sound. It also made the wolf sister and the gray and white coyote feel a little breathless. As for the little lone wolf, due to its ferocious and murderous nature, it was still within the range of acceptance for the fact that its own boss didn't have a murderous aura directed at it. It was just that it also instantly understood that something must have happened. Otherwise the boss wouldn't have risen up with a killing aura for no reason. Ow. Su Lin decided to take the lead and go back to see what was going on. He let out a low howl and signaled the little lone wolf to return to the cave with Fay Flower, Wolf Girl, and the gray and white coyote. Then that speed of up to 230 to 40 meters per second was fully unleashed. Whoosh. The sound of friction with the air exploded violently. With a speed as fast as wind and electricity, it disappeared from the view of the wolves almost instantly. This speed made the little lone wolf, which had already advanced to a 12th level fay, still feel shocked beyond words. The higher its strength, the more it could realize what such speed of its own boss actually meant. It meant that all the hunters in the entire arctic might not even be able to react when faced with their own boss's attack. Such a fast speed made it almost a luxury for opponents and prey to even run away. 200 meters per second. More than meters meant that Su Lin's peak speed had reached the point where a minute was a dozen kilometers. The distance between the wolf father's territory and the vicinity of Su Lin's cave was only 20 to 30 kilometers. At this distance, under full speed, Su Lin only used less than two minutes. Following the sound of wolves howling and the thick smell of blood, like wind and electricity, he directly appeared in the center of the wolves. Wow! Su Lin's huge wolf body stopped, bringing up countless splashes of ice and snow. This ice and snow splashed extremely high, flying all over the air, in the fluttering snow and ice. After Su Lin's golden brown wolf eyes scanned around, he, he suddenly sought his cousin who was lying on the icy ground, spilling blood out of her mouth. The color of her cousin's blue wolf eyes had gradually dimmed, and her entire wolf body was twitching from time to time. This meant that she was about to die. Cousin's loyalty to Su Lin was unquestionable. Su Lin also valued his loyal cousin. Even though he had wasted a lot of fey flesh and blood, he still wanted to pile his cousin up into a fae species, but now she had been injured to such an extent. This caused the killing intent that was already rising in Su Lin's body to rise to the extreme in this instant. Ow! An earth-shattering wolf whistle sounded like thunder in the Arctic ice plains. This caused all the wolf clans to look over, and they suddenly saw the invincible wolf king that was 7 or 8 meters in size. The horrifying killing intent that was rampantly rising from the wolf king's body made every wolf tribe feel like they were going to be torn apart by this killing intent. They didn't dare to make the slightest sound, and even their breathing was stagnant. At this moment, Su Lin took a step towards his cousin, and under the sunlight, the shadow of that wolf body was stretched very long. Perhaps it was the sound of the wolf howling just now that made the cousin's eyes rise again. She saw Su Lin who came over, and originally wanted to struggle to get up and give Su Lin a low howl to report what had just happened, but the originally athletic wolf body was simply a luxury to even stand up. The limbs only slightly scratched the ground but it was so soft and feeble that even the ice and snow on the ground failed to make a mark. After Su Lin came over and looked at his seriously injured cousin, he originally wanted to find Little Grey to be angry, but his senses were so sharp that he could feel that Little Grey was also seriously injured. At this time, only Little Grey dared to approach Su Lin in a rage, and when it saw its own boss appear, it instantly howled sadly and asked the boss to save her cousin. Little Grey did not have time to say, here actually happened a how tragic battle. Su Lin also did not ask just silently came to the cousin. Cousin had wanted to lowly howl and say something to him, but Su Lin stopped her. For his orders, cousin's sister never obeyed. Su Lin knew that cousin had received very, very serious injuries, but fortunately, there was still the ice mountain lotus in the cave. The life essence from one of the petals of the ice mountain lotus was enough to heal both her and little gray. The two of them were not meritorious and should not share the ice mountain lotus though, but after all, from the very beginning, the wolf clan that had followed them since their own rebirth, Su Lin silently gripped his cousin's neck, then returned to the cave with a single step. The many wolf clans, seeing the wolf king under the killing intent, also silently began to clean up the battlefield. A part of the wolf clans were in pathos, 
and also left with the corpses of their close companions in their mouths. And on the way back to the cave, Little Grey also, through his intermittent low howling voice, informed his own boss what exactly had happened in the wolf pack territory during the short time he had left. After hearing Little Ash's report, Su Lin's golden brown eyes remained calm. It was just that underneath this calmness, there was an endless amount of chilling killing intent suppressed. An attack by a group of reindeer? Su Lin had also never thought that a group of cowardly herbivores would one day rebel against the wolves under the leadership of the reindeer leader. In fact, apart from practicing the law of the strongest being the most respected, the wolf clan still attached great importance to their fellow wolves. In the face of the caribou group's attack, the wolf pack seriously injured and killed more than 20 wolves. So this is a blood debt. In the cruel nature, blood debts were never paid with blood. Escaped to the north? Su Lin stopped slightly and glanced sideways at the even more chilly north. A pair of golden brown eyes was like an ancient well of cold water, without the slightest ripple. But he knew that the wolf pack was in its infancy, and in the face of the reindeer pack's rebellion, all the wolves were waiting for a reaction from the wolf king, especially under the grief and anger of unwillingness. Hundreds of wolf clans though all of them did not even utter a single howl, but they all looked at the wolf king from afar. As long as the wolf king gave the order, they could follow the wolf king and drive hundreds of miles to kill the reindeer herd until the clan was destroyed. Chapter 143 Wolf Pack Development Su Lin returned with the wolves. The wolves that cleaned up the battlefield also dragged more than 30 carcasses of reindeer. Back to the cave. The battle looked like the wolves had decimated quite a few reindeer, but as hunters, hunting reindeer, which were the prey on the recipe, should not result in attrition. But it was also mainly because the deer king was just too strong that caused the deer to break out of the wolf pack siege. At this moment, the morale of the wolf pack was slightly low. Fortunately, with the wolf king back, the wolves had a backbone. Many times in the icy arctic icefield survival, the wolf family is to hold each other to keep each other warm. A strong wolf king can make the wolves feel safer and more cohesive. It wouldn't disperse after one or two failures. At this moment, Su Lin looked at the wolves under his command. A wolf pack of this size was definitely at the top of the food chain in the frigid arctic. To be able to break through a pack consisting of more than 300 wolves and more than 10 bears, it could be said that the reindeer king did have a strength that could not be underestimated. It should be an existence that had evolved into a fey species before the great change in heaven and earth. Coupled with little Gray's description, it was 8 or 9 meters in size, which meant that it would weigh at least several tons. Once the hunt was successful, the rich fey flesh and blood could provide Su Lin with a considerable amount of evolutionary value, and even the wolves would be able to share a lot of it. So for that reindeer king and the deer pack that fled to the north, it was absolutely a must kill. Just currently, Su Lin still had to cure his cousin first. As a fey, Little Grey was tenacious, so this injury wouldn't kill it. But Cousin was different. After returning to the cave, Cousin's eyes were about to lose their vigor. This caused Su Lin to leap and take down a piece of the ice mountain lotus petal from the stone wall high up in the cave. Then using his fangs, he crushed the ice mountain lotus petal and placed a large portion into his cousin's wolf's mouth, while signaling for Little Grey to swallow the rest. This ice mountain lotus was an ice mountain lotus from the mysterious ice palace, and had the attributes of a full 20 levels. So the pure energy and life essence contained within it was huge. This ice mountain lotus fragment had just reached the cousin's mouth when it turned into a glittering white light that surged towards the cousin's limbs and bones. Cousin's bones and internal organs that had been shattered by the strong force were also gradually recovering under this white light. This white light was also nourishing cousin's wolf body again, strengthening her. The pure energy contained in the iceberg lotus petal was something that was far beyond fey flesh and blood. Originally, after swallowing hundreds of pounds of fey flesh and blood, her cousin was already vaguely on the verge of evolving into a fey. Now under the nourishment of this pure energy, cousin instantly evolved towards fey. Buzz. The fey that the pure energy nourished to become was far from the pain that the fey serum brought. Therefore, the process of cousin's evolution into a fey was not as miserable as wolf dad's. With a buzzing sound, the wolf body gently vibrated. Under the nourishment of this glistening white light, cousin then began her subtle enhancement. Fey was an enhancement on the genetic level. After evolving into a fey, not only would the strength increase dramatically, but all aspects of ability would increase dramatically. IQ, vitality, resistance to blows, sharp claws, and fang sharpness, limb flexibility, and so on. Therefore, a fey species of the same level would not use much effort at all to kill an ordinary species of the same level. After watching his cousin's life breath gradually stabilize, Su Lin didn't watch anymore. This wave of cousin's sister is also considered a blessing. With the nourishment of this ice mountain lotus fragment, she can not only evolve into a fey species, I think that not only will she be able to evolve into a fey, but she will also usher in a period of high-speed development behind her. As for the little grey on the side, 
After swallowing the other half of the Ice Mountain Lotus fragment, the injuries on his body were also recovering rapidly, and his strength was also growing. The breath on Little Ash's body quickly broke through to level 8 and was still growing, for the growth above the strength of his cousin and Little Ash. Su Lin also nodded. Both of them had been following him for the longest time. Loyalty-wise, they naturally didn't need to say much, and with their strength increasing, they would also be of no small help to themselves. As for the remaining piece of Icebird Lotus Petal and 12 Blackfruit Rock Golan's Fruits, Su Lin planned to devour a few Blackfruit Rock Golan's Fruits himself. The rest would be used as rewards for the wolves. Soon, Little Dr. Wolf also returned with his wolf sister in gray and white coyote. Su Lin instructed Little Lone Wolf to plant the Heterocarpus Blackfruit Rock Galtheria at the back of the cave. It was quiet and empty, the environment that the Heteroflora Blackfruit Rock Galtheria required to survive. Next, Su Lin then began to ponder about the Reindeer King. Migrating to the north? This caused him to frown slightly. It was reasonable to say that the north was much more morose and cold, with most of the area being an ice sheet, where scrub grass and moss-based food was even more scarce, and the amount of food that hundreds of reindeer needed to consume was definitely a vast amount. This caused Su Lin to quickly think of a possibility, and then his eyes flashed with a brilliant light. The north definitely had some kind of food that was rich in pure energy or else the deer king wouldn't have brought his reindeer herd to migrate to the north. This made Su Lin even more determined in his decision to take his wolf pack on an expedition to the north. Anyway, this area was pretty much cleared of hunters, leaving 30 to 50 wolves to patrol the territory was enough. The rest of the wolves ran straight to the faraway places, not only for revenge, but also to see what the north actually had, not to mention any great encounters, even if they harvested one or two more exotic flowers. That would be at least several tens of thousands of evolutionary value. Even the wolves would be able to gain a lot of benefits. Thinking like this, Su Lin stood up and began to scan over the wolves. With a low howl, he signaled the wolves to drag out ten reindeer meat to eat. In today's battle, although the wolves had suffered a considerable loss, it at least represented that the converged wolves already had initial cohesion and battle power. It wouldn't fall apart when it encountered a strong enemy. Therefore, these more than 10 reindeer were considered to be the extra meal for the wolf pack today. Ow, ow, ow. After Su Lin signaled the wolves to start eating. The, at once, the 2 to 300 wolves all responded with long whistles. The joy of the extra meal also washed away the low atmosphere of some of the wolves. For the wolves, food was the most important thing besides their lives. Food was also essential if one wanted to survive. With the newly acquired food, many wolves began to fight over it. There was no lack of fierce bites and fights. But within the wolf pack, the competition for food had long since become the norm. The strongest were honored. The stronger wolves would naturally enjoy more food. Su Lin didn't want to change this point. After all, for the wolves, what they wanted was never superficial modesty. What they want is wildness, its ferocity. Because in the cruel nature, only a fierce enough hunter could survive better. But the tearing and fighting of the wolf clan, with the watchful eye of the wolf king, didn't go too far. After the winners and losers were decided, Many of the stronger wolf clans began to prioritize their food. For these winning wolf clans, Su Lin also focused his attention. He found that one of the wolves was the most robust and conspicuous. Su Lin had some impression of this wolf race. It was a stray lone wolf that had defected when the wolf pack expanded. This wolf was also the first peak level 6 arctic wolf to defect to the wolf pack. It could be said that wolf clans that could grow to peak level 6 strength among ordinary species had good growth potential. Moreover, this wolf clan, after devouring the fey blood and flesh that had been distributed, had already been promoted to rank 7. The aura on its body also had the aura of evolving towards the fey. It could be seen that when it completely digested the energy of the fey blood and flesh in its body, it would also officially evolve into a fey. This caused Su Lin to nod. It had to be said that after this large-scale distribution of fey blood and flesh, the overall strength of the wolf pack had still received a surge. He planned to wait for the strength of the wolf pack and Little Grey and Cousins boosts this time to be completely consolidated. Then he would lead the wolf pack on an expedition to the north. Hundreds of wolves and more than ten bears. This was definitely a vast and powerful force in the Arctic ice plains. Since there was a strange encounter in the north. Then by the way, he also ruled the northern territories. Su Lin had a mindset that was different from that of humans. And knew how to plant and station wolves on top of his territory. Not gathering wolves together in a swarm. This would allow the wolves to rule over a larger area. In this kind of thought, Su Lin also looked up at the north, and there was also ambition and killing intent boiling in his pair of wolf eyes. And at this time, what Su Lin didn't know was that a small musk ox with a broken leg within the range of the wolf pack's territory was viciously devouring the moss and scrub grass on the ground. It was tirelessly devouring, and had already gnawed the nearby moss and grasses to the bone. 
Three whole days and three nights of sleepless feeding made the musk ox herd feel a little alarmed. Even the mother of the young musk ox wanted to come up and comfort her child. Even if Su Lin had seen this scene, he wouldn't have much of an impression of this little musk ox. But if the little lone wolf came, it would immediately recognize that this was the little musk ox that it had cruelly pulled out of the musk ox herd during its first hunt with the wolves. It was this little musk ox that was used to disrupt the formation of the musk ox herd. Now the musk ox herd has long since dueled out a new musk ox leader, who has naturally taken over the females in the musk ox herd. It is now rutting season and the alpha musk oxen are mating and preparing to produce their own offspring. The calf's mother is among them. The calf tries to defend her mother, but just a few days ago the alpha musk oxen gave her a hard time. After that, the young musk ox went on a feeding frenzy. The mother had thought the baby musk cow was irritated and wanted to come and comfort it. Moo! The musk cow's low howl sounded, and the mother rubbed the little musk cow's neck with the cow's head. However, soon after, she was startled when she saw the little musk ox's blood-red cow eyes. On top of that, she could also feel that the little musk ox's size had skyrocketed a lot just in these few short days. Currently, its size was no longer inferior to her own. The aura on its body was so strong that it made her feel a palpitation in her heart. It was at this time that this little musk ox finally stopped eating, and it raised its head to the sky with a long roar. Moo! The sound of the cow's roar echoed in the morose cold arctic. The horns of this little musk ox also became extremely sharp. The thick cowhide on its body became tougher, and its limbs became more flexible. Its pair of blood-red cow eyes first looked at its mother. And, then it turned its body, raised its head and looked at the strong musk ox leader in the musk ox herd. The eyes brought out a hint of indignation and killing intent. The position of the leader of the musk ox herd should have been his, and all the female musk oxen should have been his as well. Moo! With an angry roar. This little musk ox then topped its pair of sharp horns and slammed viciously towards the musk ox leader who was enjoying the female service. Chapter 144 Unprecedentedly Powerful Wolf Pack Request for Subscription The little musk ox's leg, which was originally bitten off, had also fully recovered. As it ran wildly, it brought out an unrelenting valor, and even its running speed surpassed the usual. The cow's hooves stepped on the snow, and ice and snow splashed in all directions. Moo! The musk ox leader also hurriedly detached itself from its comfortable state, but a trace of panic inevitably appeared in its ox eyes. It could not have imagined that this little guy with a broken leg would dare to launch an attack on itself, and how did that leg recover? The very low IQ of it couldn't understand, but it still stared at its huge bull's eyes and angrily swung its horns to start a counterattack. Boom! The two ruthlessly collided together. The sharp horns of an ordinary musk ox were not sharp. This time, in the violent collision, the musk ox leader's sharp horns failed to make a mark. Instead, the pair of sharp horns of the small musk ox directly topped the scalp, bringing out two deep blood marks. Those horns were too sharp, causing the musk ox leader to go crazy in pain. Moo! The musk ox leader's frenzied cry rang out. But the little musk ox's attack didn't stop in the slightest. It was another hard impact, directly hitting the musk ox leader's neck. Plop! The sound of blood and flesh being penetrated. The small musk ox slammed the musk ox leader's neck with two bloody wounds as well. Generally speaking, when a musk ox herd fights for position in the herd and the battle reaches this point, there will be a result. Both sides would also stop. But the little musk ox that was filled with killing intent had no intention of stopping, and continued to slam into the musk ox leader. Plop! The sound of blood and flesh being penetrated by sharp horns rang out from time to time. As for the rest of the members of the musk ox herd, looking at this bloody scene, a trace of horror also flooded the eyes of those pairs of oxen. It was a full ten or so minutes of crashing, even though the musk ox leader had already wailed miserably and admitted defeat. The little musk ox still did not stop, until after blasting this musk ox leader's two meter plus size to the ground. It was still viciously crashing, slamming this musk ox leader's head, eyes, and neck to the point where it was a bloody mess. And this musk ox leader, who had only just enjoyed a few months of wonderful bovine life, perished on the ice field just like this. Blood was flowing freely. This time the little musk ox, long roar, declared that it is the winner of this duel. Only the eyes of the many musk oxen looking at it were all horrified and scared. After all, the musk ox herd's bravery is to the enemy. Rarely will their own race under such a cruel hand. The present day little musk ox only gradually calmed down after venting off its heart's killing intent. Looking at the scene in front of him, it was also surprised that he actually did it. What shocked it even more was that its broken leg had also recovered. On top of that, it could also feel the powerful force surging within its body. This power made it feel very elated. However, it didn't rejoice for too long, and fiercely thought that in this area, the wolf race was the absolute overlord. Soon that group of ferocious and cunning wolf race would be coming to patrol its place again. It was afraid that just after it had gained great power, it would be noticed by the wolves and hunted down for food. Having evolved into a fae, 
It's not only had its power become stronger, even its IQ had increased a lot. At this time, although it had gained a considerable amount of power, the fear of the wolves had long since penetrated deep into its heart. After all, that horrible wolf pack, once it started hunting, it would use everything. At this time, it defeated the previous musk ox leader, naturally became the new leader, but out of fear of the wolves, it only thought of escaping from here. But trying to migrate towards the south was simply impossible. In order to prevent the territorial prey from migrating back to the south, the wolves made their most frequent rounds in the south. So the little musk ox stared with huge cow eyes and decided to wait for the wolves to come back to patrol once more, then quietly bring the musk ox herd to migrate to the north. Even though it is colder there, there is always a chance to live. Time is like running water, passing by in a hurry. In the blink of an eye is another few days, a flash of time. The polar night had also officially descended on this area. The darkness of the night shrouded everything. The various races that had originally planned to migrate away were forced to stay in the frigid Arctic due to the wolves driving them away. The wolves drove these herbivorous species to several caves, where they could stay out of the cold if they lived in groups. In addition to this, there were also quite a lot of irrigation grass and moss on the periphery of the caves, so it was thought that they could also support them for a period of time. When the time comes, if these herbivorous species can't hold out, they will have to be hunted for food. However, Su Lin still hoped that these species could survive. After all, with the great change in heaven and earth, there was no telling if there would be new prey migrating over after the polar night. These days, in addition to dispatching the wolves to drive the prey to the cave, Su Lin also swallowed two fruits of the black fruit rock gollum once again. Ding! The host has eaten the foreign flower black fruit rock gollum and gained five, five hundred points of evolutionary value. Ding! The host has gained five, zero 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 points of evolutionary value by eating the heterocarpus black fruit rock gollum. He once again gained tens of thousands of points of evolutionary value. Ow! Oh, an earth-shattering wolf howl rang out under the polar night where everything was silent. Along with this wolf howl, Su Lin also then felt that arcane evolutionary energy descend once again. This arcane energy lasted longer and longer, and this time it lasted for over an hour before it was completely absorbed. With the enhancement of time, the strength bonus brought about was also obvious. Su Lin's body size in this evolution reached the point of 6 meters 7 or 8 not counting the wolf tail and counting the thick wolf tail reached the point of almost 9 meters. 9 meters, such a size was already the size of a bus. Su Lin's shoulder height also reached an astonishing 3 meters, counting the wolf's head. It was close to 4 meters, which was the height of a one-story building. Beast. A beast that deserves to be called a beast. Name, Su Lin. Species, Arctic Wolf. Genetic Level. Level, 15, Upgrading Requires 320, 000 Evolution Points. Breath and Blood. Endurance. Strength, defense, speed, additional attribute points, evolutionary value, talent, hunting, grade C, concealment, grade B, healing, grade A. Su Lin's strength had greatly improved in this promotion. Promoted from level 14 to level 15, with 60 points added to each attribute value. Such an increase in strength was worthy of the huge evolution value. Transformation value, the chi and blood values were approaching 5, 0, 0, 0, with such a huge blood value. Even that fey grizzly bear was comparable. Speed had always been Su Lin's strength. It was also relying on speed that he had rushed out of the great king squid in the mysterious iceberg. So looking at the 60 extra attribute points, they were added to speed once again. This caused him to directly reach a speed value of 690. With a speed value of 690, it allowed him to fly at a speed infinitely close to 300 meters per second without turning on his hunting talent. 300 meters per second. Such a speed was simply not something that a normal species could react to. Even a face species with extreme senses wouldn't necessarily be able to react to it. After opening the hunting talent, it even reached an appalling 600 meters per second. This speed was already approaching Mach 2, and was even faster than many of the human warplanes that crisscrossed the sky. Even many gun bullets were only a few hundred meters per second. It could be said that the present day Su Lin's strength had reached an unprecedentedly powerful point. The defense of the wolf body had also become extremely amazing. A body of white and flawless hair, once it entered a defensive state, could become even harder than steel. Unless some armor-piercing bullets, high-explosive bullets, and the like, could break through Su Lin's defense. The strength value reached 440, which meant that the strength of Su Lin's right paw after being strengthened would soar to around 650. With a full strength strike, it would be able to erupt with an attack power of up to 10 tons or even more. With such unrivaled attack power. Not to mention ordinary hunters, even polar bears could be killed in one blow. In addition to Su Lin's strength having increased dramatically, the strength of these Skylark packs had also increased significantly. 
the little lone wolf had relied on the energy of the iceberg lotus petals to advance to level 13, and his strength was already no less than that gray and white mixed colored wolf king. Little Ash and Cousin also both broke through to level 10. Among them, the talent Little Ash unlocked was Latent, which had once been cast by that purple Fey Lynx. Lurking could cause Little Ash's speed to skyrocket by 70%, his breath completely disappeared, and his figure would blend in with the surroundings for a duration of up to 15 minutes. Whether it was escaping, or attacking and killing, it was a very good talent. The talent that Cousin unlocked was Healing. This talent was similar to the talent of the head wolf of the Kenai Mountain Wolves and the mysterious Ice Mountain. Both were a healing talent. It's just that Cousin's healing talent couldn't take effect on groups of people. However, the cooldown was much shorter and could be cast every three hours. The wolf sister and the gray and white coyote. On the other hand, during these days, with the help of the pure energy of the foreign flower black fruit rock Gorin from the other day, they had been raised to the peak of level 7, and were vaguely about to break through to the level 8 fey species. This strength was considered very strong among the wolves. Shao Bai, due to not being rewarded with the pure energy of the fey flower fruit, only relied on devouring fey flesh and blood to reach the late level 6 these days. It was considered to be the existence with the lowest strength among the group of fey. In the current wolf pack, apart from them, after the mass distribution of down fey blood and flesh, three new fey had also finally appeared. One of them was of the bear race, and two were of the wolf race. This bear race, Su Lin was also familiar with it. It was clearly the gentle grizzly bear from back then. After eating 20 or so pounds of fey flesh and blood, it evolved into a fey species. From this, it could be seen that the grizzly bear's growth potential was not demonic, but it was still not bad. This grizzly bear reached level 13, a 13 fey grizzly bear. Its strength was considered very strong, and its talent was defense. Not only would the defense power double and skyrocket, even the fur and skin would become harder than steel. This fey grizzly bear, Su Lin gave it the code name Warm Bear, and was responsible for assisting Little White in leading the bear clan. The remaining two wolves, after evolving into fey, had all evolved into level 7 fey. Su Lin also gave them each a code name. The first peak level 6 wolf clan to join the pack was given the code name of Mundane Wolf. When he had dared to go to the bear clan's territory to poach food and came out alive by only relying on his mundane wolf clan physique, it was evident that he was bold and meticulous. The rest of the wolf clan, the code name was the Broken Ear Wolf. It was because one of its ears was bitten off in a previous fight. After evolving into a fae, its ear was only half newborn, and it also had a ferocious nature. These two newly promoted fey wolves, when they conquered the large wolf packs in the west, they also made a lot of achievements and were promoted by Su Lin to the position of B-Wolf, under the banner of Little Lone Wolf. This caused the mortal wolves and the stump-eared wolves to howl lowly at Su Lin in excitement. After all, the position of AB-Wolf was still very gold-rich in the wolf pack. The, it could be allocated more food, and could even be personally rewarded by the Wolf King after making greater feats. With the assistance of the two of them, the young lone wolf can also better lead the wolf pack to conquer. Nowadays, the strength of the entire wolf pack is unprecedented. There were many different species. The fey within the territory of tens of thousands of square kilometers could all be said to be concentrated in Su Lin's wolf pack. If you counted the wolf parents, the number of fey under Su Lin's command would be as high as 11. 11 fey. Now, Su Lin felt that if the wolf pack developed for a while longer, even if that group of Kenai mountain wolves came out of the mysterious iceberg, they would have the capital to fight. The fey were the favorites of heaven and earth nowadays and only by becoming a fey would there be unlimited possibilities for future growth. Su Lin's evolutionary path is different from that of the fey, and his evolutionary path is a bit more difficult, requiring him to swallow the genetic blood of all things. He needed to swallow the genes and flesh of all things in order to reach the top step by step, but at the same time, the battle power it brings is far superior to that of the fey. Currently, apart from the fey, entire wolf pack had also seen a considerable improvement in their strength after consuming the fey's blood and flesh. Cousin was in charge of more than 130 female wolves, half of which had broken through to level 5, and the rest were in the mid to late level 4. There were no more female wolves with level 3 attributes or those with level 4 attributes, the small lone wolf still led most of the male wolves, and the average male wolf was at level 5 after reaching adulthood. However, the strength of this group of male wolves nowadays were all at the late or peak of level 5, and even one third of them had broken through to level 6. Su Lin also selected a group of elite wolves from the male wolves to act as personal guards. This group of elite wolves all had to be at least late in peak level 6. A total of more than 20 were selected and were led by Little Grey. At this moment, under the extreme night, below the high mountain where the cave was situated, all the wolf clans had all completely converged. They were all raising their wolf heads high, looking out at the entrance of the cave on top of the high mountain. 
there were more than 300 wolf clans, standing silently without a single sound. This scene was probably unbelievable no matter who saw it, yet it truly happened. The air in this area seemed to be filled with the killing intent before a great war. There were more than 10 bears at the front of the wolf pack, and the aura rising from the huge bears was very strong. Afterwards, Su Lin's huge wolf body, which was close to 9 meters, slowly appeared at the entrance of the cave, and a pair of golden brown eyes looked at the wolves below. The many wolf clans in the wolf pack looked at the wolf king, and their eyes were filled with fervor. The wolf clans all had night eyes, and the darkness of the night did not block their sight. The little lone wolf, who was the head wolf, followed suit and stood beside Su Lin. Immediately afterward, all of the fae in the wolf pack also appeared. Cousin, little gray, wolf sister, gray and white coyote, little white, warm bear, mortal wolf, and stumpy ear. The peak lineup of the wolf pack completely converged. And today, Su Lin intended to lead the wolf clan under his command on an expedition hundreds of miles to the north. As for the wolf father and mother and their wolf pack, they were treated as a stay behind wolf clan, looking after the territory. Under the extreme night, Su Lin scrutinized the wolf pack under his command for a circle before letting out a long whistle. Ow! Along with this loud wolf howl that sounded like thunder, the entire wolf pack also boiled up in an instant. The sound of the wolf howl rose and fell as it echoed in the sky above this area. The aura of the entire wolf pack also directly reached its peak at this moment. All the wolf howls were repeatedly expressing one meaning. They wanted to avenge that blood feud from the other day. Even if that deer pack escaped to the even more frigid north, they would follow the wolf king to decimate them and exterminate their clan. Chapter 145 The Wolves Go on a Journey Ranking the Fey Beasts Su Lin looked at the wolves that were boiling up and first let the little lone wolf lead the wolves to move towards the north. The peak traveling speed of the wolves could reach 50 to 60 kilometers per hour but it would be especially physically exhausting, so there was no intention to let them travel too fast. After all, a long-distance campaign was not like in the territory, where one could rest when tired. In the icy wilderness, one needed to maintain peak fighting strength at all times. With a low howl, the little lone wolf led the order and began to lead the pack to swarm away. As for Su Lin, he went to see the wolf parents. They were the people closest to him after being reborn as a wolf. So with the fruits of the black fruit rock gallon, he was naturally prepared to send some to the wolf parents as well. Both of them weren't weak in terms of growth potential, and they currently had more than 20 wolves under their command, which was more than enough if they were just patrolling the territory alone. After arriving at the cave where wolf parents were located, the two of them came out early. After all, after evolving into a fae, their sense of smell and hearing were much sharper. If Su Lin didn't converge his breath, they could smell their own pups from a few kilometers away. Currently, the wolf father and wolf mother's strength by feeding on fey flesh and blood, had made another small improvement. It was just nowhere near as fast as the pure energy that came from devouring exotic flowers and herbs. Su Lin handed the four black fruit rock highlander fruits to wolf dad and wolf mom, signaling them to swallow them on their own. The pure energy contained in these four fruits was enough for wolf dad and wolf mom to get a rapid improvement for a while. As fey, they could naturally smell the pure energy contained in this fruit. At that moment, they were also all very surprised, and howled low in succession. They had already been 100% convinced of their own cubs, especially when wolf dad and mom looked at their pups who had grown another size and had already grown into giant beasts. Their eyes were filled with relief. After wolf dad and wolf mom collected the fruits of the black fruit rock Gaolan, Su Lin also instructed wolf dad to remember to let the wolves patrol the territory. If there were really any major changes, he would go to the north to inform himself. Wolf dad and wolf mom had been in charge of the wolf pack for many years, and they often patrolled and guarded the territory so handing them over to them was very reassuring to Su Lin. In fact, this was also due to Su Lin's selfishness. After all, the vast majority of the hunters in the wolves' territory had been cleared out, and there was almost nothing that could threaten the safety of the wolf parents. However, it was different when one was out on a quest, and Su Lin couldn't even say what level of hunters and opponents he would encounter on this trip. That reindeer king that had become a fae before the great change in heaven and earth alone was enough to pose a deadly threat to wolf parents. That was why they were allowed to stay behind out of concern for the safety of wolf parents. Next, after Su Lin explained everything, he didn't stay long. After all, without him in charge of the wolf pack's northern expansion and conquest, the wolf pack would ultimately have less of a backbone. After Su Lin said goodbye to his wolf parents, he dashed towards the wolves, the speed of 300 meters per second. Although it hadn't reached the speed of sound, it still brought out a huge air friction sound in the air. The wolves weren't traveling fast, and Su Lin quickly caught up. When the many wolf clans looked at the huge-sized wolf king, they then howled again with a long mountainous howl. Hundreds of wolves converging on the, the sound of the sky-splitting wolf howls made the species along the way, 
all of them shivering and hiding in their dens. After all, such a large-scale wolf pack outing was something that all species in the Arctic region rarely encountered. This made them feel as if the might of the heavens had descended upon them with such a monstrous aura and ferocity of the wolves. The other thing was that compared to other species, the wolves, which had more stamina and hunger tolerance, were more suitable for long-distance conquests. The wolves had already had a full meal before coming out. This was enough to sustain them for more than half a month without eating. Therefore, if this expedition could resolve the battle within half a month, it was thought that the wolves would not need to worry about their food. If it exceeded half a month, then Su Lin would have no choice but to lead the wolves and kill them wherever the conquest took them, battle by battle. This time, it wasn't just about decimating the deer pack that dared to rebel, it was also about expanding the territory, and it was also about creating an invincible iron blood wolf pack. Only by conquering and killing could the strength of the wolf pack grow faster. Ow, ow, ow. At this moment, the long howls of the wolves resounded from time to time in this chilly area, and in the eyes of the hundreds of wolves of the wolf clan, there was excitement, agitation, and fervor. The wolves were born hunters. This kind of big hunt that could be called unprecedented in scale, even more so, made the blood in their bodies boil. Su Lin was in the center of the wolf pack, surrounded by his cousin, Little Gray, wolf sister, gray and white coyote, little white and warm bear. The little lone wolf was a little further ahead, leading the mortal wolves and stumpy ears in the vanguard. Su Lin's pair of golden brown wolf eyes flickered through a flash of light as he looked towards the chilly north. The other day, the patrolling female wolves also came to report that there was another musk ox herd that wanted to defect to the north, only to be intercepted by most of them, with only two or three escaping sporadically. Among them, there was a musk ox that was extremely powerful and its horns were incomparably sharp, so it should also be a fey. With the current prestige of the wolves in this territory, those that dared to resist were all fey and other tough characters. This made Su Lin even more excited about his trip to the north. Fey musk oxen and fey reindeer would all become prey under the wolf pack's expedition. In addition, since he led the wolves to come, if there is really any strange encounter on this territory in the north, then he and the wolves will have to join in the fun and add some hot blood and excitement to the cold arctic. At this time, when Su Lin led the wolf pack to expand to the north, every place in the world had already fought until the sky turned upside down. Countless of humanity's topmost technological forces swarmed out from human fortresses or cities that hadn't been victimized by natural disasters. With the fey that had been monitored everywhere, they were engaged in the most pinnacle showdown of the current time. Since many of the latest high-tech armed forces required the use of networks and satellites, the networks and satellites that had been paralyzed in various places under the natural disaster had also been repaired. Currently, except for some areas where human habitation was rare, the signals of most human settlements had been fully restored. The power supply and heating equipment had also been sorted out, and the cities that had become ruins were being rebuilt in full swing. Judging from the current situation, although the humans had lost to some powerful fey, they had still achieved brilliant results. Some of the weaker fey were either torn apart or captured by the humans' technological killing weapons, torn apart, or captured and killed. More were captured and given to some big shots at the peak of power to enjoy. After all, fey flesh and blood was too rare, and was the rarest and most expensive resource in the world. The black market in many places had speculated to the point where each gram of fey blood flesh could be exchanged for $8,000. This price, moreover, made people go crazy, because with the natural disaster, the order of many places had collapsed, and many places had begun to recognize only US dollars. Therefore, the purchasing power of US dollars was still very strong in the current society. Because of this price, a lot of new human beings have been working hard to kill the Fey. Among them, there are also a lot of private new human war team. For this kind of war team all the forces are resistant, because the strength of the new human war team is too strong, it will have an impact on the rule of their major powers. But it was not restricted after all. This caused all the major new human battle teams, either civilian or military, to begin to show themselves everywhere. Of course, in the face of the human threat, with not low intelligence of the fey also began to join forces. Originally solitary bears, tigers, lynxes and so on, also began to live in groups, various species, various forces. In the current era after the great change of heaven and earth, intense collision, humans, during this period, also issued a ranking of the danger index of foreign beasts based on months-long monitoring and real battle results. This list covered all the currently known powerful fey, and also caused a big wave everywhere in the world. Not only did the major powers offer huge sums of money to reward the flesh and blood of these powerful fey, but the Science Alliance also asked the powerful new human warriors to go and take the genes of these fey, wanting to use them for research. Fey Danger Index Ranking First place, Mysterious Sea Monster Battle Strength Unknown Living in the Deep Sea 
Its battle record is that it has repeatedly shredded several nuclear-powered submarines equipped with powerful fish missiles, and its danger index is 10 stars. Second place, Bloodthirsty Python. Latest size close to 200 meters. Own strength index of 10 stars. Living in the country of India. With millions of snakes under its command. Group strength of 10 stars. Its achievements include hunting and killing many heavy armor divisions in India, devouring tens of thousands of humans, and occupying many cities to feed on humans, with a danger index of 10 stars. Third place, the Golden Eagle of God's Speed, the latest size of about 15 meters, its own battle strength index of 10 stars, in the sky. His battle record is to kill a berserk bear with more than 10 meters, destroy more than 20 of the strongest 6th generation fighters and hundreds of helicopters in the sky, deservedly the king of the sky with a danger index of 9.5 stars. Fourth place, Terror Bay Crocodile, the latest size of nearly 70 meters, their own battle index of 10 stars, located in the shallow sea. The battle record for hunting and killing several blue whales, can dive into the deep sea, can enter the land, once three ships surrounded the Bay Crocodile, was directly destroyed. The danger index is 9.5 stars. Fifth place, West Africa Lion King, his own strength index of 9 stars, located in West Africa. Under the command of thousands of lions, there is no lack of terrifying strength of the male lions, pack strength index of 10 stars, record for in the African Union and hard to fight more than 10 hard battle, each other, at least destroyed hundreds of the latest tanks and hundreds of warplanes, hunted and killed tens of thousands of elite warriors, the danger index of 9 and a half stars, 6th place, Puma, the most, the new body size of 8 meters, their own strength of 9 and a half stars, in the Americas. Record for once several heavy regiment to hunt all dead. Jaguar speed invincible. Speed suspected to reach the speed of sound. But where the prey is stared at none of the fortunate. To no shadow to go without a trace. The danger index of nine and a half stars. Seventh, heavy tan brown bear. Their own strength nine and a half stars. In Kodiak. Battle record once blood fight America's tens of thousands of heavy soldiers. And finally one. Character berserk. Invincible defense. Danger index nine and a half stars. Once this list was released, it caused intense discussion and marveling. Nowadays, the signal had just been restored, and the network was still used more for the military, so there wasn't any intense discussion on the network. However, many people still questioned the list in private. Among them was Rodney, the colonel head of the colonel who had once gone to round up the invincible tigers of Siberia's southern border, who looked at this list and slapped on the table and cursed. That invincible tiger didn't even make it into the top 20? How is that possible? Half of the soldiers under my command were killed or wounded, but I couldn't even capture it. And in the end, it broke through again. It broke through again. That's going to be a demon. A demon. The several adjutants beside them looked at Rodney in his fury and could only fall silent, saying nothing. Although they had all witnessed the monstrous ferocity of that invincible tiger, they hadn't doubted the authority of this list. After all, the bloody battle records on this list illustrated the toughness of the Fey on the list. This was a worldwide list of Fey. Anyone who could make it to the list, without exception, was not a demon among demons. Even many Fey had to have heavenly encounters. As for the invincible tiger, after breaking through the battlefield and killing its way out of the enclosure, it went missing. Once a satellite briefly detected its figure, as if it had gone to the northern border of Siberia. I don't know if it was converging on the local tiger clan or following some Fey to break into the North Pole. The northernmost border of Siberia has already entered the range of the Arctic Circle, where it has been affected by a terrifying cold front. So far, there was not the slightest signal, and all forces did not dare to set foot there, so they don't know where the invincible tiger will end up. Besides Rodney, there were quite a few people discussing this ranking of foreign beasts. What's the situation? A jaguar that's only 8 meters can occupy the 6th place? Do you understand the speed of sound? What's the concept of more than 300 meters per second, and is 8 meters small? I can see that the strength of the beasts may not be based on their size. That's right, the golden eagle is only 15 meters, but it's still invincible. Is it that horrible gulf crocodile that dares to bare its teeth with it, or is it the West African lions that dare? If they just grabbed it and threw it down from 10, 000 meters, they would be crippled if they didn't die. Are you sure the golden eagle can catch a 70 meter crocodile? Upstairs, I'm afraid I've never seen the golden eagle's combat power. Once that bloody air battle has already explained everything, Go and see for yourself the speculation on the Golden Eagle's value by various forces. Just as this list of foreign beasts caused a furor, the wolves under Su Lin's command were marching towards the frigid north. Su Lin naturally had no idea about the various strong fey on top of this list, but he possessed a strong confidence in his own battle prowess. As of now, he almost didn't have a single enemy in the North Pole. 
Even the fae catalyzed by pure energy in the mysterious icebergs could be hunted down and killed in a short period of time. However, he had never underestimated the fae either. As the favorites of the new era after the great change in heaven and earth, there would definitely be some extremely demonic or heaven-defyingly strange fae that had gained a rapid rise, but the more powerful the fae, the more motivated Su Lin was to hunt and kill them. After all, the more powerful the species, the more it was the best fuel for his evolutionary path. At this time Su Lin slowly walked out of his territory as he marched with the wolves and began to set foot in this morose north. Chapter 146 Skywolf Whistling Moon As Su Lin looked around this area, other than some polar bears and ice creatures, he didn't find any signs of activity from the rest of the creatures. It was obvious that this place was simply not suitable for ordinary species to thrive. After all, this place was truly part of the Arctic ice plains, and there wasn't even the slightest bit of land. From this, it could be seen that the deer herd and the famous ox should have migrated even farther away. However, some polar bears that he encountered along the way, Su Lin let little white and warm bear try to subdue them. It was believed that under the intimidation of a wolf pack of this size, these polar bears knew what to choose. In fact, the polar bears joining the wolves was also favorable for them. In the future, as the fae get tougher and tougher, polar bears are no longer the dominant force in the Arctic. It would be better to join the wolf pack. Perhaps there was some risk in following the wolf pack's conquests, but it would be much better than them struggling to survive like this. Roar, roar. After Xiaobai passed, intermittent bear roars came to mind on the opposite side. Out of the intimidation of the more than 10 bear clans and the huge wolf pack behind Xiaobai, the vast majority of the polar bears eventually submitted. But several polar bears along the way, not all of them would submit. One of the polar bears that had enough level 16 attributes to go down to the sea and hunt beluga whales rebelled. A level 16 polar bear, its strength was not weak. The roar of the furious bear echoed in the frigid Arctic. The warm bear fighting formation was fighting this polar bear in a bloody battle. Even if it was only a level 13 warm bear, the numerical value alone was stronger than this polar bear. Not to mention the talent. This was coupled with the dozen or so bears surrounding Xiaobai. In a matter of moments, the polar bear was bloodied on the ice field. After the great change in the heavens and earth, any ordinary species that doesn't know what's good for them will inevitably end up like this. Perhaps this polar bear was once the strongest dominant species in the ice field. But now, it can only be reduced to a blood meal. After hunting this polar bear, Xiaobai let Wen Xiong drag this polar bear to the wolf king. No matter who hunted the prey in the wolf pack, the wolf king had the right to prioritize it. Currently, Su Lin had been traveling and searching in this area for about 10 hours, and had also traveled 2 to 300 miles, but he still hadn't seen any traces of deer or other species. Therefore, Su Lin decided to first find a place for the wolves to rest for a while. As for the polar bear's corpse, he signaled little white and little solitary wolf to distribute it to the wolves and bears below. It was even colder here in the north, and the wolves had also traveled for so long. Their physical strength was not small. Let them eat some food and recuperate before moving forward. Leading a wolf pack in battle was different from marching alone. Every aspect needed to be taken into consideration. It was just a good thing that the wolves were more capable of adapting to tough environments. And there wasn't a single wolf that had fallen off the wagon. On the contrary, the wolves also all still maintained the same stirring fighting spirit they had when they had just set out. The meat of this polar bear was more than a thousand pounds. Even if there were more than 300 wolves, each head would be able to share two or three pounds. It was more than enough for today's consumption supplement. The blood and flesh of ordinary species, Su Lin didn't care too much about. Distributing it would also keep the wolves fighting spirit high. Ow, ow, ow. The wolves howled one after another that, were expressing surprise to the wolf king. At the same time the wariness and fighting spirit in a pair of wolf eyes were even more intense. The thinking of the wolf race had always been very simple. Gathering together to fight and hunt and being able to survive under the cruel laws of nature was the greatest truth. Therefore, food has always been the most important thing in the eyes of the wolf race. As long as there was food to eat and companions, it was enough for them. Currently, Su Lin signaled Little Lone Wolf to arrange for a few wolf clans to keep watch for the night, and then let the rest of the wolf clans find a huge ice wall that was relatively sheltered from the wind and rested underneath it. In this barren ice field, species were rare and the wind was cold, and this area was very vast. This ice field area to the extreme point, with at least more than 3 million square kilometers. The area ruled by Su Lin's wolf pack was hundreds of times larger. Plus the deer herd along the road odor and tracks, have been blown away by the cold wind. So it was not difficult to search for the deer in this vast ice field. But where there are strange encounters, there are bound to be fey. And with the wolves coming over so loudly, they will definitely encounter some tough hunters in this area. At that time, based on the scents and traces of these tough hunters, it was impossible to say that there would be some clues. In the midst of his thoughts, 
Su Lin also came to an ice wall and was surrounded by wolves. As the wolf king, he was naturally the most important of the wolves. This kind of close encirclement could be described as being protected by the wolves to the extreme. The surroundings of the many wolves also provided Su Lin with a lot of temperature. In fact, with Su Lin's current battle strength, he didn't need all this protection at all, but he didn't refuse it either. In addition, the hair on Su Lin's body was very thick, not to mention this level of morose cold. Even the bitter cold of 2 to 300 degrees below zero could be carried. The rest of the ordinary wolves were all in twos and threes, snuggling together for warmth. The one that little lone wolf had arranged to patrol and keep watch was the mortal wolf. As the bee wolf, the fan wolf, with more than 10 wolf clans, was vigilantly watching every move in the surroundings at the outermost part of the wolf pack. Su Lin, who was in the middle of the group of wolves at this time, didn't eat the polar bear's flesh and blood. With a thought, he took out a talent serum. This talent serum was obtained when he had devoured that fey polar bear's bile at the mysterious iceberg. Currently the concealment talent could not be strengthened. Thus whether it was strengthening the hunting or the healing talent, it could bring about an extremely powerful increase. Ding, is the talent serum used? Use. Su Lin didn't hesitate in the slightest. After using it, the very comfortable warmth once again appeared on top of the wolf's body. Now Su Lin wasn't looking forward to strengthening hunting too much this time. Although the hunting talent was incomparably strong, the addition to battle strength was incomparable to other talents. But the healing talent, the increase in survivability was also very counterintuitive. Both of these two major talents provided him with no small boost. Just as Su Lin waited for the reinforcement, he was surprised to find that the warmth had once again flowed for a long time and still hadn't been absorbed by the wolf body. Hmm, another new talent? Su Lin's golden brown wolf eyes instantly flashed with a brilliant light. Sure enough, this warm current changed violently, directly changing like a fire. The burning pain that had already been experienced rose once again. This time, Su Lin was already able to endure this pain. Underneath this pain, a new wave of gifted energy also appeared once again within the massive wolf body. Currently, he had healing, hunting, and concealment. It could be said to be a combination of recovery, strength, and assassination. Su Lin was curious to see what the new talent that had reappeared was again. He hoped it would be a group increase type skill, just like the Deer King's talent in Little Grey's description. In the midst of this pain, about half an hour or so passed. It was only then that the fire completely surged into Su Lin's wolf body. Immediately after that, a light gray message prompt appeared before his eyes. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the wolf whistle talent, grade D. Wolf whistle? Su Lin looked at this prompt and also felt the pain on his body gradually disappear. This talent was clearly not a group increase type talent, but he didn't have much regret. After all, it was rare to obtain a new talent. It was important to realize that the talent serum only had a 10% chance of obtaining a new talent. Wolf whistle, D rank, upgradable. Active talent can initiate a wolf whistle sonic attack with a speed of sound and a kill range of 3 kilometers. Number of attacks, 10. Cooldown, 24 hours. Note, after exceeding 10 times, it will enter the cooldown time, and forcibly using the wolf whistle talent during this time will deduct a large amount of blood value. The introduction of wolf whistle's new talent appeared before Su Lin's eyes. Hmm, sound wave attack? Looking at this talent, Su Lin was slightly surprised. Comparatively speaking, if the attack speed was just the speed of sound, it wasn't as fast as his attack speed after turning on hunt. But the biggest benefit of the wolf whistle talent was the ranged kill. There was no way to dodge the sonic attack. No way to avoid it. So for this talent, Su Lin was also quite satisfied. With such a talent, in the future, even if he wanted to capture flying birds in the sky, it would be much easier. At this time, after Su Lin finished reading the newly acquired talent, a pair of golden brown eyes also scanned down the wolves. As he finished dividing the polar bear's flesh and blood, the originally noisy wolves gradually quieted down. After about an hour or so, the wolves all snuggled together in twos and threes and began to sleep. This made Su Lin give up his intention of trying out the power of the wolf whistle talent. He stretched out his huge wolf body for a bit, and then started resting at the ice wall as well. The wolf sister, who had finished eating, also bounced over to Su Lin's side and snuggled up with him to sleep. The wolf sister was still very dependent on Su Lin. Su Lin didn't say much either, but a pair of golden brown eyes looked at the dark night still pondering the direction of the wolves' search in the future. He had brought hundreds of wolves to conquer this time, not to tour the mountains and enjoy the snow. Su Lin wanted to see just where the wonders of this morphic cold north lay. In the midst of his thoughts, time slowly passed. The packs of wolves all began to fall asleep, and apart from the rustling of the cold wind, there was a dead silence. Su Lin also began to rest, only in the icy wilderness. He still left two points of perception for vigilance. Chapter 147 The Fae Finally Appears 
Under the extreme night, everything was silent, there was no difference between black sky and white night, and most of them had lost the concept of time. In a flash, it was several days. The wolves had also been searching in the north for several days, but they still hadn't found any traces of the deer. However, Su Lin's extremely sensitive senses could sense that there were powerful hunters nearby. Su Lin stood on top of the snowy slope and scanned the circle without finding it. It should be the talent of lurking, convergence and so on, this kind of talent even if the senses are strong enough, this type of talent, even if the senses are strong, can only vaguely feel the sense of prying eyes, and it is unlikely that you will be able to find it, unless the other party voluntarily exposed his figure. However, if there was a powerful hunter spying on them, it meant that the wolves were heading in the right direction. The temperature in this area had dropped to minus 50 to 60 degrees under the extreme night. With such temperatures, ordinary hunters would have difficulty even obtaining food. Therefore, those who were able to become fey definitely had some strange encounters. This temperature also made the only common species in this area were some polar bears and ice creatures. In these few days, the biggest harvest of the wolf pack was the eight polar bears they had subdued. The bear clan under Little White's command reached over 20 heads at one time. The entire 20-odd bear clans gathered together were all level 10 or above. So even ordinary species had quite a bit of might. And today, Xiao Bai and Wen Xiong were beckoning a female polar bear. This female polar bear had a cub with her, and they were both ordinary species. It was reasonable to say that a combination like theirs would be the most difficult to survive in the cold Arctic. It was just that the two polar bears, one large and one small, not only did not agree to little white and warm bears beckoning, but instead, they glared angrily at each other. Rage sounds rang out in succession. After successive unsuccessful attempts to persuade them to surrender, Little White and Warm Bear's pitch black colored bear eyes gradually brought out a hint of ruthlessness and ferocity. During these days, they had also long gotten used to killing and bloodshed by following Su Lin. On the wolves' road of conquest, how many polar bears had fallen? If you don't submit, you die. On the road of the wolves, it was always friend or foe. However, just when Xiao Bai and Wen Xiong were about to make their move, Suddenly a dangerous aura that was so strong that it rose violently in the heart of every bear tribe, especially little white and warm bear who were fey. Their sensitive sixth sense was frantically sending out danger signals towards them. Boom! Only to see that the thick and steel-like hard ice layer was violently punched out by a majestic force with a huge ice-breaking opening. Wow! Warm seawater of about zero degrees suddenly gushed out from the ice-breaking opening. Then a huge size, with six or seven meters of huge polar bears, climbed up from this broken ice mouth. In his mouth was a killer whale of 8 or 9 meters. After coming ashore, this huge polar bear threw the body of the killer whale in the direction of the polar bear mother and son. Boom! This has a few tons of weight of the killer whale body. Shocked the thick ice are shaking. Immediately after, this huge polar bear, which was drenched in blood, had a pair of pitch black bear eyes that looked towards Xiao Bai and Wen Xiong, who had just cornered the polar bear mother and child. When this huge polar bear gazed at them, even Wen Xiong, who had already evolved into a fey and was extremely strong, felt as if he was being stared at by the god of death. On them, ordinary polar bears can hunt beluga whales, but this polar bear is strong enough to hunt killer whales, with orcas as food. You can imagine how crazy this polar bear was. However, it is also at this time, Xiao Bai and Wen Xiong realize why this polar bear mother and son faced their own so many bears, did not have the slightest fear. It turned out that there was such a terrifying fey polar bear. After the fey polar bear came ashore, it didn't make the slightest move, its IQ was not low, it was just scanning everything in front of it. Soon after the numerous bear clans took a defensive stance and confronted this fey polar bear, this fey polar bear's gaze violently withdrew from them. It was because it had suddenly noticed a huge white wolf standing proudly on that high snowy slope in the distance. Wolves? Wolves? The fey polar bear's pair of pitch black eyes immediately radiated a terrifying light. If it was just a gathering and contention between the bear clans, it could still deal with it. But if a wolf pack was added to the mix, especially one led by such a terrifying white wolf, he was afraid that even if he rushed here, he would not be able to handle it. He was afraid that even if he came, it would be difficult for him to protect his mate and cubs behind him. At this time, Su Lin's golden brown wolf eyes also brought out a cold, chilling light. Under the dark polar night and the polar bear's line of sight, they ruthlessly collided together. Very strong. Well, finally a decent fey has appeared. Su Lin had been leading the wolves in the frigid north, searching for several days now. This polar bear was the first fey he had encountered. This polar bear with a huge body of 6 or 7 meters was no weaker than the polar bear in the mysterious iceberg. It also had tons of flesh and blood, and once it was hunted and killed, the fey flesh alone would be a great harvest for the wolves. Thinking that in this cold northern ice field, it would be difficult to evolve to this point by devouring ordinary species alone. 
So the appearance of this fey polar bear also meant that the wolves were not far from the place where there was a strange encounter. It also meant that the wolves weren't far from the deer pack that had a blood feud. This caused Su Lin's aura, which had been dormant for too long, to rise for the first time after the expedition to the north. The wolves under his command felt the aura rising from the wolf king's huge body. They were instantly jolted under this strong aura. Then following the wolf king's line of sight, they looked towards the huge polar bear not far away that was emitting blood and water all over its body. The morale that had long since been worn down in the past few days of inactivity burst out violently. The sound of wolf whistles suddenly exploded under the polar night. Ow, ow, ow. A hundred wolves whistled. The aura of the wolf pack also boiled up with the wolf whistles. Ahead of the wolf race, which was originally scattered everywhere, flew towards the wolf king's side to converge after hearing this wolf whistle. The peak speed of the wolf race when running was extremely fast. Even if an ordinary wolf race was more than 10 meters per second was the norm. In an instant, one wolf race after another converged around the wolf king. They were also on top of the high snowy slopes, condescendingly looking down at this huge polar bear that was staring at the wolf king. There was not the slightest bit of fear in a pair of wolf eyes. With the wolf king here, they were fearless of any hunters. Hunters, only needing a command from the wolf king. Hundreds of wolves could swarm up. The ordinary wolves could sense the power of this fey polar bear. It was a powerful opponent that they might not even be able to break through the flesh. But the wolves never touched hard. Since this huge polar bear was clearly trying to protect the mother and child behind it, it also meant that this polar bear had a weakness. It can't be that the little cub is also fierce and invincible, can it? Once wolves start hunting, they never talk about morality and benevolence. They always do everything. All the opponents all pain points. All the weaknesses will be exploited by the wolves to the fullest. Until their opponents are dragged down and crushed alive. Once they swarmed, the main target of the wolves was definitely not this fey polar bear. It was the polar bear mother and son. They will utilize the polar bear mother and son, making this fey polar bear exhausted, and finally being dragged alive by the wolves to death in this arctic ice field. And at this time, above the ice, this polar bear that can hunt killer whales felt the sound of the hundred wolves whistling, felt the strong pressure transmitted from the huge body of the white wolves. The pair of dark and incomparable bear eyes were also filled with gloomy colors. From the sound of this wolf whistle, it could feel the invincible aura of certain death. This was also the first time it had felt such a strong pressure since it had swallowed a few green and ghostly fruits in this mysterious area of lush water and grass ice, and obtained a strong and extreme strength. It had thought that he had gained an unprecedentedly strong power. Is this area deserved to be the overlord? Those who once dared to compete with themselves for mates and territories could only retreat when they saw it now. It can not only hunt and kill beluga whales, even the killer whales known as the peak predator of the ocean can be hunted and killed. Fey Polar Bear once thought that its opponent may only exist over their mysterious water grass ice, but it had never thought that facing this wolf pack, it had actually smelled a strong aura of death. Roar! This Fey Polar Bear began to be unable to hold back the atmosphere that was suppressed by the wolf whistles, and its huge bear paw slammed fiercely onto the thick ice layer, causing a crack to appear in all the ice and snow, then erected the huge bear clan. Looking at this mountainous wolf clan, that low bear roar, also exploded. It was just that its bear roar was too thin and couldn't compete with the wolf whistles at all. The huge aura of the wolves and the strong pressure brought about by that white wolf king were like black clouds pressing down on a city, coming towards this polar bear family, the female polar bear and the polar bear cubs, too, only sensed the full extent of the wolf pack at this time. Just now they did smell the odor of the wolves. Just how could they not imagine that there were so many wolves around? What kind of wolf pack was this? When did a wolf pack with such a monstrous aura appear in this area? Originally. The female polar bear's furious voice just now was also summoning her mate. She felt immensely pleased with this mate of hers who would take care of herself and her cubs. It was important to know that the rest of the ordinary male polar bears, all of them would disappear after mating. This mate was strong and powerful, and had given it too much protection and an, and gave him an endless supply of food. But now, under this wolf pack that has such a strong and powerful body, it seems that the mate's tall and strong body can no longer provide it with the slightest sense of security. The female polar bear and her cubs couldn't help but tremble a little under the gaze of hundreds of pairs of wolf eyes. In addition to the hundreds of wolves, the twenty or so bears led by little white and warm bear were also scattered in a flash. A pair of bear eyes were also filled with a chilling light as they looked towards the massive body of this fey polar bear. Originally, they only wanted to kill a pair of non-submissive polar bear mothers and sons, not realizing that they would provoke such an existence. But since they had provoked it, they didn't have the slightest fear, because with the wolf king behind them as their backing, what were they afraid of? Facing such a body and a strong fey polar bear, little white and warm bear did not go out of their way to beckon it down. Such a fey polar bear that could hunt killer whales. Who else in the entire wolf pack, besides the wolf king, would be able to overpower it? 
but all new bears had to start from the bottom. This was the iron law set by the Wolf King, so they didn't even think of beckoning down this fey polar bear. The only way is to kill. Originally, they were also thinking of beheading this pair of unsubmissive polar bear mother and son. Since this fey polar bear also came, then kill them all. At this moment, Su Lin was looking down on this fey polar bear. He didn't plan to make a move this time. Although this polar bear was strong, it was only on the level of the fey polar bear from the mysterious iceberg. With Su Lin's current strength, if he wanted to kill, it would be like slaughtering pigs and dogs. He was going to use this fey polar bear to hone the wolves. The wolves were still inexperienced against hunting strong fey. With Su Lin letting out an earth-shattering wolf howl, after it resounded under the polar night, the little lone wolf instantly swarmed with the wolves under his command. Hundreds of wolves were swarming around. Mortal Wolf and Stumpy Ear were on the left and right of Little Lone Wolf, and with the aura of crushing everything, they swarmed towards that polar bear family of three. Little Grey was also close behind. As for Wolf's sister, Grey and cousin, Su Lin hadn't even let them step into this roundup, only letting them follow by his side as guards. For the earliest wolves that followed him, he still had some selfishness and didn't want to lose them in the conquest, especially his cousin. Her talent was healing, which was equivalent to a life support for the wolves. With cousin here, the wolves could quickly recover from any injuries. This could make the wolves even more fearless. This was also the main reason why Su Lin didn't let his cousin fight on the front line. At this moment, the battlefield in the Arctic ice plains was on the verge of breaking out. The small lone wolf that had already advanced to level 13 had a speed of more than 50 meters per second. Running wildly at this speed in the Arctic ice plains, it was like a grayish purple lightning bolt. Ow! The little lone wolf whistled furiously. A pair of wolf claws directly popped out and the sharp claws brought out an indestructible aura towards the fey polar bear, mortal wolf and stumpy ear. On the other hand, each led more than 20 wolf clans and ran towards the mother and child behind this fey polar bear. A pair of wolf eyes all brought out a touch of bloodthirsty cruelty. They were the wolf clan. It was known for its cunning and ferocity. Taking the lead in hunting cubs and women and children had long since become the norm in wolf pack roundups. Before and after the little lone wolf rushed up, little white and warm bear also growled lowly and followed the little lone wolf in a cooperative manner. Whether it was the reputation or the combat strength of the little lone wolf in the wolf pack, it was second only to the wolf king. Charging forward like this, it carried an endless ferocious aura. Boom! Little Dr. Wolf's very fast paw directly smashed onto the head of this fey grizzly bear. This fey polar bear was obviously concerned about the mother and child behind it, so it didn't dodge and hardened itself against this claw of the little lone wolf. However, this claw that looked ferocious only tore through the polar bear's thick fur, and did not even completely break through the polar bear's skin and flesh. The sharp wolf's claw only made a few very shallow scratches on the polar bear's head, and the scratches only imprinted some bright red. Roar! But this blow still completely enraged the fey polar bear. In a long roar, it raised its huge paw and smashed it directly towards the little lone wolf. Boom! As the bear's palm swung, little wolf narrowly avoided it. It directly smashed the ice layer, which was already full of cracks. Wow! The ice layer shattered and seawater gushed out. For a while, the many wolves were also blocked by the cracked ice. It could be seen that this fey polar bear was not only fighting back just now, it was also thinking about how to protect its mate and cubs behind it to the best of its ability. Evolved into a fey species, it already has some feelings for its offspring and spouse, especially the cubs, which had inherited its genes and bloodline. Roar! The polar bear roared, but the little lone wolf didn't have the slightest fear, and its pair of light blue eyes also brought out endless tyranny and ferocity. Chapter 148, Spying in the Dark After the short encounter just now, it could feel that this polar bear's defense was strong to the extreme. Taking a hard approach would not work, and at the same time, it was also a big taboo for the wolves. Ow! So little lone wolf let out a long whistle and began to direct the battle. The mortal wolves and remnant ears instantly spread out, bypassing the shattered ice layer to once again head towards the mother and child behind the fey polar bear. It wasn't that the wolves were currently unable to decapitate this strong polar bear. If they paid a terrible price, they could use roundup tactics to drag this polar bear alive until it ran out of energy. It was just that the price was too painful. The blood and lives of the wolves should not be buried so cheaply. It also depends on that polar bear mother and child. What the weak get in the cruel nature is never sympathy, but bloody killing. Ow, ow. As the wolves howled madly once again, the mortal wolves and the stump ears also split into two sides, encircling towards this polar bear mother and child. Roar. The fey polar bear also sensed the tactics of the wolves, and it hissed angrily but the wolves were not the least bit intimidated. This caused it to dance with a pair of thick bear paws, ready to smash all the nearby ice. At that time, it would see how the wolves would come back, but just as it had just viciously smashed in the first strike of the ice layer, and its size had just stabilized itself, 
The little lone wolf brought out a touch of ruthlessness and ferocity in its eyes. What is a hold? Do you really think that you have to catch the polar bear mother and child to be considered as restraining? As long as it can distract the polar bear's attention, interfere with its combat power, and make it unable to fight with all its heart. It is called restraining. Ow. With a long whine, little Dr. Wolf attacked the fey polar bear again like a swift wind. Little Gray, who had already arrived at the battlefield, also attacked the fey polar bear from the other side like a gray wind. Boom. Little Lone Wolf smashed a claw into the polar bear's left eye. The defense of the eyes was the weakest part of the body, and under this blow, blood immediately flowed from the polar bear's left eye. Roar! It ate the pain and counterattack towards Little Lone Wolf. Just when its attention had just been put on Little Wolf, Little Gray also arrived in front of it in a flash, and even emitted a glittering gray light all over its body. Little Gray knew that its battle power was inferior to Little Lone Wolf, so it opened its talent at the first moment. The lurking talent caused its speed to skyrocket. Boom! Like a gray lightning. It also directly struck the polar bear's other eye. Roar! The intense pain caused the polar bear to go completely crazy, and a pair of bear paws began to swing up recklessly. The claw thorns on the bear paws carrying a sharp whistle that cut through the air. It was just that little lone wolf and little gray had long since retreated and scattered after they had scored a hit. The bear race's speed is a natural shortcoming. Even if this fey polar bear is extremely strong, the speed is only more than 40 meters per second. By the small lone wolf and open the talent of the small gray easily get out of the way. The wolves' cooperative combat, on the other hand, was on full display at this moment. In an instant, the eyes of this fey polar bear were abolished. Next, since this fey polar bear had truly become a blind bear, then let it listen to the screams of its spouse and cubs, and then I think it will be even more frenzied. The angrier the prey, the more excited the wolves become, because anger would rapidly consume the prey's physical strength, which would make them lose their more accurate judgment. Ow, ow, the wolf howls exploded endlessly. At this moment, Su Lin, who was standing on top of the snowy slope, just took a glance at the battlefield where the wolves were circling and withdrew his sight. This was because he was more concerned about the sensation of these one prying eyes in the vicinity. I want to see, with this fey polar bear attracting the main battle force of the wolves, which one of these hidden ones can't help but take the lead? Su Lin knew that he was definitely very, very close to the place with the strange encounter. At the same time the vocal wolf pack had long ago attracted the attention of too many strong hunters. But Su Lin had led the wolves over this time, originally for revenge. It was destined to be accompanied by bloodshed and killing. At this time, as the wolves howling at the battlefield became more and more frantic and the muffled bear roars with pain, Su Lin's powerful to the extreme senses could keenly perceive that a number of prying senses around him were slowly approaching this place. Chapter 149 Strike In the middle of the icy sky and snow, bloody killings were often just a touch away. As the vague sense of prying eyes around him approached, Su Lin didn't make much of a move. He was waiting for these shadowy hunters to show themselves. He wanted to see how much weight these hunters had in this morose area. At this time, the wolves below were rounding up the fey polar bears, and the hunt had become more intense. The ordinary wolves were all led by the mortal wolves and stump ears, heading towards the female polar bear and polar bear cubs. Accompanying the wolves were several bear clans. Xiaobai also ordered several bear clans to assist the wolves in taking down the polar bear mother and child. This would minimize the casualty rate of the wolf pack. To a minimum. After all, the mortal wolves and stumpy ears were only level 7 fey. Even with the assistance of the wolves, it would take some time to take down an adult female polar bear, but with the same bear race playing the lead, it would be much faster. Roar! The polar bear mother and child, who had already been scared out of their wits, could only shiver in the middle of the wolf pack and the bear clan's encirclement. The fearful roar of the bears was soon drowned out by the long whistling of the wolves, the bites of the wolves, the slaps of the bear clan, the blood and flesh being slashed and the wails of the polar bear mother and child in pain all resounded in the darkness of the night. A female polar bear's attribute value was only 13 or 14 levels. Even if she fought desperately to resist for the sake of her cubs, facing so many wolves was also nothing. Boom. Soon, this female polar bear that was fighting for her life was directly slapped on her huge bear head by one of the bear clans in the wolf pack. This slap was solid, and instantly smashed several streaks of blood out of the female polar bear's pair of pitch black colored eyes. This palm shook her consciousness into a trance. It also caused the wolves to directly cross over the female polar bear and arrive at the polar bear cubs. Boom! The stumpy ear, who was the first to rush over, slapped the eyes of the polar bear cub that was trying to resist blind with a single claw. In terms of ferocity and brutality, stumpy ear was even worse than little lone wolf. Its pair of light blue wolf eyes flashed with a ferocious and sadistic intent. The more blood splattered and the more the prey wailed, the more it could inspire the tyranny in its heart. Ow! The remnant wolf was the first to score and signaled the wolves to quiet down with a long whistle. 
Then with another vicious claw, it scratched the bear cub's other eye and blinded it as well. Since the fey polar bear was blinded by the head wolf, it was only right for the family to share the same pain. Stumpy Year's ferocious and tyrannical intentions were displayed to the fullest. A pair of sharp wolf claws were still in the polar bear cub's blind eyes, viciously stirring, causing the polar bear cub to suffer to the extreme. The wailing of that cub caused the rest of the bears surrounding it to feel a vicious chill. Such intense pain was simply unimaginable for a cub that was extremely well protected by its bear parent, and was a direct breakdown of defenses. It was too painful. How could it, a cub, experience such a level of abuse? Under the intense pain, it had already forgotten to resist, and could only struggle with its body instincts. It wanted to cry out in pain, but its eyes had already been completely torn out by the remnant ear. All that was left of the bloody eyes was flowing blood. Put, with another vicious claw, Stumpy Ear directly snapped off this polar bear cub's bloodied eyes. It was too painful. Such torture. Not to mention just a polar bear cub. Even a fae would not be able to survive it. At this moment, after the long whistling of the wolves began to converge, the miserable howls of the polar bear cubs made the heart of every bear tribe a little numb. The howls of one's own kind were the most capable of breaking down one's own kind. Many of the bear clans looked at Stumpy Ears with a hint of awe in their eyes. This was the wolf clan. This is the wolf pack. There's no limit to what they can do. Too ruthless. But this kind of bloody abuse caused excitement and madness to emerge in the eyes of Remnant Ear and the wolves. The miserable howls also reached the ears of the fey polar bear. The miserable howling of the cubs made it completely enraged. That was its child. The inheritance of its genes and bloodline. Although the fey polar bear couldn't see exactly what its cubs were suffering from, its sensitive sense of smell and hearing still knew that the cubs were being brutally abused by the wolves. Roar. In its fury, it let out a long roar completely suppressing the pain coming from its eyes. The low bear roar exploded over the cold arctic sky. In fact, other than its eyes being scratched and blinded, the rest of its battle power was not damaged much. The attacks of little lone wolf and little gray were simply unable to inflict effective kills on it. Plus, the sense of smell of the bear race was too much more sensitive than its eyesight. Relying on his extremely strong sense of smell, he caught the scent of that strong wolf clan attacking and killing towards him once again. Roar! Accompanied by a hissing sound of extreme rage. It fiercely slapped its palm towards that wolf clan. This was the little lone wolf. As little Ash had turned on his sneak, the scent had long since completely dissipated except for the sound of the ice and snow brought out by his running. Only the little lone wolf had a strong wolf clan scent that was not disguised in the slightest. Looking at this majestic palm, little doctor couldn't stop due to the inertia of its powerful charge. And it was too late to dodge even if he did. Ow. But there was no fear in the little lone wolf's eyes, and it burst out with a ferocious and extreme look. With a rough wolf howl, it opened its talent in a flash. A dark gray fluorescent light enveloped its entire body. Then it quickly introverted, and the little lone wolf's pair of light blue wolf eyes turned into dark gray eyes. It was as if they were devoid of emotion, only cold and killing. Under the strong addition of this talent, a flash of ferocity also appeared in the eyes of the little lone wolf. A touch. Although it knew that this fey polar bear was strong and was by no means an enemy of its own. But now, under the inertia of the powerful charge, it couldn't stop at all it could only touch it. Boom! A huge sound of blood and flesh collision, accompanied by wolf howls and bear roars rang out in the ice and snow splatters. Little lone wolf's talent was berserk wolf, which was a talent that grew stronger the more it fought, the more it was injured and the more it was added. But nowadays, this talent doesn't have many bonuses. So facing the fey grizzly bear's furious slap, little doctor wolf resisted it, and his four meter wolf body was violently smashed by the slap and flew backward a dozen meters away. Along the way, the ice and snow on the ground were cut out into a deep gully, even after opening its heavenly empowerment, it still couldn't stand up to this fey polar bear. Boom! As little Dr. Wolf's body landed on the ground with a loud thud, it began to spill blood under the strong force of the recoil, even the bones of its right paw felt a sharp pain, but this pain was quickly suppressed under the berserk wolf talent. The eyes of the little lone wolf that climbed up became more and more ferocious, and the killing intent on his body also became more and more intense. Watching the fey polar bear think that it had gotten rid of its own entanglement, ready to pounce on the group of wolves that were hunting its own cubs, the little lone wolf once again let out a long whistle and rushed up, only now its speed, once again, had a peak breakthrough, more than 60 meters per second. This was the terrifying addition of the wild wolf talent, as long as it didn't die, it would get stronger and stronger the more it fought, unless the opponent's terrifying attacks exceeded the limit of the wild wolf talent. In addition, the wolf king was watching from the back, leading so many wolf clans, and assisted by little gray and many bear clans, how could it lose? Ow! In the rough and loud sound of a huge wolf whistle, the little lone wolf directly and viciously rushed towards this fey polar bear, 
no matter how fast the speed was, or how fast little doctor recovered. It was far beyond this fey polar bear's expectations. The fey polar bear could not have imagined that a wolf race that had just suffered a blow from his own full strength would not only seem to be unharmed, but would also seem to be attacking towards him with even more strength and vigor. Without having time to defend itself, it was directly and viciously smashed down at its nose by the little lone wolf. Nose, sense of smell. This blow caused the fey polar bear's nose to bleed long and hard, and its extremely sensitive sense of smell could only smell the heavy odor of blood at its nose. Roar. The damaged sense of smell caused it to fall into a frenzy. Vision had already failed, and with a weak sense of smell failing again, it would really only be like a headless fly waiting to be killed. So the fey polar bear knew it had reached a very dangerous point. With a hiss of the bear clan, this fey polar bear also opened its talent. Originally, it wanted to save its talent to deal with that huge white wolf on top of the snowy slope, but it didn't realize that the wolves under the white wolf's command alone were so difficult to deal with. Blood Rage Talent The talent opened by this fey polar bear was Blood Rage. A blood-colored fluorescence enveloped its huge bear clan, and then its eyes, which had already been scratched by Little Grey and Little Lone Wolf, unexpectedly suppressed their injuries under this fluorescence. A pair of huge blood-stained bear eyes snapped open. The eyes did not only have bright red blood in them, but also the scarlet color brought about by the talent. Blood flowed long from its nose, and its wounds solidified in an instant. This talent made its strength, too, skyrocket too much in an instant. The strong aura that rose up from its body made little white and when shown, who were at the side of the battlefield, want to suffocate, too strong. The strength of this fey polar bear was too strong. Currently, only little lone wolf, who had turned on his berserk wolf talent, was unaffected. Ow. A rough wolf howl caused them to come back to their senses from their suffocation, and once again began a bloodbath with this fey polar bear. On one side were the wolves and more than a dozen bear races, while the other side was this fey polar bear that had already broken through level 20. After both sides ruthlessly glanced at each other under the extreme night, they both brought out an extremely tragic aura to charge towards each other. It was only the sound of the cruel ears abusing the cubs behind them that was still tugging at the heartstrings of the fey polar bear. Boom! The sounds of blood and flesh crashing and the miserable wailing of polar bear cubs resounded in this chilly area from time to time. However, it was also when the bloodshed between the two sides was at its most intense that Su Lin acutely felt a prying sense violently rushing towards his side with a trend of extremely fast speeds. Su Lin led the wolves, conquering and killing all the way through this chilly area. There were already several polar bears that had fallen under the wolves' conquest. Since there really was a strange encounter here, no matter which side the hunters were from, they wouldn't look at such a large and furious wolf pack to get a piece of the pie. Su Lin had expected the strikes of these strong hunters, but he was fearless. In the cold, icy sky and snow, in the cruel nature, it was always the weak that preyed on the strong, finally unable to resist. At this moment, Su Lin's pair of golden brown eyes also burst out with a morose cold light in an instant. He slightly turned the wolf's head and stood high above the snowy slope and looked directly behind him. Chapter 150 The Might of the Wolf Whistle Even underneath the extreme night, Su Lin could still herculeanly see a light gray shadow that was almost comparable to a lightning bolt. Running directly towards him, the speed was extremely fast, already vaguely more than 200 meters per second. Whoosh! The loud whistling sound that cut through the air also caused its size to be completely exposed in Su Lin's field of vision. With such a fast speed, not to mention the average hunter, even Su Lin only felt a flash in front of his eyes, and this light gray shadow arrived in front of him. Roar! A sharp roar violently exploded in the chilly air. It was also at this time that Su Lin finally saw the true face of this pale gray shadow. Lynx. A fey lynx. A female fey lynx. Lynxes were natural hunters. They may be small in size, but their ferocity and ruthlessness is often stronger than any hunter. This fey lynx had a huge size of 4 to 5 meters. With a sharp hiss, its sharp claws smashed out directly towards Su Lin's neck, a claw to seal the throat. For the lynx, it didn't like to hurt its prey's eyes, nose and other vitals. It likes to not move, but when it moves, it kills with a single blow. Its violet blue eyes emitted a chilling killing intent, but it underestimated its opponent this time. Su Lin's reaction speed was far greater than it. Ow. Accompanied by an earth-shattering wolf howl, Su Lin sidestepped and flashed past the lynx's vicious attack, but the lynx's attack still grazed the edge of the side of his neck. It was just that the hair on Su Lin's body had also entered a fighting state, and his thick hair became harder than steel. When the lynx's claw thorns scratched into the thick hair, it even sounded like the sharp friction of gold and iron. The sharpness and force of the claw thorns had not broken through Su Lin's hair. At this time, the Fei Lynx's blow fell short, and its strong charging force made it continue to charge out for tens of meters before stabilizing its stance. Then a pair of purple-blue eyes swept a circle of the battlefield, although it was very reluctant to just miss a surefire hit. 
but it still made a decision without the slightest hesitation. This Fei Lynx was very smart. It knew that lurking and attacking and killing were what Lynxes were good at. So even though it possessed extremely strong battle power, it didn't intend to fight to the death with Su Lin in this icy sky and snow. It directly prepared to flee the battlefield. This flaming wolf clan was not only unpleasant to it, but there were also many hunters who had their eyes set on it long ago. It was only attracted by the white wolf's blood and flesh, which was filled with essence, as well as the blood and flesh of several other fey wolf clans. The wolves had always been on top of the lynx's hunting list. The urge to hunt and kill for the wolf race seemed to come from deep within the lynx's genes. The same fierce hunters, territories are often intertwined. So the fight between the wolves and the lynx has been going on for a long time. The lynx has been known as a wolf-slaying machine, which may be a bit too much, but the lynx has been known to lurk and attack and kill. However, in terms of lurking and attacking and killing, most of the wolves of the same level were no match for the lynx. However, since he didn't get the white wolf's flesh and blood, the fey lynx didn't intend to stay for long. After all, stamina and chi and blood were the lynx's weaknesses, and it couldn't hold up against the wolves like the fey northern. Polar bear, it couldn't hold up to the wolves' encirclement like the fey lynx. However, just as the fey lynx wanted to leave, suddenly a strong killing intent descended directly and violently on its body. Powerful senses were frantically signaling to it. This caused the fey lynx to turn its head violently, and it suddenly saw that the majestic white wolf king's pair of golden brown eyes were already staring at itself in death. This white wolf king had not only dodged its fatal blow, but even the strong killing intent emanating from the huge wolf body appeared to have no intention of letting it go. Since the fey lynx had successively become a fey with its mate relying on the fruits in that area of lush water and grass before the great change in the heavens and earth, it had rarely had this sense of danger that was so strong that it was extreme. Roar! This caused the fey lynx to hiss once again, breaking through this oppressive feeling of being enveloped by a heavy killing intent, before launching at full speed at a peak speed of over 200 meters per second. The lynx didn't linger too long, wanting to rely on the speed bonus brought by its lurking talent to dash out of this area. Just as it had just turned around and dashed, not only did it see the surrounding wolves encircling towards it, even a roar sounded behind it. Sonic boom. This was the loud sonic boom brought about by speeds exceeding the speed of sound. A sonic boom cloud also appeared in the cold arctic air. As Su Lin was in the midst of his mad dash, his speed had briefly surpassed the speed on the panel. This was also the first time that his speed directly surpassed the speed of sound without opening his hunting talent. The distance between the Fei Lynx and Su Lin was only a hundred meters. And in just a second or two, even though this Fei Lynx was desperately running wildly it was still being chased by Su Lin. In the cruel nature, everyone had to be prepared to lose their lives once they failed to hunt. Su Lin's golden brown eyes were increasingly dense with killing intent. Since this Fei Lynx was the first to jump out, it was naturally impossible for Su Lin to just let it go. Such a large Fei Lynx, even if it was left as a blood meal for the wolves, it would be enough to make the strength of the wolves rise to another level. What's more, Su Lin's battle was to make an example out of him. He led the wolves to get a piece of the pie, and he was going to wipe out the deer that had rebelled. He wanted to let all the hunters in the neighborhood know that anyone who dared to stand in the way of the wolves would have to die. This fey lynx must weigh at least nearly 1.000 kilograms, lighter than a wolf of the same size, but its body contains a powerful fighting force that should not be underestimated. As early as the last time he hunted that purple lynx, Su Lin had already learned about it. Therefore, Su Lin came up and mobilized his entire body's peak combat power, accompanied by an earth-shattering wolf whistle. His sharp wolf claws popped out completely, smashing hard towards the light gray back of the fey lynx. This lynx's fur stood up completely under the great threat not as hard as Su Lin's fur, and definitely beyond the defense of an ordinary bear race. However, under Su Lin's indestructible wolf claws, even steel was as fragile as crushed ice. Boom! A vicious blow hit the back of the fey lynx, and the huge impact caused its wildly running figure to lose balance. This vicious blow contained a strong force of more than 10 tons, directly smashing the fey lynxes. The fey lynxes not so heavy body smashed out hundreds of meters away. The ice and snow on the way were all cut out by the body of the fey lynx a deep trace was hit by the splash of snowflakes flying in all directions. This blow was so heavy that the fey lynx could not imagine it. With a speed that exceeded the speed of sound in such a majestic force, was this the formidable strength possessed by this white wolf? The lynx's 4 to 5 meter body. After sliding for hundreds of meters, it only felt that the bones and internal organs inside its body were cracked. The sharp wolf claws had also completely torn the flesh of its back apart. Its ribs had been shattered several times, and even its spine was slightly cracked and blood flowed outwards recklessly from the wounds, but it still quickly climbed up, even if the injury was very serious, even if the mouth could not restrain the overflow of large streams of blood, but the fierce light in its eyes did not weaken in the slightest, since it and its mate became fey, 
its IQ has also become higher. In the icy Arctic, it knew one thing even more. That is that there is never survival that comes from begging. If you want to survive, if you want to get food, if you want to evolve faster, then you have to kill all the way down. Only claws and fangs will make your opponent retreat. Begging and showing weakness would only usher in more unscrupulous bullying and abuse. Roar. Under this ferocity in its heart, the phalanx also ran wildly once again. It was not completely crushed by this heavy blow. As long as it was able to escape from this white wolf's hunt, then in the future, relying on its sneaking talent, there would be plenty of opportunities to avenge today's death. It was thought that this white wolf would inevitably start a conflict with some of the rest of the strong hunters, and would then take advantage of his illness to kill him. Only the lynx lurking in the shadows was the deadliest threat. But this fey lynx could only think like this. Su Lin had no intention of letting it leave here alive. His peak speed erupted once again, quickly catching up to this fey lynx and fighting with it. These fey that grew up in the ice and snow were much tougher than the fey in the mysterious ice mountain in terms of killing and ferocity. This light gray fey lynx might not be as strong as the purple lynx, but the viciousness and ferocity that had won over its body could not be underestimated. Roar! Ow! The hissing of the lynx and the long whine of the wolves were intertwined together under the polar night. It was a duel of speed and power. Ordinary wolf clans couldn't react to the speed of the wolf king and this fey lynx, and their sight couldn't even catch up with their two figures. Boom! Boom! The sound of blood and flesh crashing resounded from time to time. Blood and ice splattered in the area. This fey lynx was not a match for Su Lin at all. Whether it was speed or strength, Su Lin was at a crushing level against it. It was just that this fey lynx's vitality was too tenacious, and its ferociousness supported it as it fought with Su Lin over and over again. The peak speeds of both sides instantly turned the battle several miles away. Such a duel was simply not something that ordinary species could intervene in. This fey lynx's chi and stamina were rapidly depleting in the intense fighting and running. Nowadays, Su Lin's strength was so strong that it was extremely perverse. Even though this fey lynx had been opening its, on its talent to fight against him, it was still in a precarious position. One after another horrifying wound appeared on the lynx's body. Su Lin had the strength to directly decapitate this fey lynx, but he was waiting that. Only this one fey lynx couldn't serve as a warning. He wanted to see if there were any more hunters who wanted to come out and fight. And just when this fey lynx was about to bleed out, an extremely angry and suppressed hissing sound rang out violently. This caused Su Lin's pair of golden brown wolf eyes to radiate with a cold light. Soon he saw another fey lynx that violently appeared from the icy sky. It really did appear. This fey lynx was a male, and from the monstrous flames of fury radiating from its pair of eyes, Su Lin could feel its resentful killing intent towards himself. On top of that, the female lynx that was about to perish under her own wolf's claws also hissed in a frenzy when she saw this male lynx. Although Su Lin couldn't understand the hissing sound, he vaguely knew the relationship between these two lynxes. Mates, that came just in time. The life of a single fey lynx is far from enough of a deterrent. Su Lin mobilized his entire body's battle strength to its peak once again. His current physical strength far exceeded that of these two fey lynxes. And even a third of his physical strength hadn't been consumed in the fierce fight just now. It was just that this male fey lynx was much stronger. And the timing of his weight and the location of his ambush were also very good. Roar! Accompanied by a sharp hiss, this male fey lynx attacked with a peak speed of nearly 300 meters per second. By the time Su Lin felt it, this fey lynx was already very close to him. The lynx's long, sharp, sharp claws tore through the chilly air, bringing out a harsh whistle. This time the lynx's claw spikes were still heading towards the vitals of Su Lin's throat, as if all every lynx wanted to do was to kill in one blow. They didn't consume their opponents, and they didn't have a pack to back them up. So killing in one blow was the most efficient and safest way of hunting for them. Su Lin faced this attack and his body flickered slightly, but the speed of the male lynx, was still too fast. With the addition of the talent of lurking, it also approached 300 meters per second. Not much inferior to Su Lin. Tear. This sharp claw didn't cut into the throat, but it still cut into Su Lin's chest, and a sound of hair and flesh being torn to shreds rang out. And, Su Lin's chest was instantly dripping with blinding blood, and a deep gash was cut through it. Even though he had thick hair that was harder than steel, he was still scratched by this male lynx's strike. From this, it could be seen that the strength of this male lynx was very strong. This strike knocked Su Lin's wolf body, which was a full 9 meters, directly backward by about 10 meters. But that was all. Under intentional defense, this force didn't even manage to knock Su Lin down. Su Lin, who hadn't been injured for a long time since he had returned from the mysterious ice mountain, felt the pain coming from his forehead, and only then did he get a hint of the feeling of a fierce fight. Otherwise it was as if he had just abused that female lynx like a cat and mouse. Perhaps it was the male lynx's blow and the blood flowing out of Su Lin's chest that made the rest of the dark lynx feel the pain. 
Perhaps it was the male lynx's strike in the blood that flowed from Su Lin's chest that made the rest of the hunters in the shadows feel that they had a chance to kill the wolf king. As a result, there were two more prying senses that violently raced towards Su Lin's side. This male lynx also hissed and attacked again. This caused Su Lin to stretch his wolf body, and then facing the several chilling killing intent that rushed at him, his pair of wolf eyes instantly changed from a golden brown color to a deep blue color. It was as if it was a deep blue color like the deep sea, and a deep blue fluorescent light quickly internalized into his body. Immediately afterward, Su Lin directly let out a long whistle. Ow. Oh. Originally, his ordinary wolf whistle was already huge, but now under the wolf whistle talent, it was even more like a heavenly wolf whistling at the moon. A powerful sound wave went directly toward the front of the room. Boom. 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 The ice and snow all over the ground exploded in this wild wolf whistle. Ice piles shattered and snowflakes flew. The powerful shockwave brought out by this wolf whistle also made the male lynx charging at the front bring out a look of horror in its eyes. Wolf whistle? This is the power of a wolf whistle? The lynx's blood value was not high, its stamina was not high, and its weight was not high, so facing this kind of indiscriminate sonic attack was the most fatal, even if it was fast. As long as it didn't go faster than the speed of sound it would be difficult to escape. Boom! The wolf whistling sound wave ruthlessly crashed into the charging phalanx, and the strong impact directly caused its lithe body to violently fly backwards out towards the back. The sound wave shook out its internal organs with cracks, and blood gushed out wildly from its mouth, drawing a graceful line of blood in midair. The two rapidly approaching breaths were also directly exposed under this wolf whistle. Boom! Boom! The two loud impacts also caused their huge bodies to be revealed, and then fell back a full dozen meters away. Only after the scattered snow and ice began to fall, did these two figures gradually reveal their true forms? Chapter 151 Bloodshed Fight and Kill Fierce Tiger Appears The ones who came to attack were clearly the fey grizzly bear and the fey caribou. Both of these two fey species had crossed paths with the wolves before. This fey reindeer, in terms of size, was the reindeer king that Little Grey had described. As for the fey grizzly bear, it was an old friend. The first adult fey that Su Lin had encountered in the cold arctic was this grizzly bear. Last time, he had searched all over the wolves' territory and couldn't find it. Unexpectedly, this fey grizzly bear had escaped from his own territory to here. After not seeing it for another few months, this fey grizzly bear's strength had obviously become stronger. This was a grizzly bear whose luck was so good that it was almost heaven-defying. On top of that, there was also a layer of grayish fluorescence faintly on its body, completely obscuring its aura. This should be a talent similar to lurking, restraining breath, and the like. Comparatively speaking, lurking, Astringent breath and concealment are all talents that will evolve after the fey reach a certain level. After all, this was also the capital to survive better in the cruel natural world. Even that terrifyingly terrifying fey great king squid had an astringent type of talent. At this moment, the battle intent in Su Lin's pair of wolf eyes completely boiled. Only this kind of lineup could make the present day him feel a hint of challenge. The male fey lynx, too, had long since climbed up from the ice. The sights of all three of their strong hunters fell dead center on Su Lin. And the fey polar bear that was killing the wolves to the point of insanity also sensed the changes over here and, all of a sudden, its battle power was mobilized to its peak, and it fought the wolves even more fiercely. It wanted to coordinate with the three fey species to completely kill through this fiery wolf pack. Roar! The fey polar bears let out hissing sounds of extreme anger, and in the midst of the fierce fight, a bear clan was soon directly hit. Boom! The fey polar bear's powerful attack was simply not something that an ordinary bear clan could withstand. A single slap directly sent this bear clan flying backward 50 to 60 meters away, and the ice piles and snow blocks along the way were smashed to smithereens. This bear clan's mouth, nose and ears were all overflowing with large streams of blood, and it looked like it wouldn't survive. This bear tribe was seriously injured and dying in one blow. Cousin, who had been watching the battlefield, did not immediately use her talent to heal it. After all, she knew that it was not one or two wolves, nor one or two bears that would decide the winner of this hunting battle. Instead, it was the Wolf King, the deranked healing talent made it so that it could only be used out once in three hours, so she kept it for Su Lin. As for the lives of the ordinary bear clans and ordinary wolf clans in the wolf pack, they could only be saved after the roundup. In the midst of killing, there would always be lives that withered away. Even the lives of the fey were not considered precious. Once on the hunting grounds, many times a life was no longer a life. The fey polar bear's frenzy also caused three strong fey to attack and kill towards Su Lin as well. The male lynx, in particular, was the most swift. After all, its mate was still here. Having evolved into a fey with a higher IQ, they all began to know how to snuggle up to each other for warmth. And they all understood the importance of joining forces. It would be hard for it to abandon its mate and leave until it was at the line of life and death. Roar! The male lynx hissed, bringing the wind a. 
like speed towards Su Lin. The wolf whistle just now was very strong. Even if it was an ordinary bear race facing the power of such a strong wolf whistle, I'm afraid that it would have to bleed on the ice field. Just wanting the life of such a strong fay, the might of the wolf whistle was not enough. With a sharp hissing sound, with the speed of the male lynx almost blinking to the front, the female lynx also stood up from the icy ground section by section with strong support, then endured the extreme pain of having all the bones in her body cracked, and also attacked towards Su Lin. The two fay lynxes attacked left and right. It was just that this female lynx's attack was too weak, and her speed was also too much slower than her previous peak speed. Ow! Su Lin let out another long, wild whistle, and this wolf whistle directly sent the female lynx's charge flying. Along the way, she even fell back tens of meters, and more blood gushed out of her mouth and nose. Lynx blood is not high, killing for such a long time. This fey lynx's blood has almost been worn down to an extremely low level. Coupled with this wolf whistle attack, this female lynx's multiple organs could not carry it anymore, and the skin and flesh on her body was also shaken up by the powerful sonic attack, causing a crack. As for the male lynx, he gritted his teeth and mobilized his entire body to carry this wolf whistle attack towards Su Lin. The first wolf whistle just now had caught it off guard. Under intentional defense, the D-class wolf whistle still had a great killing power on it, but it didn't cause it to collapse at the touch of a button. The Fei Lynx's attack caused Su Lin's eyes to burst out with rich killing intent, and his sharp wolf claws popped out completely. Nowadays, Su Lin's claw spikes were more than 30 centimeters, and their sharpness was enough to cut iron like mud. Boom! Under the extreme night, a vicious claw clashed with this male lynx's attack. The sharp claw spikes of the two parties, under the dark night, brought out a crash sound that was extremely ear-piercing. Su Lin's all-out attack had a force of more than 10 tons. When 10 tons of force were concentrated on the wolf claw, one could imagine its invulnerable, invincible attack power. Even if this male lynx had a speed bonus of almost 300 meters per second, under this violent impact, it was directly smashed and flew out hundreds of meters backwards. Boom! The male lynx's huge body tumbled over a dozen times. This fey lynx was still not a match for Su Lin. Currently, Su Lin's true peak battle power was so strong that it was nearly outrageous. Roar! Yo! Accompanied by a bear roar that shook the air and allowed. Clear deer sound. The fey grizzly bear and fey reindeer also charged into the center of the battlefield. The fey grizzly bear, who originally didn't have a lot of guts, was surprisingly exceptionally courageous this time. A pair of dark bear eyes brought out a tyrannical cold light. It could be seen that this fey grizzly bear probably felt that it had gained a lot of strength, and wanted to make a clean break from the humiliation of fleeing in a sorry state in front of Su Lin. It was just that this fey grizzly bear didn't realize that even though it had some monstrous encounters, Su Lin's battle strength had improved far more than it had. Boom! Boom! As the fey grizzly bear and the reindeer king charged over, bloody collisions and killings began in an instant in this cold area. This chilly area unfolded. Cousin also led many wolves on the side trying to harass these hunters through the sound of wolf howls, while also sending out a team of female wolves that were tearing into the female lynx that was already seriously injured and dying. Ow! The group of wolves whistled furiously, and the numerous wolves, under the command of their cousin, killed towards this female lynx. Currently, the entire battlefield was filled with tragic killings. Little lone wolf, little gray, little white, warm bear, mortal wolf, and the others, were battling against the fey polar bear, cousin, wolf sister, gray and white coyote, and a group of female wolves were draining the last bit of chi and blood value out of the severely injured and dying female lynx. At the same time, their hunting has distracted the strong male lynx, whose mind has been preoccupied with his mate. Now the most intense battlefield is the Su Lin battlefield. The killings between them are often hundreds of meters in an instant. Every time they fought, the speed was extremely fast, and the degree of danger was far beyond any battlefield. In such an intense fight, the consequences of being distracted could be imagined. In the short moment when the fey lynx was distracted, Su Lin's huge wolf body approached the fey lynx's body. Plop! With a sound that pierced through the flesh, Su Lin's extremely sharp wolf claws directly stabbed into the fey lynx's forehead. The bones of the fey lynx's forehead were completely shattered by this blow. The sharp wolf claws were originally aimed at the heart of the fey lynx's essence, but it didn't succeed. The fey lynx reacted almost instinctively and dodged Su Lin's killing blow. However, the severe pain coming from his chest and body still made the fey lynx hurt to the point of almost going crazy. Roar! A sharp and painful hiss exploded violently in the air. It was too painful. Even if it was a fey whose vitality was tenacious to the extreme, even if it was a lynx that had killed countless people in a fierce and athletic manner, it was still howling madly in the face of this kind of pain. Tear! The wolf claw that Su Lin had stabbed in was still wreaking havoc inside it. This caused the fey lynx to howl but it was also near frenzied as it fought back at Su Lin in a desperate manner. 
The lynx's claw spikes also cut through Su Lin's flesh, leaving a wound. It was just that the wolf race's skull was hard to the extreme, and Su Lin's skull was even dozens of times harder than even steel. These starry wounds simply couldn't hurt him at all. Su Lin's wolf eyes flashed with a touch of ruthlessness. He wanted to harden himself against this fey lynx's attack and directly tear it apart on the spot, but the fey intelligence of this siege were all very high. The fey grizzly bear and the fey reindeer king did not watch the tragic death of the fey lynx. Yo! Roar! Bear roars and deer calls exploded behind Su Lin. Feeling the strong wind coming from behind him, this caused a trace of annoyance to flash through Su Lin's pair of eyes. No matter what time of day it was, the effects brought about by coordinated combat were amazing. Whether it was the wolves or the rest of the hunters, once they started to cooperate in combat, the effects brought about were 1 plus 1. The attack of the fey grizzly bear and reindeer king behind him caused Su Lin to only give up on the idea of tearing this fey lynx alive. He directly flung it viciously, throwing this fey lynx tens of meters away. Boom! The fey. The fey lynx landed on the ground, rubbing several cracks into the ice layer that was harder than steel. The fey lynx was also directly seriously injured. And, even though Su Lin hadn't torn it apart alive, the wolf's claws had left a very horrifying injury inside of it. A huge, bloody wound was left on its forehead, and blood was gushing outward for no money. This lynx suffered such a serious injury, did not charge towards the fierce fighting circle again, after standing up, it rushed towards the wolves that were hunting their mates. Even though it knew that the fey grizzly bear and the fey caribou had saved themselves because they wanted to continue attacking and killing the white wolf together, but it was afraid. Yes, facing this strong and tyrannical white wolf king to the extreme, it was really afraid. Such a white wolf was simply not something it could fight against. Speed has always been its unrivaled strengths, but today was crushed by this white wolf to the point of uselessness. He was fast, but the white wolf was even faster. It even brought out the sound of a sonic boom. If it was only speed, it would be fine but the white wolf's attack power had also reached an almost unrivaled level. Tens of tons of force, this kind of attack power. Not to mention the lynx that was not good at fighting head-on. Even that fey grizzly bear was very difficult to resist. So after a long time of fierce fighting, and after being seriously injured, it got cold. Do not want to fight anymore. This fiery wolf pack and this invincible wolf king, even if it was forced to get a piece of that piece of lush water and grass, it also admitted it. The fey lynx endured the pain at its forehead, hissed shrilly and rushed towards its mate in the wolf pack's enclosure. However, his cousin who was a bee-wolf instantly separated a group of wolves and started blocking and attacking this male lynx. Ow! 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 The howls of the wolf clans once again resounded fiercely. If this male lynx was still in its peak state, not to mention the female wolves under Sister Wolf's command, even the more than 20 elite wolf clans under Little Grey's command would have had difficulty blocking this fey lynx in the slightest. However, now that it had been injured too heavily by Su Lin, the injuries at its forehead and inside its body also made it unable to utilize its peak speed and battle power at all. This caused it to be briefly entangled. Roar! Sharp hisses and the long whines of the wolves also intertwined together. As for the other side, there was no more harassment or attacks from that fey lynx. Su Lin also battled with these two old friends of the wolves. Blood splattered and ice and snow fluttered. The area where both sides were fighting was a mess for more than 10 kilometers around. The strength of these fey that appeared today were all very strong. Even that fey polar bear was no exception. This was a peak melee that could be called unprecedented, and likewise a visual feast that could be called shocking. Even in the war-torn outside world, it was hard to see such a large number of strong fey appearing together on the same battlefield. At this moment, while Su Lin and his wolf pack were fighting with several fey, the Arctic border, that is, the northernmost border of Siberia, a Siberian tiger with a body size of 10 meters quietly appeared on the Arctic border. The aura on this Siberian tiger was completely restrained and did not disturb any species on the Arctic borderline. It looked as if it was a big orange cat without the slightest threat. But the dozens of hideous scars on this Siberian tiger's body, almost covering the whole body, were silently telling that this was an invincible tiger that had experienced countless bloody battles. The Siberian tiger, which did not emit any momentum, quietly stepped into the North Pole. A pair of yellow tiger eyes scanned this cold area and did not feel the slightest discomfort. But soon, it still looked toward the farther direction of Greenland, with a high IQ, it had already understood this cold zone before coming here, this was a dangerous zone where there was no signal, and even the human heavy armored core didn't dare to step into it, chapter 152 successive fey beheadings, in this morose zone, no one knew how many tough hunters would be hidden, that was why this Siberian tiger with scars all over its body didn't recklessly exude its own aura, this Siberian tiger was not an ordinary fey tiger, it was the invincible tiger that had been surrounded by heavy troops and still killed its way out. It came to the northern border of Siberia a few days ago, 
originally wanting to unite with the tiger tribe here. Just human siege makes this side of the Fey tiger tribe dead, wounded. The only remaining tiger tribe is also hiding in the deep mountains and old forests do not dare to come out. Only at all the way to kill over. Not met the enemy. After the invincible tiger broke through again, the humans encirclement of it became even more lackluster. Its unrivaled strength and wind-like speed made it nearly rampant. Coupled with the Fey's strong resistance and tenacious vitality, it was difficult for technological killers to inflict a fatal kill on it. But in the midst of a series of sieges, this invincible tiger's hostility towards humans has also long since penetrated into the marrow of its bones. Although it has never united with the same clan, it still intends to take revenge on humans. The trauma of being surrounded by humans last time had not completely healed. It intends to recuperate in this area for some time, and in the meantime, it will see if there are still some primitive humans in this cold area, and if there are, it will naturally hunt and kill them cleanly. In this kind of thinking, this invincible tiger did not start killing the species in this area, and began to go towards Greenland where some Inuit people were rumored to live. The north of Siberia is a long way from Greenland, but the tiger didn't stop there. As it traveled through this cold Arctic land, it attracted the surveillance of a number of wolves. Even though it didn't reveal any of its scent, its huge size still made the wolves not dare to approach it within a few hundred meters. However, this invincible tiger still glanced at these wolf clans, the pair of yellow tiger eyes, just like the light of a sword, just swept a glance and instantly made several wolves quickly flee with their tails tucked between their legs. After this invincible tiger left, the wolf father and wolf mother, who had been watching from a long distance, only then did they both just feel that the suffocating sense of oppression gradually dissipate. At this time, in the eyes of the wolf father and wolf mother, there was still a touch of palpitating awe. In fact, ever since their own cubs left with the wolves, many hunters had intruded into the North Pole one after another. However, during this period of time, wolf dad and wolf mom, by swallowing the isoflower black fruit rock gallon fruit, their strength had both increased quite a bit. Wolf dad's strength reached the middle of level 12 in one body, while wolf mom reached the peak of level 10, and both gained talents. Fey with talents were considered to truly have the qualifications to gain a foothold in the cruel nature after the great change of heaven and earth. Coupled with the fact that the hunters that broke in were not strong, the wolf mom and dad led the wolf pack and drove those hunters out of the territory. But this Siberian tiger was too strong. Simply by sweeping over them, the oppressive force given by that glance made them even stop breathing. It was good that this Siberian tiger was only passing through the wolf's territory. Otherwise, the wolf father thought that he might not be able to go around under the claws of this invincible tiger. He wouldn't be able to survive a single round. By that time, not to mention defending the territory, if he could lead the wolves to escape, it would already be the best ending. Su Lin naturally didn't know what was happening in the wolf pack's territory at this moment. He was in the middle of a bloody battle with the fae. Among them, he was fighting with the fae grizzly bear most fiercely. Originally, after fighting for a long time, Su Lin had the upper hand with his powerful combat strength. Only the back of the fey grizzly bear once again flashed out a flash of mysterious green light. This time, because the distance was very close, Su Lin finally saw what this green light was. This was actually an exotic herb. Cascuta. Cascuta was a very common parasitic plant, extremely strong in survival, able to adapt to various environments. But what was very unexpected was that Su Lin hadn't thought that this daughter plant had parasitized with the fey grizzly bear, because in his impression, Daughter is parasitized on some plants. There has never been a precedent of parasitizing on animals. It can be seen. These parasitic plants in the mutation. Parasitic host also long ago not limited to plants. Exotic flowers and plants can feel the existence of pure energy. So there is such a strain of exotic grass parasitism. No wonder this fey grizzly bear can find a lot of pure energy where they encounter. At this time, it was also the interference of this daughter that made Su Lin. Who could have killed this fey grizzly bear? Miss. A glittering green light branch detached from the fey grizzly bear's body and Su Lin's wolf claw ruthlessly collided with each other. Both sides collided with each other for more than 10 times. And in the end, Su Lin's sharp pair of claws hit each other. In the end, Su Lin's pair of sharp wolf claws cut off the branch, but allowed the fey grizzly bear and fey reindeer to escape. Ow! Oh, another earth-shattering wolf whistle. A wild wolf whistle instantly swept through the ice within 3 kilometers. The strong shockwave of this wolf whistle swept towards the two fleeing fey. But as the powerful shockwave smashed on the huge body of the fey grizzly bear, it was once again dissolved by the glistening green light. Only the massive reindeer king was shocked by the wolf whistle. However, the reindeer king's body quickly emitted snow white fluorescent light, suppressing the injuries and becoming faster. It began to quickly and furiously flee. Originally, this big battle today was out of all the hunter's expectations, especially the reindeer king. 
It originally just wanted to come over to see how tough this wolf pack that came to seek revenge was, but in the end, it had not been able to hold down the desire to hunt and kill in its heart. However, after striking out, it was almost torn apart by the sharp claws of this white wolf king. The strength of this white wolf king was too terrifying. It had thought that the two wolf races it had encountered in the wolf pack territory some time ago were the wolf king and queen of the wolf pack, and only now did it realize how wrong it was. At the same time, it was also glad in its heart that it hadn't encountered this white wolf king that day, or else it was afraid that it would have already lost its life above the wolf pack territory. Escape. The reindeer king's mind was filled with a strong desire to escape. In its eyes, if it wanted to fight against this white wolf king, it definitely needed to unite more forces. Otherwise, he and his herd alone would not be enough to kill the white wolf king. At this moment, both they were frantically fleeing, without the slightest bit of the vigor that they had at first rushed over to attack and kill. Su Lin's strength and battle power had once again shocked all the hunters. Su Lin's strength and battle prowess once again shocked all the hunters. Even the sense of spying in the shadows, which hadn't yet revealed itself, gradually receded. It could be seen that the battle strength that Su Lin had displayed in this battle had caused some of the original small plans in the hearts of the many hunters in this area to dissipate. That foreign herb fluffy rabbit was strong to a very terrifying degree. And under its interference, the two fei managed to escape. This caused Su Lin's pair of light blue wolf eyes, looking in the direction where the two fei escaped, to, narrowed slightly, revealing a dangerous look. Although these two fei had luckily run away, they had also led the way for themselves and the wolves because although they were not far from the Peace of Wonder, they had not seen it after all. With these two fleeing Fei leading the way, as well as the scent left behind on their way out, it would be much better to search, especially this reindeer king. Su Lin only killed it alone was not enough. The deer that dared to defect from the wolves' territory was also bound to be decimated. After watching these two Fei flee, he didn't hesitate and began to turn around and look back towards the two remaining battlefields where they were fighting. These two battlefields were still in a stalemate. These hunters were all very strong, and even in the face of the wolves surrounding them, they still supported themselves until now. In particular, the two Fei lynxes had both been seriously injured by Su Lin, yet they still supported themselves for so long against the wolves under their cousin's command. Even when cousin, wolf sister, and the gray and white coyote were all on the battlefield, they still hadn't taken them down, but that's as far as it goes. This caused Su Lin's eyes to flash with chilling killing intent before his peak speed was fully unleashed. The thick limbs stomped out deep snow pits on the icy ground. Su Lin's huge wolf body leapt up and directly ran towards the two Fei lynxes. Roar! With the sonic boom brought about by Su Lin moving at full speed, the two Fei lynxes both smelled the heavy scent of death approaching, and both couldn't help but engage in a final hiss. Their roars became hoarse, far from the sharp and crisp sound they had at the beginning, sounding rather like they were at the end of their rope. Under the cold, icy sky and snow, all hunters had to be prepared to fail in their hunt and lose their lives just under the strong desire to survive. The male lynx, which still had some fighting strength left, still wanted to make a last desperate resistance, but it was all in vain. After being seriously injured by Su Lin and being consumed by the wolves for so long, his blood and stamina were about to be drained. Su Lin's speed of more than 300 meters per second was simply not something it could react to now. Plop! The sharp wolf claw that was more than 30 centimeters long was like the sharpest of blades as it once again stabbed into the male fei lynx's chest. This time, there was not the slightest deviation in its position, and it hit the heart, before the male lynx could react, Su Lin pulled out the heart of the male lynx that was emitting a rich fluorescent light, the essence part of the fei lynx was clearly the heart, the essence part was the part where most of the essence of the fei's body was concentrated, and the pain after being so directly and bloody pulled out was simply not something that could be resisted by willpower, roar, this male lynx was in so much pain that his entire body was trembling, and he couldn't even roar anymore, the sharp claws that were struggling to slap at Su Lin also became very soft and feeble. And even Su Lin's, he couldn't even break through Su Lin's hair. Su Lin, in a cold expression, used an evolutionary potion before swallowing the heart of this male lynx. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the heart of a fey lynx, level 21, and gaining 4. 500 points of evolution value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for feeding on the fey lynx's residual talent essence and purifying a talent serum. 4,500 points of evolutionary value. It was clearly the same as the essence part of the fey polar bear in the mysterious iceberg. 4. 500 points of evolutionary value. Even for the present day Su Lin was considered a considerable amount of evolutionary value. After swallowing it, Su Lin also gave the male lynx a hard time. Boom! A force of more than 10 tons violently erupted, smashing this male lynx's head directly onto a sharp pile of ice. The ice piles in this cold region were often harder than steel. However, under this blow, it still completely shattered into ice slag. 
The hard skull of the Fei Lynx was also shattered with several cracks in this fierce blow, collapsing on the ground. It could no longer get up, its entire body convulsing. The blood and chi flowed empty. The essence part was swallowed into Su Lin's abdomen, and even the skull was shattered. Even the Fei's tenacious vitality was powerless. In the midst of the shattered ice, this male lynx's pair of eyes that still had remnants of their divine splendor were still looking towards their mate. However, within a few seconds, this glow completely dissipated. The female lynx also wailed under the polar night with sorrow, and it didn't attack Su Lin and the wolves again, because it was even more injured than its mate. It simply didn't have any strength left. It just wanted to struggle and crawl to its mate's side. But the bloodstained Su Lin still had to decapitate the fey polar bear, and didn't waste time here to watch the life and death tangle between them. Boom! With a vicious claw, the female lynx that was crawling over, was completely smashed into the ice. There was no blood spilled. The chi and blood had long since flowed out. Only the female lynx's violently twitching body. Then Su Lin's wolf claw also stabbed into the heart of the female lynx, and picked out its essence and swallowed it into his mouth. Two more light gray message prompts immediately surfaced before Su Lin's eyes. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the heart of the Fei Lynx, level 19, and gaining 3, 900 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for feeding on the Fei Lynx's residual talent essence and purifying a talent serum. The strength of this female Lynx was clearly lower than her mate, and the essence part only gave 3, 900 points, but it was not bad, and there was still a talent serum. This harvest made Su Lin satisfied. He looked at the female lynx that still had the last trace of breath left in it, and directly hooked it up with his claw thorns and threw it towards his mate, the female lynx that still had the last trace of vigor in its eyes. After seeing the corpse of its spouse beside it, it exerted its last strength and snuggled up with its spouse, and having killed two Fei Sulin in succession, a pair of wolf eyes also looked towards the Fei polar bear that was still in the final struggle with the little lone wolf, the warm bear, and the little gray. It had to be said that this Fei polar bear was more resilient than these two Fei lynxes, whether it was in terms of blood value, physical strength and defense, but no matter how this fey polar bear struggled and resisted, its end was already predetermined. Ow! Oh, as an earth-shattering wolf howl sounded again, the wolves that were still in a bloody battle quickly dispersed before turning back to look at the wolf king. This wolf howl Su Lin did not use his talent again. At this time, after the many wolves and bears watched the wolf king come over, they all tacitly moved out of the way. Even the little lone wolf, who had turned on the berserk wolf talent and whose strength had risen to a terrifying level, looked at the wolf king as he came over and silently retreated to the side. In fact, if the wolves continued to fight, they should be able to take down this strong fey polar bear. But the little lone wolf was injured like this. Its current strong strength was all in exchange for horrible injuries. Little gray and warm bear had also suffered considerable injuries, and the rest of the bear and wolf races all had considerable damage. Therefore, Su Lin didn't let them fight it out in blood anymore. These were all members of the wolf pack, and in the future, they would have to follow them to conquer the entire arctic, so he didn't want to see them suffer any casualties. The purpose of letting the wolves practice hunting strong fey through this fey polar bear had already been achieved. Then the life of this polar bear should also end here. Chapter 153 Blood Burning Potion The fey polar bear's pair of bloody eyes had long since been torn blind by the little lone wolf once again, but even if it couldn't see anymore, its sensitive senses could perceive a very strong aura that was slowly approaching. The speed at which this aura came over was not fast, but with every sound of the wolf's claws landing on the ice, it brought a heavier sense of oppression. The fey polar bear knew that the only one who could have this aura was the white wolf king. It stood in place and waited. The blood fury talent that had originally enhanced its combat power had already receded, but it still had the power to fight. Soon, the fey polar bear opened its other talent. Serank defense. Gray luminescence enveloped its massive body, then quickly internalized into its fur and flesh. It made the blood-stained fur flicker with a light gray fluorescence. Roar! Accompanied by a dull hissing sound, the pair of huge bear paws ruthlessly smashed on top of the ice layer, smashing out two ice-breaking openings in the ice layer. Then the fey polar bear stood upright, its massive foot six meters plus body looming over it. It knew that its physical strength had also been consumed by the wolves, and its chi and blood had also been worn down to only one-third. But even if it was on the verge of death, which hunter would give up the desire for life? What were all the species fighting so hard in the cold arctic ice plains for? Isn't it for survival? Oftentimes, the desire for survival was the strongest desire and motivation that supported all species. Roar! It brought out the tragic aura of a broken kettle and hissed once again in the direction of that strong aura. As for Su Lin, he just stood at a range of about a hundred meters from it and confronted this fey polar bear for a moment. During this period of time Su Lin glanced at the addition of a C rank defense talent. A C rank defense talent doesn't add up to the rest of the values. It only added to defense. 
but the bonus it brought was amazing. This fate polar bear's defense value, which was originally 300 points, instantly skyrocketed to around 600. It had nearly doubled, and its fur and skin had become harder than steel. It was fortunate that the wolves hadn't been allowed to continue the bloody battle. Otherwise, facing a fey polar bear with this kind of defense, even the current little lone wolf would have a hard time causing the slightest trauma to it. Just such defense was still far from enough to face Su Lin. After a short standoff, accompanied by a loud wolf whistle, Su Lin moved at full speed, bringing up a burst of sonic booms towards this fey polar bear. Within a hundred meters, he appeared in front of the fey polar bear almost as if he had moved in an instant. This speed made the fey polar bear's sensitive senses and body instincts unable to react. Boom! Su Lin ruthlessly slammed a blow onto the fey polar bear's huge bear head, and with one blow, the fey polar bear's huge body staggered back a dozen steps. The sharp claws of the wolf also cut open bloody wounds in the flesh of the fey polar bear. Immediately afterward, before the fey polar bear could stand still, Su Lin stabbed another claw into the fey polar bear's neck. The fragile throat was directly torn to shreds with the wolf claw, and blood splattered profusely as if it didn't need any money. The blood splattered on Su Lin's hair, did not move him in the slightest. After being reborn as a wolf, he had long since gotten used to such bloody slaughter. On the cold, icy ground, there was never any right or wrong. Only who is strong and who is weak. Whoever is strong is the king. The throat is also a very deadly vital part. And after being torn apart, the polar bear couldn't even roar. But it was still resisting and struggling violently. The thick bear's paw smashed fiercely towards Su Lin. But its speed was too slow. And it couldn't even touch the slightest bit of Su Lin. With a slight flash. Su Lin dodged the bear palm attack, the bear paw slapped futilely on the air, emitting a harsh sound, immediately after that, Su Lin's wolf claw was headed towards the fey polar bear's forehead again, boom, with a loud and dull sound of blood and flesh colliding, this time, Su Lin's invulnerable wolf claw didn't directly pierce the fey polar bear's forehead, but only smashed its bones to smithereens, after all, he had opened his defensive talent, and his defense was far greater than the polar bear on the mysterious ice mountain, but even so, this heavy blow shattered its heart veins, the fey polar bear's eyes, ears, nose, and so on, any of the crevices were spilling out large streams of chi and blood, the only remaining chi and blood values were also rapidly depleting, and this heavy blow also caused the already staggering fey polar bear to finally collapse, boom, the huge body of 6 or 7 meters, as if pushing a mountain of gold toppling a pillar of jade, tumbled to the ground, between the flying ice, this fey polar bear still wanted to struggle to stand up, but Su Lin ruthlessly clawed, and directly smashed its huge bear head deep into the icy ground. Then he stomped on the polar bear's head, his fangs completely exposed as he tore off a large piece of flesh from its back. After killing that fey polar bear last time, Su Lin didn't even have time to eat its flesh and blood before leaving in a hurry. And now this fey polar bear was not weaker than that one in the slightest, so it could be considered lost and found. Tear. A large piece of flesh that was still stained with some blood was swallowed into Su Lin's mouth. Fatty and delicious. Purely in terms of meat quality, the blood and meat of a fey polar bear was considered superior. The energy contained within it was also very pure. After swallowing this flesh into his stomach, a light gray message prompt of obtaining evolutionary value appeared in front of his eyes. Ding! The host has eaten a fey polar bear and gained 210 points of evolutionary value. Having just used an evolution potion, the effect of the triple increase was still there, and 210 points of evolution value were gained from one bite. This was the most evolutionary value gained from a single out of blood and flesh besides that great king squid. It was worthy of being the blood and flesh of a fey polar bear. Fey blood and flesh, cut by three points each time, also meant that this fey polar bear, at least, could provide Su Lin with tens of thousands of points of evolution value. This ungodly amount of evolutionary value caused Su Lin to start eating in large chunks. Large chunks of the fey polar bear's blood and meat were all swallowed into Su Lin's stomach. Ding! The host has eaten a fey polar bear and gained 207 points of evolutionary value. Ding! The host eats a fey polar bear and gains 204 points of evolutionary value. Ding! The host eats a fey polar bear and gains 201 points of evolutionary value. While Su Lin was feeding, the fey polar bear was still desperately struggling in pain. But it simply couldn't struggle away from the wolf's claws. After Su Lin had fed on at least 30 to 40 pounds of fey flesh and blood, he also directly plucked the essence of the fey polar bear's bear bile and swallowed it into his stomach. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the fey polar bear's bear bile, level 22, gaining 5,100 points of evolutionary value. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the fey polar bear's residual talent essence and purifying a talent serum. This fey polar bear was a bit stronger than the polar bear in the mysterious iceberg. A level 22 fey, even after the great change in heaven and earth, 
it was considered a dominant party, but today, it still bled on the ice field, becoming the blood food of Su Lin and the wolves. After its essence was removed, the only trace of life force left in this fey polar bear finally dissipated. It ended up just hissing twice in a vague manner in the midst of intense pain, and then gradually died. On top of that, several more light gray message prompts appeared soon after the fey polar bear perished. Talent showdown. Precision dodge. Bloodbath combat. Battle rating, S. This battle rating, S. Obtained a strengthening serum, two blood burning potions. This battle rating reached S. Su Lin hadn't received a battle rating reward for a long time since he had gotten stronger and stronger. The battle rating reward given by rating S wasn't much. Having a strengthening serum, it was a good reward for increasing one's battle power. As for the blood burning potion, it was the first time it had been obtained. What effect does this potion have? Su Lin's mind moved, and the introduction of the blood burning potion quickly appeared before his eyes. Blood burning potion, after taking it, you can burn your own blood and gain a significant increase in strength. The faster you burn your blood, the stronger the strength increase. Note, this potion is not an emergency. Use with caution. After the use of blood value to reach the 10% threshold will exit on its own. Looking at this potion, a flash of light flashed through Su Lin's wolf eyes. The effect of this potion was very terrifying. It could greatly increase one's battle strength. If it was superimposed with the hunting talent, the strong strength brought about could be imagined how terrifying it was. But the drawback was also great. It was burning blood chi and blood. Blood and chi might just be a number on the attribute panel in Su Lin's eyes. But in reality, it was the life value of one species after another. So to put it simply, it was a potion that burned lives to gain a huge strength boost. This kind of thing was tantamount to killing a thousand enemies and losing 800. However, for Su Lin, who possessed a healing talent and a strengthened heart, it was considered to be one more killer. For now, the harvest from this battle wasn't small. Three talent serums, one strengthening serum, two blood staining potions, and tens of thousands of evolutionary value. In addition to that, there were also three fey corpses. The flesh and blood of this fey polar bear alone weighed several tons. After the great change in heaven and earth, the preciousness of fey flesh and blood was second only to exotic flowers and herbs. Therefore, with such a large amount of fey flesh, both Su Lin and the wolves would be able to obtain a considerable boost. In particular, the fey blood meat was even more of an enhancement for the ordinary wolf clan, and could cause the wolf pack's overall strength to further increase. Next, Su Lin signaled the wolves to clean up the battlefield with a low howl. Then, he directly came to the side of the polar bear mother and child that hadn't died yet. The wolves hunting earlier had mainly used them as a check, and hadn't directly bitten them to death. But this pair of polar bear mother and child were also covered in wounds. Adult female polar bears with these scars could still survive. As for the cubs, it was impossible to survive. Especially when he looked at the fear of resentment towards himself and the pair of pitch black colored eyes of this cub. Su Lin directly swung his wolf claw in indifference and slapped this cub into a mass of broken meat. Without even uttering a single wail, the cub left this world forever. This scene caused the female polar bear, who was the mother, to go crazy in an instant. But when she was about to struggle to get up, she saw the emotionless eyes of the huge white wolf in front of her. These eyes were staring at it silently like this, cold and calm. But the sense of oppression contained within them made it only feel like every cell in its body was screaming madly towards it. It unconsciously began to tremble. And the pain and anger it felt when its cubs were killed just now also disappeared under the strong oppressive force and desire to survive. In the end, it didn't dare to make the slightest movement, only burying its head in its forelimbs and shivering. Only then did Su Lin, who saw this scene, withdraw his sight. At least it was a female polar bear, now that its mate and cubs had been killed. Joining the wolves in the future could also become a member of the bear clan's fertility and reproduction. When the female species gave birth to new cubs after the next rut arrived, her sense of belonging to the wolf pack would naturally increase dramatically. A wolf pack can't just kill and conquer. If they wouldn't develop and reproduce, sooner or later, they would one day attenuate one by one in the killing, until they finally withered away. At this time, after Su Lin patted the cub to death, he looked at the most injured little lone wolf and signaled his cousin with a low howl to take the lead in treating the little lone wolf. With cousin's healing talent, it would enable the little lone wolf, little gray, and warm bear to recover from their injuries faster. In the future, when Cousin's talent was promoted again, it was thought that the shorter the cooldown time would be, the more members she would be able to heal. Therefore, Cousin's healing talent was extremely good to be used as the wolf pack's logistical support in the future. Cousin's healing talent was a green light, and with its soft low howl, this green light surged into the little lone wolf's wolf body. This green light was rapidly nourishing and restoring the wounds all over the little lone wolf's body. In fact, this wolf pack hunt against the fey polar bear was mainly centered on the little lone wolf. 
Therefore, it had fought with the fey polar bear most frequently, and was also the most injured. If it didn't have the heaven-defying berserker wolf talent, it wouldn't have been able to support it at all. Ow! Under the cozy green fluorescent light, the little lone wolf thankfully howled, and it could feel its injuries rapidly recovering. As for Su Lin, he just swept his eyes at the healed little lone wolf and went to the messy battlefield, picking up the branch of the exotic herb Cascuta that he had chopped off and swallowing it into his mouth. Cascuta was also considered an exotic grass, and naturally, it could also obtain a considerable amount of evolutionary value. It was just that this daughter seed was eaten into his mouth. Su Lin chewed twice and only felt that the flavor was very bitter, not in the least as delicious as fey flesh and blood. However, the strong devouring power soon turned far and wide, turning the daughter branch into a huge energy that surged into the limbs and bones of Su Lin's wolf body. Ding! Congratulations to the host for eating the exotic herb Cascuta, gaining 9, 000, 000 points of evolutionary value. This light gray message prompt caused Su Lin's eyes to light up. The evolutionary value given by a single branch of this daughter seed was more than expected. This caused Su Lin's heart to rise even more with the conviction of certain death towards that fey grizzly bear. After finishing swallowing the branch of the fey herb Cascuta, Su Lin raised his head and scanned around the ice field that was currently covered in blood and wreckage. Immediately afterward, he raised his head and looked far into the direction that the reindeer king and the fey grizzly bear had fled. Su Lin stood on top of the snowy slope, a pair of wolf eyes filled with coldness. Chapter 154, Talent Upgrade Intense Collision Since he had these two fey to lead the way, Su Lin wanted the strange encounter in this morose cold north. Su Lin also wanted the lives of these two fey. At this moment, as Su Lin climbed high and looked into the distance, the wolves had also finished cleaning up the battlefield. This time, the wolves didn't have too many deaths or injuries from the fey roundup. The two fey lynxes were both seriously injured by Su Lin, and their killing power was limited. As for the fey polar bears, the little lone wolf was frontal and held them back, so the entire wolf pack had several dead wolves and one bear. However, for ordinary wolf clans and bear clans, rounding up the fey was dangerous, so it was normal to have casualties. As for the injured, there were even more, but with cousin's healing talent, the injured members would all recover well. In this battle, killing three fey in a row was still equivalent to a big victory for the wolf pack. A total of three fey corpses, two fey lynx corpses together had a weight of about a ton. As for the fey polar bear, it weighed about four or five tons. Su Lin took out some of the flesh and blood of these fey to distribute to the combat wolves. The passion and motivation of the wolves to fight often needed food to support it. And food was more important than anything else in their eyes. This time, almost all of the wolves participated in the roundup. The elite wolf clan led by Little Grey distributed 10 pounds of fey blood meat per wolf clan. And the bear clan led by Little White distributed 10 pounds of fey blood meat per bear clan. The male wolves under Little Lone Wolf's command, on the other hand, distributed 5 pounds per male wolf. For the female wolves under Cousin's command, 3 pounds were distributed for each female wolf. As for the wolves that fought bravely, they would be given more, which was also considered an internal incentive in the wolf pack. Fey blood and meat was very rare, and the wolf and bear races of the wolf pack had all swallowed fey blood and meat long ago, so they naturally knew how delicious it was and the surging energy it contained. After Su Lin ordered the distribution, many members were excited and whistled long and loud. As for the newly joined bear clan, facing the fey blood meat that was distributed. Their mouths were also unconsciously watering as they smelled its delicious and tantalizing flavor. When they actually ate these fey blood meat and felt the freshness coming from their taste buds and the pure and surging energy in it, they all couldn't help but gulp it down. The sense of belonging to the wolves in the midst of eating was also raised quite a bit. After all, as beasts that survived in the ice and snow, their thoughts were not complicated. Whether it was killing and hunting or defending the territory, it was all about survival. Now following the fiery wolves, there is no need to say much about safety. There is also fey flesh's food, which makes their hearts have long forgotten that they were forced to join in the first place. Even if they were let go at this time, there wouldn't be any bears that would leave. At this time, Su Lin looked at the wolves that had begun distributing and devouring the fey blood and meat in the icy sky and snow, and there was a slight hint of relief in a pair of golden brown wolf eyes. With the distribution of this fey blood meat this time, the wolf pack's strength should still increase quite a bit. Su Lin thought this while gazing at the wolves. Next, after the wolves finished eating, Su Lin also explained that little Dr. Wolf had brought several wolves with him and went forward to follow the scent of the reindeer king and the fey grizzly bear to explore where that land of wonders was located. After little Dr. Wolf went through his cousin's gifted healing, a body's injuries that were originally horrific, although it did not completely recover, the, but it had also recovered most of it, and as for its battle power, it had also recovered at least 80%, with it leading the team to explore, Su Lin was also quite relieved. After all, 
The rest of the wolf clan was still too weak compared to the strength of the little lone wolf. Ow, ow. The little lone wolf agreed with a low howl in succession. For its own boss's orders, it had always been obedient. After all, it would always remember that day in the pitch black night. If it wasn't for the boss picking it up from the icy sky and snow, I'm afraid that it would have long ago gone into the belly of some hunter. Nowadays, the status in the wolf pack is even given by its own boss. This made its sense of belonging to the wolf pack and its trust and respect for its own boss the highest amongst the wolf pack. After receiving the order, the little lone wolf let out a low howl and set off with the mortal wolf and the rest of the male wolves. As for the remnant ear, it was allowed to lead a group of wolves to give the wolves a guard at the periphery to prevent the rest of the hunters from attacking. After the little lone wolf departed, Su Lin also signaled the wolves to find a leeward place to rest briefly. Hundreds of wolves and more than 20 bear clans had all expended a lot of physical strength in today's roundup. If they were to forcefully lead the wolves to make a surprise attack on that land of wonders, there was no telling what opponents and challenges they would encounter. With the current state of the wolves, it would be difficult to sustain another grueling battle. Knowing that there were still hundreds of reindeer under the reindeer king's command, it was thought that there would be another fierce battle in the future. At this moment, after receiving the wolf king's order, the many wolves and bears all hid in twos and threes in a sheltered place, eating the assigned fey flesh and blood while getting together to keep warm. The fey blood meat that Su Lin had assigned to the wolf pack members wasn't small. Without three or four days, it would be difficult for these wolf pack members to finish digesting the pure energy and nutrients in it. Su Lin had distributed more than a thousand pounds of fey blood meat, which was almost as much as the fey blood meat distributed to the wolves some time ago. Su Lin looked at the wolves under his command and wondered if one or two more fey would appear in the wolf pack after digesting these fey blood and meat. The fey were the main force of the wolf pack in the future, and the more fey there were, the stronger the wolf pack would naturally be. At this moment in this thought, he came behind a backwind ice wall and began a short rest. Cousin, Little Grey, Wolf Sister, Grey and White Coyote, and Su Lin's closest members of the wolf pack, were all consciously lying around the wolf king, escorting the wolf king, and also shielding the wolf king from the cold and chilly wind. On the other hand, Su Lin's mind moved and took out the talent serums he harvested today. He intended to use these talent serums to see which talent he could strengthen this time, regardless of whether it was a Fei or Su Lin. The talent's addition to strength was very significant. Only the Fei that possessed a talent had the most basic capital to stand on after the great change in heaven and earth nowadays. Every level of talent would also bring about a powerful increase in battle power. Currently, there were three talent serums, and Su Lin felt that he should strengthen his hunting talent once. The hunting talent was undoubtedly the strongest talent in terms of increase. Bar none, Su Lin had also encountered so many Fei, and had yet to see a Fei whose talent could exceed the, the increase of hunting and killing. Even if it was the very heaven-defying berserker wolf talent, the increase to the very top would still be inferior to the same level of hunt and kill talent. After all, even if one got stronger the more one was injured, there was always a limit to injuries. When this limit was really shattered, not only would the wild wolf talent be shattered, but even his life would be in danger. On the other hand, hunting was a talent that directly increased strength without the slightest side effect. The Seranked Hunt alone could increase attack power and speed by 100% which was crushing level for other fey talents. Su Lin was eager to see to what point the increase in strength would reach with a B-ranked hunt or an A-ranked hunt talent. In this thought, he took out the talent serum with a thought. Ding, is the talent serum used? Use. Su Lin didn't hesitate in the slightest. The talent serum was different from the strengthening serum. There wasn't the slightest discomfort after using it. Instead it was the very comforting warmth that surged over his entire wolf pack. The limbs, bones and tendons. This time, the talent serum didn't last as long as the last time. This time it was absorbed very quickly. Ding. The wolf whistle talent has been successfully strengthened. Advancing to a C-ranked talent. This light gray message appeared before his eyes. Wolf whistle talent? When Su Lin saw this light gray prompt, his heart slightly regretted it. The wolf whistle talent was only strong in ranged kills, but it wasn't too useful if it was used against a single strong fey. Just like this time against the male lynx, fey grizzly bear and fey reindeer king. The wolf whistle talent could also cause kills against them, but the kills were limited. It could only be used as a secondary killing tool against the enemy's single strong fey. However, after this reinforcement, the wolf whistle talent should become a lot stronger. In the midst of such thoughts, within a few seconds the introduction of the C-rank wolf whistle talent appeared before his eyes. Wolf whistle, C-rank, upgradable, active talent, can initiate a wolf whistle sonic attack, attack speed is double the speed of sound, killing range 5 kilometers. Number of attacks, 10. Cooldown, 24 hours. Note, after exceeding 10 times, it will enter the cooldown time, and forcibly using the wolf whistle talent during this time will deduct a large amount of blood value. 
The C-rank wolf whistle talent was indeed enhanced quite a bit. However, it didn't enhance the power. It only enhanced the killing range and the speed of the sonic attack, which would also make the wolf whistle talent attack even more swiftly. Seeing this, Su Lin secretly nodded. In this way, under double the speed of sound, it would make it so that the vast majority of species wouldn't be able to react in time. Even his own speed after turning on the hunting and killing talent was nothing more than that. Immediately afterward, Su Lin didn't pause for too long. And with a flourish, he took out the other talent serum as well. Ding! Is the talent serum used? Use! Su Lin once again used a talent serum. And as the warmth of the talent serum surged throughout his body, all he could think in his heart was that it would be good if he didn't strengthen the wolf whistle talent this time. The hunting and healing talents were the greatest capital for him to truly look out of the corner of his eye. And just at this time, the major power alliances also opened their summit meetings once again. This time, due to the fact that the various natural disasters had passed, the heads of the major powers did not open another video conference. Instead, they once again gathered at the Golden Palace. Numerous elites and many big shots with power in their hands fell in order in the palace. They quietly looked at the content on the huge LCD screen above the high platform. All of them did not say a word and did not make the slightest sound, but everyone had a trace of gravity in their eyes. The contents on these LCD video meters were all the images of the various forces surrounding the Fey, which also had the battle power values recorded and guessed under about the various Fey. Looking at that one terrifying picture in numerical value that surpassed cognition, all of them were worried about the future prospects and destiny of the human race. Soon, as the images shifted one by one, a heavyweight old man of the Alliance slowly walked up to the front stage. He said in a deep voice, This time, everyone has come here to discuss where humanity will go in the future. In the last meeting, in order to cope with the natural disaster, we set up the Human Alliance, established dozens of human fortresses, and survived the terrifying natural disaster. I think today we all have to come up with a decision as well. In the future against the alien beasts, strange flowers, giant trees and other mutated creatures, will we fight or make peace? After the old man's voice landed, a power holder of a major power stood up and spoke. This power holder was one of the pinnacle power figures of the African Union. And after he stood up, he spoke bluntly, our last video conference had already agreed to sweep away the mutant creatures and defend the status of mankind, and this is our general policy that cannot be changed. Due to the African Union's recent killing spree in the African savanna, the capturing hundreds of Xenos and even directly suppressing at least hundreds of mutant creatures, this made the reputation of the African Union increase day by day among the major powers. The African Union even got the biggest sweet spot from the mutant creature blood and flesh, by devouring the fey blood and flesh. Many big names unlocked their genetic shackles and became new humans. Not only did they get rid of all diseases, even their lifespan increased quite a bit with the enhancement of their physical qualities, which was why the African Union was determined to hunt mutant creatures. In their eyes these mutant creatures are not only the number one enemy, but also the rare ingredients and panacea sent to them. Currently, apart from the invincible lion pack and two African hyena packs, there were no decent mutant creatures left in the major grasslands of Africa. So the African Union was a firm supporter of the policy of sweeping away mutant creatures. However, a figure from one of the remaining major powers soon stood up and voiced a rebuttal. Humph, that's because truly terrifying mutant creatures have yet to appear on your side. If the bloodthirsty python was on your side, I don't think you'd be saying such things, right? Who can resist that terrifying gulf crocodile? Battleships that pass through shallow waters have all been sunk. The most important thing is that divine speed golden eagle. It's simply not something that the current technological forces can fight against. The many great powers in charge at the alliance meeting began a heated discussion. It was only after a full three hours that the final decision was finalized. The content of the decision was agreed on four items. Firstly, for the bloodthirsty python, godspeed golden eagle, terrifying bay crocodile, human skin giant tree, and other terrifying mutant creatures, a dangerous area will be designated, and they will coexist with them by default at the present time but they will try their best to find out their weaknesses and flaws, in order to be prepared for the future battles. Second, all major powers to set up information exchange centers to exchange the detailed information and weaknesses of each mutant creature in their possession, and to carry out more cruel and bloody suppression against these mutant creatures, in an attempt to wipe them off the face of the earth. Third, begin to establish unified new human academies to teach and train unshackled new humans to grow at a faster rate, while allowing the science alliance to research weapons and battle armor that are more suitable for them. Fourth, begin targeted exploration of red areas without signals, such as the South Pole, the North Pole, and the tropical rainforests, to map out all the mutant creatures around the globe as much as possible within the next year. Once these four decisions are made, it will also mean that humans and mutant creatures, 
will start a more intense collision, I have a fever, so I'll take a day off, and I'll make up for it the day after tomorrow, thank you all. Chapter 155, Strengthening the Brain, the earth had already been burned red with war, and there was no telling how many lives were withering and passing away as humans and mutant creatures battled it out, when the four decisions were truly agreed upon, everyone knew that in the future, this world was afraid that it was going to be even more turbulent, the human race was not only betting on the lives of thousands of elite warriors, but also the position of global hegemony, if they lost, it was very likely that the human race would be doomed, on top of that, after this meeting, after this meeting, the big names at the top of each party's power went back to their respective ranges to start establishing new human academies. The Science Alliance was also working day and night on researching technological killers suitable for the new humans. And all humans were making sufficient preparations for clearing out the alien beasts. And also in their respective systems, they established the new human power ranking index list. And the strongest people on the list would have rights and prestige beyond ordinary humans. This made the new humans of all the major powers more enthusiastic and motivated to climb up the ranks of strength. As for the exploration of the Arctic, Antarctica, and the tropical rainforests where there was no signal, all the powers were still a bit hesitant. After all, with the satellite signal this god's perspective like addition, the battle between human beings and strong mutant creatures is still in a bloody battle. If there was no more god's perspective, in a nearly unknown area, who knew what would be encountered, especially without satellite signals, many high-tech killing weapons, drone swarms, and automated tracking missiles that relied on satellites would be rendered useless. In the midst of this concern, the various forces only decided to deploy a very small portion of their forces to explore, so that even if they were all wiped out, they wouldn't be hurt. And it was at this time that, Su Lin, who was in the Mori Cold Icy Sky and Snow, had also completely finished using his talent serums. Of the two remaining talent serums, one of them once again strengthened the Wolf Whistle talent, causing the Wolf Whistle talent to reach B rank. A B rank wolf whistle talent was relatively much more enhanced than a C rank. Wolf whistle, grade B, upgradable. Active talent. Can initiate a wolf whistle sonic attack with an attack speed of 3 times the speed of sound, a killing range of 10 kilometers, and a killing power of one third of the host's peak attack power value. Number of attacks, 10. Cooldown time, 24 hours. Note, after exceeding 10 times, it will enter the cooldown time, and forcibly using the wolf whistle talent during this time will deduct a large amount of blood value. The grade B wolf whistle talent, not only did the attack speed and attack range increase once more, even the attack power had been enhanced extremely significantly, even if he didn't open the hunting talent, one third of Su Lin's peak attack power had more than 200 power points, which was equivalent to tons of explosive power, this kind of explosive power, not to mention polar bears, even the most robust African elephants would have to be shattered under a whistle to break their heart veins and organs, if he turned on his hunting talent, the power of Su Lin's wolf whistle would be close to 500 points of attack power, enough to crack gold and stone. The next time he encountered a fey grizzly bear and a fey reindeer king, they wouldn't be able to withstand his wolf whistles might as easily as they did today. In addition to strengthening the wolf whistle talent once again, the other talent serum was to strengthen the healing talent. Grade a healing talent strengthening progress one fifth. Upon completion of the progress value, it will be promoted to grade S healing talent. One fifth. Su Lin looked at this light gray message prompt in front of him. It could be seen that the difficulty seemed to have increased quite a bit from A rank to S rank talent reinforcement, and it wasn't something that could be done with a single talent serum. But thinking about it carefully, it made sense. After all, the fake king squid that he encountered in the deep sea, with that kind of invincible strength had yet to evolve an S rank talent, so one could imagine the difficulty of an S rank talent. But at the same time, the greater the difficulty, the greater the power of the S rank talent. Nowadays, the healing talent has already reached 500 times the recovery speed. Consuming physical strength can also make the healing talent speed become even faster. So once it evolved into an s rank talent, it was hard for Su Lin to imagine what kind of level it would reach. At that time, I'm afraid that his survivability would reach a very terrifying point. Currently, Su Lin had already used three talent serums. The successive advancements of the wolf whistle talent made his attacks would be even more defensible. Next, surrounded by a pack of wolves, Su Lin took out the remaining reinforcement serum as well. The increase in strength brought about by the strengthening serum was equally considerable. The wolf body that had been strengthened by the many enhancement serums contained surging power that was far beyond what the fake could match. Currently, many parts of Su Lin's wolf body had been strengthened. The only parts left were the wolf head, flesh, bones, wolf tail, the remaining three claws, and some of the body's internal organs. All of these parts, no matter which one was strengthened, would bring about a not-so-small boost. 
He had already experienced the scorching pain of the strengthening serum many times. Ding! Is the strengthening serum used? Use. At this moment, Su Lin didn't hesitate in the slightest. Soon the familiar rolling hot energy in his body once again traveled through the limbs and bones of the wolf body. This hot energy had been traveling in the wolf's body for a long time, and the scorching pain it brought, Su Lin had already gotten used to it and didn't care about it. But soon as this hot energy quickly surged into the deadliest wolf's head, he only felt that the pain had fiercely intensified by more than a few times. Ow! Oh, this pain caused Su Lin to resist letting out a long whistle. And the loud wolf whistle also caused the entire wolf pack to enter a state of battle readiness. All of the wolf clans rose up and looked towards the wolf king. Su Lin, on the other hand, was just in the middle of the wolf pack, resisting the extreme pain that was coming from him, and didn't exert any commands. This caused the many members of the wolf pack to be somewhat uncertain, but they still faithfully escorted the wolf king. Many of the wolves gave up their short rest and came to the outermost part of the pack to assist the mortal wolves and began their guarding duties. And at this time, Su Lin's five senses were all somewhat distorted under the extreme pain, appearing hideous and horrifying. The closest wolf clans such as Little Grey, Cousin, Wolf Sister, and so on, could only watch very anxiously from the surroundings, but they didn't know what exactly had happened to Su Lin. The wolf's head, the brain, this was the deadliest part and the most important part that Su Lin wanted to strengthen the most, and he didn't expect that this time, the strengthening would be the brain. Su Lin knew that once the strengthening was successful, the amazing bonuses it brought were far beyond any part, but this, the pain and strengthening was also so intense that it was almost suffocating. Even Su Lin, who had experienced destruction and rebirth, still felt every cell in his body trembling in the face of this pain. The various nerves at the brain, which were extremely sensitive, amplified that scorching pain to the limit. This extreme pain caused Su Lin's consciousness to hallucinate. The feeling of wanting to live and die filled the entire nerve and brain. In the midst of this pain, the nerves, cells, and medulla oblongata of the brain were all undergoing heavenly changes under this hot energy. Su Lin's wolf head, too, radiated a faintly glistening light. Even Su Lin's five senses, as well as the parts linked by nerves, were enveloped by this glittering light. This time, the strengthening took even longer than the last time he strengthened his heart. Even after more than two hours, this rolling energy was still slowly flowing in the brain. In the midst of this pain, Su Lin had endured for about four to five hours before. Only then was this rolling hot energy gradually absorbed and finished. The faint fluorescent light that covered his entire body also slowly converged into the wolf's head. After the fluorescence completely disappeared, Su Lin's golden brown eyes gradually regained some clarity. The pain just now had overwhelmed his consciousness. And after recovering, he exuded a look of afterlife. However, the enhancement brought about by the intense pain was also very huge. In addition to his comprehensive strength feeling boosted by a large margin, Su Lin could also feel a faint spiritual power in his brain. This spiritual power caused Su Lin, who originally couldn't speak the language of the bear race, to be able to sense the mood swings of little white and warm bear by his side. On top of that, with the addition of this spiritual power, Su Lin was even able to sense every breath and flow of blood in the huge wolf body being able to control any part of the wolf's body nearly perfectly by himself. Even without using his concealment talent, Su Lin was able to astringe his own aura to the extreme. If he was in a battle, he would even be able to utilize his peak battle power to the fullest. Eh, spiritual power? This caused a brilliant light to flash through Su Lin's golden brown wolf eyes. Sure enough, it was the hidden battle power increase brought about by this brain strengthening that was the greatest. The birth of spiritual power definitely still had wonderful uses that he hadn't realized. Phew! At this moment, Su Lin, who had strongly endured the extreme pain for several hours, let out a long breath. Even though this area was extremely cold, the hairs of his body, which had just experienced several hours of pain, were wet with sweat. Soon after Su Lin slowed down from the pain, the latest attribute panel also appeared before his eyes. Name, Su Lin. Species, Arctic Wolf. Gene Level. Level, 15, Upgrading Requires 320, 000 Evolution Points. Chi and blood, endurance, strength, defense, speed, evolutionary values, talent, hunting, grade C, wolf whistle, grade B, stealth, grade B, healing, grade A+. Plus. Looking at the detailed and up-to-date attributes in front of him, Su Lin instantly felt that the pain he had just experienced was quite worth it, since the brain was the command center of the entire wolf body. With the nerves linking each organ and limb, it was expected that the comprehensive strength would be increased after strengthening. However, the magnitude of this enhancement was still beyond Su Lin's imagination. Chi, the blood value skyrocketed to 5, 500 points. This meant that Su Lin's current Chi and blood value was no less impressive than even a level 20 or so Fei Bear. In addition to the Chi and blood value, 
The attributes in all areas had also been enhanced by a considerable amount. The basic strength value had increased to 520, which meant that using the strength and right paw, the strength value would directly approach the point of 800 points. With such a strength value, a full force strike would reach a terrifying force of nearly 20 tons. Speed soared to 770 points, meaning that without opening the hunting talent, Su Lin's speed would reach the point of more than 345 meters per second. Today, Su Lin mobilized his entire body to vaguely reach the speed of sound, but in the future, breaking through the speed of sound would become his regular speed. As for endurance and defense, they had all reached around 500. Such values of endurance and defense were also extremely rare amongst all the Arctic Fae. Su Lin's current strength had reached a very terrifying point. Even humanity's current topmost technological killing weapons had long since lost their deterrent power against him. With such a drastic increase in strength, Su Lin only felt his heart surge. He stood up to look at the concerned gazes of his surrounding cousins, Little Grey, Wolf Sister, etc., and just let out a low howl to signal that he was fine, as well as signaling the pack's hundreds of wolf clans and more than 20 bear clans to be released from their state of battle readiness, letting them continue to rest and recuperate under the huge leeward ice wall. As the many members of the wolf pack looked at the wolf king who had returned to normal and whose breath had become a few points stronger, a pair of eyes were filled with fervor and respect. As for the worries from earlier, they all disappeared. Oftentimes, a wolf pack with a wolf king was a wolf pack with essence and soul. After Su Lin swept a circle of the wolf pack members, he once again came to the fey polar bear corpse. The blood and flesh of the fey polar bear could still provide him with a considerable amount of evolutionary value. Due to the fact that he had just consumed too much physical strength and spirit from strengthening his brain, Su Lin again tore off a large portion of flesh and blood and began to eat. Soon enough 20 to 30 pounds of fey flesh and blood was swallowed into his stomach, and these fey flesh and blood turned into rolling energy, nourishing the enormous physical strength consumed by Su Lin. The 20 to 30 pounds of fey blood and meat also provided him with thousands of points of evolutionary value once again. After eating, he returned to the middle of his cousin, wolf sister, and little grey, and was escorted by the wolves to begin a short rest. In the middle of the icy sky and snow, Su Lin's powerful senses retained two or three points of vigilance at all times. Dozens of kilometers of wind and grass were all within the shroud of his powerful senses. During the wolves' brief respite, time also passed quietly. Time passed quickly, and in a blink of an eye, several days passed by. In the past, under the darkness of the night, even Su Lin's territory would fall into a scene of silence. Not to mention this even colder northern region. However, due to the sudden appearance of the wolves led by Su Lin in this cold region, this place became lively for a while. Many tough hunters frequented the area. In a pair of ferocious eyes, looking at the huge Su Lin and the flaming wolf pack under his command, there was an uneasy look that flashed by. The little lone wolf had also explored that strange land after returning the other day. It was an area where dense water plants grew out from underneath the ice layer, and there were quite a few fruits that grew out of it. These fruits were rich in extremely pure energy, and many of the strong fey in this area relied on these water plants and fruits to complete their initial evolution. However, the many hunters in the land of strange encounters all had a natural resistance to foreign forces, but at the moment, none of the hunters dared to jump out and stop the wolves, because the bloody scene of the two fey lynxes and fey polar bears being eaten alive the other day was still fresh in the minds of the hunters who spied on them that day. Now the hundreds of wolves and more than 20 bears of the wolf pack had gathered a monstrous aura and the invincible aura rising from Su Lin's wolf body had silenced all the hunters in this area. Chapter 156, Cutting Down the Deer First. In these days, Little Lone Wolf also figured out the details of the rest of the hunters in the land of encounters. At present, not counting the lynx couple that had already perished, there were still several strong fey in the land of encounters. There is a powerful daughter parasitic fey grizzly bear. There is a reindeer king who leads a herd of deer. After Little Lone Wolf's exploration these days, he also discovered that the reindeer herd under the reindeer king wasn't just hundreds, but more than two hundred. So it was clear that this deer herd wasn't just the one in Su Lin's territory. There were also a few birds of prey scattered about. Among them, there were snow lords with superb perception, peregrine falcons that came and went without a trace, and ancient arctic terns. These birds of prey are also very fierce, and have the advantage of the sky, and can be considered a very strong group of forces in this land of encounters. There is also a musk ox herd in the land of encounters, and even the musk ox that escaped from Su Lin's territory has also entered this musk ox herd, but the leader of the musk ox is a musk ox, and he is a musk ox. It was just that the leader of the musk ox had been hiding in the depths of the land of encounters, and little solitary wolf hadn't been able to find out exactly how much strength it had. In addition, there were several arctic silver foxes that were more than 3 meters in size. These arctic silver foxes are not very strong, and they live in the depths. However, 
They were occupying the area with the most fruits in the land of strange encounters. Su Lin had once heard about the Arctic silver fox from the wolves' mouths outside of the mysterious iceberg. It was obvious that the Arctic fox, which had always been weak in his eyes, had definitely evolved very strong abilities after evolving into a fae, or else it wouldn't have occupied a place in both the mysterious iceberg and the land of strange encounters. At this time, Su Lin had already led the wolves to be stationed not far away from this land of encounters. He was on top of a high snowy slope looking towards the land of encounters, and his golden brown wolf eyes had an endless sense of coldness in them. This land of strange encounters was able to spawn so many fey, so it could be seen that it was of an extraordinary degree. This time, when he entered the land of strange encounters, the first thing he wanted to do was to take that deer herd. During these few days, the wolves under Su Lin's command had completely digested the fey blood and flesh that had been distributed, and their strength had once again increased by a considerable amount. Currently, the wolves' aura was even higher, and their monstrous aura shot up into the cold night sky. Numerous wolves were on the periphery eyeing the rich water and grass and the caribou and musk oxen coming and going. Their pair of wolf eyes brought out the desire to hunt and kill. After the wolves had once again fully devoured the blood and flesh of the fae, both the bear and wolf clans had awakened a fae respectively. This time, the one awakened in the wolf clan was a female wolf under her cousin's command. After the last time she devoured fae blood and flesh, this female wolf had broken through to a rank 6 attribute, and now she had evolved into a fae species a female wolf at the peak of level 6. Although not as strong as a mortal wolf or a stump ear, she could still help her cousin to share the pressure of managing the wolf pack. It was quite unexpected for Su Lin to see a breakthrough in the bear clan to become a fae, because the bear tribe broke through to become a fae. It was the female polar bear that was killed by Su Lin's spouse and cubs that day. This female polar bear originally had a level 15 attribute. After becoming a fae, it even reached the peak of level 15. She was gifted with the talent blood rage that most bears had. Blood Fury. The talent was not too heaven-defying, and the strength it raised was limited, so it was considered a moderate talent. However, the female polar bear with the Blood Fury talent had still jumped into the wolf pack, second only to Su Lin's strong existence. Even the current peak level 13 little lone wolf could only barely suppress this female polar bear when the rage wolf talent was carried to its end. This female polar bear that had evolved into a fae species had also increased its IQ by quite a bit, feeling the power that had skyrocketed within her body. She didn't just not get carried away, but instead launched the most sincere submission towards Su Lin. Because the female polar bear that had evolved into a fae, its senses had become sharper. So it was better able to feel the dangerous aura coming from Su Lin's huge wolf body. This extreme dangerous aura made the female polar bear understand that as long as she made the slightest movement, she would absolutely be torn apart in an instant. As for the herd of her dead mate and cubs, it had faded quite a bit in these days of eating. Food was a top priority in the eyes of any hunter. It was also the wolves that gave her food to eat that she gained all her great strength. So the female polar bear prostrates herself on the ground to show her loyalty to the wolf king, and she has no second thoughts. In the future, she was not only ready to charge into battle for the wolves, she was also ready to breed with the bears in the wolf pack. Roar! A soft hiss resounded in front of the wolf king and in front of little white. Xiaobai was in charge of the bear clan, but just stood silently on the sidelines without showing anything. Tha! Because the life of this female polar bear, only the wolf king was qualified to decide, and Su Lin's newly born spiritual power also sensed the female polar bear's spiritual fluctuations. The, to its submissive intentions, Su Lin accepted it. After all, he was about to enter the land of encounters, when the wolves would not be able to fight. This fey female polar bear was to see how it behaved. If it was truly submissive, then the wolf king would be qualified to decide. If it is truly submissive, then it can be promoted to become Xiao Bai's second in command. But if it is not, then this huge body of fey flesh and blood will also become the rations of the wolves. After accepting the female polar bear's show of loyalty, Su Lin once again stood on the snowy slope and examined the wolves. Half of the female wolves in the wolf pack had broken through to level 5, and a good portion of the females had also reached the peak of level 5. The male wolves, on the other hand, already had many wolves that had broken through to rank 6, and even reached the mid to late rank 6. In the past, in the wolf packs, Level 6 wolves had already reached the qualification of being the head wolf. From this, it could be seen that the strength of all the wolf races in the wolf pack had changed drastically from before. As for the elite wolf clans led by Little Grey, the vast majority of them had reached the peak of rank 6, and there were also several that had broken through to rank 7. A wolf pack with such strength gathered together was definitely a powerful wolf pack that had never appeared in the Arctic ice plains before. Ow! Oh, with Su Lin's convening wolf howl above the snowy slope rang out. The many wolf clans that had already been refreshed for many days quickly climbed up from the ice. Ow, ow, ow. Hundreds of wolf clans instantly responded with long whistles, 
and more than 20 bear clans accompanied with hisses that the might it brought was something that the species that survived in this arctic ice plain had simply never seen before. Even the multitude of the land of strange encounters, fey species had never seen it before. Perhaps the strength of these ordinary wolves and bears separately, they don't give a damn, but when they were really brought together and had a unified core, the aura that rose up was something that made them all fearful. Now all the wolves had quickly converged under the call of the wolf king, and they all looked up at Su Lin with fervor in their eyes. It had been more than half a month since they had followed the wolf king to this cold north, and they hadn't forgotten why they had come. Blood feud. The deer and the wolves had a blood feud. Now that they have tracked down the deer, they have been waiting for the wolf king's order. The loud and clear howls of the wolves not only bring respect to the wolf king, but also bring out the long-suffering killing intent. Why did the wolves come? To destroy the race. They want to kill the deer herd to the end of the race, in order to be able to fulfill the shame. Su Lin, who was standing on top of the snowy slope, looked at the wolves under his command and nodded secretly. Only a wolf pack with such morale could be an invincible wolf pack that was strong enough to follow him in battle and round up any hunter. This time, he took the deer pack first. Ow! Su Lin let out a long whistle. Sound waves rolling. Even if he didn't turn on his wolf whistle talent, the loud and clear wolf howl still spread over several kilometers. This loud wolf whistling caused some of the reindeer and musk oxen on the outskirts of the strange encounter that were nibbling on the water grass to look at such a furious wolf pack, and their eyes brought out panic and fear. Originally, they had all gained a lot of strength through the water grass in this land of encounters, especially the new reindeer group. After following the reindeer king to break through the wolf pack siege, the original fear of the wolf pack in their hearts had dissipated a lot. At one time, the wolves were a dominant force in their hearts that could dominate their lives, but after that day, they felt that the wolves were more of a threat to their lives, but after that day, they felt that the huge reindeer was their master, the king who could lead them to survive in the arctic ice field. After following the king of the deer to this strange land, with this strange land of fertile water and grass, they do not need to rely on the moss and grass in the wolves' territory to survive. This fertile water and grass is very sweet, but also rich in pure energy, making them in just 10 days to get a rapid growth. But where did they imagine that the wolves would drive hundreds of miles and chase them here? Even this wolf pack was even more furious than that day when they were being rounded up. Such an aggressive wolf pack made the fear and dread of the wolves in their minds once again be lifted. The scene of their fellow clansmen being bloodily killed by the wolves also came back to their minds. Yo! This caused a cacophony of deer calls to ring out. In their large eyes, they were all at a loss for words as they looked at the wolves that were about to come charging in. Panicked, they could only chirp to summon the king in their hearts to come, wanting to follow their king to inflict heavy damage on this wolf pack again. But they didn't even know that the huge reindeer king had already been scared out of his wits after the last bloody battle with Su Lin. In the face of the deer pack's chirping, it was only hiding in the depths of the land of strange encounters and didn't dare to show its head. But just because the deer king wouldn't, would show its head didn't mean that the wolves and Su Lin would let it go. That reindeer king was the biggest killer of the wolves, and the only way to eliminate the wolves' hatred was to bathe in its blood and devour its flesh and blood. The death of the clan and the extermination of the race. What do you mean by kill the race? If you run away from the reindeer king is that still called extermination of the clan? Ow, ow. The chilling killing intent in the wolf's howl resounded in the darkness of the night. This wolf howl that rose up to the sky also made the many tough hunters in the land of strange encounters look over. Looking at this fiery wolf pack, there was a very grave color in their eyes. With a wolf pack like this, was there really any force in the land of strange encounters that could stop it? At this time, Su Lin wasn't suppressing the wolves, since the wolf pack's aura was at its peak, and the wolf pack's strength had made a very big progress and improvement compared to before. Now was the time to test the wolf pack's combat strength. Kill. How can the wolf pack grow to the point of pushing the entire North Pole without experiencing a series of bloody battles? And how can they cope with the powerful forces in the mysterious iceberg? Especially with the Kenai wolves, who are also wolves. The strength of the Kenai wolves and the Arctic wolves are not even on the same level. In the future, facing such a strong Mount Kenai wolf pack, the wolves under his command would have to grow up quickly in order to cope. Su Lin's ambition was far more than just commanding an area of over 10. 000 square kilometers. What he wanted was to truly push across the entire Arctic. Even the power of that mysterious iceberg was in his plans. After the great change in the heavens and earth, there was no telling how the future trend of the world would go. Only by making the North Pole the backyard of the wolves could he make his way in and out. To enter, he could look at the world as a wolf. And to retreat, he could hold on to the North Pole. Ow. With another earth shattering long whistling sound, the entire wolf pack's aura boiled up even more. This wolf whistle is the whistle of attack. It would also set off a great battle of bloody conquest by the wolves. The wolves under Su Lin's command were able to sense the power of those species in the land of encounters through their sensitive sense of smell and senses. 
but with the wolf king in place, they were fearless. At Su Lin's long whistle of offense, the little lone wolf took the lead and led the hundreds of male wolves under his command, charging towards the land of encounters. It was the one who came to explore this land of encounters these days, so it was naturally more familiar with this place than the rest of the wolf race. Plus, it was the head wolf of the current wolf pack, so being the vanguard was a no-brainer. Ow! In the midst of running wildly, the little lone wolf whistled long and loud to raise its aura, and the many male wolves behind it howled along with it. The long howls of hundreds of male wolves that had mostly broken through level 6, coupled with the might of the charge, had an aura of crushing all obstacles. In these days, little lone wolf was specially rewarded by Su Lin with the most fey flesh and blood. By devouring a large amount of fey flesh and blood, its strength had already reached the peak of level 13, and was vaguely on the verge of breaking through level 14. With this kind of strength, together with the wolves, even the strong fey in this land of encounters would have to be impressed. Following behind was Xiaobai leading more than 20 bears, including the warm bear and the fey female polar bear. In order to show the wolf king her loyalty to the wolf pack, the female fey polar bear rushed to the front and converged with the wolves after receiving little white's affirmation. The onslaught of the wolves and bears of such strength caused the entire land of wonders to be in turmoil for a while. Just after charging in, little lone wolf and the many wolf clans under his command all smelled the pure energy scent that came to their faces. In this area, the fragrance of water plants and the pure energy scent mixed together, not to mention devouring the water plants and fruits in here. Even if one lived here for a long period of time, one would be able to obtain considerable benefits. Such a fertile land, only the strong deserve to possess it. These soft herbivores that didn't even have sharp claws and fangs didn't deserve to occupy this fertile land at all. They only deserved to be the blood food of the wolf clan. The charging wolves let many strong fey know that the land of adventure, which had been quiet for a long time, would set off another earth-shaking change this time. Such a powerful wolf pack will surely occupy many resources in the land of encounters. It was also destined to be accompanied by bloodshed and killing. The mournful song of blood and life seemed to have resounded over the frigid arctic ice plains. As for Su Lin, who still hadn't moved, he stood on top of a high snowy slope, a pair of golden brown wolf eyes staring at the strongest several breaths of existence in the land of encounters. The purpose of leading the wolves to come on such a large scale was clearly for the encounters here and to avenge the blood revenge of being hit hard by the deer last time. Therefore, in today's battle to slaughter the deer pack, there is no one who can stop the wolves, no matter which side of the hunters of this place of adventure, dare to block all have to pay the price of blood. Chapter 157 Wolf Massacre This place covered by water and grass was about 20, 000 square kilometers, a very vast area with quite a few snow slopes, ice caves, and some small icebergs. The vast majority of these species had their own range of activities in this strange land. The reindeer herd and the musk ox herd were clearly the ones that were active in the outskirts of the sparsest water and grass. They were also the species that faced the brunt of the wolves. It's just that this time, the wolves were all completely targeting the caribou herd and didn't do anything to the musk ox herd. Yo! Crisp sounds of deer in the fragrant air of water and grass. Many reindeer. Because there is no reindeer king's leadership. Facing the wolves hunting is simply a neck waiting to be killed. All they could do was to scream miserably in the face of the wolves. Many male reindeer also tried to rely on their own huge size and sharp horns on top of their heads to fight back, but it was all in vain. Their resistance to the wolves was like a small wave splashing in the ocean, without a unified core and belief. Even if they were large in size, high in blood value, and had sharp horns on their heads, they would not pose the slightest threat to the wolves. Ow, ow, ow. With the fall of one reindeer, the wolves' howls in the land of encounters became more and more clamorous and blood was splattered in all directions in the land of encounters. Among the wolves, the little lone wolf and the female polar bear were the most valiant. Facing these ordinary species of caribou, it was simply a bloody massacre. Tear. Sharp claws pierced through the caribou's skin and flesh. The charging little lone wolf viciously clawed a level 9 male reindeer and gutted it. The blood bathed in its wolf body, making it even more like a demon from hell. As it was already ferocious in the killing, the deer fled in panic, but it was of no use at all. One of the tall reindeer that had already evolved into a fey, which could be called the reindeer king's right arm, originally wanted to scream and organize the deer to resist, but it was quickly noticed by the female polar bear, hissing and heading towards this tall reindeer. Roar! Yo! Crisp deer roars and low bear roars resounded in this battlefield where blood was splattered recklessly. The two sides collided viciously into each other. The female polar bear that had evolved into a fey species was not comparable to this tall reindeer in terms of strength. Boom! A vicious blow! The large bear's palm directly smashed into the middle of the tall reindeer's head, and the power of the palm had several tons of explosive force. This palm will be tall reindeer staggered staggered backward a dozen steps, enough to have a huge body of three or four meters, some unsteady to crash into a pile of ice and snow. 
even if it is a tenacious fay, in the face of this vicious blow, is still bloodshot eyes, nose also has blood overflow, and in the collision just now, the sharp antlers of the tall reindeer also pierced through the flesh of the polar bear, however, the polar bear's body still had thick fat as a buffer, even though it looked bloody, it did not actually cause fatal damage to the female polar bear, roar, the female polar bear was also a hunter that had survived for a long time in the cold and icy land, although it was not previously a fey, but there was not a lot of experience in killing, after seriously injuring the tall fey reindeer, it continued to charge towards the tall reindeer with unforgiving momentum, a pair of pitch black bear eyes revealed ferocity and ruthlessness, since it evolved into a fey, its IQ had increased quite a bit, it naturally understood its current awkward position among the wolves, if it didn't really fight for its life in this battle, it thought that when this battle ended, it would be the time when it became the rations of the wolves, under the strong desire to survive, the extent of its killing was not inferior to that of the small lone wolf, in the low hiss of the bear tribe, it once again came in front of the tall caribou, once again, the two sides began to clash viciously, there was still a huge difference in strength between the tall caribou and this female polar bear, even though it desperately fought back, it was still useless, it wants to use the sharp horn to pierce the weakness of the polar bear, and even toward the female polar bear's lower three attacks, the essence of the bear gallbladder, if once pierced, even the fey will lose half of the combat power, but did not succeed, the sharp horn just cut through the air, but the heavy bear palm is a solid hit on the chest of the tall reindeer, directly hit its bones sunken in, the huge deer body also when this vicious hit flew out, boom, the body fell on the icy sky and snow, stirring up countless snow and ice, it chirped sadly while struggling to get up from the icy ground, the tall caribou faced this strong female polar bear, and any fighting spirit that was there in a pair of deer eyes was destroyed, the wolves that came in were too strong, and there were so many bears as helpers, this made the deer herd, which did not have a unified command in the first place, even more into being slaughtered in a bloody massacre, miserable deer cries, clamoring wolf howls, and low bear roars were intertwined in this area, all the reindeer nowadays had a look of terror and fear in their eyes, as if they had returned to the time when they were in the territory of the wolves and were dominated by the wolves, under this fear, they fled in panic, but this fleeing made the wolves reckless, because the prey that would not resist and would only flee would not pose the slightest threat to the wolves, and would not even cause the slightest attrition, then how could there be a second end for such a deer herd, other than becoming blood food for the wolves, tearing, the sound of blood and flesh being torn apart rang out from time to time, in the present day deer herds hasty escape, many of the wolves even gave up on team roundups and began to run wildly in twos and threes in pursuit of these reindeer, what's more, a level 6 arctic wolf dared to chase after a level 8 peak reindeer, and left several bloody wounds on the reindeer, and its fangs viciously tore down a large piece of flesh from the reindeer, this was what happened when you were scared out of your wits, the deer that didn't dare to fight back like this didn't even need to use the wolves hunting tactics, and had already become pigs, dogs and sheep that could be slaughtered at will, such a bloody scene, making those scattered muskox hurt a pair of oxen eyes or surging out a trace of fear of the wolves, as for those fey that already had a low IQ, they couldn't help but feel chilled by the viciousness and bloodshed of the wolves as they watched the scene, as for the slaughtered, as for the deer herd that was slaughtered, there was no sympathy expressed by any of the fey on either side, because in the cruel nature, they all practiced the law of the weak and the strong, this bloody scene also made these strong fey and hunters more convinced that the, there was no begging for survival in this cruel icy land, and fleeing would only make the killing and bloodshed even more unbridled, under the attention of many strong fey and many forces in the land of strange encounters, the bloody slaughter of the wolves against the deer was carried out even more fiercely, the eye-piercing blood of the reindeer flowed and spread uncontrollably in this ice layer, and one reindeer's head was torn to the ground, all the caribou that were still alive were terrified and scared, and the wolves behind them were like a death wish, it was only at this time that they finally remembered the benefits of being in the wolves territory, where they might not have had abundant sweet water and grass, but at least they were able to thrive in peace, even the wolves would protect them from the rest of the hunters, but now after the rebellion, what came was not the beautiful deer life that was dreamed of, nor the powerful future that the reindeer king had described to himself, instead, it was the bloody slaughter of the wolves that drove hundreds of miles, the howling of the wolves brought out a heavenly killing intent, making many reindeer scared and trembling in their bones, many of the reindeer were so scared that they couldn't run anymore and went limp on the ground, they were limp and half kneeling on the ground, wanting to beg the wolves for a chance to survive, they were willing to follow the wolves back to that former territory, and were even willing to sell their lives to breed and mate just to satisfy the wolves food, as long as they could be given a chance of survival in the hope of passing on their genes, the common species are just slaves to their genes, and many times this statement is true, now under the trend of genetic instinct, 
These caribou were frantically exuding the desire to survive, but it didn't help in the slightest. What all the wolves carried in their eyes was the bloodthirsty desire to hunt. This group of deer had been doomed to bloodshed on the ice field since the moment they followed that reindeer king and rebelled from the wolf pack. The vengeance of more than 20 wolf companions needed to be sacrificed with their lives, whether they begged for mercy and or fled. The end was the same. The wolf king's order was to decimate this deer pack. Then absolutely not a single survivor would be left. The bloody killing went on for three to four hours. The wolves had almost wiped out the deer herd. With only a few scattered reindeer escaping to the depths of the land of encounters, and the wolves directly chased after them towards the depths of the land of encounters. Originally, the outer part of the land of encounters was the territory of the reindeer herd. If the wolves occupied this place, the rest of the hunters would not say a word. But when the wolves chased them towards the depths, the wolves would not say a word. But when the wolves chased towards the depths, it was a sudden fey movement. It was a fey snow lord, much stronger than the fey snow lord that Su Lin had beheaded before. Goo! With a sharp chirp, the fey snow lord rose into the air. It didn't want to be involved in the bloody bloodshed between the wolves and the deer, but it had to be involved when it hit its territory. After evolving into a fey species, the fey snow lord naturally also seized a territory in this strange place. For the sense of territory, it was also very important in its heart. After chirping, its wings. After a chirp, its wings spread out to a size of 7 or 8 meters. This is a very terrifying strength. With more than 20 levels of attributes of the fey snow lord, boom, the wings swung violently directly sweeping out the deer and wolves that entered its territory. The force was so great that a reindeer and two wolves were killed instantly. The blood splattered in all directions, adding a few more points to the bloody flavor of this land of encounters. Such a bloody scene also demonstrated the dominance of this face snow lord. Not only did it not give face to the deer pack, it also had no intention of giving face to the wolf pack. Anyone who dares to enter its territory must die. The innate right to control the air was the source of the flying phase bottom line. Ow, ow. The face snow lord's strength caused the wolves to stop in their tracks for a moment. However, a pair of wolf eyes looked at their companions who had been slapped to death by the face snow lords with indignation and anger. Just due to the fact that the face snow lord rose in the air, even the little lone wolf only felt helpless. As for the few remaining reindeer, they were even more caught between the face snow lord and the wolves. Shivering, at this moment, such a scene was also caught in the eyes of Su Lin, who was standing on top of the snowy slope, watching the battlefield here. Face snow lords. Seeing that a fey from the land of strange encounters had struck out, a touch of ferocity immediately flashed out of his pair of golden brown wolf eyes. It was important to realize that he had come to this land of wonders, wanting more than just these barren resources in the outskirts occupied by the deer herd. If possible, he wanted all of this land of encounters. Therefore, he never intended to kill only the deer herd this time. If he kills, he will kill a stone. Just one deer herd was far from enough. The air control of the flying fey may be very difficult in the eyes of other hunters. But for Su Lin, who had the glide and airworthiness of a flying bird, there wasn't much. The meat of a face snow lord was something that Su Lin hadn't eaten in a long time. At this moment, just as the face snow lord was rising in the sky, its pair of snow white eyes looking down disdainfully at the wolves below, a wolf whistle that could be described as earth shattering rang out. Ow! Oh. Accompanying this wolf whistle was a huge wolf body that appeared with a sonic boom cloud. Su Lin's current speed had already surpassed the speed of sound. Before the sound arrives, the shadow precedes it. It's definitely not just words, with a speed that surpassed the speed of sound, not to mention ordinary species, even the fey in this area hadn't been able to see Su Lin's movement speed, with a speed of more than 300 meters per second, it didn't take long at all to arrive at this battlefield from the snowy slopes, boom, with the speed of more than 300 meters per second, Su Lin leapt up, this leap had a height of nearly 100 meters, which was equivalent to the height of a 30-story building, and under the leap, he directly came to the midair and collided with the face snow lord face to face. When Su Lin appeared in front of the face snow lord, the color of disdain in the eyes of the face snow lord suddenly disappeared. A leap of nearly 100 meters? It looked at the white wolf in front of it in its huge snow white eyes, completely in disbelief, and before it could regain its senses from its surprise, with the help of Su Lin, who had a speed of more than 300 meters per second, he had already arrived in front of it in an instant. In the dark night sky, Su Lin's wolf claws popped out completely and the 30 centimeter claw spikes were sharp to the extreme. Claw spikes sharp to the extreme. The normally domineering face snow lord could only barely resist with its sharp claws in this haste. Both sides claw thorns had become stronger and sharper than steel between successive evolutions. Under the violent collision, it was like a collision of gold and stone. Dang! An ear-piercing impact sound rang out in midair. Su Lin's strike was unrivaled. The face snow lord's body was sent flying tens of meters backwards by this strike as it hastily resisted. 
with its huge wings desperately fluttering in midair. The face Snowlord also understood the terror of this white wolf after the violent collision it had just suffered. Therefore, it did everything it could to keep itself from falling to the ground, or else it would be literally losing all of its advantages. At that time, with the white wolf's terrifying speed, I'm afraid that it would be bloodied on the ice field, just like the deer. But Su Lin didn't give it this chance at all. A deep blue fluorescent light violently flashed on his huge wolf body, and soon this fluorescent light was internalized into the wolf body. Su Lin's pair of wolf eyes also turned dark blue. Talented wolf whistle, coming up for the kill. This battle was bound to kill until blood flowed into rivers and the fae ambushed their corpses. Ow! An earth-shattering wolf whistle sounded in mid-air. The sound waves of the wolf whistle were like thunder rolling from the sky, making the chilly air seem to be sending out tremors. This powerful sound wave swept directly towards the face snowlord at a speed of thousands of meters per second. The powerful shockwave brought out by this wolf whistle caused a look of horror to appear in the eyes of the face snowlord who had stabilized his stance. Boom! The wolf whistling sound wave ruthlessly crashed into its body, and the strong impact caused the feathers on its body to be shaken and fly in all directions. The two huge wings could not stabilize its figure in the air at all, drawing an arc in midair before falling to the ground. Boom! The huge body of the face snow lord stirred up bursts of ice and snow on the ground. Chapter 158 Slaying the Snow Lord The B-ranked wolf whistle and the last D-ranked wolf whistle were simply incomparable. The rolling sound wave of the wolf whistle was strong to the extreme. This strike was equivalent to 7 or 8 tons of explosive force exploding on the face snow lord's body, directly causing wisps of blood to spill out of the face snow lord's eyes and beak mouth. On top of that, the internal organs and flesh of his entire body were shaken out with several cracks. The face snow lord's strength was stronger than that male lynx, but the injuries it received were far heavier than that male lynx, but it was still desperately struggling from the ground, wanting to quickly rise into the air, because as a raptor, it only has a strong sense of security in its heart when it is in the sky but it was too late. Since it had landed, Su Lin had no intention of letting it ascend into the air. Boom! A huge sonic boom sounded, bringing out a sonic boom cloud. Such a swift speed made the Fei watching the battle show a very grave look in their eyes. Even the Peregrine Falcon, which was known to be the fastest in this land of strange encounters, felt a hint of pressure when it looked at the White Wolf's speed. At this moment, Su Lin appeared in front of the Fei Snow Lord as if he was instantaneously moving, and his indestructible wolf claws popped out completely and the face snow lord was also sensing the deadly danger. His body was rising with a pale white fluorescence. With a loud shrill cry these pale white fluorescence converged into the body. The strength of the face snow lord gained a great boost. Aggressive talent. It was clearly the same talent as the last face snow lord. It was just that this time, the aggressive talent was of grade B, and the boost in strength was immense. The aggressive talent was the same as the hunting talent, both boosting speed and strength, just not as high as the hunting talent at the same level. This talent also caused the face snow lord to suppress the pain brought on by the wolf whistle, then stretch out its sharp beak mouth and Su Lin's wolf claw and ruthlessly clashed together. The beak mouth that was normally unfavorable and could easily tear apart bear races and large herbivores didn't build up the slightest bit this time. Even though the face snow lord's strength had increased a lot with the opening of the excitement talent, however, under this violent collision, the beak mouth was still cracked, and the blood and feathers of the huge head were mixed and splattered together. Goo 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 goo. Sharp Snow Lord cries exploded. Even though the feathers of the face Snow Lord were splattered with blood, it still had a ferocious nature and began to fight with Su Lin. Dang! The sound of golden stones colliding resounded in the land of strange encounters, and the strong collision fluctuations between the two sides also made the Fei who were paying attention to this great battle look sideways. As for the few reindeer that were surrounded by wolves, they were also scared and trembling under the strong fluctuations. Currently, after the face Snow Lords opened the excitement talent, their strength was as high as 5 or 600 in both strength and speed. Even though it still couldn't defeat Su Lin, it could barely resist. Once it was allowed to ascend into the air, even Su Lin would be a bit tricky. So Su Lin didn't even give this face snow lord a chance to get away. Boom! Another vicious claw collided with the face snow lord's wings. This claw directly penetrated the face snow lord's wings this time. And even though the face snow lord's wings had already been harder than steel in its many evolutions, it couldn't block Su Lin's blow at all. This blow was enough to break gold and stone, and the face snow lord's huge wings were pierced through. The snow lord's huge wings were pierced through with a bloody gash. This caused it to chirp in pain to the point of madness, struggling madly, wanting to break away from Su Lin's wolf claws and rise into the air. As long as it got into the air, relying on the suppression of the air, it would be able to have a sound battle with this white wolf, but there was no such possibility. Su Lin's sharp wolf claws slashed fiercely in the snow lord's huge wings and the wound instantly turned from a bloody hole into a horrifyingly huge wound. An unknown amount of feathers and blood were torn off. 
The face Snow Lord's wings were so heavily traumatized. I'm afraid that even if it was let loose to ascend into the air at this time, it would still be difficult to fly up again. In pain, the face Snow Lord frenziedly counterattacked towards Su Lin. Sharp claws and sharp beaks scratched out a trail of blood on Su Lin's flesh. The strength of the face Snow Lords that had opened their talent wasn't weak. And even though Su Lin's fur had gone into a defensive fight, it was still scratched through. Due to devouring the genetic flesh, blood, and essence parts of numerous species, it caused the blood in Su Lin's massive wolf body to become emitting a faint fluorescent light. This symbolized that this blood and flesh of Su Lin's body, whether it was its rarity or the pure energy it contained, far surpassed ordinary Fei species. This kind of blood temptation caused many Fei that were standing in the distance watching the battle to burst into light. But then, thinking of the white wolf's formidable combat power, they could only dispel this thought in their hearts. Only some ferocious, tough Fei that were used to killing and bloodshed still didn't move away from Su Lin's body with their horrible eyes. In their eyes, the temptation of Su Lin's blood and flesh far surpassed the water plants and fruits of the land of strange encounters. At this moment, as Su Lin's blood flowed, the battle between him and the face Snow Lords also intensified to white heat. Tear, accompanied by a sound of blood and flesh being torn raw, Su Lin tore off one of the face Snow Lords' wings, which were like fine iron, directly and bloodily raw. The fangs also topped the face Snow Lords struggle and bit towards the face Snow Lords' neck. If Su Lin's wolf claws had evolved many times, they were already indestructible. Then the sharpness and force of the fangs were even far superior to the wolf claws. Because for the wolf race, the fangs were often the strongest killing weapon. Ka Ching, the bloody mouth shattered the Snow Lord's neck bones with a single bite. Su Lin greedily sucked the blood of the face Snow Lord from his neck. This blood was sweet and delicious. And as the blood was sucked into Su Lin's stomach, it was converted into rolling energy and evolutionary value. And at this time, the face Snow Lord was still struggling desperately attempting to escape the clutches of this white wolf. The Fei's strong vitality and the suppression of injuries brought about by the excitement talent made this Snow Lord still have the residual power to resist even though it had suffered such serious injuries. However, no matter how it resisted, its fate had already been sealed. Tear. After Su Lin greedily sucked enough blood, he tore a large piece of flesh from the face Snow Lord's neck. This bloody flesh, along with the bones and tendons at the neck, almost completely tore off the face Snow Lord's head and body. With such a grievous injury, even if the phase vitality was strong, it simply couldn't support it anymore, because such an injury was not something that a living creature could withstand. No matter how strong a fey was, it was still just a creature after all, and had yet to transcend the limits of life and genetics. When its throat was bloodily and completely torn to shreds, the face Snow Lord could not even send out a shrill chirp. Chirping had become a luxury for it. Immediately following that, Su Lin delivered another vicious blow, smashing the Snow Lord's head with a boom. This vicious blow caused the face Snow Lord, which was already in a dying state, to shake like a candle in the wind with its initially arrogant and domineering head. The bones and nerves of the face Snow Lord's head were all shattered under this blow, and that huge eye was even more blood red. There was only some desire for survival left in its eyes, but this desire was only a flower in the mirror, a moon in the water, and was impossible to realize. Su Lin's wolf claw once again cut through the flesh like a knife, and came to the root of the Snow Lord's other wing. And then his claw thorns hooked onto the root of the wing, and threw the face Snow Lord's body towards a huge pile of ice and snow. Boom! The pile of ice and snow, which was harder than steel, shattered with a sound. The face Snow Lord's internal organs and flesh, which had already been cracked by the wolf whistle sound wave at the beginning, exploded under this violent impact, and pieces of internal organs flew out from the wounds. Blood was also splashing in the cold air, and this blood was also splattered on the fur of Su Lin's wolf body. Su Lin who was bathed in the blood of this face Snow Lord, had a pair of eyes that were filled with a chilling coldness. At this time, this face Snow Lord could no longer send out a chirp, and its huge body was only making a final struggle on the ice. But this struggle was pale and futile. But this struggle is pale and powerless. Even in the hard ice layer cut out a few ice marks cannot do. At this time, in the eyes of the many strong Fei, Su Lin, whose body was stained with the blood of this face Snow Lord, looked like a blood-soaked wolf that had walked out of the underworld of hell. Ow! Accompanied by a long whistle that hadn't utilized his talent, the aura rising from Su Lin's body became even more powerful. The entire wolf pack, seeing their own wolf king slaughtering his great enemy so easily, was also frenzied to the extreme as they followed the long whistle. Ow! 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 Hundreds of wolves whistled, and the wolves' anger rose to the extreme, and the clamor and frenzy of anger rushed straight into the dark night sky. In the eyes of the many wolves in the wolf pack, the wolf king who was bathed in blood and wild in front of them had already become the invincible god in their hearts. After the wolves reached the peak of their aura, Su Lin also ended the life of this face Snow Lord. 
As for the remaining remnants of the reindeer, they were also decimated by the wolves. Now if Su Lin stopped his conquest, he should be able to occupy the outskirts of this land of strange encounters and this face no lord's territory. But it's not enough. Far from enough. The water plants that these reindeer ate, even if they contained some pure energy. But after all, it was just water grass. It could only feed some herbivores. How could it feed hundreds of wolves and dozens of bears? These simply couldn't fill the wolves and Su Lin's appetites. Now that the wolves were in full swing, they had to be killed. And these days, Little Solitary Wolf had long since figured out the location of the reindeer king and the fey grizzly bear, deep in the land of encounters. That's where the fey grizzly bear and the musk ox king are. It was the territory of the fey grizzly bear and the musk ox king. The reindeer king was hiding in their territory. It was obvious that they wanted to offer the deer to the wolves and kill themselves, so that their anger would dissipate. But this calculation is wrong. The wolves' anger and appetite could not be appeased like this. At this moment, Su Lin first swallowed the essence of this face snow lord into his stomach and, ding, congratulations to the host for eating the face snow lord's liver, level 23, and gaining 5, 700 points of evolutionary value, ding, congratulations to the host for eating the residual talent essence of the face snow lord and purifying a talent serum, 5700 points of evolution value, this evolution value wasn't a small amount, and the fey essence parts of a level 20 something would all grow as their level skyrocketed, after swallowing it, Su Lin let out a long whistle once again and led the wolves to kill deeper into this land of strange encounters. Roar! Chirp! Boing! As the wolves drove in, many of the strong hunters let out warning chirps. These chirps didn't make Su Lin and the wolves care in the slightest. As for some that came out and tried to make a move against the wolves, they were all torn apart alive by the little lone wolf and the female polar bear. On a wolf pack's journey, there was no shortage of blood and killing. This land of wonders was very large a bit larger than the wolf's territory on Su Lin's southern side. So in addition to the strong fey that little lone wolf had explored here, there were also some remaining fey. These fey that weren't very strong didn't have a large territory in this area, and only had a scattered area of a few miles around, but they were superior in number. I don't know if it was because of the coercion of the fey reindeer king and the fey grizzly bear, or if it was because these small fey were too obsessed with their territories. In any case, when the wolves passed by these territories, these not-so-strong fey were all attacking the wolves. Quite a few wolves also bled at their hands, but Su Lin didn't let the wolves stop, because wanting to establish his authority in this land of strange encounters, wanting to kill until blood flowed, it was simply unrealistic to say that the wolves had no casualties. In this bloody journey, one was bound to experience the cruelty of blood and bone. Those fey that dared to launch an attack similarly fell one after another as the wolves traveled deeper into the land of encounters. These weak fey didn't stop the pace of the wolves and the wolves advanced at a fast pace. At this moment, Su Lin and Little Lone Wolf were charging ahead. Cousin led nearly 200 wolves, trailing behind. Little Grey was leading the elite wolf clan, while they were struggling to catch up with Su Lin. After all, they were the Wolf King's personal guards, and wherever the Wolf King was, they should be there. As for the many bear clans under Little White's command, they had long ago mixed with the wolves, following the wolves as they charged through the mountains and seas. After killing the deer and the fey snow lords that blocked the road, and decapitating several fey that dared to make a move along the way, it made the wolves even more furious. Kill. The killing intent of the wolves went straight to the clouds. The lives of that fey reindeer king and the fey grizzly bear were the wolves. They'd both struck out at Su Lin before, and that reindeer king in particular still owed the wolf pack a blood feud. If they weren't beheaded, how could the wolves establish their authority in this land of strange encounters? But just as the wolves were driving for hundreds of miles and were about to arrive at the territory of the fey grizzly bears, a wolf with a size of more than 10 feet was attacking Su Lin. A strong hunter with a body size of more than 10 meters suddenly appeared on the snowy slope right in front of the wolves. The strong aura of this powerful hunter was like a towering mountain. Just by standing here alone, it made all the charging members of the wolf pack's hair explode. This was a musk ox, a fey musk ox that was strong to the peak. If it was said that some time ago, the fey lynx couple, fey polar bear, and fey snow lord that su lin had killed were the strongest in this land of strange encounters then this fey musk ox was the strongest of the strong in this land of encounters musk ox king there was no doubt that this was the musk ox king that little solitary wolf had not explored some time ago the fey reindeer king was the one that fled to its and the fey grizzly bears territory and even the few musk oxen that defected from the wolf pack's territory were also taken under its command now it was it that had come to block the road this caused su lin who was originally right in front of the wolves to narrow his golden brown wolf eyes, revealing endless chilling killing intent. He directly took a few steps forward and was only 300 meters away from this fey musk ox king. The two sides were facing each other in this icy sky and snowy land. 
and their respective powerful auras were rising rapidly. This Fei Musk Ox King, Su Lin didn't go looking for it. Instead it came to stop the wolves first? Then why would Su Lin, who was already drenched in blood, be afraid to kill until the sky turned upside down? If this Musk Ox King was insensitive, then the Musk Ox Clan, he didn't mind exterminating it as well.